You know, that's why it's going to happen. Hopefully he, he beats Jeff Horn and gets that belt. And like I said, I want to be undisputed welterweight champion of the world. Wait till he get a belt. Yeah. He ain't did nothing in the welterweight yeah. today. You when he get a nothing. belt, when you he get a belt, nothing. you, you want to go over nothing. there. Keith Thurman want to go over there. And now y'all want to say, oh, I ain't for nobody. But I got a belt now, so okay. why? Okay. Sean Porter sense. got a belt too. He dog at, at the welterweight division. And he got he to gotta take a back seat and take that 60, 40 or 7, 30, whatever we give him. Done with everybody else but Terrence Crawford. Can we just do Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford? I mean, that, that could happen. We got to see how it go. But, you know, like I said, I can move up to 160 and fight Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I want to get... Who mans is this? Get him the fuck out of here. So what do I do YouTube, it's your boy King David in this thing and I'm back at y'all again with another video. Okay, so before we get going on the video, man, y'all know what to do. Go on ahead, hit the like button and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe one time for your boy. So we can continue to grow like we need to grow on this channel, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. Yes, sir. Alright, so y'all see what the title of the video is, man. Five reasons why Earl Spence gets destroyed by Terrence Bud Crawford. You know what I mean? So I know it's a lot of people who who have this fight picked as like a 50-50 fight. You know what I mean? I know it's a lot of people out there that has this as a 50-50 fight. I know that the media portrays this as a 50-50 fight. All you hear is 50-50 fight, 50-50 fight, 50-50 fight, 50-50 fight. 50 -50 fight. But the reality of the situation is this is not a 50-50 fight. Not at all. You know what I mean? Not at all. Earl Spence has a chance to win. But a very small chance to win. Right? If I had to give this fight a percentage, I'd say it'd be more like 80-20. Right? Like the same type of offer that Earl Spence was trying to give the Bud Crawford for a fight. 80-20. That's those are the odds I give Earl Spence to beat Terrence Crawford. 20%. Right? This is a 80-20 fight. Nowhere near a 50-50 fight. Right? Nowhere near a 50-50 fight. Despite what all the media and all the fanboys out there are running their mouth about. This ain't no damn 50-50 fight. Right? And I'm gonna break this motherfucker down for you as to why this ain't no 50-50 fight, right? Five reasons why Terrence Bud Crawford will destroy Earl Spence Jr. Right? Okay, so cool, bro. Let me get right on into it. So, reason number one why Terrence Bud Crawford will destroy Earl Spence Jr. He's simply a better fighter. He's simply a better fighter, right? If Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford were the same size, with the same length arms, the same length legs, the same the same body frame, the same size, the same everything, I think most people would agree that Terrence Crawford would win the fight because he's the more skilled fighter. Even if you gave him the same speed and the same physical attributes, once again, most people would agree that Terrence Crawford would win the fight because he's the more skilled fighter, right? He's more skilled all the way across the board, right? But if you take away those attributes, if you give him, if you give Terrence Crawford back his attributes and you give Errol Spence his attributes, right? Let's just compare them. Terrence Crawford got the better speed. Not even debatable at all. Better foot speed, better hand speed. Get out of here. Don't even try to argue that shit. Terrence Crawford got the better power. Point blank period in the discussion. 10 straight knockout victories in a row at welterweight versus 12 round de decision versus Danny Garcia. 12 round decision versus Sean Porter. 12 round decision versus Mikey Garcia. 12 round decision versus Danny Garcia. Right? A stop Uga stoppage, right? When Uga in a, in a fight where Ugas ain't touched the ground not one time, versus Terence Crawford putting Sean Porter on the ground, 
knocking out me machine knocking out amir khan knocking out uh sean porter knocking out uh kill brook right knocking out everybody that he's in the ring with versus earl spence who seems to be going the distance with everybody he's in a rank with who seems to be going the distance with everybody who's a step up in competition for him, right so terrence bud crawford you would have to give him the power edge over earl spence point blank period right then you talk about technical ability right technical skills right to me when you're talking about technical skills you got to go on the defense Terrence Bud Crawford is one of the least hit fighters in boxing, right? He's on the list for the top least hit fighters in boxing. Earl Spence is not. So technical ability, you got to give it to a Terrence Bud Crawford, right? Terrence Bud Crawford got the more tools in the toolbox, right? He can fight off his back foot. He can fight on his front foot, on the inside. He can use his jab, right? He can fight on the inside. He can counter punch. He can pot shot. He can do all these things and win a fight. He can fight southpaw. He can fight orthodox. He can do all these things and win a fight when Earl Spence can only fight one way at one pace. Period. Right? Straight up and down, no special effects like Floyd Mayweather would say. Right? So, all in all, Terrence Crawford is a better fighter. He just is. He just is. I know it's going to be some Earl Spence fanboys that's going to disagree with y'all niggas going to be crying your eyes out. No way, KD. There's no way you can say that he's a better fighter, KD. Wait till July 29th. No, nigga, you wait till July 29th because you're going to be the one changing your goddamn screen name, right? Deleting all your comments on YouTube after Earl Spence gets destroyed by Terrence Bud Crawford. But that's the first reason why he gets destroyed. Terrence Crawford is simply a better fighter. Point blank period in the discussion, right? The second reason why Terrence Crawford destroys Earl Spence Jr. is that Earl Spence is too predictable. He's too predictable, right? He's, he's too predictable, right? It's almost never a good thing to be predictable, but one of the worst, one of the worst situations slash scenarios to be predictable is in a boxing ring. You know why? Because all it takes is one punch that you don't see at the right time to end the fight, right? And if I know what kind of punch I need to throw in order to end the fight all i need to know is when to throw it and it's a lot easier for me to decide when to throw it when i know what the fuck you're gonna do right and that's the issue with being predictable which is what earl spence does earl spence throws his punches at the same speed at the same time with the same punch sequence every single time right every single time it's not gonna take much time for an elite counter puncher like a terrence bud crawford to pick up the timing to pick up the speed to pick up the pace and find that one punch to seriously hurt earl spence and get him the fuck up out of there right so that's the second reason why Earl Spence is going to get destroyed by Terrence Bud Crawford. It's only a matter of time until Terrence Crawford figures out exactly what Earl Spence is trying to do and put a stop to it, right? So that's the second reason, right? Now, the third reason has a lot to do with Earl Spence himself and his lack of preparation for the fight in general, right? And that's the long layoff. Listen, Earl Spence wouldn't be able to beat Terrence Bud Crawford at his peak prime, right? He wouldn't be able to do it at his peak prime. And I broke down why earlier in the video talking about how Terrence Crawford is simply a better fighter, right? He wouldn't be able to beat 
Bud Crawford at his peak prime. So why in the fuck would he be able to do it after a year-long layoff? Why in the fuck would Earl Spence be able to beat Terrence Crawford even though he wouldn't be able to do it at his peak prime but would be able to do it after a year-long layoff, right? Ring rust is a real thing, right? Ring rust is a real thing. So whatever Earl Spence is, as the fighter he is, he's a notch lower because of the ring rust, right? And I said it before and I'll say it again. Earl Spence at his peak prime, right? Active and, and available, wouldn't be able to beat a Terrence Bud Crawford. So how in the fuck would he be able to beat a Terrence Bud Crawford coming off of a year layoff and ring rust, right? It makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. For Earl Spence to even have a shot at beating a Terrence Crawford, he would need to be at beyond his peak. He would need to be someone besides himself in reality. But if he's gonna be himself, he should be the absolute best version of himself, which he's not gonna be because he's coming off of a long layoff. So that's the third reason why he gets destroyed by Terrence Bud Crawford, right? Now, the fourth reason he gets destroyed by Terrence Bud Crawford is Earl Spence lacks the experience. And I know what the fanboys are gonna say. What do you mean Earl lacks the experience, KD? Earl got the better resume. Earl Spence did all the heavy lifting, KD. He did all the heavy lifting, right? <laughs> Which ain't nothing but a pile of bullshit anyway, right? But for the sake of the argument, I'm not talking about all the big name fluff opponents that Earl Spence got on his resume. I'm talking about the diversity in competition, right? When Earl Spence gets in the ring with a Terrence Bud Crawford, he's getting in the ring with a he's getting in the ring with a very versatile guy with several different skill sets. But one of the main skill sets that Terrence Bud Crawford has is his ability to use his legs, right? His his ability to use his legs and fight off his back foot, right? Who on Earl Spence's resume has he fought? that has those skills i'll wait <laughs> I, i'll wait who has earl spence fought that has those skills that has the ability to fight off their back foot use their jab be slick who has earl spence fought that's like that absolutely nobody not one person you can name on earl spence's resume has any kind of slickness had, was able to use their legs to any kind of degree point blank period in the discussion right so when he's get if, when he gets himself in a ring with a terrence bud crawford a guy who's not only slick a guy that not only is able to use his legs a guy that not only is one of the best counter punches in boxing but has the boxing iq of someone that is able to make adjustments on the slide. Tell me what kind of recipe that spells for Earl Spence Jr. That's an element that Earl Spence has yet to see as a pro. So he's supposed to get in there with one of the best, most slickest fighters in the Terrence Bud Crawford. And somehow be able to make up the difference. Like y'all gotta make this shit make sense, bro. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta make it make sense, bro. He's supposed to get in there with a style he ain't ever seen as a pro, and somehow be good enough to pull out the victory. Make it make sense, y'all. Make it make sense, right? But that's the fourth reason. That Earl Spence is going to get destroyed by Terrence Bud Crawford. But the fifth and final reason that Earl Spence is going to get destroyed by Terrence Bud Crawford. Is because Earl Spence don't live the life of a boxer. 
he don't live the life as a boxer and that might not matter against lesser opponents that might not matter against your dennis ugas that might not matter against sean porter that might not have mattered versus danny garcia that might not have mattered against mikey garcia <laughs> but it matters against a terrence bud crawford right a guy that has you outmatched in skills and talent speed and technical ability a guy that don't ever have to get ready because <laughs> he stay ready a guy that lives and trains the life of a boxer right eats sleeps and breathes boxing right i'm not even sure if Ter terrence crawford drinks i don't think he does but i don't think i don't know but eats sleeps and breathes boxing right Terrence Bud Crawford was five pounds outside of weight a year ago, right? Terrence Bud Crawford stays on weight, stays in shape, stays in the gym, and doesn't drink and drive and flip cars over, right? Which is another part of this, right? That Earl Spence doesn't live the life of a boxer so much so that his recklessness and his arrogance caused him to injure himself in a car accident and brutally hurt his body in the worst possible way so much so that he's really not the same fighter that he was prior to the accident right and I've already made it very clear that even if he was the best version of himself he still would have got his ass whooped. So if he was his best self and still would have got his ass whooped, what does that say about this new version of Earl who's a lesser version of himself getting in the ring with the pound for pound King Terrence Bud Crawford? What does that say, right? What does that say, right? This new Earl at post car accident, post accident, eye injury getting in the ring with a guy who would have beat him at his prime the guy who he needed to take the easy route in order to avoid in the first place right but all in all it's like this at the end of the day terrence bud crawford is gonna destroy earl spence jr it's what would have happened it's what could have happened and it what's it's what's gonna happen on july 29th we got 10 days left y'all until we all get to witness the fish fry with our own two eyes but let me know what y'all think man hit it up in the comment section below if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and everybody and i do mean everybody be sure to hit the goddamn like button on your way out but until next time bro i'm gonna holla at y'all man Peace. Mike, Spence and Crawford are fighting. Who wins? Who's the king of the welts this season? I think after seeing their fight, Porter and Crawford, I think you've got to lean towards Crawford now. For the range with Spence and uh, Crawford. Thank you for it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know who won that fight. He's like Errol Spence. Errol Spence, he'll be here. He'll be looking young and not up for this round. Uh, Crawford's a bad boy, but Spence, you know, Spence, Spence is a pressure cooker, so if he can maintain with Crawford early, then he can make a good fight, but if he ain't on his game, it might be right. <laughs> Crawford reminds me of me, bro, so I'm pretty sure you know how I feel about that. Ain't nobody else going to say that, but I'm going to say it. The way he approached that shit, he don't see none of them guys. He don't care nothing about none of them guys. Ha! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he!
welcome to the China Cup. A tang a tang tang, a tang a tang tang tang. Swollen in the dimension, no race in the trenches with an appetite for vegetables. Right, clean your land to boost the greens, the greens. Book it to a year, kept me mentally. Hey, oh, get a wind lecturer in the dimension. No race, we go fried at fish today. Vegetables, right, clean your land to boost the greens, the greens. I thought we gon' gonna fry that fish today. College drop out, honey, graduate. I'm not, we finally caught up with that duck. I never knew niggas like college. We finally caught up with that duck. Salute to everybody in the building, man. MK being the building, what up? Star Platinum in the building, what up? Toby Montana in the building, what it do? Keep the air. <laughs> what up? About to watch your boy get fried live. And it's perfect. Who mans is this? Get him the fuck out of here. Bet you don't get it. Bet you don't get it. I hope y'all make this the longest outro ever. Yo, shout out to every motherfucking body who ever listened to this nigga right now. Nigga, if you have ever heard the name Glance Rap, nigga, if you ever heard anything about this nigga, no one That made me get this far to make a <laughs> song like this. Yo, this is like fucking B roll for B roll sick. Nigga, this is like song is that bitch under a motherfucking coal on the 4th of July and roast some motherfucking chicken on this shit. Nigga, it's that fire, nigga. I swear to God, nigga. I avoid him. Like I said, I'm gonna get these belts over here, like then I'm gonna come take Terrence Crawford belt because I said I'm gonna be undisputed with the champion oh of the world. So. The only way to make that happen is to take his belt. So, I mean, nobody's avoiding him. I'm say Terrence Crawford. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's why he's going to happen. Hopefully, he, he beats Jeff Horn and gets that belt. And like I said, I want to be undisputed West Way champion of the world. Fuck you if you hate me, and welcome to the experience if you like it. Yes, the nigga is ghetto. Yes, the nigga is classy. Yes, the nigga is intellectual. But most of the nigga is black excellence at his finest. But not that smart. If you do not pay attention right now, nigga, you need to go do your taxes. This is shit talking about a fiction right now. Fuck you. Fuck all of your haters that don't know that this nigga is dope. Welcome to the China Cup. A tang a tang tang. A tang a tang tang tang. What up with it? <laughs> what up with it, man? What up with it? What up with it? Salute to all the real boxing fans out there, man. What up with it, man? We finally caught up to that duck, didn't we? <laughs> I say we finally caught up to that duck, didn't we, man? What up with everybody in the building, man? Hold up, y'all. Let me adjust the light, bro. This this shit got me looking way too light skinned, bro. Hold on, man. Oh, hold on, bro. I'm looking way too bright out here on these streets. Give me a second, bro. Let me get it together, goddammit. Let me get it together. Hold on. Shit. What's the control thing for this? Oh, man. We working on it. We working on it. We working on it. <laughs> we working on it. Uh, hell, uh, there you go. This thing was high. There you go. Let's turn that, turn that brightness down. There we go. Shit. Ah damn. I'm already light skinned, but this shit got me looking too light skinned. What what it do, man? Salute to everybody in the building, man. What up with the real boxing fans out here, man? 
Salute to everybody, man. Y'all ready for the fish fry? Y'all ready for the fish fry today, man? I saw y'all ready for the fish fry. Y'all ready? For, y'all ready? Terrence Crawford finally caught this duck, didn't he? <laughs> he finally cornered this duck, didn't he? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going down tonight, finally. After five years. Five years of running and gunning Earl Spence been doing. Five years of easy routing. Five years of excuses and excuses and excuses as to why he can't get in the ring with Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford finally reeled that duck in. He finally reeled in that fish, that big old duck. He finally caught that duck. You know what I mean? And now he getting ready to skin him. You know what I'm saying? Cut him up. Saute him. Put him on the stove. Put him in the oven. You know what I'm saying? 500 degrees. Broil him. He finally getting ready to do all the things that Earl Spence Jr., man, and I can't wait. I can't, I can't wait, man. I don't know about y'all, but I can't wait, bro. This shit gonna be great. This shit gonna be great, bro. It's gonna be a really, really, really good fight, bro. I can't wait to see the big fish fried. I can't wait to see this duck caught. I can't wait. Let me see what y'all talking about here in the comment section, man. I see y'all in the building. Heavy. Okay. I got a few super chats in the building. What it do? All right. Hold on. Let me get to y'all real quick, man. You know, we got to read the super chats first. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. So the first one is from D. Lucky. D. Lucky say... Salute Crawford and eight all day, every day. D lucky man, all day, every day. Crawford and eight. I gave Earl an extra round, you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't be surprised if he ended in eight rounds. D lucky, I ain't mad at you at all for that prediction. And you know, we got to do with that nine, that dollar 99. We got to take that dollar 99 and we got to go on and get us some boats and hoes. Y'all know what time it is. Sangria, nachos, lemon heads, my dad's boat. You won't go down because my dick can float. What's happening, man? Y'all know what's happening, man. We got another super chat, man. My guy, Modern King Boxing, coming through with the $1.99 super chat. He say, with the fly, the flame emojis, with the trident for the fish, man. Y'all know what time it is. We done finally harpoon that fish. Finally harpoon that fish. All day, every day. Salute to you, MKB. Appreciate you for coming on through. Appreciate you for coming on through, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to use that, that $2 that you put down now. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to go on to play the lotto 15, with that thing. 30. 37. 38. 45. 47. 15. 30. 37. 38. 30. 30. Just hurry up. I got customers to serve. Right. <laughs> y'all know what time it is, man. Let me look at some of these other comments y'all got going on, man. Y'all in here heavy, man. Look like everybody excited for the fight as well as they should be because it's going to be a damn good fight, man. Earl going to put up a damn good fight until he gets stopped. I know he is. I just know he is. You know what I'm saying? I just know he is. I just know he is. Anthony Hines coming through first and foremost, the first guy in the motherfucking building. Anthony Hines, appreciate you for coming on through, my guy. He said, I wanted to be the first to say it before you do Crawford wins by knockout 11th right hook hurt Spence. Oh, yeah, all day, every day, all day, every day. I hear a lot of people talking about it could be a body shot. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. I think I think Terrence Crawford got a lot of different ways that he can hurt Earl Spence and get him the fuck up out of there. Right? And a body shot is just one of them. You know what I mean? But I can see I can see Bud utilizing the body work in order to get Earl up out of there, right? It, it's one that's something that Earl ain't really gonna be expecting. I don't think Earl's ever had anybody try to go to his body, so that would be a very different approach by Bud. Also, too, I think the body work is gonna be is really gonna take the Earl the air out of Earl's tires because what it is is the, the long the 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 body work is really gonna expose the long layoff. That's what the body work's gonna do. The body work is gonna expose the long layoff. The body work is gonna expose the car accident, right? So I could see the body work being a major factor. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a body shot that put Earl Spence down. I mean, but again, Bud got a lot of weapons. He got a lot of ways that he can get that fish out of there, right? All day, every day. My guy Ruben Sanchez in that building. He got the boxing glove with the flame emojis. Salute to you, Ruben Sanchez. Appreciate you for coming on through, man. We're going to watch that fish fry today, man. My guy AC in the building. What up with AC? Appreciate you for sliding on through, my guy. 
He say salute KD seven one eight to the four oh four. Yeah, all day every day. It's really three oh five, man, because I'm from Miami, Dade County, Florida, man. You know what I mean? It's really three oh five, but I appreciate that ATL is indeed my second home. You know what I mean? So I appreciate that seven one eight Brooklyn, New York in the building. What up with it? You know what I'm saying? Toby Montana say, hey, I was wondering KD was gonna scream this shit. Nah, I ain't gonna scream this shit, man. I ain't finna have my channel taken down. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? To try to stream the fight. We're not doing that. That's not what we're doing today. Nah, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not on this channel. Not on my channel. Hell no. If I'm going to do something like that, it's going to be on another channel that, that I ain't worried about if it gets shut down or not. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that type of shit that he gets your whole channel shut down. We don't want that. Bertha Gomez in the building. She say, let's go. Appreciate you, uh, sis, for coming on through. You know what I'm saying? Toby Montana in the building. He say, Bud by KO within nine. Oh, yeah, all day, every day, Tony Montana. Yeah, nine round stoppage. That's what I got. That's what I think happens. And honestly and truly, man, I, I think I'm very underrated for my predictions. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm very underrated for my predictions. You know what I'm saying? I be getting my predictions right on, bro. I don't know how many of y'all been paying attention, but my predictions be right the fuck on, bro. For real, for real, for real. My predictions be right on. I said Devin Haney was going to win that fight. You know what I mean? He won the fight. Tank Davis obviously beat the shit out of Ryan Garcia. You know what I mean? Won that fight. I be calling these motherfucking fights, bro. I be calling these fights, bro. And, you know, I know a lot of people brag about their record for predictions because they be, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they got a prediction record. But they be calling a lot of very obvious fights. A lot of very obvious fights to call like you know what i'm saying like you got one guy that's seriously overmatched in a fight versus a guy who should beat him and then you want to you 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 the guy who everybody knows is going to beat the other guy you get that prediction right but you want credit for calling that prediction now nah, bro now nah, bro you play you pad in your record fam you pad in your record you pad in your record fam we know what time it is bro as far as the big fights your boy kd get Pretty much everything right, bro. I don't think I've been wrong in a minute. Been a while since I've been wrong, and this is gonna be another one that I get right. Bug gonna stop this dude, bro. Maybe it ain't round nine. Maybe it's round ten. Maybe it ain't round ten. Maybe it's round eight. But Bug gonna stop this dude, bro. Watch what I tell you. The EXO Factory in the building. What up with it? What up? <laughs> what up with the EXO Factory? Appreciate you for coming on through, man. He said, KD, what's good, bro? What's good with the EXO, EXO Factory? Y'all be sure to subscribe to the EXO Factory on YouTube, man. Got a fire boxing channel. You know what I'm saying? Real good content, man. Y'all subscribe to the EXO Factory. Appreciate you for coming on through, my guy. I believe EXO also in ATL, ain't you? I think you also in the A, too. So my A, brother. What up with the EXO? You know what I'm saying? Can't see me. Cena in the building. What's going on with you? He say Bud in seven all day, every day, man. Bud in seven, man. <laughs> I had one dude on my channel, man. I think that was Star. Star, I think that was you. Maybe no, no, that was somebody else. He say Bud in three. Say <laughs> like Earl get knocked out in three rounds. God damn. You know what I mean? Look, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Star in the building. He say let's fucking go. Appreciate you for Star for coming on through. You know what I'm saying? All day, every day, man. Much love, much appreciation. We about to watch that duck get caught all day, every day in the building. XO Factory say, AC, what's good, bro? Okay, y'all talking to each other. Bud and Six, okay, I see the predictions coming through. Finally, the time is here. That's what my guy Bud going to stop Spence say. Finally, the time is here. Yeah, bro, it's time, bro. It's time. All the talking, all the lip service, all the back and forth. It's finally going to come to an end tonight. Tonight, we're going to find out who the better man is. We're going to find out who was right and who was wrong this whole time. Tonight, we're going to find out who was right and who was wrong the whole time. If you ain't got no money put up, put your money up. It's the it's the last few moments that you're going to be able to put your money up. You know what I mean? You're going to be able you tonight, you're going to have a whole lot of people that's either going to make a whole lot of money. You're either going to make a whole lot of money tonight or you're going to lose a whole lot of money tonight. It's going to be one of the two. Either you're going to make a whole lot of money tonight or you're going to lose a whole money, a lot of money tonight. It's going to be one of the two. You know what I mean? But we all that bullshit, all that charter, everything, that going all out the window, bro. We're going to find out what it is. We're going to find out what it is. Finally. Finally. Toby Matana, bud by KO within nine. All day, every day. Net Zay in the building, bud, bud, bud. All day, every day. Don Vaughn in the building. Salute KD in the chat. It's almost time. Yeah, it's almost time, bro. The duck finally been caught, bro. The duck finally being caught, man. 
That's all I'm trying to say. Toby Matona say, bud, bud, bud. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Star in the building say, I'm so amped here, bro. Everybody amped for this fight, bro. Everybody ready for this fight, man. I wish I could have went out there to Vegas, bro, but I ain't got $10,000 for a ticket, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got 10 racks for a ticket, so I couldn't be out there. But damn, the atmosphere going to be on fire tonight at the actual fight. But everybody across the world is watching this fight. Everybody across the world is paying attention. Everybody who's everybody who's everybody know about this fight, right? You know what I mean? The loser of this fight. <laughs> I ain't even going to say nothing about that, but let's keep it going, though. Toby Montana say, bud over everybody. Yeah, bro, all day, every day. Keep PSA, don't start that cap. I'm here, KD. Just because you hear, first of all, how could the how could the biggest cap star <laughs> and Keith Pierre talk about somebody else capping? Keith Pierre, you already know you're the biggest cap. You're the biggest cap out here on E-Boxing Streets, man. We already know. We already know. That's like the pot calling the kettle black, ain't it? Ain't it, Keith Pierre? The pot calling the kettle black. We already know you're the biggest cap artist out here on these streets, bro. You about as big as a cap artist as early as a duck. We already know what time it is, but let's keep it going. Toby Montana say, I got me some seafood for this shit. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Get your seafood. Y'all pull up at your Red Lobsters and your, and, your, and your Long John Silvers. You know what I'm saying? Go on, order you some seafood, bro. We eating good tonight, goddammit. I say we eating good tonight, but let's keep it going, though. Star say, I actually agree with that. Okay, y'all probably listen to the video. Keep here say, not a 50 50 fight. EJ, Big Fish, Free Smoke Jr. Free Smoke Jr. been ducking for the last five years. I don't get why he get that motherfucking uh, name. Take that name and put it in the trash. You ain't Free Smoke Jr. when you've been ducking for five years. That, that's not your name. You, you can't be that when you've been ducking for five years, but let's keep it going, though. Let's keep it going. Keep here say, Terrence Crawford ain't going to last five rounds. He, wow. Terrence Crawford ain't going to last fat five rounds. I think that's ridiculous. I think that's absurd. And I think you done lost your goddamn mind, Keith Fear. But ain't nothing new there. Ain't nothing new there. Star say, let's fucking go. Mana Mor Morata says, good morning, y'all from South Africa. Where can I stream the fight for free? So first of all, Mona, Mona Maraca, I will not allow this in my chat right now, fam. This is, this is not a fight that you stream for free. You know what I'm saying? That's not what this is, bro. This is the biggest fight in boxing. This is the biggest fight in boxing. This fight almost didn't happen because the big wigs and the and the and, the, and, and these dudes. I mean, Earl Duckin had mostly everything to do with it. But outside of Earl Duckin, the big wigs and the and the and the and the, and, the, and the people talking a whole lot of shit. They almost didn't want to make this fight happen because. They believe people gonna stream the fight. They believe people ain't gonna buy the fight. So we need to support this fight. In order to ensure that fights of this magnitude continue to happen, bro. So you're not no 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 streaming no fight, bro. Maybe maybe you can't buy the fight in Africa. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the situation is. But you need to find a way to support this fight, bro. You cannot. This ain't no fight that you stream for free, bro. You know what I mean? We're gonna watch this fish get fried. We gotta pay for it. You know what I mean? If we wanna, if we wanna continue to see the best fight the best, then we gotta support. These types of fights, bro. This ain't no stream fight, my guy. I hear you, but this ain't no stream fight. Modern King Boxer, he say, y'all ready to cook this motherfucker? Oh, yeah, all day. I'm cooking this motherfucker, bro. I'm be talking hella shit the whole time. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, if you have disclaimer for anybody that got a problem with profanity, <laughs> you at the wrong motherfucking channel, right? All day, every day, bro. So I don't exit the building stage left if you got a problem with profanity. But let's keep it going, though. Modern King Boxer say, already let go team Crawford all day, every day, man. Y'all know how we get down, bro. Keep Pierre say Crawfish. I'm coming to that motherfucker belt. Yeah, five years later. Five years later. Five. I'm coming for that motherfucker belt five years later. You know what I mean? Bud done had this belt for five. Bud got more title defenses than Earl. Goddamn. You know what I mean? Five years later, you coming for that motherfucker belt, but let's keep it going, though. Keep Pierre say, Team Spears, stand up. Spears. <laughs> Team Spears stand up. That sound about right. That's actually a very, a very fitting name for the big jellyfish Earl Spence Jr. We're going to see that man get his ass whooped tonight, though. I'm ready for it. But let me scroll down to the bottom, man, real quick, man. And then we're going to get into some stuff here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we definitely got to open up the panel. Y'all already know what time it is. We got to open up the panel. Not right now, though. What I'm about to do right now is I'm going to react to some of the predictions from, you know, Different people who's calling the fight, 
or whatnot or different people, you know, who, who you know, people were asked to pick who was going to win between Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. So I'm going to be reacting to a lot of people's predictions for this fight. You know what I mean? And, you know, we're going to have some fun. I'm going to open up the panel later. We're going to watch some of these fights. The actual event starting in about five minutes. So we're going to watch this shit together. We're going to have a good time. And we're going to have a good old, good old fashioned fish fry, y'all. We're going to have a good old fashioned fish fry. Keith, yes, I think Bud is a cheater and KD is a duck. Keith, Keith, you don't want no smoke. You don't want no smoke, Keith. You don't want no smoke. You don't want no smoke, Keith. We already know what time it is. MKB over there laughing. Yeah, man. All day, every day. Keith talking about busted gloves. Is that the excuse you're going to use when Earl get his ass whooped, Keith? Is that what you're going to say? You're going to talk about busted gloves and shit? We already know. I, I know you niggas right now looking for excuses. Right, you Earl Spence fans. I know you niggas right now are, are looking for excuses. You you're looking for every little thing that you can use to justify why Earl got his ass whooped. I know what it is, right? The long layoff. It was the long layoff, KD. The busted gloves. There were no gloves busted in this fight. But it was in the Avenesian fight. He probably used the same gloves. I know you niggas coming up with any and every excuse that you could think of in order to justify why your guy Earl got his ass whooped. We already know what time it is. MKB say this dude smoking grasshoppers. <laughs> still in the super fight? Fuck out of here. Yeah, man. You can't be doing that, bro. Ain't no still in this kind of fight, fam. Ain't no still in this kind. Not this kind of fight. Now, Canelo versus Charlo, you can probably steal that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, you can steal that. that that's some bullshit. I mean, you, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, what's another fight you can steal? Uh, 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 just not this fight, bro. Just not this fight. <laughs> Just not this fight. This ain't a fight that you steal, bro. That's not what this is, bro. My guy G. Parker in the building, one of my day ones. What up with it, G. Parker? He say, salute everybody and King David. I need that formal apology and admission when Bud lose, fam. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, I, I mean, the only thing formal you're going to get from me is a written letter Asking you to apologize to the Terrence Bud Crawford community for all your transgressions, for all the slander and all the all the all the all the betting against the, the best fighter in boxing, the number one pound for pound fighter in boxing. I need a written apology from you, G. Parker. We already know, Mike. We already know. We already know. Eric going to get his ass whooped, Mike. We already know. We already know. Dino Bravo in the building. He say that's ridiculous. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, Dino Bravo 413. Gonna have to elaborate if you want me to respond to that. Justin Reed said, I get nervous when everybody picks the same guy, but I got Bud still for sure. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. When you when you when you break the fight down in the most logical sense, I mean, there's no way you can have anybody but a Terrence Bud Crawford winning the fight. There's just no way, right? Now, that's not to say that Earl Spence don't have a chance to win the fight because he does. Anybody with two hands. Got a chance to win a fight, bro. You you could you could land a punch, some can slide in there, you could hurt the guy, and, and 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 you could win the fight, right? But logically speaking, Terrence Bud Crawford is superior to Earl Spence in literally every way, shape, form, and fashion there is. He's a he's a better fighter. He just is, bro. There's no other way to really describe it. He's a better fighter, more speed, better power, better technical skills, better defense, right? Better boxing IQ, man. Come on, bro. Bud make the adjustments. At the same time, this man make the adjustments. He make the adjustments, but then he possesses every type, every skill type. So the adjustments that he, he he's 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 elite at every fighting type. And then he can make the adjustment to whatever fighting type you're weak at. Come on, bro. Like the most well-rounded, complete fighter there is right now in boxing is Terrence Crawford. Right. And then you got Earl Spence. You got a guy who's going to be a pressure fighter. Right. I mean, Bud has seen how many pressure fighters now at this point, bro. How many pressure fighter has pressure fighters? has? What is Earl going to do different? What is Earl going to do that Bud hasn't seen before? Right. And if I've seen it before, then I could prepare ways on how to stop it. Come on, man. Earl, man, listen, man, listen, 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 listen. Earl going to get his ass whooped, man. He gonna get his ass whooped. Like that in the building. What up with it like that? He say I got that 20 piece combo. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ill stat is boxing in the building. He say Bud in 10. Mark my words. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Keep Pierre say, I think you're smoking crack. 
<laughs> I don't know who you talking about, Keep Here. I don't know who you talking about, man, but you know what I'm saying? You know, we know you be capping anyway. You know what I'm saying? Dino Bravo 413, he say, Bud must get the KO. He ain't got to get the KO. He's just going to get the KO. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing about Bud Crawford, Dino Bravo 413. He ain't got to get the KO. He could easily win a fight by just outboxing Earl Spence for 12 rounds. He could do it. He, he could do it. He could do it. How many of y'all seen Crawford versus British Prescott? How many of y'all seen that fight, bro? <laughs> How many? Now, I'm not saying Earl Spence is British Prescott, but British Prescott, if you go back to that fight and you watch it, British Prescott was a far bigger fighter than Terrence Crawford at that time, right? Far bigger, far taller, far bigger size wise. He was just a way bigger guy, right? And in that fight, and, and then British Prescott is a puncher on top of that. So, you know how Earl Spence, a lot of you fanboys like talking about how Earl Spence is, Earl Spence is the bigger fighter. He's the bigger guy, right? You know how all you dudes like running your mouth about Earl Spence, how he's the bigger guy and all this old bullshit? Well, Breedis, Cost Breedis Prescott was a bigger guy and he was a puncher. See, Earl Spence ain't a puncher, puncher like that because he, you know, I mean, he goes 12 rounds. Every chance, every chance he gets, he's going 12 rounds with a guy, right? 12 rounds with Danny Garcia. 12 rounds with Sean Porter. 12 rounds with Mikey Garcia, right? 12 rounds. He's a 12-round guy. They should, they should change his name from man down to the 12-round guy, right? He's a 12-round guy, right? But Breedis Prescott was a puncher. He was a guy who was a puncher. One punch, and he knocking you flat out cold, Right? And Terrence Crawford knew that when he got in the ring with, with Breedis Prescott. He took that fight with Breedis Prescott, I believe, on two weeks' notice. So not only was he ill-prepared for the fight, not only was he the naturally smaller guy, not, not only was he the naturally shorter guy, right? But he wasn't prepared for the fight, and he went into that fight. He went into that fight uh, smaller. And what did he do when he got in there with British Prescott? He completely and utterly outclassed and outboxed him for 12 rounds. Completely and utterly outboxed and outclassed him for 12 rounds. The smaller guy, not prepared for the fight. They threw him in there, hoping that he was going to lose. They, it, he was really supposed to be food for British Prescott. He went in there knowing he couldn't get hit too much because British Prescott is a puncher. Went in there and completely outboxed the shit out of that guy. Made him look silly. Made British Prescott swinging that air and shit, punching the air, looking like old boy from Minnesota, uh, 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 boys in the hood when he was punching in the air, shit, right? That was the scenario with British Prescott, right? What Bud Crawford did to that man. So if Bud Crawford wants to, he can just outbox this shit out of Earl Spence for 12 rounds. He has the ability to do it. He can do it. He can do it. But Bud Crawford don't. He just don't like doing that shit. But he can fucking do it if he wants to. If he needs to, he can do it. He just rather knock your ass out, right? But if he want to outbox you, he can outbox you, right? So when Dino Bravo 413 say Bud must get the KO, he don't got to get the KO. He can outbox Earl Spence for 12 rounds and win a fight easy. 12 rounds to zip, right? But I know Bud ain't going to do that. He going to try to knock Earl ass out. <laughs> he gonna try to knock Earl ass out. He gonna try to pay Earl back for all the ducking, dodging, maneuvering, and, and pivoting this nigga been doing for the last five years. That's what he gonna try to do. He gonna try to punish Earl ass for offering him 60, 40, 70, 30, 80, 20, whatever I get. He gonna punish Earl ass for giving him a 65-35 split with no guarantee, no approval over expenses, in a B-side on a rematch when Sean, Mikey, Danny, Ugas all got at very least 40% with a guarantee. He going to punish Earl ass for that shit. He going to punish him for that shit. That's what it's going to be. You know what I mean? That's what it's going to be at the end of the day. He ain't, gonna, he ain't trying to outbox him. He trying to hurt Earl. I already know. It's that type of fight. But let's keep it going though. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. I was going up on here. My, it's definitely looking like Crawford kind of atmosphere at the MGM. Yeah, bro. All the all the goats, all the all the goats, man. They picking Bud Crawford to win the fight, bro. You know, I know these Earl Spence fans don't like it. I know these, you know, I know they don't like it. I know they mad. I know it upsets them. But 
these dudes are picking Bud Crawford to win a fight for a reason. Why is that? Oh, KD, you hating. So if, if it's just KD that's hating, why everybody picking Bud Crawford to be Earl Spence? Why all the legends picking him? Right? Why, 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 oh, why are the betting odds favoring Terrence Crawford? If KD hating, bro. Somebody make it make sense for your boy, bro. Somebody make it make sense for your boy. That's all I need. Somebody to just make it make sense for your boy. Mike, you know what I mean? Spence and Crawford are fighting. Who wins? I think after seeing their fight, Porter and Crawford, I think you've got to lean towards Crawford now. Sugar Ray with Spence and uh, Crawford. Thank you for it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Crawford is a bad boy, but Spence, you know, Spence, Spence is a pressure cooker, so. If he can maintain with Crawford early, then he can make a good fight. But if he ain't on his game, they might be right. <laughs> Crawford reminds me of me, bro. So I'm pretty sure you know how I feel about that. Ain't nobody else gonna say that, but I'ma say it. The way he approached that shit, he don't see none of them guys. He don't care nothing about none of them guys. He'll ha! Got he! Ha! Got he! Why you think the legends feel the way they feel? You think they all just hating on Earl Spence? Huh? They hating on Earl Spence, KD. They hating. Right? <laughs> I know it's an Earl Spence fan right now listening. Roy Jones just hating on Earl, that's all. <laughs> the fuck reason these dudes got to hate on Earl Spence Jr., huh? Shit makes zero sense. Zero sense at all. But you know what we gonna do, bro? You know what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead. We're going to listen to some predictions here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to listen to some of the predictions that some of the champs are, are, are making out here about the fight. And then I'm going to open up the damn panel. Here we go. Let's look at some predictions. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Sick of hiring setters that barely book calls for your business? Use AI instead. We use five different AI-driven systems to produce high quality. Who do you like? Who do you like on Saturday? Earl. Earl. You know, uh, I got relationship with both guys. Mm. You know, uh, I love them both dearly, like, like for real. But uh, you know, um, I'm with Earl. You know, I, I don't switch on my people. A lot of older generation. All right, so the first prediction is Adrian Broner. He say he would, Earl. <laughs> you know, it's funny with some of these PBC dudes when they picking Earl Spence to beat Terrence Crawford. You can tell that they mouth say they picking Earl, but they body language say they picking Bud. <laughs> and Adrian Broner is one of them, bro. Like, look at him. He don't even want to look nobody in the eye and shit. You know what I'm saying? He don't even want to. He looking down and shit like Earl going, Earl, Earl. Yeah, you going, Earl. He going to win the fight. <laughs> Earl, Earl. He going, yeah, Earl. I think he going to win the fight. Like, look at nigga in the eye if you going to make a prediction like that, fam. Don't nobody believe your ass, A.B. Your mouth saying Earl, but we all know your body language saying Bud. We know it. But you PBC niggas like sticking together like a like a fucked up gang, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You niggas like sticking together like a like a fucked up gang, you know. You'll ride and die with each other. And I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it, bro. I'm just saying just make it more believable. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying if you're gonna ride with Earl, make it more believable, A B. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. But let's listen to the rest of it. What A.B. got to say. He picking Earl Spence. A.B. is officially picking Earl Spence to, 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 to beat Terrence Bud Crawford. Uh, that's what he on right now. Here we go. They're about to say that they think Terrence Crawford is going to win because he got more tools in his that's, 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 that's not true. Earl can, Earl, Earl can do everything that Terrence can do. So is this the Earl we want to see this weekend? Man, what I'm trying to tell y'all. Hold up, A.B. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, AB. You don't believe that shit, bro. You know enough about boxing 
You know, you know, hold on, hold on. This shit done started a little bit. Hold on, hold on. So, so I don't know if y'all peeped this shit, but in one ear, see, I got my little ear pod where I can hear the commentary and shit. And then in my other, in my other ear, I can hear what the fuck going on over here. So hold on, let me get my other ear right. Let me get my other ear right. Okay, all right, I can hear what's going on with the fight now. Okay. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, this nigga AB talking about. This nigga AB talking about uh that Earl could do the same thing Bud could do. What? What? <laughs> what? what? AB, what? What are you talking about, fam? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, he can't. Hey, can can Earl counterpunch like Bud? Fuck no. Can Earl can can Earl can Earl work off his back foot and jab like Bud? He probably could do that. Maybe he did that a little bit against Mikey, but not at the level Bud do it. You know what I'm saying? Earl ain't got nowhere near that kind of slickness to be doing it, doing what Bud do in the ring. Stop the madness, AB. What in the fuck are you talking about? Right? Can 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 Earl pot shot like Bud? Fuck no. First of all, can Earl can Earl move his feet? Can he move his feet at all? Right? <laughs> All right, that might be a little too disrespectful. Can he move his feet like Bud? Absolutely not, AB. Absolutely not. So there's no way in hell that you could sit there, look no grown man in their face, and say that Earl can do everything Bud can do. Because we know that ain't true. We 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 know that ain't true, AB. Come on, bro. You know better than this goofy ass shit, bro. Let's keep it going on. Here we go. Oh, it's it's gonna be a gruesome fight. I I really I really just want hear right about guys. that. To, to leave the ring, sing, go home, love, and, and, and chill with their family. Have you sparked both of them? No, 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 but I had, I had wars with, with, with Earl. Earl, yeah. Real wars, too. <laughs> Dog house. Very quiet guy. People don't know him. People don't know him. Okay, strong. Well, that fight I see 50 uh, 50. That's what I see. So this is Bozy Ennis. So, you know, Bozy Ennis. He didn't make a good first impression with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, two things I want to point out about Bozy Ennis. First of all, Bozy Ennis is with the PBC. So please note, please note the body language of everybody who's affiliated with the PBC. Because it, it seemed almost like they contractually obligated in a lot of senses to ride with the other PBC fighter, right? <laughs> because if you look at Bozy Ennis, he moving around, he fidgety. His body language is really like, uh, yeah. I, I know what I, I'm thinking, but I don't really want to say what I'm thinking, you know, you know. But outside of that Bozy innocent itself, ever since that little thing came out where Bud sent this dude a contract, Bud, Bud tried to make the fight with Bozy Ennis and, and, or Jerron Ennis, and then these dudes said that, that they wanted to stay loyal to Showtime, right, but then revealed in the same moment that they ain't got no contract with Showtime, but at the same time turned down the biggest fight that the biggest fight that the biggest fight that would have been in their career, right? The biggest fight for their career turned down that fight in order to stay loyal to Showtime. For them to do that, it, it, he's not making a, it. It tells me that Bozy Ennis is not really good. He 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 he's he a smart man, but not that smart. That's what Bo, that's what I think about Bozy Ennis. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think about Bozy and he is he is smart man, but not that smart. You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't I? You a smart man, but not that smart. Bro, I'm So I take everything he kinda say with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? But here go Bozy in it. Let's keep it going though. Here we go. But if Crawford start off slow, like he normally do when he fight if you watch his fight, you see he always start off slow. If he does that with Spence, he's in trouble. You know what I mean, but Crawford, Crawford normally get hurt with a shot, but he recovered good. You know what I mean? <sighs> this dude must be watching a lot of Earl sexual fanboy channels. Like, like I don't understand why. If Bud start out slow, do y'all not understand that? First of all. When people say that Bud starts out slow, he's still winning the rounds. The first two, three rounds that that people say he's quote unquote starting off slow, he's winning the rounds, right? It ain't like he losing the rounds, <laughs> but he's starting off slow, right? 
Bud is just calculating. He's downloading the information. He's downloading the information that he got in front of him. So that way he can go ahead and figure out the best recipe to success. That's what he's doing. But when people say he's starting off slow, they try to make it seem like Bud is like loses the first two, three rounds. Like, no, he be one of them rounds nine times out of ten. Right. And then and then Earl starts off slow. Right. Like people say, oh, oh Bud, if Bud starts off slow, he, he he's in trouble. Earl starts off slow, too. Most Earl starts off slow, too. So you got two fighters that starting off slow. I don't understand how that's going to play any kind of role in what's going to happen in the fight. I don't get this analysis, right? Bozy Ennis don't make no sense when he's saying this shit, bro. It makes zero sense to me. If Buzz starts off slow, he's going to be in trouble. You heard that off of Earl's sexual YouTube channel. That's where you heard that shit from. Them niggas don't know what the fuck they talking about, and right now, Bozy, you sound like you don't know what the fuck you talking about if Bud starts out slow. If Bud starts out slow, what Earl going to do? Knock Bud out in the first round? Like, come on, make this shit make sense, bro. Is Earl going to catch some sort of unstoppable steam so much to the point where it ain't, Bud ain't going to be able to catch up? Like, first of all, they, they both gain steam as the fight goes on. Terrence Crawford is another fighter that gets stronger as the fight goes on, right? It ain't just Earl Spence Jr. So, Bud starting off slow isn't going to have any kind of any kind of bearing on whether what happens in this fight, right? Bud takes the first few rounds to figure out and download the information, figure out how he want to approach it. Does he want to approach it in orthodox? Does he want to approach it in southpaw? Should he use his jab more? Should he counter punch? How should he counter punch? Should it be over the top? Should it be down low? Should it go to the body? He uses the first two, three rounds in order to figure out what approach to take, right? Then he tries a few things in rounds four and five. He tries a few things. And then by round five and six, he got you completely figured out. That's how the fight is going to go. It's going to be your standard Bud Crawford fight. But I know a lot of Earl Spence fans don't want to admit that. I know a lot of Earl Spence fans got a problem with that kind of analysis. But let me go to the comment section. Let me see what y'all talking about. Ken James in the building. He said, whoever Bud going to get the Bud, whoever Bud going to get his ass fucked up. OK, let's go, Spence. Bro, come on. Who going to fuck him up? That's what I want to know. Who gonna fuck him up? Who gonna fuck him up? Let me check the poll. Let me see what the poll is right now, real quick, man. Before we keep going in the comment section, because we got a poll popping off, popping off right now. Who wins the big fight tonight? Right now, I got eighty-eight percent of everybody that says Terrence Crawford wins the big fight tonight, as it should be, right? And then I got twelve percent of everybody that says Earl Spence wins the fight. <laughs> that sounds like. The odds of Earl winning the fight tonight, to me, by 12%, 10 12%, something like that. Those are the odds Earl got to actually, to actually win the fight. You know what I'm saying? But let me see. We got a super chat here in the building. Okay. Jay Cooley coming through with the 999 super chat. He say we smoking all y'all ass tonight. Put, the, put his ass in the dirt. Hashtag put his ass in the dirt. Wow, Jay Cooley. Wow, wow, Jay Cooley. Wow. Wow, wow. But we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take that 999. We're gonna get us some boats and hoes. Oh, You know what I'm saying? You know, but it, you know, but you know what, Jay Cooley? You know, you niggas always say that shit. Y'all got y'all little catchphrases. But can none of you niggas ever break down how Earl Spence is actually gonna win the fight, right? <laughs> All you niggas always say is, is Earl gonna use his unstoppable jab, <laughs> right? And his pressure, right? The same type of pressure that Bud Crawford saw with Igus Kavaloskis. The same type of pressure that Bud Crawford saw with Sean Porter. The same type of pressure that Bud Crawford saw with Felix Diaz, and all of them niggas went to sleep. So Jay Cooley, why don't you take why don't you take your next comment and you break down to me how Earl Spence is actually gonna win the fight versus Terrence Crawford, right? He we smoking. How you smoking Bud tonight, right? How you smoking Bud tonight? That's what I want to know. How we smoking Bud tonight, Jay Cooley? Go on ahead, break that down one time for your boy, man. Break that down, break that down real quick for your boy. Here we go. Here we go. 
I done came back and say, oh, hell, here comes Jay Cooley. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. Modern King Boxer say he relentless boxer die. Yeah, he really is. He really is. Endure in the building. He say, wow. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I ain't got a YouTube in the building. He say, this shit made me feel old as hell. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show do. Show do. Show do. Ken James say, my nigga Spence gonna be smack smoking bud, that bud pack. Okay, bro. Go ahead. You you do the same thing in your next comment. Break down how Earl gonna beat Bud. That's what I want to know. You niggas got your catchphrases. Earl Spence is really good at making shirts and catchphrases. But somebody break down how he's actually going to beat Bud Crawford. What are he gonna use the unstoppable jab? He's gonna use that jab. The jab that Bud Crawford never seen before. The unstoppable jab that's gonna come a hundred jabs. It's gonna be a hundred jabs, KD. It's gonna be a hundred jabs around KD. Right? He's going to put the pressure. He's going to walk him down and he's going to beat him up, KD. Same thing Felix Diaz try to do? Okay. Same thing Sean Porter try to do? Okay. Same thing Igor Skabalowski try to do, huh? Okay. All them niggas went to sleep, didn't they? Show did. Show did. All them niggas went to sleep. All of them. But let's get back to the prediction. Let's get back to Bozy in us. Here we go. Look, and he got dropped by Kowalowski. They said it wasn't no drop, but it, you know they played the back and looked like this was dropped. Mm. And um, you see, that's the that's the mark of a Earl. That's the mark of a Earl Spence fan. When somebody brings up that Bud got dropped by Kowalowski, right? That's the that uh, when I hear that comment, that tells me that this person is a Earl Spence fanboy, fanatical fanboy, right? That's what that tells me. Because first of all, it wasn't ruled a drop. Right. So technically, you're incorrect by even making that statement in the first place. That's one. But two, you should never. Why, why bring that incident up if you're not going to bring up the times that Earl Spence got rocked? Right. And I'm hoping that that's what he brings up in his next comment. Right. You should talk about the time that Earl got slapped into the ropes by your Dennis Ugas. You should talk about the time that Earl got rocked by Emmanuel Larte. Two guys that I may add are non punchers. You should mention those times if you're going to talk about Bud, quote, unquote, getting dropped by Kavaloskis, right? You should talk about Earl getting slapped into the ropes by your Dennis Ugas, a guy with 10 knockouts, right? You should talk about that, right? Don't stop right here, Bozy Ennis. Talk about Earl getting slapped into the ropes by your Dennis Ugas. But let's keep it going, though. Here we go. Listen, he's a great fighter. Spence a great fighter. But Spence always start off the same way all the time. There's nothing different about him. You know what I mean? He's coming at you behind a jab and putting the combination together. Going to the body and then going to the head. Straight All right, Sean. That's how he said he come to he come the same way. He always come straight to the body. He coming at you the same time like that. Why you why y'all make it seem like that's a strength, like that's a good thing? That ain't a good, it ain't a good thing to be the same nigga every single fight. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing to be the same nigga every fight. If you're the same nigga every fight, all I gotta do is find the remedy to beat you. That style. Find the remedy to beat that style. Once I find the remedy to beat that style, once I take away what I perceive to be your best attributes and I I perceive them to be your best attributes because you do it every single fight. Once I find the remedy to take away your best attributes, what are you going to do then? What's going to be your plan B or your plan C or your plan D? Earl got all his eggs in one basket with this style of fighting, right? And he's going to be exposed tonight by Terrence Bud Crawford. But let's keep it going. The next person is Leo Santa Cruz, another PBC fighter, right? Note that all these PBC fighters are magically picking Earl Spence to win the fight. Of course they are, right? Their body language, their mouth is saying Earl, but their body language is saying Bud, right? And in the case of Bozy Ennis, real quick, you can tell that Bozy Ennis and Jerron Ennis perceive Bud Crawford to be the more difficult fight. You know why they perceive Bud Crawford to be the more difficult fight? Because these niggas took the IBF route, y'all. These niggas took the IBF route. 
why on God's green earth would you take the IBF route when you number three in the WBO and you know that Bud Crawford's Bud Crawford has fought every single mandatory that's been put in front of him, while on the other hand, Earl Spence hasn't fought an IBF mandatory since Carlos Ocampo more than three years ago. Right? That's how you know that these dudes feel like Bud Crawford is a tougher fighter than Earl Spence Jr. Because if you felt like Terrence was the easier fight, you would have went after him to begin with going the WBO route as opposed to going the IBF route with Earl Spence Jr. Right? But you know, it's typical of these PBC guys. But let's keep it going though. Leo Santa Cruz now, another PBC, PBC guy. And please note that Leo Santa Cruz is the same guy who has a very similar style to Earl Spence Jr., right? And their strategy is pressure, pressure, pe pressure. Block as many punches with your face as possible, right? <laughs> block, block, hit, and then try to hit more is what their strategy is, right? Block as many punches with your face as you possibly can. Hit, and then try to hit more than you get hit. And maybe I get, maybe my punches are more effective. Hopefully that's what it is, and I win the fight. Like, that's these niggas' style of fight, right? That's these niggas' style of fight. So please note that Leo Santa Cruz is a guy with a very similar style to Earl Spence Jr. Two guys who like to throw punches in bunches, not much power. But try to overwhelm guys with their pressure. Let's 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 take that into account before we listen to Leo Santa Cruz. But let's hear what he got to say. Tell here with the four division champion of the world, my man Leo Santa Cruz. And uh, Leo, man, out at the fights tonight. Who were you just watching? Uh, so uh, my fighter. You know, I was fighting uh, Anthony Cuba. You know, I came to support him. He's my fighter, great guy. So you know, he did his thing. He won the fight. You're you're in promoter mode tonight. Then. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, kind of like. I get in a fight then, get in a fighter, but yeah. You, uh, I, I saw you out of your seat for most of the fight, man. It's yeah, no, you know, I gotta go out there, you gotta support your stream at him, you gotta tell him what to do, what he's doing wrong. You know, I get nervous, but, you know, I have to do it. Is this what you'll be doing, you know, for a long time to come now? Or, yeah. you know, even when you're done fighting? Yeah, I think so. You know, I love boxing, so I think when I retired, I still wanna be in boxing, so, you know, I wanna get fighters, I wanna help them, I wanna, you know, because I know how hard it is boxing and other hard things that come to boxing, so I wanna, you know, tell them what to do and what to work. Yeah, and there's so much talent around yes. the area you've grown up at yes, in, in South, Southern California, right? Yeah, no, so, there is, yeah, and it, uh, even a little bit of my help, and my, you know, my, uh, me telling them, I think it helped them a lot. Right. Yeah. So, uh, but, but man, we, uh, but before we get to, you know, yeah. Crawford Spence, what's going on with you, man? I know a lot of people want to see you and Ray yeah. Vargas fight, yeah. so what's going on? I don't know right now, I'm just waiting for the date. I've been training, I've been training in the gym basically. So, you know, I'm just waiting for the date and hopefully, you know, I do with Vargas, but you know, anybody, I'm ready for whoever. Is, yeah. is there a chance it is Vargas next? I don't I don't know, there hasn't been talked about it, but I think, but I'm gonna put it out there, I'm gonna put it out there and hopefully it happens. Well, you'll be back before the end of the year, you think? Yeah, hopefully, that's our plan. I think we're trying to go back on October or November. Okay. Yeah. And, um, man, what, what do you think about the big one coming up, man? Who is your pick for Crawford and Spence? It's a great fight, you know. That fight is free. You don't even know who to choose because it's pretty, you know, even. It's 50 50 fight. They're both great fighters. But, you know, I got to go with Spence. You know, he's from our you know, team, so we got to go with him. That was Spence. But, you know, Crawford is a really great fighter. He throws a lot of punches, different angles. And I think he throws more punches than Spence. Another PBC fighter picking Earl Spence. What a shocker. <laughs> What a shocker. But I think Spence is stronger. I think he's stronger. And I think if he breaks him down, he could catch him and hurt him. You know, Spence has uh, got, got some similarities yes. to you, intelligent pressure. Yeah, course, yeah. What do you have to do against a great counter puncher with power, like Crawford? Yeah. You know, you enter with good defense, and you know, he's breaking him down, put pressure, pressure, and by always with a good guard. That's all they down, all these niggas know. Put pressure, pressure, put pressure, pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put your hands up, put pressure, pressure. Put pressure, 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 pressure. Put your pressure, put your hands down. Put pressure, pressure, just pressure. <laughs> oh, man. They keep it going, though. Yeah, Spence, I mean, uh, Robert throws with it. Hope because look, different angles, so you got to be prepared for the card. Uh, how much do you think the jab is going to win the fight for Spence? Well, he has to be, you know, good jab, good jab, because, you know, Spence is going to come and throw, so he got to keep him out in good distance and keep him outside. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. do, you, do you see it going the distance? 
I, I could see it going to decisions, but I, I feel it's going to go knockout. You know? They both have power, they're both great, so we're we'll probably knockout. Spence by knockout. Yeah, Spence, yeah, by knockout. Yeah. Man, that's not fair to just let me put it out there like that. Yeah, man, so first of all, man, he say Spence by knockout. Who was the last guy that Spence knocked out? Earl Spence couldn't knock out Mikey Garcia. He couldn't knock out Danny Garcia. He, he couldn't knock out Sean Porter. He barely knocked out your Dennis Ugas with four losses. Couldn't drop him one time. Barely stopped him. So how in the fuck do, does anybody figure that he's going to knock out Bud Crawford? Can somebody make this shit make sense for me? He couldn't knock out Sean. Couldn't knock out Danny. Couldn't knock out Mikey. But he's going to knock out Bud Crawford. He couldn't knock out fighters that were inferior to Bud Crawford. Right? Inferior both in style and resume. Right? Not only that, but those guys were, they had lost before. Like, they had losses on their resume. These weren't undefeated fighters. These weren't prime fighters, right? Danny Garcia was not good at welterweight, right? He lost to Sean Porter, who's the same guy that Bud Crawford stopped. Mikey Garcia had zero welterweight, zero welterweight experience at all. The nigga literally moved up two weight classes to fight Earl Spence. Literally. So he couldn't knock out a lightweight that moved up two weight classes to fight him. But he's going to knock out Bud Crawford. Dumbest prediction ever. Dumbest prediction ever. Yeah, and do I say barely because he didn't drop Ugas not one time. The only reason that Ugas was stopped was because of the eye. His eye got hurt in the fight because Earl hit him in the eye probably like 19,000 times. And then even hitting him 19,000 times still couldn't drop him. Still couldn't put him down. The doctor stopped Ugas because the eye, he was worried about the eye swelling up. That's why I say barely, and then that was late into the fight. Wasn't that like a ninth round, tenth round? He couldn't knock out Mikey Garcia, lightweight. And this was before the car accident. He couldn't knock out Danny Garcia. A Danny Garcia with a welterweight resume or welterweight record of six and three. He couldn't knock out Danny Garcia. He couldn't knock out Sean Porter, the guy that Bud stopped, but he's going to knock out Bud Crawford. The shit makes zero sense, bro. Am I saying that that shit is impossible? No, I'm not saying it's impossible. But for anybody to make that as a prediction, I gotta, I gotta believe that you're either a fanboy or you don't know what the you you don't know shit about boxing because you got absolutely nothing to base that assessment off of. You telling me Earl gonna knock out Bud when he couldn't knock out a lightweight? He couldn't knock out Mikey, but he gonna knock out Bud. Somebody gotta make it make sense, bro. But let's keep it going, though. Let's keep it going. Hold on. Let's keep it going. Let me look at some of the comments real quick, man. I see what's going on right now in the fight, man. Uh, 
Look like we just got to stop it early on in this thing. Thing looking pretty good. Starting out with knockouts. Tayez opening up the night correctly. DT414 life. He say he ain't fought. He ain't fought Bud who he should have, but Porter and he was not a champ. What? What are you even talking about? Uh, DT414 life. What are you even talking about? Fam? He ain't fought. So what do, you, what do you? He ain't fought Bud who he shouldn't have. But Porter and he was not a champ. So are you this this I hope you're not seeing what I think you're saying. Maybe you should drop something else, bro. <laughs> Maybe you should drop another comment. Cause I hope you're not saying are you saying are, are you saying that because Porter wasn't a champ at the time that Bud didn't fight him, that means he, he wasn't he wasn't Sean Porter, the same guy that Earl fought? Is that what you're trying to say? Like I'm I just really need to understand this shit. Does a cha- does a belt make you a different person? I just are you are you someone else when you have a belt? I just need to I need to understand this shit and just just for my own well being, you know what I mean? DT for he ain't fought nobody. He should have knocked out. Ugas. Fucking nobody. Who's Ugas? Who Ugas fought? DT414 Life. Who Ugas fought? And I want you to say Pacquiao so I can cook you. I want you to say Pacquiao so I can cook you. Who Ugas fought? Ugas had four losses when Earl fought him. What's up? My guy Donnie Pruitt in the building. What up with it, Donnie Pruitt? He say Bud and Six all day, every day. Bill's Boot Camp in the building. What up with it, Bill's Boot Camp? He say we at the end. Yeah, all day, every day, man. We finally caught that duck. We finally cornered. We finally caught that duck. What up with it, Bill's Boot Camp? DT414 Life say when it happens, you're gonna you're gonna like a casual and your credibility. Gone just like that, bro. I don't need. I don't even feel like I gotta respond to this, bro. I don't even feel like I gotta respond to this, bro. I ain't gotta worry about that. Cause bug gonna whoop his ass. Bug gonna whoop his ass. Bug gonna whoop his ass. Let me go to AC. Say too many dumbass trolls. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we ain't worried about the trolls, AC. We ain't worried about the trolls. The trolls gonna be the trolls. We ain't worried about the trolls, man. We're gonna see if they still able able to troll after tonight. You know what I'm saying? I want the trolls to stay in the building because I want the trolls to see what's gonna happen to that boy Earl Spence Jr. I just I want them to see what's gonna happen to that boy. So we ain't worried about the trolls, AC. Keep the trolls in the building. Nobody block none of these trolls. Unless it's some spam shit. Nobody block none of these trolls. Keep the trolls in the build in the building. Let them comment. You know what I'm saying? You can you can rebuttal that dumb shit, but let them comment. Because I want the trolls in the building to see what the fuck is gonna happen. I want to hear their explanations for why they got their hero Earl Spence Jr. got his ass whooped. My guy Eric McCullum in the building, he say, bud, about to fuck him up all day, every day. Bud gonna beat that ass, boy. My guy Cash in the building, what up with the Cash? He say, I'll give, them, I'll give them the Mikey one. Let's say Mikey just has a granite chin cool. What about Porter and Danny? Good, good, excellent point. But I don't even give them the Mikey one because Mikey coming up two weight classes, bro. Mikey was a lightweight. Mikey coming up from 135 to 147. That's supposed to be easy work. That's supposed to be easy work. How many dudes you know go up two weight classes simultaneously and are successful? How many dudes you know do that? How often does that happen and it goes well? 
Kell Brook went up two weight classes to fight Triple G. Triple G beat the shit out of Kell Brook and stopped him. Amir Khan went up two weight classes to fight Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez flattened Amir, Amir Khan. Nine times out of ten, when a fighter moves up two weight classes for another fight, the fighter that moves up gets his ass whooped because boxing weight classes mean things, right? Everybody knows this. Weight classes mean things. So I don't even give them Mikey. I ain't get I know I, I get the point that you're trying to make, Cash, but I don't even give a Mikey. You y'all don't get that. That's a lightweight. That's a lightweight. Y'all don't even get that. Why he ain't knock out Mikey? Why he ain't knock out Danny? Why he ain't knock out Sean? Bud knocked out Sean. Why Earl could knock out Sean? Oh, that wasn't the same Sean. Fuck up out of here, bro. You niggas is crazy as hell. Eric McCullough say Bozy so full of crap. He always talking shit. But he did say he willing to get a, get a title even after it's getting elevated, not actually winning in the ring. Yeah, bro. But let's go back to this, man. Let's listen to Antonio Tarr. Here we go. <laughs> I love both fighters. It can only be one winner. I've been liking Crawford for a long, long time. And I saw him early on. So, you know, I'm leaning toward him, but we don't know who's going to win this fight. I mean, I hope that this fight elevates both guys' game and we all see something great. You know what I mean? Uh, unfortunately, it can only be one winner. But hopefully, you know, this is the beginning of a trilogy. You know, they can split the first two and decide who the best fighter on the third one. You know what I mean? So, Sounds like you just give the edge to Crawford, that it's a very competitive fight in your very eyes. But what, what gives Crawford the edge in your – a lot of people talk about counter-punching and skills. We have what a, do you, Best kind of punch in the business. I just think um, when you look at what I've been able to see him do over his time period, it just seemed like he just can do more. Got more than a two shed. That's it. You know what I mean? But he's still going to have to deal with that. You ever you ever noticed that if a fighter is not affiliated with PBC, if they got nothing to do with PBC, they're picking Terrence Crawford. Y'all ever noticed that? The only fighters that are picking Earl Spence in this fight are PBC fighters. Why is that? Why is that that they, they're the only guys who believe that Earl Spence is actually going to beat Terrence Crawford? Everybody else is picking Terrence Crawford, right? If you're not from Texas and you belong to any other promotional outfit, you're picking Terrence Crawford to beat Earl Spence Jr., right? Antonio Tarver is no exception, right? We already knew where Antonio Antonio's Tarver's pick was beforehand with the other clip that I played. These dudes been picking Bud Crawford to beat Earl Spence for a long time now, all right? But why is that? That if they're not affiliated with PBC, automatically the pick seems to be a Terrence Bud Crawford over an Earl Spence Jr. But let's keep it going, though. Let's keep it going. That pressure. And that relentless assault that uh, Spence is preparing this morning, Saturday night. It's hard to get into a discussion and not like Terrence Crawford. So now we got Keith Thurman talking here. And Keith Thurman, <laughs> Keith Thurman got a history with Earl. He a PBC guy, but he got a bit of a history with Earl. Kind of a love-hate kind of thing right Earl he was ducking Earl to begin with then Earl turned around and started ducking him and then he said earlier or, or late, late he said uh, a few months ago that he was training in December for fighting Earl with August so it sounds like Earl kind of left him at the altar right is what it kind of sounds like right Earl kind of left him at the altar and he seemed like he a little bitter by that. He seemed like he a little bitter. He seemed like he ain't really fucking with Earl at this point after that whole type situation, right? So I feel like whatever he says is going to be, he probably ain't going to be speaking very highly of Earl Spence, but I feel like if you would have asked Keith Thurman this question six months ago, he would have been picking Earl Spence to beat Terrence Crawford. As a matter of fact, I'm sure there's a video of him picking Earl Spence to beat Terrence Crawford because he a PBC guy. 
But I wouldn't be surprised here if he picked Bud Crawford to be Earl Spence. Let's hear what he say. That's my opening statement, and I'm going to explain it. When we when we want to compare people, you know, we we want to see what they bring to the table. And Crawford is just one of those special individuals, one of those special kind of fighters, you know, where he dominated the 140 division. He's been he's been holding his own at 147, though it took him a while to get some great names under his belt. You know, he did fight Sean on the back end of Sean Porter's career, but Thurman fought Sean. Didn't stop him. Hold on, hold on, Keith. I'm not going to let you say this bullshit. He said he fought Sean on the back end of his career. Well, maybe you can say that because you fought Sean at the prime of Sean's career. Well, you fought Sean after a kill Brook loss. So you weren't even the first person to beat Sean. Anyway, you fought what a lot of Earl Spence fans would consider a better version of Sean Porter. Right? But I will not allow you to say that Bud fought a lesser version of Sean or Bud fought a Sean that wasn't as good as the Sean that fought Earl Spence because both Seans were at the end of their career. Like, I'm going to need some 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 uniformity here. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to be telling me that Bud fought Sean at the end of his career, I'm going to need you to keep the same energy for Earl Spence because he fought Sean at the end of his career as well. Earl Spence actually said he was going to retire before he fought Earl as well as Bud Crawford. So I just need you to keep the same energy, Keith. That's all I need right now. But let's keep it going, though. Uh, Spence fought Sean. Didn't stop him. Terrence Crawford. Stop Sean Porter. Boop boop. Makes makes you, makes you get get you get some cool points on this side. Boop boop boop. You get you get five star rating. Boop boop boop. You know what else? He's a light guy. He brings speed. He brings agility. You know something that I believe Spence has never seen. I always said Spence has not seen an an athletic boxer like Crawford or. Thurman. Now that is a very accurate, accurate, accurate analysis. That's exactly what I was saying. He has not seen a style. He has not seen anyone who can move around the ring and use lateral movement. He's seen guys who can move his move their legs. Sean Porter can move his legs, but Sean Porter moves frontwards and backwards. He doesn't move laterally. Right. Keith Thurman moves laterally. Terrence Crawford can move laterally. These dudes can move laterally, giving them extra dimensions or added dimensions to what their game is. The angle, the, the lateral movement creates different angles that Earl Spence hasn't seen yet. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Keith Thurman made an excellent point here by saying that. Earl hasn't seen that, but not only is he going to be seeing this style for the first time, but he's going to be seeing an elite level guy at the, with this style. He's not going to be just seeing any guy who can use lateral movement. He's going to be see he's going to see one of the best, one of the one of the guys that utilize the best lateral movement. He's going to be seeing a guy with elite level lateral movement and angles. But he hasn't seen lower level guys with that kind of skill set, right? So how is he supposed to go in there with a guy with elite level lateral movement and angles that he hasn't seen before and somehow fill the gaps in? Somehow make he, he already don't make adjustments, but how is he going to account for that lack of experience at the top level? How is he going to make up for it? Earl's lack of experience is going to be another contributor to his loss and his utter destruction and decapitation tonight. So Keith Thurman made an excellent point here by talking about the fact that Earl hasn't seen this type of style yet. I believe that this is what this is why Keith Thurman 
later on in his career was so desperate to try to get in the ring with Earl Spence because he, he, he sees what I'm seeing. He sees Earl feet stuck in the mud. Right? Honestly and truly, bro, if Earl got in the ring with Keith Thurman right now, although I would pick Earl Spence to win, I'm not sure he looks good winning. I'm not sure he looks good winning. I say that shit again. I'm not sure he looks good winning. I'm not sure he, Keith Thurman gets steamrolled like what a lot of you niggas say he gets steamrolled. I would say that that's a pick em fight. I would say that's a pick em fight. I wouldn't be surprised if Keith Thurman was still a fight. Seven rounds to five. I wouldn't be surprised if Keith Thurman could still a fight from Earl Spence seven rounds to five by just using his boxing IQ, using his lateral movement, using angles that Earl Spence hasn't seen before. I wouldn't be surprised. Right. But let's keep it going, though. Let's keep it going. Period. It's not can he beat these guys? He's never seen them. So once again. The boy's athletic. He's a switch hitter. Lefty, righty, lefty, righty. He can do what he wants when he wants. I grew up with Crawford. We were at the same national tournaments. I know he, him and Spence, both elite amateur pedigree, you know? But when you're stacking the chips, Spence has that elite amateur pedigree, solid fundamental boxer, very fundamentally sound. And sometimes that's all it takes to win. Sometimes it ain't going to be so flashy. Sometimes, you know, and that's, that's the debate here. Can a solid fighter like Spence, who when you talk about him, there's not a lot to be said. He was an Olympian. He's dominated the welterweight division. He has great defense, a, a fantastic jab, and can work the body well. But when you, when you stack these attributes, they only reach so high. As you continue to talk about Crawford, it seems like he has more. But like I said, you know, the smartest in the world have some of the simplest solutions to a complex problem. Oh, the first day that we signed up for Monday.com, our department was already. Okay, so Keith never got them. Already able to connect. Hold our... on, y'all. Keith never actually picked nobody. <laughs> Keith never actually picked nobody. He said all that shit, but he ain't even picked nobody. <laughs> he said all that shit, and he ain't even picked nobody, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's keep it going, though, man. My guy, Modern King Boxer, coming through with the $2 Super Chat. He say, catching a fish is civilized today. All day, every day. All day. All day, every day. It's a celebration with my guy, Modern King. The celebration! Come on. It's a celebration, man. It's showtime for your titties. Rick James. Rick James, man. Show my guy MKB your titties. All day, every day, man. All day, every day. Y'all know what time it is, man. My guy Donnie Pruitt came through with a $10 super chat. He say, attention all aerosexuals after the fight. We will be offering wellness checks and counseling for free to sign up for this free service. Dial 1-800-FISH-FRY. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Donnie Pruitt. <laughs> We're going to be doing wellness checks on you niggas, man, all day, every day, man. <laughs> We're going to take this $10. We're going to get us some boats and hoes, man. Y'all know what I'm Drinking sangria, nachos, lemonheads, my dad's boat. You won't go down because my dick can float. Appreciate you, MKB, for coming through with the, with the, with the $10 super chat, man. All day, every day, man. All day, every day. 
all day, every day, man. Let me go to the comment section. Let me see what y'all talking about. Keep your ear talking about Bud looks scared. How Bud looks scared? Come on, man. Bud ready to, to, to fry some fish. I don't know what the hell you got going on. Keep your ear. I see Bud show up in the arena and AJ. Yeah, I just seen it too, man. They both in the arena, man. Earl actually showed up. I wasn't all the way confident he was going to show up tonight, man. I ain't going to lie to you, man. Probably about 20% of me was like, I think Earl I think Earl going <laughs> to. I think Earl probably on the first flight back to Dallas. I don't know, man. I don't know if he coming. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he coming. My guy MKB say, we watch world championships and top elite prospects. Yeah, all day, every day, man. All day. Man down strap season. Yeah, right. Man down. When's the last man down? Ain't been a man down since Ocampo. I don't even know. He need to change that saying. Like I said, he need to, he need to change his name to all 12 rounds. All 12 rounds. Unanimous decision. Maybe you can call this up unanimous decision. <laughs> Not no damn man down, man. Modern King Boxer say, Rigo nip Nonita, uh, Nonita ass in the bud. Yeah, man. He beat the shit out of Nonito Denaire. It's, a, it's surprising to see no Nito Denaire still in the motherfucking ring, though. But let's talk a little bit about this fight, man. How long? And then we'll go back to the uh to the to the shit going on right here, man. But uh look like this fight finna take place, man. No Nito Donaire is getting ready to fight Santiago. So I ain't never really seen Santiago fight, y'all. I don't really y'all tell me about Santiago. Who y'all got picking? Who y'all picking in this fight with Santiago? Turn this light down, goddamn. She got me. Oh shit, I ain't gonna turn it off. Here we go. No Nito Donaire. I commend him for fighting this long. I mean, you know what I mean? I really feel like after he lost in the in a way that he should have retired, but he's still here, I guess, trying to win another belt before he retires. Santiago looked like he boxing pretty well using that jab. I like how he's using that jab right now. He has the shorter reach, so I don't really, I'm not really sure about this approach. Him trying to fight off his back foot, Santiago. This is my first time seeing Santiago fight. You know what I'm saying? It's my first time seeing him fight. Who y'all picking in this fight? And I need Donaire and Santiago, man. Who y'all got in this? Oh, hell. Now, Nito Donaire look like he applying some pressure on Santiago. Santiago look like he got cornered just now in the ring. I don't like this approach, though, from Santiago, man. He's over there trying to fight off his back foot, but he doesn't really have the reach advantage. He's looking pretty good, though. He's landed some shots. He landed a nice little shot to the body on Donaire. Donaire ain't utilizing his height correctly. He's leaned in. He looked like he ripe for an uppercut to me. That was nice. Okay. Came with the jab with the over the top. I'm not mad at it. Okay, I like the leaping left hook by Santiago. Okay, I like the little one two by Santiago. Okay, in that first round, I'm not really like super sold on Santiago, but I like some of the skills that he's showing. I feel like uh with Santiago. I feel like attribute wise, he's at a disadvantage as far as like his reach and his height. 
but he seems to still be able to to utilize the moves like he's a, and it, it partly is because of Nodito Donaire and his his inability to utilize those attributes the right way. So Santiago was able to actually control the pace, I think, for most of the fight. I think he landed the cleaning shots in that first round. Um, he did a few things that I really like. I saw him uh, throw out a leaping left hook. Look like he's changing the levels. I saw him go to the body a few times. See him land some, you know, land some jabs. He was pretty active. Let's see what happens, though. Let's see what happens. Okay. I like what I'm seeing from Santiago right now. Okay. Santiago is giving him some lateral movement. He's keeping Donaire. He's fighting off his back foot right now. Throwing double jabs. I'm not mad at it. A little bit of lateral movement. Changing the looks. He just threw, he just popped shot. He just led with his right hand. Not bad. Ain't mad at it at all. Okay, one, two by Santiago. All right. I'm not mad at it. Ooh, threw a nice little leap and level hook by Santiago. Not mad at all. Ooh, a nice little one, two by Santiago. He catching on Nito Donaire slipping. Not mad at it at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, no need all done there. Just landed a nice one, too. Got to be careful. Got to be more careful, Santiago. Got to be more careful. Look at this shit. Oh. Okay. Santiago reaching a little bit. He got to be careful. Okay. Nice little left hook by Santiago. Okay. Nice little overhand right by Santiago. Nice jab. Okay. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Little lateral movement. Some different levels. I like it. Little head movement. I'm not mad. Keep it going. Okay. Don't now just land on the right hand. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. Kendall Cody say, Donaire, I'm afraid he stayed in too long in the game. You got to know when to hold him. You got to know when to fold him. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. He's looking a little lethargic right now in the ring. He still looks competitive, though. I wouldn't say he's getting his ass whooped right now, but he's definitely losing the fight, in my opinion, right now. Okay. Nice little overhand right by Santiago. Okay. Nice little left, right hook, left hook. Nice little left hook to the body by Santiago. Nice left hand, right hand by Santiago. Santiago doing a good job, bro. I ain't mad at him right now. I ain't mad at him. Okay, so they about to show the odds right now for the fight. This shit interesting. Crawford is minus 150. And Spence is plus 120. So Crawford is still the favorite right now on DraftKings. Right? What y'all Earl Sexuals got to say to that? What y'all fanboys got to say to that, man? Why is Bud Crawford the betting favorite out here? Oh, hell no. Nah. There we go. That's better. Why is Bud Crawford the betting favorite? Keep here capping again. Keep somebody. You don't know nothing about boxing. That's why you go with Bud. <laughs> Is it right? Well, we're going to see tonight who know nothing about boxing. 
Keith, you're going to be one of the first people I demand an apology from right now, Keith Pierre. You're going to be one of the first people. Oh, shit, my guy C's in the building. What up with it, C's? He says it's about to be a cold night for you Earl Spence fans. Cherish your last few hours. Yes, you should. Yes, you should cherish your last few hours. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. Okay, so now we got uh, Santiago right now on his back foot. Okay. Woo! Nice overhand right by Santiago. Now Santiago got him caught. Ooh, he got caught. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, he get caught with them left hands by Donair. Or them left hooks. My bad. God damn it. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Oh. He got hurt. Donair need to jump on him, bro. You might not get another opportunity like that. Oh, Donair caught him with another left hook. Okay, Donair. Okay. Donair need to jump on him, bro. I don't know if he's tired. I don't know if he punched drunk. I mean, not punched drunk. Um, I don't know if he's tired. I don't know if he punched out. Ooh, landed a nice little right hand by Donair over the top. Ooh, Donair goes to the body. Donair landed another left hook. He's starting to land them left hooks at will now. That's not what you want to do if you're Santiago. Ooh, Donair landed a nice left hook to the body. God damn. That shit look like it hurt. Landed right in the goddamn gut. Donair lands an overhand right. Okay, the tides are turning. Real quick. Real quick. Ooh. Santiago with the left, the leaping left hook. I'm not mad at it. He's staying game with it. Donair better be careful. Actually, uh, Santiago better be careful. He got caught with a nasty ass left hook just now. Oh shit! God damn. Okay, Santiago game. Oh, he caught down there in that last little exchange. Okay. All right, this fight heating up, bro. I ain't mad at this fight right here. When I first seen Nito Donaire on the card, I was like, oh, man, here we go with this dumb shit. Because honestly, I feel like this card, this card should have had uh, Frank Martin versus uh, Keyshawn Davies on there. That, this, that fight should have definitely been on this card. Jerron Ennis should be on this card. Like the like, I don't understand what the what, how the PBC thinks. Like I don't I don't get I, I don't get their mindset. What they when this is obviously like a super fight. Like why would you not want to put your 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 brightest up and coming stars on the undercard? Because it's, they're gonna have the most eyes on them. I don't understand why you would not do that. Instead, you got Nonito Donaire in the undercard. Like what the fuck? Why, bro? I don't get that shit. They marketing plan is booty cheeks to me, bro. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe, maybe them fighters want to be uh, on their own card, but still, you make them go on the undercard for this shit, bro. Frank Martin should be on this shit. Jerron Ennis should be on this shit. Demetrius Andrade should be on this shit, bro. These, dude, these dudes should be on this shit. Leo Santa Cruz. Was on all of Floyd Mayweather undercards. Canelo Alvarez was on all of Floyd Mayweather undercards. And what happened with them? Them dudes all ended up being big stars. Because they got the exposure that they needed in order to make them a big star. But instead they got Nonito Donaire on the undercard. For fucking what? But it's a good fight though. I ain't mad at it. It's a good fight. But I just don't get how these niggas be thinking bro. I don't get how they be thinking. Okay, so Santiago. Don't need don't there look way bigger than this dude. God damn. <laughs> don't there look like six inches taller than this dude? Like he look like he could be Donair's son or some shit, bro. That's how much taller Donair is than this dude, bro. Taller and just bigger.
Don't they? Oh, oh, oh! Okay, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it at all, goddamn. Okay. Oh, down there just landed a little, little left hook in between Santiago punches. I'm not mad at it at all. I'm not mad at it. Down there throwing a little double jab in there. Mmm, good right right hand to the body by Santiago. Okay. Santiago is having to reach a lot more now. Maybe Donaire is starting to learn his distance a little bit better. That's what it looked like to me. Okay. Oh. They're trading jabs at this point. Oh. Santiago need to stop trying to trade hooks with Donaire. Okay. Good right hand by Santiago. I think Santiago won that round, that last round. That was a good round by Santiago. I'm not mad at it at all. He got to be careful, though. Got to be more careful. Because that last round, he almost got stopped. Goddamn. Mo got stopped that last goddamn round, bro. X X C P R P P R T P. He say Santiago hand speed. Is keeping him in this fight, yeah, bro, for sure. Definitely keeping him in his in this fight. And I also like you know the hand speed. I think is part of the reason he's even able to fight that way because this dude is the much smaller, f physically smaller guy, but he's fighting off his back foot, you know, which is really not the direction, not the way you're trying to go when you're fighting a guy that's much bigger than you. You're really trying to fight more on the inside because that's where your advantages are, you know, but. He got some good hand speed in there, you know. I like some of the combinations he was able to throw. Um, but I see him getting hit by way too many live hooks by Donaire. And that's, you know, I would think that he would have trained that his whole training camp to stay away from that left hook. But he, I seen him get hit by it like four times in that last round. Four, five goddamn times. Yeah, that ain't the move. <laughs> <laughs> Backyard prophets like this car is PBC trash. <laughs> yeah, man, it this ain't the best car, bro. It really ain't. It really ain't. It really ain't the best car. It's really not. It's really not. It's all right. They put some I right fights on there, but I, I just don't get why. Maybe maybe the fighters with names um want too much money and they only had a certain budget for the undercard, but I I don't get it. I don't, I, I don't, if I'm Jerron Ennis or if I'm one of these up, if I'm like Rashidi Ellis, Rashidi Ellis could have been another dude that could have been on other card. Why, why is Rashidi Ellis not on this card? He's coming off of a loss. Like, why is Demetrius Andra not on this undercard? Like, what, why we can't get these dudes fights on these undercards? But you, we got no Nito Donaire. Why, bro? You know? It would have been nice to see these dudes on the undercard, man, and, you know, and have a few showcase fights for them to get them more exposure to the to the casual fan base. Jerron Ennis should be on this card. Frank Martin should be on this card. You would you would think that Frank Martin would be on the card considering that Earl Spence is in the motherfucking main event. That's his that's that's his promoter, Earl Spence. Why would Earl Spence like Mayweather put every y'all and this is how much of a boss Mayweather was. Mayweather 
with Mayweather Promotions, when he would have big fights, he would put all his fighters on his undercard. That was part of the that was part of the 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 thing that you had to agree to if you were trying to fight Mayweather. You got to agree to have all his fighters on the undercard. When you saw a Mayweather pay per view, you saw goddamn Jay Leon Love, you saw goddamn Bottle Jack, you saw all these other motherfuckers that on Mayweather promotion that you didn't necessarily care about, but they were with Mayweather Promotions. So they're gonna be on his undercard and they're gonna get that exposure, goddammit. But Frank Martin, who's supposed to be Earl Spence's fighter, ain't on the undercard. Ain't he's not able to get this the exposure from the biggest fight in boxing? Come on, bro. Oh, Bud Crawford can get an interview right now. Bud say he ready. He say he ready. Bud taping his own hands, bro. Real motherfucking G. You know who else taped their hands? Manny Pacquiao. He taped his own hands. Boy, Bud Crawford look like he getting ready for war, boy. That boy got that look in his eyes like, I got the taste for fish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got the taste for fish. What's up, baby? My baby over here watching the fight. <laughs> Oh, okay, Santiago coming through with the, uh, Santiago look like he done took back the pace of the fight from Donair. Maybe Donair done gassed out. I don't know what it is. He had Santiago hurt early in the fight. That would have been his time to motherfucking jump on Santiago to get him up out of there. But Donair might have let this fight slip away just now because Santiago looked like he got his second win. Oh, goddamn nasty uppercut. Uh, uh, woo. Shit. Ah, damn. Don't never look like he gassing right now, y'all. He look like he gassing. He look like he fading right now, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. Ooh. I like a headbutt. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, shit. Oh. Them left hooks coming out of nowhere, bro. You gotta be careful with Don't there. You got to be careful with them, but damn, Santiago started touching them to the body, but you got to always be wary of them left hooks by Donair. You can't get too comfortable. Donair's still a live dog, even though he faded. Nice hook to the body by Donair. Good shit. Good shit by Santiago. Threw a nice little combination on the inside. Santiago hanging out. He, he look like he's starting to change. He changed his style a little bit. I see him coming forward a little bit more, fighting on his front foot. Okay, so it look like he got a few dimensions to him. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh shit. Ooh. That was a good little round right there, man. What y'all think about that round? Who y'all think won that last round? 
Who y'all think won that last round? I got MKB say, we only two fights away. All day, every day, man. Fucking right. <laughs> Fucking right, MKB. Fucking right. You know what I'm saying? XC, PR, TP. He said, yo, Bud is ready. Yeah, he ready, bro. Bud ready. Bud rapping his own hand. He taping his own hands slowly, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get ready for war. Like, you know them dudes who, you know what I'm saying? They cocking their guns, getting it ready, loading their bullets up, getting it ready. Well, that what Bud look like, man, right now, bro. Star Platinum say, I'm glad I bought this. Yeah, yeah man, you got to buy this type of shit, man. You got to buy this type of shit, man. You got to support the fighters all day. I look like the fight back on, y'all. The fight back on right there. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Woo, okay. Nice little leaping left hook by Santiago. Okay. Good lead right hand by Santiago. Nice jab. He's blocking the jabs, but nice. He's keeping them hands. Keeping the keep them hands. Keep Darnell. Oh, 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 do a nice little four punch combination by Santiago. Santiago getting busy with them hands right now, bro. Ah, they done, they done, they done slowed it down, goddammit. They done slow, they done slowed it down, goddammit. Look like they could look clash of heads, a little blood on there. Santiago cut. Santiago got a little cut, man. Kendall Cody say, Father, Father, uh, Father, damn time, don't give a fuck about what you're trying to get done in life. He said, I'm coming. <laughs> don't they hang in there, though, man. But you know, right now, he getting touched up, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's, he look like he's starting to gas out a little bit, bro. Maybe that's what it is. We'll see. Ooh. Nice lead hand by Donair. Good double jab by Donair. Okay. Ooh, good right, good right hand lead by Santiago. Good double jab. Great double jab. Okay. Four jabs in a row by Santiago. I like it. A little bit of lateral movement. Give him some movement. Give him another look. Another angle. Santiago switching angles. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving what I'm seeing. More lateral movement. Let's go. Okay. They're trading jabs, but don't near jab one because he's a longer fighter. That's why I don't. That's why, you know. Ew, good left, left, leaping left hook by Santiago. Santiago catches him over the top. Don't ever look like he's fading here, bro. He's getting out boxed right now. I got to say Santiago more than likely winning this damn fight. I got to I gotta say Santiago probably winning this damn fight, bro. I got to say. Mm-hmm. Don't there look like he see the openings, but he just not the reflex. The reflexes aren't there in order to throw the punches. Is what it looked like. Don't their face already bruised up. Ooh, okay. They traded left hooks, trading jabs right now. Ooh. Master Allah, Ali say, uh, Allah says, I'm not going to lie, this is a good fight. Yeah, it is a good fight, bro. It's a real good fight. <laughs> it is a good fight. <laughs> King Tape animated this here. Hey, man, that's just me, bro. I be, you know what I'm saying? When I be watching this fight, these fights, I be I be acting a damn fool. Wait till the fight come on. Wait till motherfucking Bud and Earl come on. You're going to be seeing me act a whole goddamn fool. Y'all stay tuned, bro. I'm telling you. And I ain't even got no drinks in me. Baby, can you um pass me one of those, <laughs> those beers, please? Thank you, baby. I ain't even got no drinks in me yet, y'all. Wait, <laughs> wait till I get some drinks in me. Huh? 
Trae y ahí. ¿Yo en Inan? Can. Yeah. <laughs> my guy Star Platinum in the video. He said, I got my drink. <laughs> I ain't, I'm fucking with it. I ain't mad at it at all, man. I ain't mad at it at all, man. I'm finna get my drink. Normally, I would have already had some by now, but I don't know. I forgot, actually. Shit, I was like, I was like, uh, feeling kind of parched, but <laughs> I couldn't, like, it didn't compute in my brain that I didn't have no drink. So. I heard the fridge. The, something about when the fridge door open, that trigger, it triggers you wanting to drink. I don't know why. That's what just happened just now. My lady opened the fridge and I was like, drink. I want to drink. Donair doing a lot of waiting right now. He's doing a lot of waiting. What well, they say you're supposed to be first. That is not what he's doing. Thank you, baby. That is not what he's doing right now. Good left hook by Santiago. Good left hook by Santiago. Santiago, the busier fighter right now. The more active fighter. Controlling the pace right now. Good one, two. Good one, two, three, four by Santiago. Santiago controlling this fight right now. Santiago controlling this fight. Woo. Ooh. Ooh. Good uppercut by Santiago. Ooh, good left hook by Santiago. Donaire might get stopped if he don't do something. Ooh, good right hook by Santiago. Good body shot by Santiago. Santiago is changing the angles. Ooh, he might stop Donair, bro. Oh, Lord. Here it come, y'all. Donair might get stopped tonight, bro. This ain't looking good. Good jab by Santiago. Good jab by Santiago. Good right hook, right hand to the body. Good left hook. Double left hook by Santiago to the same spot. Donair looking bad right now. He's looking gassed. He's looking slow. He's looking lethargic. He's not throwing no punches. He just threw a few just now, but way too far in between in between punches for Donair. Claire Earl about to do a little interview right now. Let's let's hear this bullshit. All right. Eric like been crying his eyes out. <laughs> like been crying. And excited. What game plan? Talk about he need to focus on the game plan. You mean just keep punching? <laughs> That's Earl game plan. Just keep punching. <laughs> Earl game plan is just keep punching. <laughs> no matter what happens, just keep punching. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no matter what Bud do, just keep punching. That's the game plan. Anybody you want my ear pod so you can hear it? Or do you want to hear it or no? Because I know it puts you to sleep. Mm. 
follow the game plan. I ain't got no goddamn. Earl ain't got no goddamn game plan. <laughs> Just keep punching. <laughs> That's the game plan. A little goddamn game plan. Woo! So, okay, Santiago getting busy, y'all. He getting busy. He getting busy. Woo! Good luck book by Santiago. Go overhand right by Santiago. Mm. Good job by Santiago. Good left hook by Don't there in between. Don't there. Oh, oh shit. You got oh shit. Oh shit. He hurt Santiago bad, y'all. Bro, he got Santiago legs wobbling like a motherfucker right now. Santiago looking like baby in this bitch right now, y'all. Oh, Lord. I don't know why Donair ain't jumping on him in these moments, bro. You losing the fight, fam. You losing the fucking fight. And look, Santiago already look like he recovering, bro. See, Donair need to retire. He probably would have beat Santiago in his prime. But right now, he might lose his fight. He just hurt Santiago bad just now, y'all. He just hurt him bad. And then instead of jumping on him, which is what you should do in that moment, this nigga just, he, he acting like ain't nothing happened. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. They trading jabs right now, y'all. Ooh, don't there light at the end of the nice leaping level hook. Ooh, good over the top by don't there. Ooh, good right hand by don't there. Okay, Donair look like he caught his second win now. This is a good fight, y'all. Good left hook right hand. Good over top right hand by Santiago. Santiago look like he don't like that. Woo! Good over good by Santiago. Santiago digging to the body. Santiago, Santiago he trying to steal this round, goddamn. Santiago stole that round. He was losing that bitch earlier because he kind of got hurt, but I think he might have... I think he might have won that round, y'all. Think he might have won that round. Let me see what y'all talking about, man. Star Platinum say good round. Yeah, it was a good round. Modern King Boxer say I will watch. I will watch, but I'm enjoying this live. <laughs> like you got to turn on the TV and then turn the, the volume down on the fight. And then, you know what I'm saying, listen to the live too on top of that, y'all. Star Platinum say Santiago going on. Mango Juice say Santiago going on. Star Platinum say Santiago kind of tight right now. Modern King say Donair Oss <laughs> be trying though. He do be trying. Donair with the flash punch. Yeah. Ray Hardy say Crawford by TKO all day, every day, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. MKB say I'm getting lit first. I ain't mad at you, MKB. <laughs> I ain't mad at you at all, bro. I'm getting it in as we speak. Okay. Oh, oh. Santiago just threw a nice little three-punch combination. Santiago with a double jab. Santiago giving some lateral movement now. I like it. I like it. I like it. Steve Farhood got Santiago up. Damn. He got Santiago up, up 89-82. Hey, baby, you mind turning the AC down to, like, uh, probably, like, 69? Okay. Is heat on cool? Oh. I'm up here getting hot, goddamn. It's getting hot! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's getting hot! Uh, might be because I'm live too, though. 
but also the fight, goddamn. Ooh, Santiago with a nice three punch combination. Santiago with a leaping level hook. Santiago with a nice right hand. Nice. Santiago give him some lateral movement. A little bit of angles. A little bit of angles. Santiago with a double jab. Down there, nice lands a nice little jab in the middle. Good lateral, good lateral movement by Santiago. Santiago. Controlling the distance right now. Controlling the distance. You're controlling the distance. Santiago with a nice jab. Huh? No. You can sit there. Santiago controlling the distance. Santiago controlling this fight, y'all. Hey, Santiago controlling this fight. They in round 10, Don Vaughn. Oh, no, uh, Modern King, they in round 10. Gotta be almost over. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Steve Fargo over here sounding lame as shit. Tell me I don't want no problem, want no problem. Don Vaughn said his age showing, yeah, bro. He, been ga he done gassed out a few times in this fight already. He didn't gassed out a few times in this fight. Modern King Boston say far hood cards be hot garbage. <laughs> okay, Dame Little at the fight, y'all. Come on. Dame coming to Miami on y'all last, bro. You know what I'm saying? We went in the rain this year, god damn it. Keith Thurman on camera right now, y'all. Keith Thurman. Fuck wrong with this dude, man. Stop playing them saying motherfuckers take off work to watch boxing. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Thanks. Damn Lillard. Don Vaughn say nobody should be streaming this fight. Facts. Facts. Nobody should be streaming this fight, Don Vaughn. Let they ass know. Let they ass know, D. I paid eighty four ninety nine for my goddamn pay per view. I thought it was seventy five. Goddamn it, it was eighty four. I don't know if uh, Showtime upcharged my ass. I don't know what it was. Them niggas added a luxury tax. I don't know what the fuck happened. My shit was eighty four ninety nine. Goddamn it. Ooh, no, Donair not in the a nice left hook. Nice left hook by Donair, y'all. Ooh, oh shit. Santiago landed a nice little left hand in there. Santiago on his back foot, moving around. Santiago moving around, giving some angles. Santiago coming through with the uh, right hand, with the left hook right hand, the one-two. Oh, 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 one, two, three by Santiago in a row. Peace in his ass up. Throw it down there. Look like he huffing and puffing right now. If Santiago had more power, down there would be out cold, goddammit. Ooh, good left hook to the body by Santiago. <laughs> yes, sir. Right hand to right left hook to the body by Santiago. Ooh, good double jab by Santiago. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it at all. Ooh, don't there almost, don't there almost bust his ass, didn't he? <laughs> almost slipped on the banana peel in the goddamn fight. Most busters. Oh, 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 nice little four punch combination by Santiago. He moving them hands looking like Manny Pacquiao in this bitch. I ain't mad at it, though. 
I ain't mad at it. Ten seconds left. Ooh, don't need a swung a list. Good overhand right by Santiago. Good right hand uh, jab by Santiago. Santiago look like he hurting him. Ooh, don't need look like he's still game, though. Don't never be looking for that one punch, bro. He be looking for that one little left hook. And he landed that bitch a few times and hurt him. I don't know why he didn't motherfucker jump on his ass. My head crooked as hell, boy, ain't it? Oh, let me fix that motherfucker. This way. There we go. Stop playing him say Santiago ain't gonna knock that dude out. It so damn so look like it. He look like he ain't gonna knock his ass out. I mean, the shit that Donaire done got hit with, he should have been gone. <laughs> hey, shit. If Santiago had more power, he should have been gone, man. Donaire been getting hit by four and five punch combinations all goddamn night. All goddamn night. Oh, shit, my nigga AB in the building. What up with it, AB? He said it's about to go down. Yes, it is. Easy route Earl about to get cooked tonight, god damn it. To get cooked. I think Don Vaughn say he gonna be punch drunk if he stay boxing too long. Yeah, bro. You ain't wrong. It's looking bad right now. He's taking a lot of punishment. Taking a lot of punishment right now. And the style of fighting that Donaire has is just like he he's always been like this, where he always we take five punches to land one type guy. Like, you know, that's not a, a style built for longevity. You know. Don't there over here looking like Rocky and shit right now. Okay. Don't there look like he's trying to get a little more active this round. Maybe somebody told him he's losing. It is the 12th round, so. He need a knockout to win. If he don't, if Donair don't get a knockout in this round, he lost. <laughs> if he don't get a knockout in this round, he lost. Lost his motherfucking fight, y'all. If Donair don't get a knockout in this round, he lost. <laughs> Ooh, okay, nice right hand. Ooh, good uppercut by uh, Santiago. Good overhand right by Santiago. All right, okay. Santiago, like, I ain't losing this round either. God damn it. Oh, good right hook by Donaire. You got to be careful. Santiago need to be more on defense around in this in defense in this round. He already won the fight. No, Nito Donaire need a, need, a, need a knockout to win. You should be on defense in this round. Okay, Donaire. Throwing a little bit more punches, but nothing nothing landing too clean. He landed one that was pretty clean, but nothing too clean. And no, no, you know, Donaire goes out with a whimper with this shit. He had a good career, bro, but he need to hang it up after this, bro. You lose to a guy named Santiago, it's time to it's time to hang it up. <laughs> Santiago a good fighter, though. I ain't gonna lie, he got some good skills in there. He's tough. He walked through some shots. Uh, I, I think Nonito Donaire caught him a few times with some with some nice left hooks. Hurt him a few times. Santiago showed that he got good heart. Stayed on his feet. He didn't, you know what I mean, stay fighting, you know, stuck to his game plan and won the fight, bro. So, I'm not mad at it at all. But for No Nito Donaire, you know, to take a step down in competition from Inoue to guys like 
Santiago is just like, you know, it's time to retire, bro. It's time to hang it up, bro. Time to hang up the gloves, man. You done, you done had a good career. No need all that had a good career, bro. He had a good career, but, you know, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Mono King Boxer say, I remember my guy Timmy Farmer more than more than most. Uh, these boxers, Tank ducked a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, Tank, man. Tank ducked so many fucking people. It's crazy these dudes want to act like Tank is so good. The nigga had, Tank should have the best resume in boxing. Period. Tank should have the best resume in boxing. Tank should have Tevin Farmer. He should have Lomachenko. He should have Devin Haney. He should have Shakur Stevenson. Tank should have all these guys on his resume. Because Tank at one point or another had the opportunity to fight all of them. Tank should have had JoJo on his resume. Lenares on his resume. He should have everybody on his resume, bro. Everybody Tank should have on the resume. But decided not to fight none of them. But Tank's supposed to be the best. Man, well, don't get me started on Tank ass. But let's keep it going, though. Hold on. Ken James says, in time, let go Spence man down strap season. Get up out of here, bro. <laughs> who, the, what was, who was the last man down, Ken Jones? Tell me that. Answer that question for me. Name the last man down. Because Ugas, Ugas wasn't down. He didn't go down. So who was the last man down? Help me. Help, help me. Answer that question for me. Because I believe it's been several years after you after you tell me who the last man down is, tell me what year that was. Because <laughs> the damn show wasn't 2023, 2022, 2021, <laughs> 2020. So you got to go back like four years to find the last man down. Start plotting them. Say, yes, yeah, Santiago, but OG made him work for it. Yeah, yeah, he did. He put some good rounds in there, but Honestly, like, like I was saying this earlier, like, no, you know, Donair in his prime, he would have beat this dude. There was like at least three times, three or four times, three times in this fight where he had Santiago hurt bad. All he had to do was just turn it on and get him up out of there. If he would have turned it on even a little bit more, he would have got Santiago up out of there because he hurt him bad a few times. Real bad. Had him doing the Bambi legs and everything. You know? I mean, that's in the winter right now, y'all. So Santiago officially gets the decision. Unanimous decision. Well deserved, man. Well deserved. Oh. He earned that win. He earned that win. You earned that win. He earned that win, y'all. That was a good fight. I wasn't crazy about it to begin with when I seen it on my TV screen. I wasn't crazy about it. But that was a good win. I'm going to put it back in. He doing this interview right now in Spanish, man. Uh -uh. Bills boot camp say Bud and three. Salute to you, Bills boot camp. Appreciate you for sliding on through, man. Star Platinum say, hold on, don't there had better percentages though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you could have when you throw less punches, your percentage is gonna be better. That nigga wasn't throwing no damn punches. He would throw like one punch every like every like what? 30 seconds. He would throw like one punch. He wasn't active enough. Santiago was the active fighter. He he and he landed more cleaner punches in general. He landed more more clean, more effective punches. And he controlled the pace of the fight for most of the fight. So pretty easy decision for Santiago at the end of the day. But my thing about Donaire is. You you hurt Santiago a few times in the fight. So when you when you hurt him, why why not jump on him? Why it's like he hurt him and just stood there to like just to wait and see what he would do. Like 
nah, that take your opportunity to get in there and beat this man. Stop him in the fight. You know you ain't got the conditioning and, and the endurance to, to, to go 12 rounds and, and beat. You know he going to win. You know he winning the rounds because he more active. So take your opportunity and stop this man. But for some reason, Donaire was, you know, he would hurt. Well, I, I, I guess I know what the reason. Probably his age, you know. His conditioning. Conditioning just ain't there at this point. And maybe he didn't have it in him to 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 get in there and finish the job after he hurt him. You know, but let's keep it going though. A B say tank two best wins are Cruz and Ryan Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> I think you gotta, you gotta put Pedra, you gotta put Pedraza in there over Ryan. I don't even consider Ryan his best win, bro. Pedraza's a better win than Ryan. Definitely a better win than Ryan. <laughs> but that's funny as fuck. <laughs> I can just hear your voice saying that shit, AB. <laughs> that's why I'm laughing like this. <laughs> MKB say at least AB actually fought guys. Tink tank a joke. <laughs> hey, y'all going in in the comment section? Oh shit! I got that earpod died. I don't need to hear this part anyway. Oh, you watching your own thing? I'll be back when the fight come on. Don't don't oh. take it away. I'll oh. be back. Okay, <laughs> my baby talking about she gonna be back when the fight starts. When the real fight starts. <laughs> How you gonna leave? Talking about you gonna be back when the fight. <laughs> Uh, I'll be back. <laughs> Still care about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Tank best win is a Peter. <laughs> I think you probably got to get Pedraza Tank best win, probably. Nah, Tank is solid, bro. <laughs> it's like a good fighter, but he, he be tripping. And Dora say, it's about to be a fish fry. Yeah, bro. It's about to be a fish fry, bro. What's your... What's y'all for? Hey, y'all, put your favorite kind of fish in the comment section. What's your favorite fish to eat? <laughs> put your favorite fish to eat in the comment section. What y'all be fucking with? Y'all fuck with the tilapia. What y'all be? What is it? Is it tilapia? Is it salmon? Is it snapper? You know what I'm saying? What, what y'all? What fish y'all like fucking with, bro? What, what's y'all favorite fish to eat? You know what I'm saying? Cause whatever fish that is, that's what Earl Spence gonna be tonight. <laughs> That's where Earl Spitz going to be tonight. What's y'all favorite fish, man? Put that in the comments. Is it snapper, tuna, tilapia? You know what I'm saying? What is it, bro? Put your favorite fish. <laughs> Indoor say salmon. <laughs> Don Vaughn say salmon. <laughs> ah, la. AB say salmon, red snapper, tilapia. <laughs> Ah uh, man, Earl Spitz can only be one of those, fam. He can't be all those. He can, he can only be one of those, man. MKB say flounder. <laughs> I don't think I had flounder before. I gotta try that shit. Or maybe I'll try it tonight. God damn it. Maybe I'll try it tonight. <laughs> hey, Don Vaughn be coming through. Don Vaughn say, eat Earl or blowfish always fat. <laughs> oh man, blowfish. I ain't never had blowfish before. You know what I'm saying? The blowfish be filling themselves up with all that hot air. You know what I'm saying? That, that sounds like Earl type of fish, actually. You know what I'm saying? That sounds like Earl type of fish. Mango Juice 07 in the motherfucking building. What it is, Mango Juice 07? Salute to you, my guy. Appreciate you for coming on through. He said, hell yeah, I need something to drink. Don't give a damn how hot it is. Hey, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need something to drink on in this motherfucker, man. All day, every day. I got to let my ear pod charge up. My shit done died on a real nigga, man. Shit done died on me. Keep here say, KD, you doing a lot of laughing. You going to be crying later. Crying about what? Cry Tears of joy. <laughs> Tears of joy after bed. Stop that nigga Earl Spitz in the ninth round. That's what you talking about? Is that what you talking about, Keep here? I think that's what you talking about, fam. I think that's what you talking about. But I know tonight we having flounder. We having flounder. We having salmon. We haven't got damn red snapper. My guy AB said red snapper. We haven't red snapper tilapia. We eating fish tonight. You know what I'm saying? That's what we having tonight. We eating fish tonight. You know what I'm saying? MKB say we live on Boxer Dive. If you enjoy boxing talk, 
We right here waiting on the best versus the best golden year of boxing is real. Facts, MKB. Appreciate you for coming on through, man. Always, always. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Backyard probably say the false narratives and spamming and lies. Oh, no. Nah, Jamel Charlo doing the interview. I got to hear this dumb ass shit. Hold on, y'all. Let me get it right. You know this shit going to be stupid as hell, boy. You already know. Hold on, man. What the fuck? Shit, this shit still dead. Maybe this shit still dead, cuz. Okay. See what this nigga Jamel. Jamel doing the interview. He get ready to fight Canelo Alvarez. He getting ready to sell his belt to Canelo. That's what Jamal get re- Jamel getting ready to do. I hear y'all listening to Jamel. Jamel doing an interview right now, y'all. Listen to this shit. If Jamel Charlo could be Canelo Alvarez, much, much respect and much power to Jamel Charlo if he's able to get beat Canelo Alvarez. But, uh, bro, bro, the odds of him beating Canelo Alvarez are probably like 10%, bro. 10, 20%, bro. When a guy moves up two weight classes to get to fight somebody else, he's not serious. He's not serious about actually trying to win the fight. Nobody who's serious about trying to win a fight will ever move up two weight classes. Nobody who's serious unless they know for a fact that they're going to beat that guy. Right. Which I don't believe that J- Jamel Charlo knows for a fact he's going to be able to beat Canelo Alvarez. Man, <laughs> Tan said Canelo gonna smack, smack him at the press conference. Canelo gonna slap this dude Jamel Charlo around the ring, bro. He gonna be slapping this nigga around the ring like Caleb Plant slapped his brother, bro. You ain't lying, Tan. This nigga selling his belt to Canelo Alvarez, bro. You get no respect from me. You better win this fight to get any kind of respect from me. Jamel, if you lose this fight, I'm going to be looking at you sideways. I'm looking at you sideways for taking the fight. I'm looking at you sideways. If you lose the fight, I'm looking at you sideways. The only thing, you you better win. If you lose or you lose disgracefully at that, you just get knocked the fuck out. Nigga sold his belt, bro. I'll never understand why these niggas sell lay belt, bro. You need to sell they belt to the highest bidder, bro. I get that you're going, man. I don't get it, y'all. I don't get it. AB say, Jamel scared of that bud smoke. Jamel knew he was next. Yeah, he know he next. You know what I'm saying? And then after Canelo knock his ass out, he going to go back down to 154. He going to try to fight Bud. And then they're going to be like, he wasn't the same Jamel Charlo. Right? <laughs> after Bud beat Jamel, after beating Earl Spence, they're going to say, he wasn't the same Jamel. He got knocked out by Canelo, y'all. 
He got knocked out by Canelo KG. That's what they're gonna be saying, bro. That's what I'm gonna say. I don't got no, I ain't got no respect for this shit, bro. Jamel better win this fight. He not gonna win, but he better win. <laughs> I'm a clown his ass, bro. Keith Pierre say you a hater. What am I hating on, bro? I'm hating on Jamel now. So, Keith Pierre, is Jamel going to beat Canelo Alvarez? Is he going to move up two weight classes and beat Canelo Alvarez? Answer that question, Keith. Is he going is, is to move up two weight classes and, and, and beat Canelo Alvarez at 168? See, I need I need for y'all to understand. I need for you, Keith Pierre. I know everybody, mostly everybody in my comment section is, is a real boxing fan, so I ain't got to explain this to them. But dudes like you, I got to explain this to because y'all just don't get Y'all don't get why weight classes exist. Y'all don't. Y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get. Y'all don't get the concept of weight classes. Y'all think that weight classes are like a just a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like like a design, like a boxing design or something like that. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what y'all really think about weight classes. In 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 the, you know, I, I'm not sure what y'all think about weight classes. I'm not sure what y'all think the point of weight classes are. But the reality is, Keith Pierre, bro. Weight classes exist for a reason. Weight classes exist for a reason. All right. But in addition to that reason, right, between, you know, which is obvious, between separating bigger guys and smaller guys, when you have a smaller guy that's going to fight at a higher weight division, first of all, he has to get used to carrying around all that weight. He has to get used to carrying around that weight. Carrying around extra weight, it fucks up your stamina. Right? Think about it. If you ran around normally versus if you ran around with a big ass book bag, your energy is going to drain much faster with the big ass book bag than you running around without it. That's one. Stamina. Two, punch resistance. So bigger guys are able to put more weight behind their punches, which means they're naturally going to hit harder. So while they're hitting harder, that added pressure with you getting hit, you don't know how you're going to react to that added pressure. You don't know how you're going to react to it. You don't have the experience to know how you're going to react to it because you've never fought anyone at that weight. You've never fought at that weight. So not only do you not have the experience of carrying around the extra weight, which is a difference, but you don't have the experience of getting hit by guys at that weight. It's different. Right. Those two things alone are enough to cause anybody to lose a fight. Those two things alone. Fuck all that other shit. Fuck skills and all that. Just the, just the stamina thing alone, because stamina you burn through your stamina, you losing the fucking fight. And you not being used to the, the power, the punch, you not having the punch resistance. That right there, that right there is enough to fuck you up. You get hit one good time by a punch that you're not used to taking, you're gone. Your stamina burns out, you're gone. Fuck the skills, fuck all that, bro. We ain't even got to talk about that because that's irrelevant. But that's why niggas don't move up two weight classes to fight guys because those two things right there are huge factors in determining your success or failure in a fight. So Jamel Charlo, just with those two, two things alone, he decreased the chances of him winning the fight by at least 50%. At least 50%. The, 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 the decrease in stamina means that you're not able to keep up the same pace that you normally would keep up. Changes your whole game plan. You're not able to keep up the same pace. You're not able to throw punches. As many punches as you would number, normally uh, throw. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me get my sound popping. You listening to the fight again, baby? Or are you on you on the thing? Oh, I got my yeah. I think you sat on it. Oh no, I don't need them. Plug. 
Yeah, yes, please. Yeah, I, I ain't need to plug them up. They was charged up already. They showing Bud Crawford and they showing Earl Spence right now. Earl Spence in there shadow boxing. Bud over there sitting down like a like an assassin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bud over there sitting down like an like a like one of them silent killers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't wanna hear this shit. He's sitting down like an assassin. What? Oh. Butt over there sitting down like this. Kill that nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that nigga. Kill his ass. <laughs> A bug gonna destroy that nigga. He gonna fry that fish. Well, back to you, Keith here. Back to this whole Jamil Charlo Canelo shit, bro. Charlo selling his out. He's selling his he's selling his name and his reputation and his recognition. He's selling it to Canelo Alvarez for a bag. And Dora say. And Dora say, clunky, slow-footed Earl. <laughs> For real. The dude over there like, slow motion. Uh, <laughs> I know that's how you post a slow mo uh, uh, shadow box in slow motion anyway. Maybe that's what he's doing. But he fight like that too, so, you know. Don Vaughn say, Giovanni could pull off the upset. I get, yeah, we'll see, man. I like that little exchange. They made it real entertaining. They made it real entertaining. Uh just now, you know what I'm saying? And they little they little build up. Giovanni, I like it. I like his demeanor. He was kind of clowning Pitbull a little bit. And put Pitbull say he's trying to get another fight with Tank. So it should be good, bro. Should be good. Toby Matana say, Spence need the shadow box. Bud don't. Sure don't. <laughs> sure don't. Don Vaughn say, Arrow, no head movement, shadow boxing. <laughs> Facts. Bud chilling. And Dewar say, that fish has been caught. He fell for the bait. All day, every day. He definitely fell for the bait. KPS say, you about to see. I'm about to see Arrow get his ass whooped. You right about that? <laughs> FKB say, we catching the body tonight. Big fish fry will be televised. Game on. Oh, yeah. All day, every day, man. We going to watch that dude get his ass whooped, bro. It's going to be a lot of emotional Earl Spence fanboys out here on these boxing streets. Star Platinum say $5 bet. Anybody? Who trying to bet on what? Pitbull and, and Santiago? What you trying to bet on, Star Platinum? Star Platinum say, I got five on Cruz. Any takers? <laughs> Shit, I don't know if I take that. Cruz probably ain't going to win this motherfucker. And I ain't never seen uh uh Santiago fight before, really, to be real. Hey, B say, uh, like Monarch King said, smash that like button. Yeah, man, y'all smash that like button, man. If you're new to the channel, man, y'all be sure to smash that like button, bro. Smash that goddamn like button and welcome, welcome to the China Club. A China Tong Tang, a China Tong Tong Tang. <laughs> We know we got to jump y'all punk ass in if you're new to the channel. Here we go. If you're new, we know we got to jump you in before we, this fight start. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's up? You've been hanging with the homies in the hood for a while now. It's about time we jump your punk ass in. That's right. Let me tell you something. In this world, if you can't swim, you found it, Trisha. Yeah. And if you fall, you better pick your punk ass up. That's right. And the rest of y'all, don't cut him no slack. Y'all fools get busy. Let's go. It's working, dog, working. My bad. Stop playing them. Say it's. <laughs> he says Cabrera, not Santiago. My bad, y'all. Cabrera. 
Y'all know what I meant, goddamn. Y'all know what I meant. <laughs> Stop, he said, I'm talking to fight right now. Yeah, I saw you saying, I ain't betting against Cruz for this dude. This dude look like he could be somebody, a uh, math teacher. I ain't, I ain't. <laughs> I ain't put no money on no on, on nobody that look like they could teach me algebra. Not at all. I'm not putting no money on nobody that look like they could teach me algebra. Not at all. Not at all, y'all. Not at all. Mango Juice Zero Seven say, "Let go tank. Let's go tanks next opponent." <laughs> Pitbull probably is gonna be next, man. This shit don't make no damn sense, bro. Shit don't make no damn sense. Modern King back to say. We outside, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We in this thing, man. <laughs> Stop playing to say LOL. Yeah, bro. I ain't taking that bet, bro. I ain't, you know, not, I ain't even, I ain't trying to throw away $5 like that, fam. But who knows? Cabrera might surprise me, man. I ain't never really seen a nigga fight before. He 21 and old, though. He 21 and old, though. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never seen him fight, though. I I don't know what them where them twenty one wins come from. Them twenty one wins come from anywhere, goddamn. Nick could fight. Nick could did all twenty one fights in Mexico. Who knows? You know. But like I said, I ain't putting my money on nobody that look like they could teach me math, bro. Not at all. Not at all. A B say twenty one wins versus who? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I don't know where them 21 wins come from, bro. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where they come from, bro. They could came they could have came from anywhere, bro. He could have bought them 21 wins, bro. Like how niggas be buying views on YouTube and shit. He could have bought them 21 wins, bro. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, Pitbull Cruz. <laughs> he look like a killer, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Keep here. said, KD, did you see Charlo get slapped? Yeah, I saw that shit. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, I saw. laughs> I, was, I was thinking about doing a video about it, but I was like, nah. I just want to focus on Bud and Earl right now. I don't, don't want to think about other shit. But I was tempted. <laughs> <laughs> I was tempted. I was tempted. Caleb Plant slapped the shit out that nigga, bro. He, <laughs> he slapped the lions only out that bitch. <laughs> Caleb Plant slapped the Texans out that motherfucker. <laughs> Caleb Plant slapped the brown. He slapped the brown hair dye at that motherfucker. <laughs> he slapped. Yeah, no, bro. He slapped the hell out of goddamn Jabel Charlo, bro. He slapped the hell out of man. I, I was, hey, I was upset for him, actually. <laughs> I, was a, I was upset for Jamal Charlo. Like, hey, 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 but the funniest part about that slap is he didn't even know how to react. You know what I'm saying? Like, like after he got slapped, he was just like, <laughs> like, like his... <laughs> he, he didn't know how to react when he got slapped, bro. He was just, he was just looking like, uh, like the you got slapped face. Like, that's the shit that he was making, bro. Like, shit was hella sad, bro. But all right, let me get into this fight, man. Let me get into this fight, bro. Yeah, bro. Uh, here we go. All right, so Cabrera, just looking at his style, he keep, he's keeping his hands down a lot. He uh, looks like he uses a lot of lateral movement, but I don't like that his hands are down a little bit too low for me, you know? Um, he got his hands down really low. He's using lateral movement, but I don't see him controlling distance very much right now. Very good left hand by Cabrera, Okay. Throwing some pawn jabs out there. It looks like he's trying to control the distance with his jab. Good left hook by Cabrera. Good pawn jab by Cabrera. Cabrera is doing a lot of moving right now. A lot of lateral moving. Okay. 
Okay, okay. It looks like he's keeping doing a good job keeping Pitbull off balance at the moment. Um, with the lateral movement. I don't like that he's only moving to the same side. See? See, dudes, dudes, when you use lateral movement, you can't just keep moving to the same side, bro. Like you 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 can't do that. Because you become predictable. The moment you become predictable as an outboxer is the moment you get knocked the fuck out. You gotta move, you gotta switch up your movement. You gotta move from side to side, bro. Can't just move the one way. Cabrera's moving just one way right now. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. He is controlling the distance and controlling the fight at the moment with his jab, keeping Pitbull at distance. Pitbull is not able to close the distance right now. He's trying to cut off the ring, but he's doing more following than cutting off the ring at the moment as far as Pitbull. Okay, Pitbull just hit him with a nice overhand, right? Cabrera gonna get knocked the fuck out, bro. <laughs> Cabrera gonna get knocked out, bro. He gonna get knocked out. I'm, I'm calling it right now, based on what I just saw. He keep his hands too low. Um, I, I, I don't... He's controlling the fight at the moment, but he keep his hands too low. He's too... He's defensively irresponsible for me, for somebody like Pitbull. Pitbull hits a little bit too hard. And, uh, you know, a little bit applies a little bit too much pressure for a guy like a bird to be able to make it throughout, make it to the other side of this fight. I think a bird is going to get knocked the fuck out, y'all. I think he's going to get knocked the fuck out. I, I'm not liking what I'm saying right now. Also, he looked like he looked like an algebra, algebra two teacher. He looked like he looked like he teach pre-calculus. He looked like he teach pre-calculus right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? I bet, I bet, I bet that nigga, I bet that nigga Cabrera, I bet, I bet he got formulas in his head right now, right now. That nigga look like he watched Big Bang Theory. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust this dude Cabrera at all. He's reminding me, <laughs> in a realistic analogy, he's reminding me a lot of Chris Algieri right now. And we, oh, Pitbull just hit him with a left hook, right hand just now. Cabrera pawing again with that jab. Nothing glancing, not landing anything. Worth mentioning. Okay, good left hand by Cabrera. Look like Cabrera is a southpaw too. Cabrera pawing once again with that jab. Okay, nice little left hook by Cabrera. Once again, he's moving to the same side. I don't like it. Same side, becoming very predictable. Pitbull doing a little bit of following right now. <laughs> okay, Pitbull just landed a nice right hand to the body. Ooh, Pitbull just landed a double jab. Looked like it affected Cabrera a lot because it snapped his head back, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, Cabrera landed a nice little three-punch combination. Looked pretty good. You got to be careful, though. You got to be careful. Ooh, Pitbull just landed a nice straight right hand to the body. Uh, that looked like it hurt. That looked like it hurt. It was your damn lunch fucking around with it. Here we go. <laughs> AB say Cruz look overrated. <laughs> Cause he is. <laughs> oh Lord. Z Parker say, man, my fucking stream freezing up like a muff, mother, a mother bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> freezing up like a mother bitch, ain't it, G Parker? Damn. Damn, yeah, now nah, I freeze my Knock on wood, my stream real crispy right now. I'm doing real good, man. I'm praying for you over there, G Parker. That's 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 not what you want right now. It's not what you want. A B say hands too wide, too low, and Cabrera moves straight back. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. That too. Cabrera. Nah, please don't compare compare Cabrera to Terrence Crawford. Please don't do that. Please. Please, God, please don't do that shit. Please. Not now, not ever. Please don't ever do that shit. Okay, people just landed a nice little uh, overhand, right? Okay. Okay, so Cabrera is a switch hitter. Look like he just changed stances. Look like he switched back to southpaw. Pawn again with that jab. Right hand jab this time around. 
Okay, a little lateral movement by Cabrera. It looked like he switched back to uh, no steel southpaw. Okay, they're updating the over under right now as far as the uh. And Dora say this fight boring so far. <laughs> I think it's getting more entertaining soon though. Uh Endor. It'll get more entertaining. I, I feel it coming on. I feel it come on. That dude Cabrera gonna get hurt. I can see it right now. He's gonna get caught up. He's gonna get caught up. Keep Pierre say, that's just like Bug gonna that's just like Bug gonna be. Go on, man, stop, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it Keith Pierre. Stop it. Stop it. Both these niggas trash. ASAP low dog say both these niggas trash. <laughs> AB say Shakur would demolish Pitbull. Yes, he would. Pitbull is definitely very, very, very. He got his limitations for sure. Cabrera definitely got the. Uh, Physical advantages, though he's a lot taller than Pitbull. He's using the jab well. He's using his he's using his physical attributes well. If you're gonna fight somebody that's shorter than you, this is how you're supposed to fight him. I uh, I wish he would keep his hands a little higher, though. You know, but you know he hasn't gotten caught so far. But it's only round three. You got more, more fucking goddamn uh, nine more rounds to go. Also, can Cabrera keep up this pace? Because Pitbull is applying the pressure. He's applying the pressure. It's only round three. Pitbull got a lot of time. He got a lot of time, and it kind of looked like Cabrera getting tired to me. Can he do this all day? I don't know. Pitbull's starting to get active now. T. Parker say, this is why Cruz avoided Shakur. <laughs> Yo, sure did. Man, if, if Cabrera doing this to Pitbull, man, imagine Shakur. Ooh, that would be ugly. Shakur would probably stop Pitbull or be real with you. Okay. Ah, Pitbull just swang and missed. Cabrera is still controlling the range right now. Okay. Nice hook to the body by Pitbull. A lot of little tussling on the inside we got going on. Pitbull is doing a lot of following, a lot of following of Cabrera right now. Instead of cutting the ring off, he's following. He's following him like a puppy. That's why he's getting dominated right now as far as uh uh the ring. That's why Cabrera is winning this fight right now easily. Pitbull is just following him around the ring. Pitbull just swing and missed. Ah. That was an easy round for uh Cabrera, honestly. Cabrera should have won all three of these rounds without no problems. My only thing with Cabrera is can he keep up with this pace? Can he can he keep up the pace is my only thing. That's the only thing I you know. And can he and can he fight this way for 12 rounds what without getting caught? Can he fight this way for 12 rounds without getting caught? I don't know. We'll see. Frankly, I don't want to see him fight this way for 12 rounds <laughs> without getting caught. If I'm keeping it real, I really don't want to see it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I watch it. I watch it. 
Stop playing them. Say, I like Cruz Hart, though. And Doris say, Cabrera running out of stream, uh, steam, LOL. <laughs> AB say, Cabrera blocking some of those body shots, Ed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look like they back on, okay? Cabrera look like he's bringing his hands up a little bit more. Okay, maybe he heard your boy KD. Maybe a part of the plan was for him to have his hands lower at the first part of the fight. In order to uh, force Pitbull to try to, to reach more with his punches. Because I see his hands up a little bit more. And maybe also maybe because he has the most amount of energy earlier in the fight. So he could have did a little bit more dancing. He keeps moving to the same side, bro. I haven't seen him move left not one time, bro. It should be really easy for Pitbull to cut off the ring. But he's not doing it. Good little pivot. Cabrera throws a nice little three-punch combination. Cabrera off his back foot. Pitbull and land a nice little body shot on the inside. Pitbull getting active on the inside. Good body shot by Cabrera. Cabrera with the one-two. A little pity pat one-two. Cabrera controlling things with his jab again. Okay. Look like Cabrera's getting tired. He's fighting like now like he's getting tired. He's fighting now like he's getting tired. Because I see him standing in the pocket more. Now, I don't know if that means, maybe that means he's getting tired or he's just changing his approach a little bit, maybe trying to fight on the inside. I don't know. This is my first time watching him fight. So who the fuck knows? Okay, Cabrera lighting the last little uh, left hand. Look like he's in the southpaw uh, standstill. Okay. Oh, Pitbull landed a nice little left hand on Cabrera. Uh-oh. He landed another left hand. Okay, okay. Fight might get interesting yet, y'all. Oh, Cabrera. Pitbull starting to land them hooks now because Cabrera is definitely slowing down. Oh, Pitbull starting to land hooks now, y'all. Cabrera is definitely slowing down. He picked his hands up because he's slowing down. He looked like he gassing out in the fight. See, that's one thing about that pressure. If you ain't in, if you're not in shape, a pressure fighter will beat you. You know, but their whole approach is their whole approach is looking to outwork you for the most part. But see, Pitbull has power and he's a pressure fighter. Unlike Earl Spence, who just he's just a pressure fighter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Leo Santa Cruz. Leo Santa Cruz is the Earl Spence. Of of uh, you know he's a Earl he's Earl Spence the, the Hispanic Earl Spence is what Leo Santa Cruz is right <laughs> all right but people has pressure and he has power though but the thing about when you have when you're pre when you're fighting a pressure fighter you got to be in really good shape you got to and you got to control. You got to control the pace better of that. You can't let the pressure fighter continue to pressure you all fight because you're going to gas out. You got to put you got to change it up. You got to you got to stand in the pocket. You got to you got to back the pressure fighter up a little bit. Make him fight on his back foot. You can't let him chase you all fight. You got to be in great shape and you can't let him chase. You can't let him keep his pace. Controlling the pace is very important with a pressure fighter. Which Bud Crawford, I may add, is a master of. Cabrera's feet is starting to slow up and Pitbull is starting to land those hooks. Pitbull just landed a jab. Cabrera is not controlling the range very well right now and Pitbull is, 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 is in striking distance. He needs to take an extra step back.
I thought you said you weren't gonna be sleep over there. <laughs> I'm baby like, I'ma watch the fight. I'ma watch the fight. I'm like, man, you're gonna be sleep, bro. I'ma watch it. Okay. She over on the couch, sleep. I wish I could turn the camera so y'all can see. Ain't yeah, no alarm on. You don't even know what time the fight start. What time the fight start? What time the fight start? Okay. She sleep, y'all. Ooh, Pitbull landed another left hook. Cabrera seems to be taking the work pretty well, though. He seems to be taking the punches really well. But for how long? For how long? Okay. Cabrera starting to push the pace a little bit. All right. And as you push the pace, you put yourself in striking distance. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, god damn. Oh, shit. Okay, people are about to stop this dude, bro. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. It's going downhill real fast, y'all. The shit going left real fast, y'all. No, no, no. See, referee stopping the fight. That ain't what you do, fam. See, look at this shit. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh, 10 seconds left. You better hold. Oh, Lord. Oh, shit. <laughs> I told, I told y'all Cabrera might get stopped. Cabrera taking the punches, but it ain't looking good. And, and unlike no new total, Donaire in the last fight, people look like he ready to close the goddamn show. He look like he ready to close the show, y'all. He look like he ready to close the show. High consciousness. What it do, man? What it do, high consciousness? Appreciate you for coming on through, man. He say he a knock off Ryan Garcia. <laughs> he a knock off Ryan. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's hilarious right there, high consciousness. <laughs> he a knock off Ryan. <laughs> and uh, AB say, yeah, Spence going to sleep at 8, G Parker. Yeah, yeah bro. MKB say hit that like button all day, every day, man. Y'all hit that like button, bro. If y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And everybody, be sure to hit the goddamn like button on your way in, your way out. Y'all know what it is. G Parker say Cabrera fight like a hood hole with hands. <laughs> y'all stupid, bro. Y'all stupid, fam. Y'all stupid, bro. All right, here we go. Round six, y'all. Cabrera got his second win now. Okay. He throwing pity pad punches. On the inside. He keeping Pitbull hands. He keeping his hands in the in the in the uh high guard. Keep keep Oh Pitbull just hit him with a nice right hook. Oh coming out. Okay. Oh, Pitbull just hit him with a goddamn left hook, y'all. He just ain't looking good, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. He taking a lot of punishment right now, Cabrera. And you're not dishing out enough punishment. Oh, body shot look like it almost made him shit on himself. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Lord. Hey. Oh, another body shot. God damn. Oh no. Hey. Oh. 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 Hey. This going in with a knockout, bro. Pitbull knocking this dude the fuck out, like I said earlier. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Sh oh. God damn. She oh, the body shot. Lord, don't put your hands down. That ain't what you do. Cabrera taking the punches, though. He got a little chin on him. That would have made niggas go to sleep. Oh, god damn. He's 
the land of them hooks at will now, y'all. Oh, shit. God damn. God damn. Cabrera fighting though, man. He got my respect. He earned my respect. Cabrera. Pitbull smacking him around right now, goddammit. Pitbull slapping this dude. Oh, oh shit. Okay. What the fuck? Ah oh, man, come on with the tape, bro. He taking the punch as well, though, Cabrera. He getting slapped around right now, bro. <laughs> he looking like Jamal Charlo. <laughs> Cabrera looking like Jamal Charlo earlier. <laughs> he, get, he getting slapped around. <laughs> he getting slapped around like Jamal Charlo right now, guy. Shit. I'm punching, hey, shit. <laughs> yeah, damn. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Cabrera taking them punches well, man. He taking them well. For how long, though? You can only take punches like that for so long, bro. I don't care how good your chin is, bro. You can only take punches like that for so long. Eventually, that shell going to crack, goddammit. He got to stop taking all them punches. He getting slapped around right now. Cabrera getting slapped around right now. <laughs> Listen. Let me see what y'all talking about, man. Let me see what y'all saying. This shit crazy. What y'all think about this shit? <laughs> G-Pock is like, watch your mind, King David. I'm sensitive about the Charlos. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh, oh man! <laughs> oh. oh man! Hey! <laughs> oh. oh man! Oh, another overhand right by Pitbull. Cabrera is not controlling the range very well right now. He's not. You need to, he need to, he needs to use the long jab and stay out of the range of Pitbull. But Pitbull seems to be taking a step forward faster than Cabrera can take a step back. See, boxing is all about footwork, man. Footwork is is a is a is a much larger part of boxing than a lot of people realize. So when a fighter is slow footed, like somebody like <clears throat> Errol Spence, <clears throat> they're usually at a disadvantage against people who have faster feet, like somebody like a Terrence Bud Crawford. You know what I'm saying? You know, just thought I'd throw that in there. You know what I'm saying? Cabrera looked like he's getting tired of getting slapped around. He's trying to get in, get on the inside, but that's a bad idea. It's a very bad idea. Very bad idea. Ooh, oh, god damn! Yo, this dude getting hit flush with hooks, man. Oh, god damn. Another hook by Pitbull. Uh. Oh, Pitbull snuck in a little uppercut on the inside. Cabrera got him up against the ropes right now. Okay. Right hand on the glove. Oh, shit! I don't even know how he got that angle off. Pitbull hit him with a hook up against the ropes. Dangerous. Hit him with a left hook, right hook. Oh, my Lord. Got Cabrera kind of doing the stanky leg a little bit right now, y'all. Shit looking real bad out here on these boxing streets. 
Cruz, I don't think Cruz realized that he got him hurt right now. He need to follow it up. But he's not. Oh, look to the body that look like that hurt. <sighs> Oof. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, good hook by Cabrera. Good, he landed some flush. <sighs> Cabrera. Cabrera. Bird getting his ass whooped right now, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. This shit look crazy. Don Vaughn said Giovanni is tough. He just has no power. Yeah, bro. You know, looking like Polly Malinaji. It look like Polly right now, goddammit. Haynes Legacy say Vaughn, yes, sir, indeed. Haynes Legacy. <laughs> Can't speak English these days, ain't it? What the fuck going on? Haynes Legacy, what up with it? What up with it, Haynes Legacy? What up with it? Appreciate you for sliding through, my guy. Mango Juice 07 say this is better than Nino fight. <laughs> yeah. This is better than Nino fight. It is. Nino fight was good, though. Don Vaughn say Haynes fish fry in progress all, all day, every day. Philip Gouri says Cabrera eating them hooks. Yes, he is. Eating them. Eating them. <laughs> but I don't think they taste good to him. <laughs> I don't think they taste good, bro. Here we go. Round eight, y'all. Round eight. Oh, shit. Pitbull just landed another straight right hand level hook. Cabrera once again pawned with that jab. That Pitbull seems to be blocking all these jabs. He got Pitbull in the high guard right now. Nice little pivot by Cabrera. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn. Pitbull just landed like four, five hooks. Clean, flush hooks. Back to back. Snapping Cabrera head back. I have no idea how he's taking all these punches. No idea. Is he turning his head or something? I don't know. Steve Farhood got Pitbull winning 68-65. Now, that I don't agree with. I think Pitbull won the last at least three rounds for sure. But he didn't win the first three. Cabrera was definitely more active in the first three, four rounds. Cabrera should be winning this fight right now. He should be up around Cabrera. But Steve Farhood got him like up. Ooh, another overhand right by Crew. Damn, another left hook by Pitbull. How the fuck you just keep getting hit by hooks? Shit. Oh, my God. Referee wilding. Fuck wrong with this referee? Cabrera must be his son or something. They must be related. What the fuck was that? He deducted a point from Pitbull. That's bullshit. He could have gave him a warning. Good left hook by uh, Cruz again. Oh, oh, another hook by Cruz. He rolling them punches, though. You know what? Cabrera rolling, rolling them punches, y'all. Oh, he took that one flush, though. He rolled it a little bit. So that's what he's doing. He rolling them punches a little bit. He rolling them punches. He ain't taking all of them flush. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Pitbull letting loose. Don't punch yourself out now. Oh, that hurt him. Shit. 
God damn. Not saying this shit. Pitbull did headbutt him earlier, though. Yeah, he did headbutt him, but he could have gave him like a warning. I ain't look intentional. Oh, okay. Well, they showing the replay right now. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I guess I missed that part. Yeah, that shit did look crazy. A C L O dog say this ref soft. A B say Cabrera lead hand too slow. Yeah, bro. G Parker say. All Buzz supporters, any last words before y'all watch this massacre? Earl the Truth Spence will be the unified champion of welterweight division. We partying in Texas tonight. Yeah, right. Y'all drinking y'all sorrows away. <laughs> That's what y'all doing. <laughs> I hope y'all got plenty of goddamn... What they make out there in Texas? Baby, what's that... that... She sleep. <laughs> what's that vodka they make out there in Texas, man? That Texas vodka. It's real good, man. It's smooth as hell. That handmade vodka. What's that shit called, man? Somebody put it in the chat, man. They gonna need they gonna need cases of all that in Texas. That handmade vodka. What's that vodka in Texas? Oh, okay, Pitbull Atlanta. Oh shit. Cabrera got a motherfucking chin, bro. He probably came in. He probably he looked big as hell though. He probably came in at like he probably weighed like maybe one sixty right now. Oh, not that moonshine. I'm Tito's. Thank you, thank you, Philip. Thank you, Philip. Tito's. Y'all gonna need plenty of t <laughs> Y'all gonna need plenty of Tito's, man. Y'all gonna need plenty of Tito's out there, bro. So y'all could drown your sorrows. You know what I'm saying? Drink away your sorrows tomorrow night or tomorrow or tonight after Earl gets stopped. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna need some. Y'all gonna need some good right some some some, some some get right. Y'all gonna need some get right. G Parker say Tito's vodka. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Tito. Y'all gonna need plenty of Tito's, bro. You know, they make it in Texas. So y'all got plenty. And y'all gonna need all of it. God damn it. <laughs> y'all gonna need all of it. Y'all make it there and y'all gonna need all of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Plenty of Tito's, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all gonna need. See, <laughs> pockets like Crown Royal in my hand. Now Texas Roadhouse in front of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gonna need that crown. You gonna need that crown. Yeah, bro. Go on here, stop. Okay, Cabrera look like okay. Cabrera over here shoot shot at Pitbull on the ropes. Come on, Cabrera. Show that man you about that life. <laughs> Philip, Philip Gucci say, talking about Bo Mac and Cheetos. Now, nah, what y'all? What about that Cheetos? <laughs> that Errol Spence juice. <laughs> facts, facts. Yeah. Hey, right, that was a good round for uh Cabrera. That was a good round for Cabrera. That was a good round for Cabrera. Don Vaughn said, Cruz a slugger. He very sloppy. Mm, I think Cruz... I, I think I think Cruz... I don't think Cruz is that sloppy. I think he's pretty methodical. I think for his size... He fights the way that he should. Like, for his physical... Based on his physical attributes, he fights the way he should fight. Very compact. He throws very short hooks. Very short, compact hooks. I think he should go to the body a little bit more. I think he's head hunting too much. Pitbull. I want to see him go to the body more. Because he need to take away Cabrera legs. Obviously, he keeps trying to get hit, hit Cabrera in the face. And obviously, Cabrera ain't going nowhere. Cabrera is not. 
Cabrera ain't going nowhere. He's able to take the power. All them damn hooks that he done took to the face. So he need to change his approach. He need to go to the body more. He need to take away. He need to take away Cabrera legs. Go to the body. Okay, I see him go to the body. Now he just threw a right hand to the body. Take away the legs. And then he can cut off the ring a little bit better. But he's doing a hard Pitbull is doing a horrible job at cutting off the ring right now. He's, he's landing some really good shots, but he could be doing a lot better than what he's doing. Hey, AB say that nose candy. <laughs> that nose candy keeping him in now. <laughs> no. Cabrera is not doing a good job maintaining distance right now. Not at all. Definitely he's getting he's he's definitely gassed. Okay. Nice little one two in there. Okay. Oh, oh, that hurt him. That hurt him. Oh, uh oh. That caught him up in between the exchange. Pitbull doing too much head hunting. He need to go to the body, man. Oh, nice right hand by Pitbull. God damn. Oh, shit. Another one. Oh, oh, Okay, doing a little tussling in the ropes. A little tussling, a little tussling in the ropes. Pitbull is landing some 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 nasty shots, bro. Nasty. Ooh, nice left hook by Cabrera. Okay. I like him. So Cabrera is, looks like he switched his approach. He looked like he switched to Tyson Fury style. <laughs> it looked like he switched to Tyson Fury style and he's starting to put his weight on. Pitbull Cruz. He looks a lot bigger than Pitbull. So this probably should have been his plan A, you know. Because plan, plan plan A, the original plan A clearly was trash. You know what I'm saying? They showing Earl right now. Earl looking like he got Down syndrome and shit. He looks sleepy. So Earl, actually, Earl looks sleepy right now. Bug going to put him to sleep. So he going to get the nap that he looking for. Bug going to put him to sleep. A man with a plan. Crowd went crazy when they saw Bud Crawford. When they saw Earl, they was just like, they saw Bud. They started cheering. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Backyard prophets like Cabrera has GGG chin with no guard and no power. <laughs> Damn. Facts. <laughs> G Park can say, yeah, bro, Cabrera on that marching powder. <laughs> Speaking of marching powder, Cabrera looked like he been he looked like he he was in a band. Like he he looked like one of them dudes that was in the band, you know, in high school and shit. He played the oboe or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Some random ass instrument. That's what Cabrera looked like. Like he was in a band. He was in a band and then and then his music career didn't work out. So he became a math teacher. Like that's that's what happened. That's what he looked like right now. Like you play the fuck out of an oboe. 
That's what Cabrera looked like. Ooh, just caught with another hook by Pitbull. Pitbull caught him with another hook coming in. Goddamn. Pitbull doing too much head hunting, man. You need to go to the body a little bit more, man. You need to go to the body a little bit more. Ooh. Okay, Cabrera look like he coming forward. Cabrera look like he got his second wind in there. I think Cabrera done rehydrated at like 160 or something. I think Cabrera like 160 at this point, bro. Mm. Oh! Okay. I was about to... Wouldn't it be something if Cabrera won this motherfucker? Oh, got hit by another hook by Pitbull. God damn. Yeah. Giovanni tough. Yeah, he is tough, Don Vaughn. That motherfucker tough. Motherfucker done walked through some shit, didn't he? <laughs> he, done, he done walked through some shit, didn't he? Ah, damn. <laughs> Jamal needs to say, I see Jamal bitch ass in that red shirt. Yeah. <laughs> in that red shirt. Fresh off that slap. <laughs> Jamal needs it. What up with it? AB say those hooks not doing much. Nah, they not, bro. They really not. You know what I'm saying? They look good, though. I know they look good to the judges. They should look good to the judges. Like Cabrera gonna fuck around lose this fight. He need to do something. Don Vaughn say we almost there. Yeah, we almost there, bro. Fight about to come up next. Earl look like he on the way to child support court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, shit. I'm turning on the TV. Let's go. Yeah, bro. That TV should have been on MKB. What you mean? Modern um uh Mago Ju 07 say the what? The 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 what? The what? Hey, salute to Harvey for the five dollar cash out, man. I just got a notification about that, man. Salute Harvey, man. We're gonna take that five dollars. We're gonna get us some boats and holes. Boats and holes. Boats and holes. Boats and holes. I gotta have me my boats and holes. Boats and holes. Boats and holes. I gotta have me my boats and holes. The Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. I'll do you in the bottom while you drink a sangria. Nachos, lemon heads, my dad's boat. You won't go down cause my dick can float. <laughs> Appreciate you, man, for coming through with that five dollar super chat, man, all day. Ooh. Twelfth and final round. Oh. 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 Cabrera switched his style to like the Tyson Fury style. Like he's doing a lot of leaning on Pitbull. He's fighting more on the inside. It was like it's taking a lot of, he's draining Pitbull. So this, this would have been a good strategy to employ at the beginning of the fight. 
<laughs> but he started using it in like round seven or round eight, which, you know, it may be too little too late, honestly. It, well, it is probably too little too late. You know they want Pitbull to win. But honestly, I feel like this was a lot closer fight than how the judges are going to have it score. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 oh. I can't believe this fight went 12. I can't, I can't believe this fight went 12, y'all. I can't believe it. Oh, shit. My nigga AB sent me a $20 cash out, man. What it is with my guy AB? AB, you know we're going to take that $20 and we're going to get us a boat. <laughs> we're going to get us a boat and hoes, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. Appreciate you, AB. We're going to get us some boats and hoes, man. AB, one of my day ones, bro. All day, every day, man. Always showing me love and support, bro. Appreciate you, AB. We're going to watch this fish get fried tonight. Fried. Seeing these Earl Spence fans home crying. You know what I'm saying? Crying for the goddamn night. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Star Platinum say Cruz got that. Tank better not fight Cruz again. Don't want to see that. <laughs> AB say Cruz exposed himself. I'm just saying. <laughs> boats and mohos. Yeah, all day, every day. AB say boats and hoes. Yeah. Y'all already know what it is. MKB say let's get it. Fried. As like to say, this nigga is nuts jumping like that. He got his ass whooped. Yeah, bro. He showed it. Get. I mean, look. Look, look, look. He got his ass whooped, but the fight is a lot closer than I think a lot of people like like realize. <laughs> it's a lot closer than what a lot of people realize. It is. A lot of the early rounds he won with his pity pad punches. And I think he won some of the rounds at the end, leaning on Pitbull. Um, Pitbull landed the more cleaner shots. And the more like flashy shots in the rounds, but see, split decision. Here we go. Giovanni Cabrera got one. Cruz got one. Pitbull won, but it was a close fight. Not impressive, Tompon said. Not impressive. <laughs> hey, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed either. Cabrera was taking the punches. Haynes Legacy say, hell no. Nah. Honestly, I wouldn't have been mad either way. I wouldn't have been mad either way. Pitbull landed the cleaner shots, but, you know, in those rounds, I feel like he should have stepped on the gas more and got Cabrera out of there. He was doing too much head hunting. He was doing too much head hunting. He didn't go to the body enough. I feel like he would have went to the body more early on. He could have took away Cabrera's legs, and then he could have made Cabrera more susceptible to take his head out, you know. 
but he was doing a lot of head hunting. And then, but when he, and then he wasn't throwing that many punches. When he would throw punches, he would land clean and he would land very flashily. But he didn't throw that many punches, you know. Ultimately, you know. So I mean, good win for Pitbull, but you know, he, like like my guy Don Vaughn said, he didn't look impressive. If Cabrera, if Giovanni Cabrera would have won that fight, I wouldn't have been mad. It's definitely not a robbery or nothing like that. But if Cabrera would have won that fight, I wouldn't have been mad either. Cabrera Cabrera won a lot of the early rounds with his pity pats. Um, I feel like he stole some of the middle rounds, and then he pro and then he probably won he won some of the rounds at the end. You know. So a close, a close, a close fight. You know what I'm saying? A close fight, honestly. A close fight. Mango Juice 07 say, hey yo, suck with all these damn belts, pitbull guy. Yeah, man, where the fuck you get these belts at? Nigga bought a belt on Amazon or some shit, bro. Fuck you got going on. Salute to my guy Harvey Price in the building. What up with it? He say, look at Spence right eye. He's susceptible to that left hook of Crawford's. He won't see it coming. No, he won't. No, he won't. No, he won't. Don Vaughn say, bud, bud, bud. Dude's boot camp say, bud, uh, bud better handle business because these judges. Yeah. yeah. I think the judges did a good job with this one. I think they did all right with that last fight. They did all right. Hey, did I? If, if they would have had it like crazy one way or another, then I would have been looking at them funny. But I think they did all right with that, with that, with that fight. Bills boot camp, we at the end. Yeah, we at the end, bro. AB say it's time. Bud by KO in the eighth round. I got it nine, but I ain't mad at eight either, AB. I ain't mad at eight either, AB. Either way, we're gonna see a fish get fried tonight. Either way, we're gonna see a fish get fried tonight. We gonna see it. Either way. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to get me another beer, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Oh, shit, I was on mute. Here we go. Had to go get me another beer, y'all. Had to get myself right before the fight. 
I got to get right before the fight. Y'all know what time it is, man. Y'all hungry? Y'all hungry? Because we all about to eat some fish tonight. Easy route Earl. Easy route Earl finally going to get his well-deserved, highly anticipated ass whooping. After all that running, right? After all that running, he finally going to get his well-deserved, highly anticipated ass whooping. Wait till he get a belt. Yeah. He ain't did nothing in the world to wait to do. You when he get a belt, when you he get a belt, you, you want to go over nothing. there. Keith Thurman want to go over there. And now y'all want to say, oh, I ain't for nobody. But I got a belt now, so okay. why? Okay. Sean Porter sense. got a belt, too. Also, oh, so now. Sean Porter got a belt, too. <laughs> so why am I go to Easy Road and not Sean Porter? So why am I, so why am I go to Easy Road and not Sean Porter? So why am I, so why am I go to Easy Road and not Sean Porter? So why am I, so why am I, so why am I go to Easy Road? Who mans is this? Get him the fuck out of here. Easy route Earl finally gonna get what he need coming to him. Right? Here you go. Westway division. And he gotta he gotta take a back seat and take that 6040 or 730 wherever we give him. If we fight, it's gonna be either 70 30, 80 20. Uh what was that? Man, I was I was when Is I that said string or what was that? At the when did I say it? You know, that was Yeah, I said it on on uh on my girl Stop Instagram, what's God, but I was playing. Okay. <laughs> hey, man, nobody's taking no 80, 20, 7, 30. Yeah, yeah, I was playing. I was like, because I was like, it's gonna be 60, 40, and I was like, yeah, he keep he keep, you know, he keep playing crazy Stop when he's 70, 30 yeah. or six, or um or 80, 20. 20 yeah. But yeah, I was man, I was I was Stop playing. I, I wouldn't <laughs> I'm playing, man. I'm playing. All the hitman in the building, y'all. The hitman. Tommy the hitman hers in the building. What up with it? You know what I'm saying? But back on Earl head. We finally gonna see Earl get his much well-deserved ass whooping, right? Right. It went from it went from uh 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 Jeff Warning. I mean, let's fight. I mean, let's fight. I mean, let's fight. I mean, really nothing else to say. I mean, he has a belt. I have a belt. Let's unify. Let's unify. Let's unify. What happens now? Wait till he get a belt. Yeah. He ain't did nothing in the world to wait to do. When he get a belt. When he get a belt. You you want to go over there. Keith Thurman want to go over there. And now y'all want to say, oh, I ain't for nobody. But I got a belt now, so why? Okay. Sean Porter got a belt, too. It went from let's unify to Sean Porter got a belt too. <laughs> let's unify. Sean Porter got a belt too. It went from that to that. Boy, it went from that to that with your boy Earl Spence, man. It went from that to that with your boy Earl Spence, man. You know what I'm saying? Mike Tyson in the building. You already know. The ghost out in the building. Wilder in the building. Gonna watch Earl get his ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? PBC guy. You know what I'm saying? Who the hell that is? Oh, oh, okay. That's the Mark Davis of the Raiders. Okay. Yeah, we rock with them Raiders over here heavy, man, all day. Zab and Ray, two of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 man. Zab and Ray, man, in the motherfucking building. James Ferguson say, no, nah, you was in your feelings. I don't know who you talking about. I don't know what you talking about, James Ferguson. Hey, say hello, dog. Say Jamel front row to see his friend get punished. Facts. Facts on top of facts on top of facts on top of facts. Here we go. Hey, we say, they show that little bitch after Hitman, after the Hitman. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't show Hitman and then show Charlo. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Giant circus. But why not take the easy route? Yeah, bro. Sean Porter got a bell, too. Sean, Sean, Sean Porter got a bell, too. Sean Porter got a bell. Sean, Sean, Sean Porter got a bell, too. 
<laughs> but we got niggas that be capping for this dude, bro. Sure, Porter got a bill too. <laughs> Man, that shit sound crazy as hell, bro. Niggas finna be sick. Yeah, bro. Sick as hell. Sick as hell. Gonna be a lot of drunk people in Texas. And <laughs> drinking they drinking they sorrows away. Mango Ju07 say, King David, I hate Raiders Vegas. Leaving us in Bay again. Yeah, bro. I ain't like that either, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like that either, man. <sighs> All about them Oakland Raiders, man. You know what I'm saying? Now they the Las Vegas Raiders. I don't never, I never even, I, I don't even really. I forget that, honestly, from time to time, that they the Las Vegas Raiders. They still in Oakland to me. You know what I'm saying? They still the Oakland Raiders to me. I don't even acknowledge that. You know what I'm saying? Well, hold on. Let me put my little it thing. I wanted, I wanted to let it charge a little bit to make sure uh, make sure I was in a full swing. Everything was charged up. God damn it. Hold on, man. Let me, uh, let me get right. Let me get right real quick. All right, we right, we right. DT four one four life say you ready for this one sided ass whooping? Yes, I am. I'm ready to watch Bud one sidedly whoop Earl Spencer's ass. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Whoa, Futamon be in the building. He got the boxing glove up in the air. Uh, yeah, man, it's about to go down, bro. It's about to go down. Don Vaughn say, 40, uh, Don Vaughn say, salute, whoa, I remember you from Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, salute to Germany in the building, man. My sister in Germany right now. My sister living in Germany right now. Salute to Germany. We international in the house. This about to be an international ass whooping <laughs> that Earl Spence about to take. Eros Ben's about to take an international ass whooping. <laughs> a worldwide ass whooping. People gonna witness this ass whooping in Germany. They gonna witness it in Paris. They gonna witness it in Japan. They gonna witness it in Bangkok. <laughs> they gonna witness it in Mexico. It's gonna be a worldwide ass whooping that we gonna see Earl Spence witness. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna say suffocate this fish. Yeah, bro. Had yeah, that motherfucker out the water like Yeah, <gasps> 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jamal needs to say all the Earl sexes, you can see their hearts pumping <laughs> from their backs, shaking my head. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal needs is scared to death. Yeah, man. I already know they're scared. I already know. And Doris got the fishing pole with the fish on the rod. We done finally reeled him up again, didn't we? And reeled him in, didn't we? We caught that duck, didn't we? We caught that duck. Now it's time to pluck his feathers and skin him. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do with the duck. Okay, salute to CD Real Wade on Facebook. Salute to you, fam. We live on Facebook, man. What up with it? Salute to you in the building from Facebook, man. New Orleans in the building. Salute to the to New Orleans, man. You know what I mean? That ain't nothing but the South. Salute to New Orleans. You know what I mean? Appreciate y'all, man. Out there in New Orleans, man. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite artists from New Orleans, man. Juvenile. You know what I mean? Juvie the Great. You know what I'm saying? Came up on Juvie from New Orleans. You know what I mean? Don Vaughn say Fagnon losing his stools. <laughs> yeah, bro. Shit about to get ugly. About to get ugly. Oh, shit. It's thunder outside. God damn. Lightning and thunder out this motherfucker, ain't it? Ray Hardy say let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, it's about to go down. Jenny Le Jimmy Lennon in the ring. It's happening. The boot. 
Harvey Price new edition song. Is this the end for Spence? <laughs> uh, I was about to go down, y'all. If y'all thought I was tripping in them other fights, I'm going to be tripping like a motherfucker in this one. You see, this way everybody clamors over. The fuck you talking about, Earl? <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Undisputed, what's a white champion of the world? It's going down. Terrence is going to be sharp and accurate. Yes, sir. Don Vaughn said, yes, sir. Errol walking out. Errol walking out first because he lost the coin toss. <laughs> walking out now. <laughs> A-side coming out first. Facts. I like that big truck song. We should have came out to that again. That's how Earl, hey, Earl Spence be looking like that um, in the offseason. He be looking like, just like his artist, he be looking like his artist in between fights. That's how he be looking. Earl, I look swole like he been crying. He probably been crying his eyes out. His eyes look swole like he been crying his eyes out, bro. That boy ain't get no sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Like a deer in the headlights right now, boy. I don't take this ass whooping like a man, Earl. A baby fight by the start, man. Oh, you want to get on? Earl coming out like this. Oh, that boy ain't get no sleep last night, boy. Earl scared. Bud look ready. Earl looks worried. <laughs> look worried right now. He got a smart. He got smart stop on what they mean. He going to box. I didn't feel EJ ring walk. <laughs> I didn't feel it either. I feel like the, the one he did for Ugas was better with the big truck. That is, that's his name, right? I think big truck. That shit was hard. 
I like I like the big truck, man. He should have brought a big truck back. If he come out to Eminem, I heard he was gonna be coming out with Eminem, but I think that's what he's coming out with. What? Hey, what I told y'all. Boy, go beat the shit out this nigga. Come on, hey. Hey, he got the fish net on him. <laughs> he got the fish net on him. He beat him. He wanted the coin toss. He wanted the ring walk. First win of the, the first win of the evening. He won the ring walk. Well rested. Slept good last night. Like I'm finna eat good tonight. Bug gonna beat the shit out of Earl. He gonna beat the shit out this dude. <laughs> he gonna beat the shit out this dude, man. A side walked out first. Who said that? Who said that? A side walked out first. A <laughs> side Earl. He's A side KD. The A side. I walked out first then. Why you walk out first? See the A side. Hey, 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 Don Vaughn. Don't say he look. Don't say he look horrible. Oh, oh, don't say. Who said that? I don't want to hear that Earl wasn't himself. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't want to hear that Earl wasn't himself. He wasn't himself, KG. He was sleepy. <laughs> I don't want to hear that Earl was sleepy. I don't want to hear it. He wasn't himself, KG. I only got three hours of sleep last night. <laughs> the night before the fight, KD, Earl only got three hours of sleep. <laughs> I don't want to hear none of the excuses. I don't want to hear it. A B say Bud look pissed. Yeah. I told you Earl was gonna get five years worth of ass whooping tonight. Five years worth of ass whooping gonna come out tonight. Are you gonna open up a tuna can of ass whooping on Earl Spence, bro? Tuna can of ass whooping. Rich Wolves in the building. He say Bud wins by late stoppage, tenth or eleventh round. Facts. A Sap Low Dog, Earl Sexuals know you done fucked up, right? Yeah. You know you done fucked up, right? All that bullshit you've been talking for all these years, it comes to an end tonight. The last live stream I did was called The Death of the Earl Sexuals. These niggas gonna die tonight. Y'all gonna die. You change your screen names. I hope you got your new screen names already picked out. Your new profile pictures. I hope you got them all picked out and ready. Ready to roll for tomorrow, son. Because you're gonna need them. You're gonna need them. Came out with the net, the fish net. <laughs> it's going to fuck down right now, y'all. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me tonight, bro. It's going down.
Even Jimmy Lennon Jr. nervous. God damn it. That nigga stuttering. Nigga said T T G G G Productions. Uh, Bud Pace gonna beat this nigga ass, bro. Look at Arrow. Do I really gotta do this? <laughs> do I really? Do I really gotta do this though? Here go Arrow fight. Earl look worried as fuck, bro. Get his ass whooped. I'm glad they ain't do like the, the national anthem and shit. I'm glad they ain't do that. That shit be cringy when I hear it. I be like, ah, you ain't got to do that every fucking fight. You know, everything. God damn. <laughs> Racy say, Earl extra greasy. What the fuck? <laughs> that nigga hoping them gloves going to slide off real good. Ain't it? Oh, they got Harvey Doc in there. Okay, Harvey Doc official. This shit a rap, facts. Deep pocket say, bottom line, chat, gang, we watching history, legacy being made. Let's fucking go boxing. Yeah, it is going to be a good night of boxing right now. It's going to fuck down. But look ready. Thirty forty and oh tonight. Gonna just put say forty and oh. Golden, what up, Unc? What up, Unc? About to watch this fish fry go down. Damn, 12 in the building. He say, let's go, Crawford. <laughs> Go to say, AC, hey, it's showtime. Okay, yeah, we go. it's going down. Yeah. The champ. It's the champ. Go on, take that ass whooping like a man, Earl. First of all, hey, how the fuck these niggas got Earl pound for pound number two? You know what? I ain't even gonna talk about that now. These niggas got anyway, whatever. Whatever. Twenty-eight and one, A B. Facts. 28 and 1. I'm gonna get his ass whooped. He gonna get his ass whooped. Here you go. Earl is not elite. Watch this. Facts. He a good fighter. It's the difference between being a good fighter and being elite. 
Bud is elite. Earl a good fighter. We're going to see the difference right now. Who the Earl sex was going to be so sick after this? It come round one, y'all. Let's go. So the bud filling them out in the first round. Bud circling them. Getting a feel for them. Bud coming out a little faster than normal. Just a little faster, though. I think he slowed his pace down. He sees Earl's being a little hesitant, so he's slowing his pace down. Earl's starting out very slow. Only two jabs so far. Earl pawing with the jab. Earl pawing still with that jab. Bud look like he's measuring right now. Bud looks very, very sharp, y'all. Very sharp. Razor sharp. Probably sharper than I've ever seen. Bud stuck two jabs. Nice little double jab. Another jab. Bud using some lateral movement. Earl threw a double jab. Stuck a little body shot in there. Bud comes out with a jab. Earl lands a nice body shot. Earl throw one, two, both blocked. Bud throws a jab. A lot of filling out, a lot of measuring going on in this round. Bud throws a jab to the body. Mixing up his movement very well. Another jab, a couple jabs by Bud. Oh, Bud Lamb's a straight left hand. He's in the southpaw position, by the way, y'all. So for the people who are saying that Bud can't fight Earl in the southpaw stance, right now Bud is in the southpaw stance right now, y'all. Just landed a straight left hand. Landed a double jab on Earl. Earl looks a little dazed. Earl going to get his ass whooped. He look like a deer in the headlights right now. <laughs> he look like a deer in the head. <laughs> like a deer in the headlights right now to me, man. Sports, sports man in the building. He say Spence looks bigger now. Yeah, I bet he do look bigger. I bet he did rehydrate up high, a little higher. Uh, you know what I'm saying? In order to be able to absorb a lot of the punishment that he going to take tonight. I bet he did. He probably somewhere around 180, 190 right now. I wouldn't be surprised. He's still going to get his ass whooped, though. A.B. say Spence being very cautious. I feel like Earl starts a little faster than this. You know what I mean? A little faster than this. You know? Definitely looks like he's very cautious. This is a fill-out round for sure. I know for Bud right now, he's doing a lot of measuring. He's doing a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, calculating and computing right now. Earl, on the other hand, I, I don't know what Earl doing. Earl... Earl should be coming face forward, right? He should be coming straight Mexican style. It should be a whole lot of pressure, but I'm not seeing it right now. It doesn't look like Earl is able to cut off the ring so far in that first round, but let's see. Round two, here we go. Earl throws a little right hand over or left hand over the top. Bud still in the southpaw stance. Earl landed a body shot.
Earl looks very clumsy. Very, very clumsy in there with me. He does not look comfortable. Bud lands a jab. Earl lands, uh, uh, throws a jab, gets blocked. Bud throws a jab to the body. Oh, oh, oh. One, two, three landed by Bud. Looked pretty flush. Earl took it well, though. But Bud looked like he just was touching him. Didn't look like he threw it with any kind of aggression or power. Earl throws a left hand, was blocked by Bud. Earl doing a bit of mauling right now. Earl a little busier this round than last round. I'm not seeing a whole lot of pressure right now. Earl right now it seems like he's doing a lot more thinking in the ring than he should be doing right now. This is the part of the fight where I feel like Earl should be coming forward a lot more. Uh-oh, Bud looking like he's starting to throw some heat on them counter shots. Earl's backing up a little bit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Earl tried to muscle him, got pushed back. I don't know how y'all saw that shit. Oh, Bud landed a, a left hand over the top. Still in the southpaw stance, by the way. Oh, shit. To the body. Oh, 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 shit! And the first knockdown. Fuck Earl Spence. He a bitch. That nigga going down. Fuck wrong with that nigga. Earl oh, down. Bitch ass nigga. He might get knocked out before six rounds. Fuck you talking about? Look at Bud. Best finisher. Best finisher. Best finisher. Play by the motherfucking bell. This nigga getting stopped. Fuck you talk about? Get this nigga the fuck up out of here, bro. The fuck y'all talking about? This y'all nigga right here? This nigga Earl? Nigga look scared. First of many, goddammit. it. Get this nigga the fuck up out of here, bro. The fuck? Nigga Bud ain't even warmed up yet, nigga. Bud ain't even warmed up yet. Nigga he ain't even got a motherfucking fresh sweat on him yet. Bud ain't even got a fresh sweat on him. What y'all talking about? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. If you make a mistake, you got to pay. This is why this nigga took the easy route. This is why this nigga took the easy route. He know what the fuck going on. He'd be lucky if he make it up out of six rounds. Good shot by Earl. But Earl want to get his shot back. Earl want to get his shot back. Bud still in the southpaw stance. Earl looking to go balls to the wall. He stopped thinking. That's what he shouldn't do. Earl should never be thinking in a fight with a guy like Bud Crawford. You should be throwing punches. Your game plan should be throw punches. Nigga, the fuck you doing trying to think in there with Bud Crawford? He a way better boxer, nigga. Bud still got to be careful. Earl's still very live in there. I'm sure his pride is hurt. Two on top of that. But Earl gets dropped for the first time in his career. Officially, because he got dropped by Ugas. Look at that defense by Bud. One of the most least hit fighters in boxing. Got caught again by the counter left hand. Earl doing some mauling now. It's all being blocked by Bud right now, though.
Earl doing way too much thinking again. He gonna get caught. Oh shit, caught again by another straight left hand. That power different, nigga. Earl ain't never fight no goddamn power punchers. That power different, nigga. You can walk through a hundred thousand Ugas punches, but you ain't walking through butt bud punches like that. Ooh, power jab gets hit. Earl get hit by. Oh, oh, hit again. Hit by a chopping right hand by Bud or left hand. Oh, jab. Straight left hand or, or right hand jab. Bud still in the southpaw stance. Where you niggas at that say Bud can't fight Earl in the motherfucking southpaw stance? Where you niggas at? Where y'all at? Bud beating Earl ass in the southpaw stance. Fuck y'all talking about? Y'all niggas don't know shit about boxing? I need all y'all niggas to come to the front of the congregation and tell me y'all don't know shit about boxing. All you Earl Spence fans, I need the title of the, your next video to be I don't know shit about boxing. You Earl Spence fans. The fuck you niggas be thinking? You niggas go up to real boxing fans and act like you know boxing. Y'all don't know shit. Bud look calm. Bud look calm. Bud look ready. Barely gassed. Composed. Earl look rattled by the moment. Scared. Look at Mayweather in the crowd. Who you think Mayweather picked to win the fight? Bud Crawford. Look at Bud. Uh, uh, to the body. To the body, fucking them up. That power different. That power is different. Earl ain't never fought no power puncher. He ain't never fought nobody with no louder. Look at Earl's face already. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look at this shit. Oh. Woo! Left hand, right, or uh, uppercut to the body. That was a good body shot by Earl. Go over the hand by Earl. Or overhand, uh, left. Oh! Good goddamn chopping right by Bud. Good body shot. That hurt Earl. Oh! Good left hook by Bud. Oh, good motherfucking right job by Bud. God damn. Earl getting fucked up. Earl get fucked up. Look at him. Oh, good job by Bud. Good right job. Good body shot by Earl. Good double body shot. He's still fighting and hanging in there, but it's looking bad. Good motherfucking right job by Bud. Good chopping right, chopping left by Bud, bro. Still in the southpaw stance. Has not changed. Still in the southpaw stance. He can't fight it in the southpaw stance. Whooping Earl ass in the southpaw stance. Body shot by Bud. They trade body shots, actually. Double jab by Crawford. This the reason why Spence took the easy route, nigga. 
We know body shot. Get this nigga the fuck up out of here, bro. He don't belong in the ring with no Bud Crawford. Never did. Never did. That's why he took the easy route, nigga. Y'all get it now? Do y'all understand now why he took the easy route? Do you get it? Do you understand why he had to collect his belts on his side of the street? Do you get it? He not going to want that rematch, nigga. He not going to want that rematch. He getting paid to take an ass whooping. My guy, everybody fears and Jade in the bed. He say, man, Earl getting tagged. Backyard probably say, do you hear me now, you goofy mofos? Earl is confused, my guy, A.B. Sportsman, it's the reason why Earl took the easy route. Facts. Earl gonna get this work. Facts. Trying to get this man to extra work. Doc already checking him out. Like, look here, sir. You're taking too much punishment, bro. You're taking too much punishment. You need help out here, son. You need help. This nigga. Round number five. Bud done got a break. Already wasn't gas, but he done got. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. God damn. Oh, what the, what the right down? Oh. The speed, the power, the adjustments. Earl can't keep up. Too sharp. Still in the southpaw stance. Ain't even had to make an adjustment yet. Earl, he had a harder fight versus Mean Machine. Earl landed a few nice little body shots. Good right there. Oh. Oh, good motherfucker right hook. Oh, good motherfucker chopping left hand. Oh, oh, good motherfucker hook. Bud looks sharp. Look at this man swinging for the fences. Fuck wrong with this dude. Fuck wrong with this dude, bro. That's hell. Bud taking a break. Oh, oh, fuck that break. Oh, look at that left hand. Oh, I'm a cut on the inside. Oh, all of a sudden. God damn. Oh, God, that's half. What a, God damn, again, what a tail. Earl coming harder. He throwing punches in bunches now. That's what you should have started out doing, Earl, trying to think. Oh, oh, he caught Bud with a good shot. Good shot. Second good shot he done caught Bud with. Oh. Earl landed a good a good shot in that round, but that's the best you can say about Earl. Bud controlled the round. Bud is up four rounds to zip right now. Bud beating the dog, the dog, cat, giraffe, lion, tiger, bear. Oh my shit! Out of Earl Spence Jr. right now, the shit is looking ugly. 
The doctor already came in. If you're just tuning in, the doctor already came in and checked in on Earl. Want to make sure he's all right. Want to make sure he can continue. This shit ain't looking good right now for Earl Spence. But he did land a good shot. Maybe Earl can still make the fight competitive because right now it's not competitive right now. Right now it ain't competitive right now, y'all. After this fight, I'm going after Fernand and boxing egos. Them niggas need to be shut down, bro. They need to be shut down. I don't know what the fuck they be talking about. A lot of these channels, though, they're they not the only ones, though. A lot of these niggas don't know what the fuck they be talking about. Here go round six. Earl ain't make a sin and made a single adjustment. Now Earl is backing up. So now he's trying to fight off his back foot now. Something that he hasn't done in all 29 fucking fights. Bud's still in the southpaw stance. Earl landed a good few body shots. Good. Right jab by Bud. Ooh. Ooh, good body shot. Good body shot by Earl on the inside. Good uppercut by Bud on the inside. Good right jab by Bud. Earl slowing down. He need to be punching. I don't understand. What happened to Earl not letting Bud rest at any point of the round? What happened to that? Ooh, good right jab by Bud. Good right jab by Bud. Still in the southpaw stance. Bud ain't no switch hitter. He's not a switch hitter. Earl with the nut shots again. Punching niggas in the balls. Oh, nice little chopping left by Bud. Super accurate, super sharp. This looking like Bud, one of Bud's easiest fights. It's looking like Bud taking the easy road. After this fight, you niggas gonna be saying Bud ain't fought a nobody. He ain't fought nobody. With the nut shots again, another nut shot. Chopping right hand by Bud. Oh, 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 oh. Two straight right hand, straight uh, jabs by Bud. Right-handed jabs. Earl misses wildly. Oh, good right hand on the inside. Good left upper, up, uppercut on the inside, bro. Good uppercut on the inside. So when your boy KD say that Bud gonna beat the shit out of Earl Spence, and you Earl Spence fans say, oh, it's a 50-50 fight, KD. Now you know I'm not the one capping. And all them other niggas you be listening to be capping. Now you know. Getting the shit beat out of them. This shit looking ugly. This shit looking ugly, bro. Ugly. This shit looking ugly. It's a 50-50 fight, KD. A 50-50 fight. 50-50 fight where, nigga? This don't look like 50-50 to me. At least he beat, at least he, at least he, uh, uh he beat James Tony prediction. He'd be lucky to make it about a six rounds. Ooh, with the straight left hand. 
Oh, right hook. Oh, oh, another right hook. Oh, body shot by Bud. Oh, Lord. It's levels to this shit. Good right hook by Earl. Oh! Knock down number two. Knock down number two. Get this nigga the fuck up out of here, bro. Look at this nigga face. Oh! Earl still white. Earl still going. Oh, oh, fuck all that. Earl down twice. Good fighting on the inside by Earl. Earl still hanging in there. He still got a lot of heart. He still hanging in there, y'all. Another nut shot, another ball shot by Earl. Punching niggas in the balls. I guess, I think that was the game plan they were talking about earlier. Try to hit the nigga in the balls as many times as I can. Uh. Uh. Body shot by Bud. Uh. Another body shot by Bud. Uh, chopping left hand by Bud. Uh, oh, get this nigga the fuck up out of here, nigga. Get this nigga the fuck up out of here. Throw the motherfucking towel in, nigga. Throw in the towel. Where Kenny Porter at to throw in the towel for this nigga? Where where Kenny Porter at? Where Kenny Porter at? Throw in the towel for this nigga. Down three times. Get this nigga the fuck up out of here, bro. Mm. Mm. This why he took the easy route, nigga. This why. He knew that this is what it was, bro. This why he took the easy route, nigga. This why. Sean Porter got a belt too. That's why. Round eight, KD predicted round nine stoppage. We in round eight right now. It's already been three knockdowns. Earl on his back foot looking like Earl's Landy Laura right now, y'all. He looking like Laura on his back foot moving around laterally and shit right now, bro. What happened to the pressure? What happened to the pressure Earl supposed to have, bro? What happened to the pressure? 
Get this nigga the fuck up out of here, bro. You Earl Spence fanboy channels don't know shit about boxing. Bud with more right jabs. Bud to the body again. Bud taking a round off. Resting. Resting. Right jab to the body by Bud. Still in the southpaw stance. Uh, uh, uh. Earl Wobbly again. Swung and miss. Lousy miss by Earl. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Earl threw a left hand over the top. Earl doing some mauling now. Right hook, right jab by the bud. Two right jabs by bud. Bud still in the soft spot stance. Bud took that round off. Bud took that round off. And still beat Earl ass. How the hell you take a round off and still beat that nigga ass? Your boy KD predicted nine. Let me see if I'm right. Let me see if I'm right. Arrow looking, arrow looking real bad out here on these streets. Look at him. He foresaw this ass whooping. He getting five years worth of ass whooping right now, y'all. The easy route, side of the street, every knockdown. For each excuse, a new knockdown. A new knockdown for each excuse. Arrow still hanging in there, though. He got heart. Bud took the round off. Where the punch is at? Where's the pressure? Where's the pressure at? Where's the pressure at? Where's the pressure? I don't see no pressure. Bud coming forward right now with the jabs. Bud coming forward with the jabs. Bud coming forward right now with the jabs, the right jabs. Bud muscling that man on the inside, bro. Muscling him on the inside, bro. Earl throwing some body shots. Earl getting busy. Punch is getting blocked, but he getting busy. Bud with the right jab. Bud with the jabs coming forward right now. Right jab. Another right jab by Bud. Ooh, right hand. Oh, left right hand to the body by Bud. Uh. Earl hurt again. Earl hurt again. Oh, swings and miss. Body shot by Bud. Another body shot by Bud. Earl going to the body now. Throws a few body shots. They land. 
Right jab by Bud. Hook by Bud. Earl throwing some jabs, throwing some hook. They exchanging a little bit on the inside. Jab by Bud. Jab by Bud. Earl throwing some jabs. They all miss pity pat jabs. Oh, 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 shit. God damn. Oh, oh, God damn. Oh, God damn. Oh, shit. Get this thing out the fuck up out of here. This nigga KD was right. Ninth round stoppage, nigga. Ninth round stoppage. Am I right or am I fucking right? Nigga, get this nigga the fuck up out of here. This shit ain't going 12, nigga. Get this nigga the fuck up out of here, bro. Ain't no rematch, nigga. Look at him. Sportsman-like conduct. That's a real man right there. Showing that nigga love and respect. After all that shit he was talking. I thought Bud Mom wasn't going to be dancing. Dancing in the ring with him. <laughs> His mom, wow. <laughs> Threw the leg up. <laughs> Nigga, get this nigga Earl. Hey, 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 did I call it or did I call it? Ninth round stoppage. Ninth round stoppage. Ninth round stoppage. Ninth round. <laughs> Ninth round stoppage, nigga. Not only, not only, was that nine or was that ten? That's nine, was that nine? Ninth round stoppage. Ninth round stoppage, y'all. Get Earl the fuck up out of here. Get his fanboys the fuck up out of here. Get get his fanboys the fuck up out of here. The Earl sexuals are dead, nigga. Y'all niggas are dead. Off with your fucking head, bro. That's y'all. That's y'all man's right there. D level fighter, nigga. D level fighter, Jamal Neasy. D-level fighter. D-level fighter. Get him the fuck up out of here, bro. Demolish that boy. A-B. A Demolish that boy. Oh, wow. Jimmy Trice. PBC gonna murder, bud. I told y'all Terrence was sharp and accurate. PBC. Hey. Get him the fuck up out of here. Get his fanboys the fuck up out of here, bro. He got destroyed, nigga. This fight wasn't even close. 50-50 fight. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? I hope y'all niggas got plenty of Tito's. <laughs> plenty of Casamigos. Get this nigga the fuck up out of here, bro. Get this nigga the fuck up out of here. D-level fighter, bro. Jamal Neasy, we're going to take the $2. We're going to get us some boats and hoes. Matter of fact, fuck that. It's a celebration in this bitch. <laughs> the celebration. Bitches. Come It's a celebration, bitches. Show time for your tennis. Rick James. I got Jamal Neasy, your titties. And you know we're dropping the link. We definitely are. After the post fight, we're dropping the link. All day, every day, man. You know we got to. Earl, at the end of the day, Earl is a smart man, but not that smart. Why wouldn't I? 
you a smart man, but not that smart. Bro, I'm smart man, but not that smart. <laughs> but not that smart. You got paid for this ass whooping, but you got that ass whooping. You got that ass whooping. You got that five year long ass whooping. You got that ass whooping. You got that ass whooping. You got paid to get that ass whooping. You got paid to get that ass whooping. That's what's up. But you got that ass whooping. You got that ass whooping. We know why you took the easy route now. Two time undisputed champion of the world. 40 and 0. 40 and 0. There was never any doubt. 40 and 0. Two time undisputed champion. Get Earl the fuck up out of here. Get his fanboys the fuck up out of here. Get the Earl sexuals the fuck up out of here. Welcome to the China Cup. A tang a tang tang, a tang a tang tang tang. To the China Club, bro. Welcome. Eleven straight knockouts. Forty and oh. Look at Bud. Bud look like he he barely look like he done fought. Ninth round, just like your boy KD said, bro. Black Balmy. Yeah. Right. Mm hmm. Mm. Pound for pound, number one. Easiest fight. Hey, easiest fight of his career. Still fought nobody. <laughs> Facts. He ain't fought nobody, y'all. Hey, but ain't fought nobody, y'all. He ain't fought nobody. He ain't fought nobody, y'all. Y'all know he ain't fought nobody, right? Jamel is next. He ain't fought nobody, y'all. It kind of link, bro. He ain't fought nobody. Look at her. Look at her. Hold on, man. I'm going to keep y'all. I see y'all in the back. I'm going to keep y'all in the back for a second, bro, because I, I need to hear what Earl got to say. I, I want to hear Bud review first before we start Before we start going in, bro. I see y'all back there. I'm going to bring y'all up one by one. I see y'all back there, but I need to hear the rest of this interview and Earl interview too, bro.
Fish fry complete. Fish fry complete. Ah, oh, hell no, nah. 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 I'm missing, ah, oh, no, nah. shit, thank you, thank you, oh, shit, he put that in there, oh, shit, this is stupid, y'all, I'm missing the interview, bro, hold on a second, y'all. It was the car accident, KD. <laughs> he, he was way drained, KD. <laughs> it was the eye injury, KD. That's what it was. No, no, no. Earl was sleepy, KD. He was sleepy. He didn't get no rest. He only got three hours of sleep, KD. Cuz like what happened? <laughs> Based on what he said, it's gonna be the excuse. There you go. Good. There you go. There you go. No excuses, Earl. No excuses. There you go. Good. Good. Let's see. He said he got the ability to trigger a rematch. Let's see what happened. He said he want to do it again. That nigga ain't serious. I don't believe that shit. Okay, y'all. Earl, Earl, Earl ain't make no excuses. He ain't make no excuses. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. I, we didn't hear about the weight drain. We're going to see what happened at the press conference, but we ain't hear no excuses. We ain't hear about the weight. We ain't hear about none of that shit. I'm proud of Earl. All right, so I'm bringing niggas on one by one. Here we go. My first guy is Don Emilio, man. Don Emilio, what up with you, bro? Hey, salute. Can you hear me, King David? Yeah, I can hear you good, bro. Man... As we as we knew, man, we 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 are we are we already knew what the deal was. You know what I'm saying? Right. We 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 we, we saw this. O right. Only only the true hardcore fans of boxing that understand the small details know that Bud was the better fighter. For anybody who really thought that this was a 50 50 fight, they either they just don't know shit about boxing, or they just want to feed themselves this false sense of confidence. But low key, they know. Who to do this? You know what I'm saying? Mm. But 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 we all know what it is. You know they have to run there. They have to they they, they, have, they have to push their fighters. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we 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 knew what it was. And and any everything Bud was doing, I wasn't surprised. And to be honest, I felt like Bud was playing with his food a little. When he knew he had Earl Hurt, you notice he just kind of starts taking it easy. He he knew he had him for the kill anytime. And this. To be honest, was one of Bud's easiest fights. What? What? what so, Kavlos so what is better. Uh, Gamboa is better. 
Uh, mm. Avenesian, Avenesian, he said he was a bum. He, to me, he gave Jeff Horn was better, yo. Like, Jeff Horn didn't fall that many times. Did Jeff Horn get knocked down four times? Mm. Like, like this, and I knew it. I'm like, this is gonna be one of Bud's easiest fights, yo. Like, I, I just see it. You, Spence does not move his head from the center line. He's, 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 he's not, he doesn't have counter punching ability. He doesn't have footwork. You know what I'm saying? He's flat footed. That's why PBC avoided Bud, and they didn't. And he and Bud wasn't in, in the plans to begin with. They, they knew this, you know. Mm, facts. They knew once they got to Bud, they, 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 they knew it was up. Al Heyman knew it was up. Facts. Yeah, Mayweather knew what was up. Facts. The whole organization knew knew what was Floyd up. Floyd said it. Saying? Floyd was like, I pick Bud Crawford. Bud Crawford going to fight. And it's funny. I had one fanboy last week. He was like, uh, uh, he was like, uh, 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 Earl sparred with Floyd, and he did well against Floyd. So that should tell you everything you need to know. I'm like, hey, he KD. sparred with Floyd, but Floyd picked Bud to win. What does that tell you, bro? Hey, KD. Hey, KD. One thing we know about Floyd, he's all about money. Earl is under the PBC banner. He's not going to say anything bad about um, Earl. You know, he, he did that to promote Earl and raise his stock. Think about this. If you run a, a Mercedes-Benz dealership and the customers come to the dealership, are you going to say, oh, yeah, you know, this C300 is it's a piece of crap, you know, it doesn't perform well? You're going to speak good about your cars, you know what I'm saying? Right, exactly. And that's, exactly. How, and that's how Mayweather looked at uh, Earl as a car. You're not going right. to talk shit about your, your cars and your dealership. You right. Know what I'm and that's why I never understood it when the fanboys would say, oh, well, Floyd was hating on Earl. He'd be hating on Earl, right? That's really what it was. He'd be hating on Earl. And I'm like, why would Floyd hate on his own business? You know what exactly. I'm saying? Would you go, yeah. would you go, would you build a business and then hate on it, sabotage your business that you built? Would you do that? That makes no. zero sense. That makes zero I sense. I gonna fucking do that. Unless you, just on, like bro, losing, like, unless you just intentionally like losing money. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Right. Don't nobody like losing money. I don't care how much you don't like a dude. I'm going to support you if I'm making money off you. Like, especially, what the hell? Especially if you purposely losing money. You know, nobody. So that's how I look at Floyd. Floyd, I, I, to be honest, I think Floyd beat him up in that form. But, you know, he, he wanted to be quiet. And he did, he said, you know, it's good work. When Nate Jones, remember Nate Jones leaked it out? He said Floyd almost knocked Earl Spence out of form. You yeah. know, but. But Floyd, you know, Floyd always home. Floyd on Floyd is not the type of person to brag about what he does. He's fine. He said, you know, it's good work. That's all. That's it was good work, you know. Yeah, it was good, good work. work. For real, it, for real. That's all he says. He's not. He don't. He don't downplay his foreign opponent. He said, it's good work. He's not saying, oh yeah, I beat the hell out of. Him. He's not. He's not. That's not him. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's a narcissist, but one thing he doesn't do is brag about if he beat somebody up in sparring. Oh it's yeah, no. Nah. No, Same thing I mean, Bud. If you know something about Bud he, and Spawn, Bud would say something like, he said, like, oh, yeah, I got good work over at that gym. You know what I'm saying? He's not he's not braggadocious, mm. you know? Bud, see, and this is what I say. This is what makes Bud so dangerous. He respects all his opponents. He doesn't downplay his opponents. When you're a competitor that don't downplay your competition, that means right. you're never playing down to the level of their competition. You know what I'm saying? Right. Facts. Facts, man. All right, bro. Earl, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. What you gonna say? Finish. You gonna say? Oh, then I'm gonna no, bring no, the next this person. Last up. Point. I said mm -hmm. Earl has has gotten comfortable making his career of that down playing point. Remember, he said when he fought Danny Garcia, oh, I I could fight him at seventy percent. You know, like that's, remember he said that. Yeah. You know, Sean Porter. Oh, uh, I'm a showstop. Let me say the easy route. Knock out Sean Porter. That means he didn't respect him. He saw that was easy work. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Facts, bro. Facts. Nah, man. Nah. All good points, man. I mean, we, we saw it tonight. Everything that we've been saying for the last two years, three years, everything that we've been saying, bro, it just got proved in the ring just now. It just got proved in the ring just now, bro. Like, you, you like, there's no more, there's no more debating. <laughs> you know, you, no you can't, there's no more debating. You, you're no longer allowed to try to debate this shit anymore. All yeah. you got, the only thing you can say at this point is, uh, the only thing I will, I'll be, you will be allowed to say as an Earl Spence fan is, I don't know shit about boxing, and you were right. That's the only thing. That's the only thing you are allowed to say at this point, bro. KD, you were right. I was wrong, right? Earl was a duck. 
he took the easy route because he knew he would get his ass whooped. And we saw tonight why he took the easy route because he knew he would get his ass whooped. Right? Absolutely. So, you know, so, I mean, you know, that's all there is to say about it, bro. Like, that's all. Like, like we're going to be talking our shit for a while, bro. I might have to go live every day this week just to talk shit, bro. Because, because I oh, mean, yeah. honestly, oh, yeah. bro, like, these niggas have been spamming the internet for, for years now, putting slandering bud, talking shit, spreading, putting false information. I heard, I heard some rumor that bud got knocked out in sparring for the training camp like nigga what where you get this shit from bro like what who niggas just making up stories you know what yeah, I mean yeah, they like, try to say bud miss weight like the, yeah the bud miss weight three yeah. times I heard this shit too bud yeah. got knocked out in sparring and he missed weight three times come on bro like bud was in bud was five pounds outside of weight a year ago but he missed weight come on three times get the fuck out of here bro but the fuck out of here, bro. And KD, and they're gonna have the nerve to say this is a, a Leonard Hearn. Earl didn't win one. Did, did Earl win one round? I, I didn't get him for one round. Bud, Bud washed, washed him, and I wasn't surprised. Washed. I wasn't Smoked. Surprised. Smoked him. Destroyed. Yo. Destroyed. What was the name of the video I did? Five reasons why Earl, why Bud Crawford will destroy Earl Spence Jr. Not beat Earl. B Earl, B Earl is like, ah, uh, you won 12 rounds, or are uh, you you skim by in a close fight, or no, I said destroy, and I said destroy for a reason. Destroy and, and, Earl Spence Jr. And KD, and KD, you, KD, you know what this approved? It proved that PBC does have the best matchmakers. Now yeah. Earl gotta eat them words. He said, he said top rank has the best matchmakers. <laughs> nah, nigga. The, all that shit was projection. He was projecting. That's what he was doing at you the know, end of the day. He was projecting. You know what it was? You know what it was? He was sipping his own Kool-Aid, and, and Earl thought he was better than he really was. That, Facts. That, that's what it was. Facts. You know? No, he was listening to these Earl sexual channels. You can tell because he was regurgitating the same talking points. Yeah. Talking about Bud ain't fought nobody. Like, nigga, how do you become a three-weight division, two-time lineal champion without fighting nobody? That's casual fanboy bullshit talking points. It didn't make no sense to begin with. But Earl was regurgitating the shit. Like it, like it was, like it was facts. I'm just when I heard that shit, I'm like, ah, oh, this nigga, ah, oh, this he gonna get his ass whooped. And, 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 you know, the icing on the cake that proved that Earl is not ready for Bud. He got hit by a mitt by the mitt with Derrick James in the in the open workout. Like, yeah, he saw that shit. That, hey, bro, as a professional, you should not have that happen to you. And I guarantee <laughs> you that wasn't the first time that happened. Derrick James probably called him a few times. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Look at this dude. Look at him. Look at the highlights of him just getting his ass whooped off all, all nine rounds. And I called the exact round two, round nine, bro. I got it exactly right. Nine and, and, rounds. Stop. And, and you know bro. what? And you know what? If Boot, hey, if Boot wants it next, he's going to get it next. He can and get it Boot, next. And Boot's going to be the same. Boot's going to get beat up too. I, Boots, I, took I, the, Boots, Boots took the IBF route for a reason, bro. He yeah. took the IBF route for a yeah. reason. Facts. But let me let me go to the next guy, man, because they've been waiting in the background for a little bit, man. Let me bring my guy AC on, man. AC, what a do, man? You see that ass whooping? Yeah, bro. What did I say, man? This fight is going salute, as, long salute, as, Bud, as long as Bud wants this fight to go. Right. You you feel what I'm saying? Was this a, was this a 50 50 fight, AC? Was it a 50 50 fight? Yeah. It never was a 50 50 fight. <laughs> we all knew that shit. And at the end of the day, I got to say this, man. As a boxing fan, I felt sorry for Errol. This mm. was the type of ass whipping that you don't want to see a fighter take. Mm. I mean, both his eyes was fucked up. His mm. mouth was fucked up. His nose was fucked up. Mm. I mean, granted, you talked all that silly shit. You ain't fought nobody. You ain't did nothing. Yada, 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 squeezy, splazzy, and all of that dumb shit. But, I mean... At the end of the day, you just don't. I'm I'm glad the ref stopped it because you could see, but the engine was going. You was about to just be laid the fuck out cold. Mm. Mm. So, at the end of the day, for all those aerosexuals talking that fuck boy shit, shut mm. the fuck up. Mm. Period. We don't want to mm. hear shit from you pussies. Mm. Y'all, y'all got that man that ass whooping like that. Mm. Derek James, you responsible for that man getting his ass whooped like that. Mm. He asked you fuckboys, well, what happens 
when Bud takes away his jab. Mm. He saw what happened. It wasn't even close. Mm. It wasn't even close. And then the fucking Showtime trying to say, trying to put in all that fuckboy shit where, oh, Errol Spence started his his Olympic career and as, as a welterweight, then he came into to pro boxing as a welterweight and he's been there since this day. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas should have looked at BoxRec before you did that little bullshit as documentary. Mm-hmm. BoxRec said, you's a liar. Mm. Niggas call me a liar and all of this other shit. Bro, dude in the chat threatened me saying he gonna beat my ass like Errol, like Errol gonna beat Bud. Bro, what happened? Mm. What happened? I said, put a thousand on your hands. We could put the gloves on and get in the ring. Mm. Texas don't mean a fucking thing where you from. It's about mm. the skill level. Mm. Mm. So at, at the end of the day, man, listen, all respects due to that dude for even stepping in the ring. Mm-hmm. You, you feel what I'm saying? He tried his motherfucking best. Sure did. Your best wasn't even close to to being effective in any kind of way, and that's my cook, man. This this mm. I, I don't even want, man. Listen, man, that shit was just horrible to watch, man. Mm. Man that down, horrible. <laughs> and and Dur said, and Dur said, dirt. man down, <laughs> man down. Put him in the dirt and swell his Put shit him in the dirt. Up. And listen, we don't want to hear nothing from you guys no more. Now I'm I'm about to be out because I'm going on my troll tour. <laughs> Salute to you, AC. One love, yeah. bro. One love, one love, bro, bro. One, 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 right, one, one love, one, one love, AC. All right, let me yeah. bring the next guy in, man. My guy Bug gonna stop Spence, man. What it is, bro? You see that ass whooping? Man, hey, he just I, got I, on that ass whooping, bro. Hey, 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 salute, hey, salute, Bug gonna stop Spence. Bug hey, gonna um, stop. Hey, 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 how long? Go ahead, go ahead. What you was gonna oh, say? No, uh, Don. Gonna Spence. I was gonna tell Buzz and stop Spence. Uh, Easy Wells channel's on, and and they said Dwight's not answering his phone, bro. Uh, you, you <laughs> <all> <laughs> hey, I was looking for his live too. He owed me five hundred. <laughs> hey, 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 you know what I'm saying? The first thing to disappear, bro. Wow. <laughs> Hey, 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 I know this is gonna be. I told what I tell you, didn't I tell y'all niggas a week before the fight? You're gonna see a lot of these niggas changing their screen names. A lot of yeah. niggas gonna be a lot of niggas gonna be they're gonna be deleting their profiles, they're gonna be deleting their comments. That's what they're doing right now. All this silence is them deleting their comments, deleting their profile, changing their screen names. Going off YouTube, putting they deleting their whole YouTube, probably taking a break from YouTube for a little while. You know what I'm saying? That's what yeah. they doing, bro. I'm telling you. Bug gonna stop Smith. How long you had that name, bro? Me, I had it uh, about a year and a half. So in a year and a year and a half ago, you predicted that Bug was gonna stop Spence. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. When they uh, first started right? talking about this fight, like heavy, um, you they somebody reported the shit I was saying on YouTube, so I had to make a new YouTube. I'm like, ah, right, y'all gonna get me reported, so I made it. Bug gonna stop Spence. I knew it a year, a year and a half ago. Hey, Bug gonna stop Spence. You know you should name your name now. You what? Just add one. Uh, Bud officially stopped Spence. <laughs> Man, unreal, bro. It was everything. Everything Spence said on one side of the ass whooping. It was. I knew he was right, but I knew it was on him. Right. Just like that was easy work. Bud blocked everything Spence threw. He blocked it on move. He didn't get shit off. I don't know how he. I don't know who gave him the first round. He didn't win no rounds. He didn't win that first no, round. No rounds. Bud, Zero. Right, he I don't even know if he won a push. minute of any round. I don't even I know if he won a minute of any round, let alone a round. On a real, we don't need no rematch. Like I said, what we need a rematch for, bro? Derek Danton, you want a rematch? We rematch. They know that's unwise. Y'all ain't finna win that shit. And like he was saying, Boots can't fuck with Bud, bro. He'll get stopped too. He mm. better than Spence, but he'll get stopped, bro, because he get hit a lot. Crawford will put him down. And um, yeah, it was it's so oh. See when he went over there to Charlo though, when he knocked him down, we right over there to Charlo talking that shit. Yeah, he went bitch, you next. Two or, three, two or three, yeah. You see Charlo face? He was upset, bro. He was hurting now. That shit yeah. was loud. Charlo man. gonna get his ass whooped by Canelo, and then niggas gonna be complaining. Oh, he 
You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't the same Charlo. Nigga, shut that yeah. shit up, bro. I want to hear that shit, man. Yeah, Nigga. that was that was go wonderful, ahead. bro. I, that was like everything, man. Straight up. See, nigga, I got to go get that money, man. I wish I could have pulled up to the fight, bro. I just ain't had 10 bands to drop on it. But shit, bro, my, it was worth all $84.99 of my dollars watching Earl Spins get towed the fuck up tonight, bro. Towed yeah, like the fuck up. And what about his fit with the fish in there, bro? That shit was hard as hell. <laughs> oh, man. And so, he came out with Eminem? Come on, now. Yeah, yeah, with Eminem. You already knew You already knew when he came out, it was something different, bro. You like, yeah. all right. He, he on one, yeah. bro. He on one tonight, hey, bro. Hey, hey, fellas, is it me or did Bud look bigger than Spence? He looked big. He looked bigger, right? In my opinion, he I'm looked bigger than Spence. I'm just trying to tell y'all that Bud is bigger. Only... Spence got the two inches of height, but that's it. That means Bud weight is in his body. So he got the wider frame. And what makes him bigger is he got the two inches of reach. So the wider yeah. frame alone, that's what make him, to me, that's what makes him bigger. That little height didn't mean nothing because Crawford got more um, girth, I guess that's how you said. No, hold on, but, you know, it's just like, to me, it's the same weight, but he's shorter, so he's more stockier. And what makes him bigger is the re arm reach. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Facts, facts, man. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, my motherfucking, my motherfucking uh, 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 room, the niggas done cleared out now. I bet these niggas right now trolling the Earl Spence channels. Right yeah, now. yeah. But, uh, hey, salute G Parker for keeping it real, man. That, G Parker, that's... real win, bro. He a real win. I always come through, I always show love. But you know, G Parker was always one of them dudes who was like, yeah, I'm Earl Spence, I'm Earl Spence fan. I support my guy he from Texas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I support my guy, but you know, Hey, Bud could win. He was always one of them dudes, man. So you know, um, but G Park a real boxing fan, man. He just he just support Earl. He's a Earl. He's a Earl Spence fan, not a right, Earl Spence yeah. fan boy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I know some of them. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You know that's that's cool. I ain't got no problem with Earl Spence fans. It's the fanboys and the Earl sexuals. Them the niggas that them the niggas I be I'm, I'm gonna be coming for. For this next motherfucking week, man, yeah, I'm gonna be roasting y'all, bitch ass. Look out for the fucking videos, cause I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna be attacking y'all niggas full steam ahead, bro. Cause you bitch ass yeah. niggas have been spamming the internet with your goofy shit for the last five years, bro. For the last five years, you niggas been spamming the internet with your goofy shit, bro. So now it's it's time for some much needed. Well, I'm I'm gonna whoop y'all ass just like Bud whoop Earl ass tonight, bro. That's what I'm about oh, to real. do. It's been to be busting all week, but I want to salute. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on Easy Rock Channel and check on the white and shit, man. I'm gonna <laughs> get that bad, bro. <laughs> all right, for sure, man. Salute. For sure, for sure, man. I'm probably gonna end the live soon too, bro. I done been on here about five and a half hours, so I'll probably I'm yeah. Probably I was on soon. when you first got on. I fell asleep. I woke up. You still talking? Hey, hey, I fell asleep. Hey, 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 fellas, hey, fellas. I went on Fanon's page. He streamed 18 minutes ago. He not on though. <laughs> <laughs> he took it down quick. Yeah, all right, bro, bro. Let me bring on the next person, man. All right, let me bring on this guy, man. Bowden understands, man. What a dude, what a good with you. Hey, salute, bro. Yo, man. Yo, that ass whooping. You're gonna have to clip this in your next video for what I'm about to say, man. So Errol Spence, I'm not gonna lie, this man could tell he 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 could predict the future. Once My man asshole. said two things I know off the bat that was right. He said it was going to be a one-sided ass whooping. And he wasn't lying on that. And number two, he said top rank got the best matchmaker in boxing. He wasn't lying about that either because mm. he just exposed the shit out of the PBC. And just like Bernie the Boxer say, they built Earl Spence into a star. He had a manufactured career. Mm. I don't want to hear no excuses mm. from these damn Earl sexuals. Mm. I'm going to be frying some fish. Mm. Fuck it. I, I don't even eat shellfish. I'm going to fry that shit too. Mm. The thing mm. is, man, Earl Spence, man, I, I already knew it. I knew it from the jump. I said, man, I can't wait till this motherfucker get his ass beat because these dudes been making up all of these stories about him and shit. Mm. About um, Terrence Crawford, you know what I'm saying? Saying this dude ain't fought nobody. Well, mm. I, I think he just beat another nobody because mm. that's what Earl Spence was tonight. A uh, nobody. nobody. Mm. And, and my man, he got beat down worse than worse than um Jamal Charlotte wife got beat down yesterday, man. That 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 ass whooping was serious, man. And then he mm. had the nerve to 
look at the referee and say, oh, why would you stop the fight? <laughs> oh, he's looking at him like, are like, you, are you serious? <laughs> like, and, and you know what's so crazy, man? I'm going to put a meme in there. So when Terrence Crawford, when he had walked over to Derrick James, I'm going to put that Friday meme in there. Be like, yo, you want some of this too, old man? You do some <laughs> shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Was well, well, you know, some you know, yeah, he was he was Derrick James was too busy celebrating his uh his 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 coach of the year joint. That shit going to Bo Mac next year. Cause uh Keyshawn Davis gonna beat the shit out of fucking um the other dude Derrick James got. So I bet you er like yo, nah, we're gonna let on uh say he ain't fight, we're gonna say Keyshawn ain't fight nobody, they're gonna try to hold that too. But you mm. know the guy for now, Katie. Oh man, man, oh man, that was an epic ass whooping for the ages. Five year worth of ass whooping. What I told y'all, bro. Five years worth of ass whooping is what we will be seeing tonight, and that's exactly what we saw. Exactly. Oh, what and we one saw. more thing. Go ahead. One more thing. I won five hundred dollars on DraftKings for the beat down fucking uh, Terrence Crawford put on Earl Spence. Mm. Thank you, DraftKings. Mm. Everybody winning money. So Bud Crawford fans winning money, getting rich out here on these streets. And Earl Spence fans getting broke out here on these boxing streets. Y'all yeah, niggas okay. got debts. Y'all niggas in debt right now, bro. <laughs> I, I was on a uh, FanDuel. You got on FanDuel? Yeah, DraftKings. I can't get my account on DraftKings. So I'm going on with it. But they do got better odds on DraftKings slightly. Y'all yeah. hey, yeah. getting yeah. paid out here, bro. Where's Keith Pierre, Dwight Anderson, and the rest of them dudes? Man, them niggas they gone, ghost. Them niggas hey, left, hey, scurried hey, out. Hey, Dwight, Keith Parker, hey, the only real one up in here. But go hey, ahead. AC, AC boxing nerd said uh, he tried calling Dwight's phone. He not answering, bro. He owe like $1,500. He's not answering. He crying. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me bring the next person on because I still got people in the back waiting. My guy, AC, man. What up, bro? I see you been waiting. What up with it, bro? You saw that ass? Did I see that ass whooping? I had to make my calls. I had to make my rounds. Yo, my wife watching the fights in the eighth round. She said, Bud don't even look, look like he don't even go out here and do this no more. He stopped in the bed for Earl Spence. He could have got, when he hit him with the double left hook, it made that boy come off his feet. <laughs> made him come off his motherfucking feet. Do you hear me? Like he diving in the pool, slicing that hole. <laughs> You know how y'all, you know how you motherfucker get the pool running, train on the pool and shit, jumping that bitch. That's how Earl Spence like he's slicing that hole. I said, look, I thought Bud was gonna whoop his ass by using his movement and shit. Bud did. Bud said, okay, y'all say he's strong. He a body snatcher. He too big. I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna let this motherfucker punch on me. And he can't hit me. And I'm still gonna beat his ass. Look. Jay breaking his boy motherfucking neck. They better check his motherfucking vertebrae and shit. I bet he thought it was another car accident. I know he did. Look. <laughs> he thought it was another and, and then, did, you, did you see when he hit him? When Bud hit him, Earl was trying to come forward. Bud hit him. I forgot what round. He hit his ass with that jab and made that motherfucker step back like eight times. I said, shit. <laughs> shit. Yo, yo, AB, AB, yo. What's up? Then, 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 then uh, Bud collect the eyes. Bud collect the oh, my God. Eyes. Look, I was feeling bad for Earl Spence. I'm, when I tell you, he went after the second round. Now, I'm, I'm going to be I'm gonna be real. I gave Earl the first round only because he was busy of the two. Bud landed the harder punches, but Earl was a little busy, so I had I gave him the round. But after that, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> but it was like Bud said, that's all you got? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about that straight left, the motherfucking right hook, everything, uh -huh. anything he wanted to throw at that dude, he was hitting with it. Uh -huh. Anything. I told people Earl was going to have to run in that kitchen and go through that motherfucking fire if he wanted to get the, get the Bud Crawford. He didn't have to walk through the fucking kitchen. The kitchen was right there. And he got his ass set on fire. <laughs> and you heard, did you hear Derek James? Can you do it for me, Earl? Can you do it? I know Earl wants to look at them and say, motherfucker, can you do it for me? <laughs> hey, hey, during the live, <laughs> during the live where Earl get his ass whooped, I was like, where the fuck is Kenny Porter when you meet him? <laughs> you hear me? You hear me? Oh, man, man. <laughs> Harvey Doc saved his life. Harvey saved his life. <laughs> I'm telling you, when, when Bud had him against the ropes, hit him with them, hit him with them lefts and rights. Oh, Harvey saved that boy life. 
Because he was going to go down again. <laughs> he was going to go down again. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling he you, was. Man. Look, that was one of the worst <laughs> ass whoopings I had seen in a minute. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about, I can't think of an a ass whooping. I got to watch this. This is ass whooping sports now. I got to watch that again, bro. I, oh, I got to oh, watch, watch I, I, I want to see the replay. Yeah, right. Look, look, that's one of the worst ass whoopings I ever seen in boxing. It's got to be one of the worst ass whoopings in the history of boxing. It's got to be. So, so, AB, you telling me it wasn't, it wasn't a 50 50 fight? <laughs> uh, well, we, we've been, look, I told you ever since I saw them dudes out when he ran up on that dude, said, Hey, I got my belt. What's up? <laughs> Sean Porter got a belt. I'm going to go the easy route. I said, Oh, shit. He's scared of this dude. I said, You know what? This dude might knock him the fuck out. <laughs> and then after I saw the Sean Porter fight, I said, Oh, hell yeah. He's going to knock him the fuck out. Oh, no, bro. Because he he fight like Sean Porter, except Sean Porter got bounced with him. Earl Spence is gonna walk to you, right? And, and that's what he was doing. What, what, and what what are these folks that said Earl gonna walk him down and punish him up against the ropes mm -hmm. and beat his body? I and beat that, him they up. Said, they said the jab was gonna be unstoppable, AB. <laughs> yeah, the jab was unstoppable. <laughs> it was Bud jab. All right, Bud then and killed him with the jab. <laughs> Hey, hey, they was they was also saying they was also talking about Bud wasn't gonna be able to fight Earl in the Southpaw stand because Earl was Southpaw master. Look, I told I told my wife when the fight started, I said, "Oh shit, he came out Southpaw. Oh shit, he came out Southpaw off the rip. He wasn't playing with him <laughs> at all. <laughs> he was whooping. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he was look, he was whooping his ass so bad he started to feel bad for him. <laughs> you when you see the fight again, watch watch Bud. In the uh, eighth round. Yeah. Watch him around in the ninth round. He 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 ain't wanna put them paws on that dude. <laughs> and the only reason why he only reason why he put the pressure on his ass in the ninth round, because when he hit him with that jab and that motherfucker down, he got knocked out. He said, <laughs> I gotta <laughs> jump on him. <laughs> Bro, I barely touched you and you damn near fell out. Bud took like probably like two rounds off too, man. He probably yes. could have had him stop. He probably could have had him stop probably in, in, in six, six, look, seven. Honestly. Look, when he when he got dropped in the second round, when Earl got dropped in the second round, I said, "Oh shit!" I didn't think it was going for. I didn't think it was going for. I think Bud wanted to. Ha I think Bud had mercy on his ass. Or uh, Bud was like, "I don't know if I got him just yet. Let me just <laughs> let me just go on relax." Right, <laughs> Bud. Good, yeah, Bug, I think Bug gave him too much respect. Bug could have got after when he got dropped in the second round. I said, "Oh shit, it's over. It's <laughs> over. This dude is not." James Turner predicted that he ain't making the four. He, he, be, he said, hey, "James Turner said he'd be lucky to make it by the sixth round. He'd be lucky. Yeah, That's what it woo. was. Lucky. No, he wasn't lucky because he got that ass beat. Yeah, he Do you hear me? Off get top to three. You hear me? If Bill Bootcamp say, Bootcamp say Bud is three, he would have been better off getting stopped in three because that ass. Yeah, he got better off stopping three so people could yeah. say, well, you know, he was weight drained or Bud cut him with a lucky shot. This was a thorough ass B team. There's nothing that nobody can say. There was, um, he stood right in front of this dude mm. and pushed right. his ass back and mm. beat him the fuck up. Had, had yeah. Earl Spence, the, the one of the highest volume punches in boxing. Had this motherfucker scared to throw his hands. Mm. Beat him black and blue. Hey, 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 I, hey, was, I, was, I was wondering, I was wondering where the pressure was at. I was like, like, like at round five, I was like, where the pressure at? Because hey, after, after, after round one, after round one. Where the pressure at? After round one, it wasn't no pressure. What you mean? <laughs> Earl Earl came out with no pressure. He tried, he tried every now and then, like, uh, uh. Nothing. 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 Mm. Nothing. And I think Bud was expecting him to have more. That's probably why he was like, I don't know. Let me just have my defense tight. Let me go and jab this dude. But when he saw that jab was murdering that boy, mm -hmm. I'm talking about peeling his cap back. Mm -hmm. Woo. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. All right, let me, let me, I got a few people in the back and then I'm going to open go up ahead. the corner afterwards. Let me go to my guy, Lightspeed, man. He's been waiting for a little minute, man. Lightspeed, what to do, man? You see that ass with me? Yo, KD. <laughs> How you feeling? Bro, bro I knew it, bro. It's, 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 it, you know, you know when you when you when you uh when you when you know something, you don't necessarily feel good about it because you knew it. Like I knew it. It wasn't like 
You know what I'm saying? Like I was lucky. Like I played the lottery or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you play the lottery yeah. and you win. You're like, oh shit, I won. I didn't know I would win, but I won. But I'm like, bro, like I knew this shit. I knew it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you know it. it, it, all, right, it, it all right, but here's the thing. It mm -hmm. was interesting to see everything we said here in these chats. Like everything we done said for five years come exactly true. Everything we said about him not being able to deal with the speed, the power, the countering. The uh, he ain't gonna be able to get all that body shot, all that. What if he can't land that? We said that. How? I mean, where where Lenar at? Lenar, Lenar, chime in. You know what I'm saying? So after five years of arguing with niggas, mm. for me still, this yo, I swear to God, this is one of the best nights of 2023. Mm. 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 And then and then it was it was it was this. I'm gonna say a few things, and I'm gonna just shut up and let you bring on the next person. Bro, first off, nah, I don't feel bad for Spence at all. So whoever whoever that was, and I know my guy, he's, he's cool, but I don't feel bad for Spence at all. And home, homie that that just was was talking was 100% right. There was a round where I was like, yo, Bud looked like he feel bad for this nigga because his face was transformed. Do you see that nigga's face? The nigga look like goddamn... The walking Dead. <laughs> what? Yo, that's what, yo, that's what that's I said exactly. when he's arguing with the ref, nigga. Like, why you stop the fight, nigga? You have that out this bitch. So you better go get your, go get some rest, nigga. Right. You are done. Cook, right. fish fried, fish the right. fuck fried. <laughs> After five years of arguing, yeah, I'm happy. I was so fucking happy. And, and my thing is this: this shit was like a present. Everything that happened, bro, I didn't think because I didn't think it was gonna go like that. And then seeing it, and and then I'll probably shut up. Bruh, I, I didn't think it, he was going to dominate like that. Like, he made a statement. He did that on purpose. That performance was better in, than a New Year, and that's hard to do. This mm. man stood in the pocket. I'll say this. When I, when I knew the fight was over, beyond a second round drop, I was like, well, okay, he got up. He's resilient. He still might catch one of them. You never know. You know what I mean? This is this is boxing. All right. After the, he was beating him with the jab, I'm like, damn, that's a real problem. Then there was a part, it was probably round three. It was it was early. Spence got him in the corner. He spun that nigga with ease. Mm. Ole, ole. Real mm. easy. Then, like, in round three or four, he just pushed that nigga. It was, a, it was a part where he just pushed that nigga. Like, at one point where they had locked up, he just pushed him back. I was like, this don't look good at all. And then he just <laughs> continued to mop the fucking floor with that dude. I can't even believe that happened in that way. I didn't see it happening now. I say I'm surprised by how thoroughly he whipped that ass. Five years worth of ass whooping. Five years worth of ass whooping. I, I already I knew it. Bro, I knew he was gonna beat that dude ass, bro. But but it's better at Earl in everything, bro. I've been saying this for for the longest in everything. I knew that there's no 50 people were saying 50 50 fight, 50 50 fight where bro. This ain't no 50 50 aye, fight. Aye, aye. 50, that wasn't right even where? 9 to 10, bro. It was just like 100%. I get, bro, I don't Sean even know Ford, if I... Bro, I got to watch it back. That Kavalaskis. might be one of the best fights I've seen. Kavalaskis was a more difficult fight. Sean Porter was a more difficult fight than this, bro. Yeah. Earl Earl, Earl ain't got no footwork. His foot, his feet are stuck in the mud. He's clunky. He's weird, bro. He, like, like, bro, like, yeah. he ain't had no shot in yeah. there with Bud. He was going to get his ass whooped. I knew it was coming. He, it, was just a, he, it was just a matter of getting his goofy duck ass in the ring, bro. But once he, yo, once he, he found was the contract, tough. I'm like, oh, it's, it's a wrap. He, he was ass. tough and resilient, but he was too tough. Because, yeah, I was feeling bad. Now, I, I can't say I'm feeling bad for him. You know why I don't feel bad for him? This is the only reason why. I used to be a fan of Spence. And when it started, the only reason I'm not a fan of Spence, and here's what happened, because, you know, um, aerosexuals used to always say, oh, y'all always talk like Spence don't got no skills. It's not that. It's that y'all just don't acknowledge the skills he don't got. But two, it's this. Everything Derek James said and everything PVC said and everything um, Spence said for the last five years, these niggas been running around like ducks, repeating, repeating, repeating. And... Half of the shit they said happened to be fucking, um, um, what's the word? It was just fucking, um, bullshit about, about Bud's career. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I was half, half of, Bud, Bud talked about, Bud had a chip on his shoulder for five years because 
because y'all niggas is scared to fight me. Y'all created a narrative. And yeah, you are the big fish, nigga. So your narrative done went all around the world. And now I, I can't get no, no credit for what I'm doing because of all the shit y'all talking. And they kept talking that shit to the end. And here's where the, all the mercy left my body. When it was the last, it was the fucking way in. Spence mm-hmm. and James couldn't, could still talking shit. Fucking um, Spence talking about oh the um the, the coin flip and all this other shit. And I'm like, bro, you need to focus on this fight. That's how you. That's nervous energy to me. That's not even a champion to me. You're not. You know what I'm saying? Those all are right. things that I look at. Like, what the fuck you talking about a coin flip, nigga? You supposed to be flipping that nigga's ass. You talking all this shit, man down. Yo, strap season is the fuck over. Strap season is over. You should have never had that as your fucking um, campaign. Shit, been over. Yeah, great fighter. Called, great job. Danny Garcia flat strap season was over, nigga. He ain't even had no fucking belt. But go ahead, bro. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, he ended it there himself, but now it's like, all right, and then I'm going to end it. They, they want to they wanna rematch. They don't want to rematch. I think, I think that's a bluff. I think after looking back at them tapes, I think after everything, same reason I kind of felt, not even kind of, I strongly felt like Spence was going to lose. He had too many flaws that you can't change in one training session. Man, you How know, fuck, he just uh, was never on bud level, bro. He just never was, man. He never was on bud level, you know. It was it was all smoke and mirrors at the end of the day, man. He never yeah, was on bud level. He never fought nowhere near that level of opposition bud fought, period, right? People don't know a lot of the names on Bud Crawford resume, but Bud fought real competition. He fought real guys, bro, like all different types of styles from all different types of backgrounds. He 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 went he went at shit the hard way. Earl Earl easy yeah. route Earl has been easy route Earl from the beginning, bro. If you look at his career, his whole career has been choreographed from jump. The nigga was never that good. Even the belts that he got, he got the he got a belt off Ugas and he got a belt off of Sean Porter. Sean Porter already had two losses before he fought uh, Earl, right? And then yeah, he barely Algeria, beat Sean right? Porter. Yeah, he barely beat. You know he uh, Sean Porter lost to. Uh, Keith Thurman, and then lost to uh, 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 Kell Brook before he fought yeah. Earl, and then he fought Ugas. Yeah. Ugas had four losses, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like those are those are the two belts that he collected. And then he fought Kell Brook, who's coming straight off of a Triple G loss. So like his yeah. whole shit was choreographed, bro. Like 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 those are good wins. And then he barely beat he barely beat Kell Brook, and he barely beat Sean Porter. Yeah, Kell Brook was whooping his ass the first seven rounds of that fight, and you seen what Bud did to Kell Brook. Man, All look, we shit. already seen what we needed to see. That's what Bud I'm saying. Like we made, ahead, yo, bro, bro, in the last five years, we done made every fucking point you can make to these niggas, and now it's just judgment day. It just is what it is. Just and it. just saying it, yo, bro, we got every. I'm, I'm celebrating. Fuck, I can't, <laughs> bro. I was I was gonna call in short tonight because I wanted to go troll, but I might not. I might just try to go back and watch the fight again. But um, yeah, that's it, man. I, I, I'm celebrating. I can't wait to. I can't wait to hear. I don't care what they say, but I can't wait to hear what the aerosexuals say. I'm so oh, yeah. glad Bud did it the way he did it. This yeah. is my last thing. I swear. I'm so yeah. glad he did it the way he did it because there's nothing you can say. I heard the commentators, even um, the negative ass dude. I, I forget that dude's name. The white dude that interviews everybody and says weird shit. Even that dude at the end of the fight. All he could say was was talk about the dominant performance. Wow, yeah. Yeah, he could say nothing. But there's nothing but, you But can I'm so have. glad he did it that way because he beat Spence at everything Spence was supposed to beat him at. And beat him. And it was just like outclass him in every way you could think. I'm stronger than you. I punch harder than you. My jab's better than you. My inside work is better than you. I landed more significant inside shots. I beat the fuck out of you. I let you live for two rounds. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's it, bro. I, I, I shit, I'm happy as fuck, man. Yo, so and I'm drunk as fuck because I'm supposed to be. Yo, right, exactly. Yo, it was a good journey, bro. I felt like through this whole thing, we, a lot of people became brothers. Fucking um, keeping Bud's name proper. Yeah, for real, for real, man. We we held it down, bro, because you know, in a in a world full of insanity, we was holding it down, bro. You know, yeah, so man. a lot of these a lot of these fanboy fucking. Narrative pushing ass, 
no boxing, no one ass fucking channels, bro. A lot of these niggas need to come on. They need to, the, the next video that they need to do is I don't know shit about boxing. That need to be the next, that need to be Yo. the title of the next video. <laughs> I don't know shit about Back. boxing, bro. Because you Back. don't know shit about boxing at all. If you thought Earl was going to come in here and dog Bud Crawford, Earl couldn't dog Mikey fucking Garcia, a lightweight. Get the fuck, man, man. All right, bro. Let right. me bring. I got. I got a guy been waiting in the back, bro. He want. I know he waiting to cook, and I gotta give him his, his time to shine. Star, what up with you, fam? You have been waiting patiently in the what back. Up, what up, up with it, bro? You saw what that up, ass woman. What up, though? You already know what time it is. Hey, first off, <laughs> hey, shout out to you, boxer guy, KD, for nigga. And I'm from the O, nigga. I talked to you the other day, and they go, ah, look. I've been peeping game about you. You've been talking your shit about, you know what I'm saying, saying Crawford going to do the nigga. I, I, already, I always been on the way because I'm from the O. And I, I actually know Bud. I used to, like I told you, I used to play ball with him. Nigga, the fighting shit, that was a regular that was regular shit from us, uh, with us in the Mayotte, Benson Park, Central yeah. Park, if, every, everywhere in the O, bro. I just I just know the pedigree, nigga. I know what type of nigga he is. Because yeah. I'm that type of nigga. I'm like, nigga, that's, that's, that's like practice, like, Having fun at the park looks like that's like a, a fucking twenty one game, right. you know what I'm saying? Right, like that's right. a, that's what I seen. Like this you is what like, it was. This is I'm yeah. like nigga, like bro, like what the fuck? I, I called it in six. It, it, it went in nine, but I was hoping that this. I was hoping he could he could have got him out of there in six. You could have, but I he seen he, he was he was giving some mercy to him. And look, let me, let, let, now let me not clown Spence too much. I fuck with Spence. But the thing is, all that yapping like you, just like you really that motherfucker, ain't, man, come on, man. Y'all niggas got to stop, man. Then, because you from where you from, talking about all this Texas shit, now I don't give a fuck where you from. You can get your fucking monkey ass whooped, nigga. I don't give a fuck where the fuck you from. Where the fuck where yeah. you from you got anything to yeah. do with anything. I don't care if yeah. you cripping, I don't care if you cripping blood and yeah. whoever, whatever the fuck yeah. you're doing. Okay, you can, you can tell get him. your monkey ass whooped, nigga. Whoop. Whoop. For real. I don't care who you is. You better call your homies. Nigga, cause you I, alone, if it's all one one on one, nigga, you ain't got nothing coming, nigga, with a nigga that know how to fucking fight, nigga. How the fuck who the fuck you are. And niggas better stop playing like they really with the shit. Cause it's niggas out here that's training and really like no shit, especially the white boy. You see what happened to that motherfucking Charlo motherfucker talking all that shit. White boy smacked the fuck out that nigga. Mm. He's supposed to be the he, he yanked the nigga. You seen that shit? You seen that fucking shit? Nah, I ain't see it. What, what happened? You ain't see the plant. Oh, oh, oh you talking about plant? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, see, I seen Caleb these Plant. These niggas better. Like, these niggas. Hey, these hey, niggas, hey, 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 Caleb Plant. Bro. Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant slapped the text out like that nigga, bro. These Caleb niggas better. Plant. Hey, these <laughs> niggas better stop capping about what the fuck they think they is, nigga. If you ain't got right. this shit, shut the fuck up, nigga. Right. You gonna get your ass whooped, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Right. Even if you is a boxer, nigga. Right. You, you talk that shit, nigga. You better be about that shit for real, nigga. You gonna get smacked the fuck up. Man, right. hey, look, I'm going to say this. This, I, And actually, I was in shock. I I, I, I was calling me he going to get smacked around, but I didn't know he was going to get smacked around like that. I knew he was. That nigga was getting smacked the fuck around. I'm like, oh, my. Oh, what? what? He, this nigga Crawford was coming up under the motherfucking jab, nigga, with the uppercut. I was like, yep, that's that shit. That shit we was with, bro. Look, bro. I, look, I'm happy. Hey, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. Stand up, Omaha. Omaha, and I'm in, and, and I'm in Denver, nigga. And I'm from the O, and I'll give a flood of one of these Denver niggas coming. To, I smack the fuck out of these hoe ass niggas. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> nigga, these niggas ain't talk got shit, shit nigga. Hey, talk nigga, your shit, bro. Yeah, no. Omaha, shit, Nebraska, bro. nigga. Let's go. Yeah, but that's all I got to say, man. Double salute to you, man. I just had to represent. Much love, and I appreciate you for pulling me up and beaming me up, my nigga. Yeah, all day, though. man. All day, bro. We we camping out tonight, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, man. Hey, hey, I gotta go fucking pee because I've been drinking beer all night. So light speed, I see you on here, bro. You mind holding it down for me, bro? I'm finna go to the bathroom real quick. Got you, boss. All right, fam. Got you. Yeah, yeah. Who else? Who else is on here? Right, everybody, everybody, like, everybody I, bounced out. Everybody probably okay, trolling yeah, yeah, somebody. Yeah, they trolling. Look, anybody that just that just chimed in, look, we you just witnessed history in the making. Terrence Bud Crawford, the new undisputed 
two times undisputed, two different divisions. Welterweight champion of the world. Y'all just saw a master class where Terrence Bud Crawford basically showed Spence fans, or I don't want to say Spence fans, aerosexuals and Errol Spence at the same time how much they really know about boxing. This is like justice for me because I've been arguing with heads and I'm not a, a what they, this made up term that they had, Bud Buddy or whatever else that is. I ain't no Bud Buddy. I'm just a fan of boxing and being a fan of boxing led me to be a fan of Bud Crawford. Leading up to this fight for the last five years, we've been arguing with y'all, aerosexuals, about whether Spence was ducking, whether PBC didn't want to fight Bud, didn't want um, Spence and Bud to fight, whether Derek James didn't want Spence and Bud to fight. Y'all argued to the end. We argued about the A-side, who should be the A-side. Y'all said Bud ain't fought, fought nobody. Um, y'all basically repeated back everything PBC uh and Spence and Derek James or anybody else from that camp said. And yeah, there's such thing as Bud Buddies, but in ratio, there's more heterosexuals in the world than there is Bud Buddies. And most people is just fans of boxing and, and fans of Bud Crawford. So we had logical arguments. Y'all could never back out. We all we asked y'all what would happen if he can't land a jab. We asked y'all what he could do, what, what he would do if he would get in the inside. Y'all said he had no chance against Bud on the inside. Y'all said, what's going to do, Bud going to do when he get hit? Bud, we, we, we said Bud is the least hit fighter. Y'all argue with that. Y'all, uh, and Bud, I feel like barely got hit. And when he did get hit, even the clean ones, he just walked through like it was nothing. You, you said, um, would, would Bud be able to take his power? Bud, um, um, was able to take his power. Y'all said Bud needed to start fast. Bud ain't even start that fast, even though he knocked him down around two. Hey, he he should have uh, been <laughs> should have been ready for that dynamite jab. I even know Bud had a jab like that. I knew he had a jab. I didn't know he had a piston. That man had TNT in his fist. Uh, y'all said, uh, what else did y'all say? Y'all said, uh, man. Y'all said so many things. Y'all said, what is Bud going to do? Bud ain't never fought nobody like them. We try to have logical arguments. Y'all never could explain how Bud, how Spence was going to take out Crawford. And then here you go. And, hit, and, and Crawford getting it out the mud, being somebody who's been a talented fighter his whole freaking life. You know what I mean? Uh, such a talented fighter, such an accomplished fighter that can't even damn get credit. You know what I mean? And, and, and being the underdog. All the time, got to listen to all these narratives. You know what I mean? It's a little bit of justice. It's not even justice just for Bud. It's justice for the fans and everything. And talked about his mama, said his mama wouldn't do the dance. Why y'all even had to bring her up? That's why karma come back the way it is. And that's why she got to do her dance with Bud in the ring. And who would have known it would have been such a decisive performance? Like, look at the way he dissected that man. It was terrible. It was terrible. If it wasn't bad enough when he went down with the... um with the jab, and then I'm going to end because cause the, the man uh, 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 the hour is back. Um, if it wasn't bad enough, while Terrence Bud Crawford was whooping Spence's ass, you could hear the different commentary in the different corners, and you could see Derrick James was is not as good a, a coach as everyone thinks he is because he over there still talking like he's drunk, and Telling Spence to do the same things. Yeah, you gotta smother him. You gotta. He, if you have you seen what happened when the nigga tried to smother, you didn't have a plan B. That's what um um Spence should have said. Like nigga, do we got anything else we can try? Then go at this nigga that been bopping me upside the head for for them four rounds. Them knock me down with a jab, and you don't got nothing else you could tell me. But oh uh, yeah, you gotta get you know get closer. And then you hear B Mac in the uh, on the other end of it in the corner. Say, yep, yep, he's almost done. Just I, I I forget what he was saying. He's just he's like, yep, he's almost done. Just stay with it. Just stay with it. Keep counting. Hit him with the jab. Blah blah. He's cooked. He's done. They already knew. So anyway, and that's that's B Max justice. Um, um, Bo Max justice too, because we got to hear y'all make all your fat jokes. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, y'all try to you know, try to um talk about the man. He said he wasn't a good coach. Said he got help. He got three people there. Well, I didn't really hear nobody else's voice except Bo Mac. Every hey, every Katie, intermission. Yeah, we can hear you, Cash. I'm gonna continue in a second. I'm gonna let him finish. Okay, up. boom, boom, boom. All right, but bam, I didn't I didn't know if I could bring anybody in, so I just thought I was supposed to talk. My bad. All right, oh, no, no, you good. go ahead. Finish what you were saying, though. That was it. Nah, it was it was also justice for for Bo Mac because they, you know what I mean. They dog a man out. They talk about his coaching. He said he's not a good trainer. You know what I mean. And and it looked like looked to me like he was the better trainer. So. Mm. They're doing a post-fight interview right now. So right now, uh, Earl Spence is talking about he want hopefully the next fight. He's still saying he want the rematch. He said he want the next fight to be at 154. Uh, so I guess he's alluding to the fact that he probably was weight drained at 147, blah, 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 yakety schmackety. All right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, one of the reporters asked him a question, was like, hey, what makes you think that if you did another fight, that it would be any different, and he couldn't really answer the question, so I thought that was funny as hell. There ain't no answer, right and I'm scared of that because if Bud Power carry, he's gonna knock his neck off. He's gonna <laughs> knock his whole entire head off like that. Fact. Don't do that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fact. Yeah. But well, let me get my guy. Let me go to my guy Cash, man. Cash, what up, bro? You seeing that ass whipping, bro? Hey, man. I'm I'm happy for you. Like, you the only channel on YouTube that is pro-Bud and not, like, if he kind of want to be for Bud, you know, full Spence. You're the only – I hope Bud – I'm not even trying to be on no fanboy shit because the one thing about Bud fans, we're not fanboys. We just know he's the best fighter in the world. We knew this. But I hope he acknowledges you somehow, bro, because you're the only one that's been holding it down for years. Like, you're the only one, bro. Like, I stopped coming to YouTube talking boxing because it's so biased. It's overwhelming with Spitz fans, and I don't know how that happened. I live in Dallas. A part of me wants to put on all my Bud merch and go around and just <laughs> talk trash to everybody. But the just other part of me— Wait a week, like, at I least. Do... If you're going to do that, wait a week, bro. Like, you yeah. know, you just Aero Spitz fans be emotional, bro. Like, but, wait but a week. But the other part of me, bro, is like, I don't even got to do that because I knew this would happen. Like, and then I'm going to say this too, bro. Bud still ain't fought nobody. <laughs> and he still ain't fought nobody. That's the crazy part about it. He still ain't fought nobody. So I don't want to, I don't want y'all praising him and putting him number one on the pound for pound and saying, mm. no, he ain't fought nobody, right? Mm. What's mm -mm. what makes Earl Spence different than Danny Garcia and Sean uh. Porter and uh. uh Jeff Horn? What's the difference? Uh. I don't see the difference, bro. Do you see the uh. difference? No. I don't no. see the fucking that no. wasn't even a close Fun fight, bro. It was never competitive. Wasn't the same Earl. He wasn't he wasn't Earl was sleepy. He was sleepy. You didn't see that he was uh, he was he wasn't rested. He didn't get a full eight hours of sleep last night. So there's no way that's so that's the reason. Like if Earl would have got a full eight hours, he would have won. He would have won tonight. Everybody knows that. Like he wasn't the same Earl. He wasn't himself. Let, Cash? let them tell. Let them tell it. He wasn't. <laughs> let them tell it. They finna. They finna. They, and it's another thing. I said this too when I said I said when he, when when Bud beats him. I said this before the car accident. And I'm saying it now. But after the car accident, for sure, I said, when Bud beats him, y'all still not going to give him credit. I said, so I don't know what to say, y'all. But I just want people to realize, people who love boxing, I, I want them to realize y'all looking at an all-time great. Mm. Like, I hate the fact great. that his resume won't be able to, to, to show it. But his skill set, you can put it up against the best. Mm. You can put his skill set up against the best fighters that have ever stepped in that ring. And he mm. might come out on top. They already on Twitter talking about Bud versus uh, Mayweather in their prom. Like, come on. Mm. 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 <laughs> like, bro, I'm just, I'm happy, bro. But at the same time, I'm like, I knew this would happen. I'm not going to yeah. lie. I knew this would happen. Like, yeah. I knew this would happen. Yeah, Lightspeed asked me that earlier. He said, how you feel, bro? I'm like, I I'm like, I mean, this is good, but I knew that this was gonna happen, bro. Like, I, like, I, it's good. Like, I feel good. like this is cool. This is a cool yeah. moment, but like, I knew that this was gonna happen, bro. It was just a matter of time. I knew as soon as Earl, as soon as they announced the fight, I'm like, oh, Earl gonna get his ass whooped. My job and, is done. <laughs> You're right. Okay, all right. All right so wait, and tell me job. some. Tell me some. Tell me something you were surprised about when you was watching. All right, any anything that but that was like, damn, Bud did that. I'm going to be honest, bro. I did a video. I'm on TikTok. I've been trying to build up my following on TikTok, so I'll be talking like sports and music. I actually did a video this morning, broke it down. I'm not lying. I literally said word for word what's going to happen. I said, Bud is going to come out. I said, if Bud turns southpaw, 
he's going to take away Spen uh, Spence's jab, and the fight is going to officially be over. He's going to be countering Spence's jab, and jab Spence's not going to know what to do. And I said he's going to stop him in, like, the 11th round. I was only wrong about the round, bro. That's it. But I was, I I, bro, I was even right about the round. I said Earl stopped in nine, bro. Matter hey, of fact, I, I should have put that in the, in the lower caption. Earl stopped in nine, bro. Like, I knew, thing, I knew exactly what was going to happen. Hey, the only thing that surprised me, bro, that asked me the question is Spence. I thought Spence would at least make it competitive. You feel me? I thought Bud would still I be thought, Bud, but I thought, I thought – it would still look competitive. It was never competitive. They trying to give him the first round. I don't even want to give him the first round. But my thing, bro, my thing is there was no way there was no way for him to make it competitive. He doesn't possess the skill set to make it competitive with Bud Crawford. He's a he's a pressure fighter, but he has bad feet as a pressure fighter, and then he ain't even got no real power, bro. Like Earl Spence none, is the bro. black version of Leo Santa Cruz. You know bro, what I'm saying? Facts. But Leo Santa Cruz, I feel like is is probably. He, he at least he's a volume puncher. Like Earl, <laughs> Earl got countered a few good times, bro, and he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't throwing punches like that. The pressure was gone. The pressure you know left who, the building after round two. Do you know who I, I want to troll so bad? Like if I could just be in a room with him, just with <laughs> Sean Porter's uh, uh, co-host, the white dude. And uh, <laughs> if I could just be in a room with them right now, bro, like I would be in heaven. And this other dude who be on YouTube, who is his biggest hater, only want to say his name on your platform because I want to so, I, I don't care about this shit, bro. Say his name, bro. I don't care. Manager I'm, Marty, bro. Like Manager Marty, he needed to delete his page because he is missing. I was supposed to do a video about that dude, man. I was supposed to do a video because he had did he had did one video where he was talking about uh he said that Bud violated the WBO rules or something like that. And it was like pure cap. He had to like retract the video. It was like, I meant to do a video about it, but I just never got around to it. Bro, I went you know on his channel one day and I was the only person to call him out. And I was trying to be respectful because I, I, I don't want to like come off as like a, a bad person. But I told him, I said, bro, you're hating on a man, but you're building your brand off of his name. That's not OK. That's not what men do. Like, you're building your platform by shaming Bud Crawford. Like, that's crazy to me, bro. And I said, he go get stopped. And, and you, Stop. go, you, need to delete, you need to delete this damn channel, bro. Like, it's up there. I went on his page. I went, <laughs> delete. On, I went on. It's on his page. Uh, my uh, my uh, interview, whatever you call it. He yeah. called it the uh, let the Bud Sands talk, whatever he called it. But I went on there, bro. But he got to delete that damn page, bro. You are not credible at all. You had people thinking Spence was going to walk through Bud. That don't even make sense. Like, bro, all them super chat. They need to give back all them super chats. They need, to, they need to get all them super chats they was getting. They need to give them back and give back all them cash app donations. They need to just give it all back, bro. Nah, <laughs> You've been robbing back. the people, fam. <laughs> and then, Yo, and then on another how, note, bro, um, oh yeah, oh yeah, panel, see? panel open by the way. Light speed, you, you can talk, bro. Panel open. My bad, y'all. If I'm over just to whoever, did you like, see how when Bud was beating him with the jab, but then. It wasn't just that he was beating him with the jab. He was hitting him with the jab. Then er, then Earl's head would snap back. Then he would get him with another. It wasn't really like a double jab, but it was. You know what I mean, like, it was a little pause in between. And just tag him again. It, bro, it was. And then and then after that, did you see how much, like, um, it was just interesting to see Spence backing up. Because you never, it's never something that we really see. You see him backing up with Porter. That was a different kind of, like, pivot backing up. This was like he was trying to be the boxer but didn't know how to do it. Like, at this time, he needed to, to know how to box, be on his bike, know how to throw his jab when he's moving back. Mm. But he was just running around the ring trying not to get knocked out. He looked like mm. the amateur. And, KD, one more thing. Uh, mm. I live go in ahead, Dallas, bro. bro. I'm not going to lie. I live in Dallas. I could be around these dudes if I want to. Like, I could go to the gym. I could watch them all. I could. But I just – smoke and mirrors, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. Derek James – is a bum. He lost so much respect for me tonight. Like, you should have stopped. You there, bro? You cut out there, uh, uh, Cash. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, there you go. Go ahead, bro, what you were saying. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. You cutting out again, bro. <laughs> yeah, now nah, I don't hear you at all. Oh, man. C cash done fell out. But he was saying that um that Derrick James should have stopped the fight. 
Yeah, he should have stopped the fight. You think he should have? I, I mean, I agree, but what, what, when do we think he should have stopped it? Uh, he could have stopped that at least a good round or two earlier. I feel like Earl was was like like Bud took like round eight. Bud took it off because he was whooping Earl ass so bad in round in round seven. You know what I'm saying? Like he could have stopped that in round seven. Bud was Bud took round eight off. He probably threw like four punches that whole round. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then by the time he got the round nine, he was like well rested, <laughs> ready to like destroy this dude Earl. You know what I'm saying? Like and yeah, he was I know, still, right? He still wasn't really even ready to stop him. He just he just threw a punch and it hurt Earl's. And so he saw the opportunity. Was like, all right, well I got I gotta go on here and just get this nigga the fuck out of here. Like honestly, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yo, Bud he was did the right thing because because he, he wasn't being stupid either. He wasn't just like you know you know they say Bud's an assassin. If he gets you hurt, da da da. I'm like y'all be he's he does what he's ate what he was smart to do. He he didn't leap in and like, I feel like he he gave him some mercy, but also I feel like he did the right thing. Like just play it smart, wait for the right shot, wait for the the good shot to come. Don't don't reach. Yeah, facts. They doing the interviews right now. Um, um, light speed. I don't know if you're listening to it right now, but they are doing the post fight interview or a press conference. So Bo Bo back over there talking about right now. They ain't really give us our props. The writers and and Derek James. And you know it's crazy, man. Like throughout this whole promotion and build up, Bud Crawford ain't do nothing but give Earl Spence like props, bro. Like he ain't do nothing but big Earl up and be respectful. And Earl was just yeah. disrespectful the whole time, bro. Like, yeah. Bud ain't fought nobody. He should be thanking me for the fight. All this old goofy, goofball sucker shit, bro. And it's just yeah. like, and, 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 and even after the fight, Bud is just super respectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, Earl like after like, he whipped that ass. He whipped, right soon after he whipped that ass. Walked over, you know. You're good, bro. Gave a little speech. Hey, gave a little pep talk, you. help him. What yeah, you say? he said it's all right, little bro. It's, you know, life goes on. It's okay. I whipped your ass all over this ring. That's your blood right there. Yeah, but it's, it's, <laughs> said, it's, it's cool. Right, everything bro. on heal, and hey, we can be friends out of this. Okay. <laughs> you good? You want you, you, you want some right, juice? <laughs> yeah, I ain't mean juice. to do you like that, you but you juice? know, <laughs> <laughs> you're not mad at me, right? Ah <laughs> uh, man. Fish fried. I, I mean, if that ain't a fish fry, bro, I don't know what is. Fry. Yo, yo, and like fry. what dude said earlier, yo, the net, that was, yo, that was cold. Yeah. Yeah, that was cold. Dude came out with Eminem. Cold blooded, bro. Eminem yep. ain't never walk out with nobody. Nah. Cold hey, blooded. did you know he lifted the curse? I didn't even hear, I didn't know about it. They said it before the thing. Did you hear them talk about the um, Eminem curse? Oh, no, nah, I ain't hear, never heard about that. In the pre-fight, when um on the the one with Nelson on on um the one that wasn't pay-per-view with with when Nelson um Bud's boy fought middleweight, with, uh, uh-huh. one of the announcers was saying that um they was talking about you know that Eminem is gonna be walking out with Bud, and they said oh he's gonna do lose yourself in a moment oh he said oh no there's the lose there's, there's the Eminem curse so every time all the fighters that play that lose, so mm-hmm. Bud done broke the curse. Facts. Good. That's what's up, bro. Bud talking about how everybody was telling him that he was scared of Spence. These niggas crazy as fuck. The fuck wrong with these dudes, bro? Hopping online, talking that dumb shit. Scared of Spence? Yeah, yes. How you scared of a dude you did everything to fight? That's what I'm saying. That's the We're talking like about him. that right now in the press conference. That, that yeah, people he... would walk up to him and be like, you scared of Spence. Bud face look clean, like, like I'm good, bro. I can go party after this. That's what I'm Yo, that's what I was saying. Spence, it's going to be a long night. It's going to be a long, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro, it's going to be so many memes because he got pieced up. So, it's so many. I was thinking that when I was watching. I was like, damn, this is like watching the NBA game when there's a lot of highlights. Yeah. I'm like, this nigga <laughs> going to be in so many memes, bro. <laughs> You know, it's gonna be so. It's every round is something to pick from, like right. Every, 
I got I I got to <laughs> yeah. That shit was like Christmas. Yeah, it really was, bro. Like, ooh, something else? God something damn. else. Yeah. Boop, bop, bop, boom, boom, bop, bop. <laughs> boop, boop, boom, <laughs> boom. That's how you heard. Bop, bop, boom, 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 <laughs> bop, 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 boom, boom. And then you just see Earl face. He's just like this and shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right, right. Yeah. Yo, but like you gotta that. play Spence while you while you showing the clips with with Crawford whooping his ass. You gotta play Spence clip. It's gonna be a one sided ass whooping. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> all I know is somebody getting knocked out. Yeah, keep playing all that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Somebody got knocked out. Oh, what belt they done gave Bud? What belt is that? The Ring Magazine. Ring Magazine. Oh shit. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna chime. I'm gonna chime back in. I might troll a little bit, but I'm gonna definitely chime back in. Oh yeah, man! I know y'all gotta do y'all rounds, man. I know. I know everybody done left. People done left out, <laughs> came back because you're going around. Y'all making y'all rounds, celebrating. Oh, I got a few this. people. Do, do I got thing, a few people bro. with shows with shows that I gotta see what they saying right now. They better look. <laughs> look. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Yeah. All your, right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. So salute. I'm watching the post fight, y'all. They just gave Bud the Ring Magazine belt. Now, so Bud Crawford is now three time, three time lineal, <laughs> three time lineal, two time undisputed. You know what I'm saying? Three weight division champion, undefeated, forty and zero. 31 knockouts, 11 straight knockouts in a row at welterweight. Still ain't fought nobody. Still ain't fought nobody. Hashtag still ain't fought nobody, y'all. Hey, if you're still in the building, put hashtag still ain't fought nobody. <laughs> hey, hashtag still ain't fought nobody in the comment section, bro, if you in here, bro. I know a lot of people done, done dipped out. They making their rounds. They trolling. They saying what people talking about. I don't blame you because I kind of want to hop off and see what niggas talking about my damn self. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm going to stay on a little bit longer just in case anybody want to come through and talk that shit. Press conference look like it's over. You know what I'm saying? Let me read some of the comments and let me see what y'all talking about, man. Star, you talking about wipe this feet on this nigga. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Star say congrats, Crawford. Big ups. Yeah, all day, every day, man. Star also say, look, dude wasn't even touched. Yeah, man. Face look clean. Look like he ready to step out, go to the club. You know what I'm saying? Go get some hoes. Look how we look like right now. Uh, Lynn said, if that rematch, Spence will retire afterwards. Yeah, bro. He definitely will retire afterwards. I mean, Spence knew. This was it. Honestly, this was Spence's retirement plan. This is what he knew. This is why he, this is why he needed 60, 40, 70, 30, 80, 20 to get in the ring with Bud Crawford. Because he knew that he knew that this was gonna happen, he knew he was gonna get his ass whooped, right? So, so, so in his mind, he's like, if I'm gonna get my ass whooped, I need the most amount of money that I can get for getting my ass whooped. I understand Earl Spence. I understand. My only problem with Earl Spence is all the slander that he was doing to Bud Crawford, right? My only problem with Earl Spence is all the all the all the defamation of Bud Crawford, right? That he ain't fought nobody, right? He on the wrong side of the street, right? Terrence Crawford, you, you know what I mean? Terrence, and then his, his fanboys talking about Bud ducked him. Like, that was my only issue with it. I get where Earl coming from. He like, look, bro, I'm finna get my ass whooped by this dude. This dude is clearly a better fighter than me. I, 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 I got to make sure I get paid on my way out. 80 20, bro. I need I need all my money on my way out, bro. That's what 80 20 mean. That's what 80 20 mean. Y'all, will somebody tell you I need 80 20, bro? That means, and it's a fight, right? That means I know I'm probably gonna get my ass whooped, so I need the most amount of money that I can get in order. It, you gotta pay me to get an ass whooping. I said this before years ago, and I'm gonna say it again. I said it before years ago, and I'm going to say it again. When you know you can whoop somebody ass, bro, you don't need a whole lot of money for, for to whoop somebody ass. You don't need a whole lot of money for that, bro. 
you whoop somebody ass for free, bro. If you know you can whoop somebody ass, bro, you don't it don't it don't take a whole lot of convincing for you to go whoop somebody ass who you know that you whoop their ass, right? You don't it don't take a whole lot of convincing. You know what I'm saying? It don't. It don't it don't take a whole lot of convincing, bro. You know what I mean? When you know you can whoop somebody ass, you just gonna do it, bro. 50 50, whatever, bro. You're gonna make it happen because you know you can whoop their ass. When you feel like you're gonna get your ass whooped, though, that's when you need the most amount. That's when you need 80 20, 70 30. That's when you need, uh, that's when the money gotta be right. You know what I'm saying? That's when you start talking about, hey, man, I, I'm probably gonna take, I'm probably gonna take an ass whooping here. I gotta get paid, right? You whoop somebody ass for free. But every single one, every single person in here got to get paid to take an ass whoop, right? <laughs> right? You remember that saying where people used to be like, people used to be like, um, yeah, would you get knocked out by Mike Tyson for a million dollars? And everybody be like, yeah, I get knocked out for a million dollars. Everybody had a number. Yeah, I get knocked out for a million dollars. Yeah. You got to pay me, though. A million? Uh, maybe 10 uh maybe 20 I, I, I you gotta pay me to get knocked out right but if i told you to fight little timmy on the street for ten dollars you probably you, you you would drop what you're doing you'd be like let me get the 10 right now pay me half up front you walk over to little, little timmy house and you go whoop his ass right but you need a million dollars to get knocked out by mike tyson because you know you're gonna take an ass whooping you need more money for the ass whooping Right? You got to be incentivized to take an ass whooping. You whoop somebody ass for free. So I said it before and I say it again, bro. 80, 20, 70, 30, bro. That's that's the mark of somebody who feel like they're going to get their ass whooped, bro. That's the mark of somebody who feel like they're going to get their ass whooped, bro. Let me let me go, bro. My guy, DeMonte Walker in the building. He say, hashtag, still ain't fought nobody. <laughs> Start platinum in the building, okay? Yeah, man. Hashtag still ain't fight nobody, y'all. Hashtag still ain't fight nobody, y'all. Facts. 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 You know what I'm saying? Facts, man. But but look, man, ultimately, man, this this was a really good fight. It was a really good, really good, really good fight. Earl showed that he got heart at very least. You know, I, I feel like a lot of the shots that he was taking. You know, uh, uh, any anything, any lesser of a fighter would have would have definitely been knocked out. Would <laughs> would have would have def would have definitely gone to sleep. Any anything less of a fighter would have definitely gone to sleep. Would have definitely gave up. Earl kept fighting, even when it looked hopeless, <laughs> which was really the entire fight. But he kept fighting, even though it looked hopeless. He kept fighting. You know. And you got to respect that. You got to respect the man that got the heart to keep fighting even when it look hopeless. You got to respect that. I take my hat off to Earl. I ain't got no problem with Earl personally, bro. But all the slander and all the, all the goofy shit that he was saying about Bud Crawford, bro. All that for, for all for that reason, I can't I can't feel bad for him. Right? There's a level of respect I just ain't don't have for Earl Spence because of that. You know, but he showed his his grit and his Merit as a fighter, you know, just hanging in there and not caving and not giving up, you know. But another round, Earl would have been out flat, out knocked out cold <laughs> versus Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? Mango Juice say, uh, zero seven say, King David, I seen a post on my rounds. Boots talking, he want the smoke with Bud Crawford. Boots will get his ass whooped too. <laughs> Boo. Boots will get his ass whooped too, man. He will. He, he'll get his ass whooped too. You know? He'll get his ass whooped too. But if the next fight is indeed at 154, then there's no reason for Bud to come back down to 147 now, now that he's undisputed. If the next fight is at 150, if Earl really do want to get the rematch, which he may want to get the rematch only because he probably want to get paid again. You know what I'm saying? Because this is going to be his last fight. The next fight gonna be his last fight if we keep him in the buck. Earl ain't fighting no more after this shit, bro. He ain't fighting no more. This this is it. He gonna he gonna get his ass whooped by Bud again, and then that's it, bro. He gonna get paid out again, and then that's it. 
That's it. That's it. He gone. He done. He riding off into sunset. He'll probably he'll probably be a hundred a hundred million dollars richer after this whole these two fights with Bud. Hundred million dollars richer. That's enough to retire off, bro. He'll be good. But after Bud whoop Earl ass at one fifty four, because I'm pretty sure the fight, the next fight, gonna be at one fifty four because the, the excuses, the excuse sound like it's gonna be the weight. Earl was weight trained. That's gonna be the excuse, right? So once Bud whoop his ass at one fifty four, there ain't probably gonna be no reason for Bud to come back down to one forty seven. Let's Boots want to go back, go up to one fifty four, but Boots could get beat on too. And Boots get beat on too. And after Jamel Charlo gets stopped by Canelo, maybe he'll see Bud Crawford in the next fight. Or maybe Bud will fight Tim Zhu or something like that and, and, and you know, get Tim Zhu to fuck up out of there, you know? Um, But, you know, shit look real interesting at this point. You know what I'm saying? Look real interesting, man. I mean, you know, I, I, <laughs> I, I'm finna end this shit right now, though, but I, I called this shit, bro. I called it. I, ca I called the round Bud stopped him in nine rounds, bro. I, I knew that's what was going to happen. That's exactly what was going to happen. Bud dominated this fight from the first round all the way to the ninth round when he stopped him. The fight never was close. It was never a 50-50 fight. Earl was never on Bud Crawford level. Never. Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. He was never on Bud Crawford level. Right? Never. Demonte Walker, he said, I never subscribed. I just seen all the disrespect from those channel, those channels, but so competitive. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. Them dudes, them dudes be hella, was hella disrespectful for years. For years, them niggas was hella disrespectful to Bud. You know what I'm saying? Hella disrespectful. You know what I mean? And they're going to continue to do what they do. I, I I know the excuses is coming. They're going to continue to do what they do. What's going to be the weight and, you know. <laughs> they're probably going to say Earl was robbed. <laughs> I'm going to say Earl was <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, shit going to be real funny on YouTube for the next few weeks, bro. Star Platinum say it's going to be worse if dude rematch. Yeah, bro. All day, every day, man. B Cherry say many of y'all slept on Bud because of the politics. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. People just fanboying, bro. Like not having a mind of their own. Like, like this speaks. This whole Earl Spence hype speaks to people going along with the popular narrative. You know what I'm saying? Like people not thinking for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's what this whole thing speaks to. You know. You get a bunch of people saying the same thing, saying the same thing, even though they they got nothing to back up what it is that they're saying, but they're just saying the same thing, saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. And just because people are saying the same thing over and over again, it don't mean that it's right. It don't mean that it's right, bro. Like, what the fuck, bro? It don't mean that it's right just because somebody's saying the same thing over and over again. You know, and that's what they did here. And and, and, and and you know, uh, it's, if you're a man, you should have the ability to think for yourself and to make uh, 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 decisions on your own. Look at what you see and, and make informed decisions about what you actually see, you know, versus what you heard somebody say. You know, what I mean. Based on what I saw tonight, I said this earlier and then where, where's where's Keith Pierre? Keith Pierre got ghost on my ass, didn't he? Keith Pierre up out of here, ain't he? Demonte Walker say Bud stopped him in the round. In the round, he finished Gamboa in Nebraska ninth round. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Star Platinum say Canelo whooped Charlo ass. Yeah, bro. About to whoop Charlo ass. Yeah, yeah. He gonna whoop the. He gonna beat the shit out of Charlo, bro. PBC started taking L's earlier this week. I meant to do a video about that. Stephen Fulton got his ass whooped by no way earlier this week. So PBC took their first L with Stephen Fulton. They took their second L with Earl Spence. <laughs> They're going to take their third L with Jamil Charlo, right? They're going to be three for three. Or uh, 0 and 3, should I say. Right? 0 and 3.
about to get his ass whooped. Facts, bro. Facts. He gonna get his ass whooped. Mango Juice 07 say like King Davy, bro. You know, straight up. You know boxing, bro. Straight up. Yeah, bro. I appreciate that, man. Hey. Appreciate that, bro. I feel like I feel like if things would have went a little differently for me, I would be a pro right now, bro. I'd be a top pro. I know I would. I would be a top pro. I would be a top pro in boxing right now. Things would have went a little different. It was not from lack of skill and it was not from lack of talent. I tell you that. I would be a top pro right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? And the reason I would be a top pro is because I'm a smart dude. See, the, the best boxers are students of the game. They're learners. They're smart people in general. Bud is a smart person. So because he's a smart person, he has the ability to, to grow and learn and adapt and get better. Earl Spence has never Earl, Earl Spence has never gotten better. You know what I'm saying? What what Earl, when's the last time you looked at an Earl Spence fight and was like, yo, he got better? Ne never. You you never. You never saw that. You ne you never you never saw that, bro. You never saw that. You know what I mean? Not saying that Earl Spence ain't smart, but you gotta be a student of the game, man. I ain't even about to say that. <laughs> say what your name is, but he say Bud that dude. Facts. Bud is that dude, man. Bud is that dude, man. I got the uh I'm about to end the live though. If anybody wanna hop on the panel, man, y'all wanna talk y'all shit for a little while, man. I'm about to hop off in it. You know what I'm saying? I done been on here six hours, thirty two minutes, but I'll stay on a little longer if uh uh if somebody wanna come on here and talk that shit. You know what I'm saying? Demonte Walker, he said, I said that on Southpaw TV. PBC going 0 and 3. Yeah, bro. <laughs> facts. Facts, though. It's facts, though, bro. It's facts, man. And you know, part and part of it is they fault. Part of it is they fault because they 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 baby they fighters. They don't give them good. I feel like they're starting to do a better job now, but they don't give them tough matchups. You know, like competitive matchups. Top rank really does. What you call it said earlier on the screen. Top rank really does have the best matchmaking. They really do. Because they build their fighters the right way. They give them the right kind of fights at the right time. In order to develop them and make them into the top quality fighters that they become in the future. They built Oscar De La Hoya. They built Floyd Mayweather. They built a lot of the guys who we know as legends in boxing. They came from top rank. Why you think that is, bro? They know what the fuck they doing. But let's keep it going though, man. Hold on, man. We got this look like Jamal Neasy, man. Jamal, that's you, fam. He said Earl. Yes, Se sir. What's up? Earl, Earl Sexual, sexual Mindset, mindset man. man. What's what up, up, bro? What up with it, Jamal Neasy? What Let me up? Pick that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you good, bro. Yo, bro. <laughs> that was the easiest fight that man ever had in his life. He ain't break not one sweat. He ain't got no knots, nothing. <laughs> it was an extraordinary different level, man. I can't believe this shit, yo. <laughs> nah, I can't. I can't yeah, right. believe it. Because we were saying that shit for fucking months, man. <laughs> right. This nigga ain't shit. Who the fuck <laughs> about this clown, man? <laughs> Who, let's talk about that clown resume. Yo, <laughs> but we now we know everybody on EJ resume. Bud could stop them. There's only two people that EJ could beat on Bud resume, and we know that. Those are the facts. Mm. 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 Fucking damn shame, man. <laughs> His best chance was when he first got to the damn division. Mm -hmm. That was the best That's chance. It. Missed that opportunity. And that shit would have just went to a maybe a draw or decision. Mm. Nothing else. Mm. So Neezy, you saying it wasn't this wasn't a 50 50 fight? 50 50? Man, EJ can't even count that fucking high. You crazy? <laughs> you put that back in there. All right. <laughs> yeah, that dude can't count that high, man. <laughs> fucking horse mouth. 
So I did too. Yo, I said the best thing that EJ ever did, the best thing that worked for him in that ring was his mouthpiece. That was the greatest mouthpiece that man ever had. Cause that shit ain't come out. Right, right. <laughs> hey man, so that wasn't a problem. <laughs> Uh, he already knew he was about to tweak that shit before he got the fi- before he got in the fight with Bud. He already knew he was about to fix that. Cause of, I kept saying it from the I kept saying it from the beginning when he said, "Yo, it's going to be a one sided ass whipping." He pat his chest. I'm like, "Yo, this dude ain't even say who's going to get their ass whipped." <laughs> like I'll ask him. Like I'll be, Earl, he said, "Going to be a one sided ass whipping." He gonna be like, "I ain't lie." <laughs> he didn't lie. Right. Right. Maybe Earl is a man of his word, know. like they say. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. My guy star in the, in the building. He say, I, I, I realize ain't no Texas niggas talking at all. These niggas quiet. <laughs> I really wish I was at the oh, fight, though. That'd be, that would be dope, bro. It'd be dope to be at the fight, bro. I'd be talking cash money shit right now. I wonder what, the, what those big Goofy ass YouTubers right now I'm talking about. I wonder how they look in the narrative. They they grouping up right now. They grouping up right now to, to decide what to do in the morning. They gotta <laughs> be on the same page, man. Only one person I saw that sent out a message and called it at night. That was D Town Boxing. I ain't mean to throw another channel name out, but that was a that was it. Everybody else is Zill Dark Dirty. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on, my nigga Kareem Poxy. Kareem Poxy. Oh, what? Kareem He's a real one. This is the real hey. yo. Hey, you a real one, dog. Hey, hey, my nigga Kareem, a real one, dog. Hey, hey, you the Come real on, one, bro. Hey, you the real one. Right there, bro. Hey. You know what? I ain't gonna say shit. I'm gonna let him say his piece. Talk your shit, fam. Cause nigga, you. Talk your shit. You bought, you up, bought a lot. You bought a lot of merch. You lost a lot of money. So I just want to let you, you know, say your piece. Go ahead, my hey, boy. Look, I'm going to say it like this, man. Hey, Crawford showed me a side of him I ain't never seen before. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He told me Crawford. Crawford showed me some shit. I'm like, damn. Every time. Earl hit the nigga with something. Crawford was counting his ass every fucking time, bro. And and it's like, I'm not going to take nothing away from Crawford, bro. I'm, I I said this shit before the fight happened. I told you if Earl, I mean, if Crawford win, I'm going to give the man his credit, bro. You feel me? And like I said, I'm going to give the man his credit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to take nothing away from him. He did what he did. He be my nigga. And to be honest with you, I think Earl shouldn't take the rematch right now, bro. I, I don't think I don't think he's gonna be able to beat him in the in the next fucking match. The shit he displayed tonight, the shit he displayed tonight, he's not gonna be able to beat Terrence Crawford, bro. Terrence Crawford showed me some shit I never seen before from him, and that shit that shit was kind of scary, bro. Like I'm like, damn, I thought I thought he was better than that, bro. Like like he didn't show me no bite punches. Like, he didn't show me none of pot punches. He was ripping from the body. None of that. He didn't give me nothing. He get, he fucking got dropped, like, three fucking times. I was like, I got a cut. And I like, got a question for you. Listen, hold on, bro. Hold on. In my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, listen, in my mind, bro, I'm thinking, like, okay, Earl got dropped. He finna come back and beat this nigga ass. Like, he finna show this nigga something. Like, okay, nigga, you just ain't finna drop me. I'm finna drop you, too. No, it was just Crawford kept carrying him. I was like, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck is going on, bro? And like, bro, I'm really just, I'm mind bothered right now, bro. I'm finna go downtown Dallas, bro. And I swear to God, the only shirt I got is my Earl Smith shirt. And I swear to God, if a nigga say something to me, bro. I'm going to go across this shit with this motherfucking Henny bottle. Oh, my hey, God. hey, you need to chill, no, bro. No, 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 home, no. Bro. Don't go outside, bro. Hey, Do home. not go Stay outside, home, bro. Night, bro. Stay, Stay home, bro. Night, bro. Stay no, home, don't bro. Don't Stay home, bro. Don't go nowhere, man. Nigga, I swear to God, any nigga say Earl's section tonight, and downtown Dallas, I Yo, bro, God. stay uh, home, hey, bro. Hey, Come hey, on, bro. Yeah, bro. Yo, yo, bro, first of all, you're a real one for jumping on the channel. 
Keep because real, no real. one, nobody else on all the other channels didn't jump on at all. They all right. get close. I'll right. give you respect. And I just have a question for you. Ahead, do do you do you do you think that you saw uh the max of um e um Crawford? You saw his like he he, he showed What's everything. Do do you think you saw everything? Do you think you saw everything that came from Crawford? Like everything. Like everything he got I, to offer. I wouldn't say I've seen everything he got to offer. I I can say I've seen the best version of Crawford I ever seen tonight. Okay. Okay. Because I don't know what else they got in the story. The way he made Spence look. The way the the way the way the way he made Spence look. He might he he might got something else in store. I don't fucking know. He might he might go up and beat Charlo. I don't fucking know, bro. He might go up again and beat fucking Canelo. I don't fucking know at this fucking point, bro. Like the shit he displayed tonight. I never you bro. Even y'all niggas Crawford fans, bro. Y'all could never say that y'all seen the way he beat the shit out of Crawford. I mean Earl tonight. Y'all could never say that y'all seen that shit coming, bro. Shit, bro. Like, I said I said that. I could say that. I can say bro, that. No, y'all didn't, bro. Like, bro, bro, I, I call stoppage. Man. Hey, you can go back to my old okay, videos. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm not, of course, I, every nigga say stoppage. I ain't saying that part. I'm saying, we don't beat the shit out of Earl. I think Earl only won like one round, bro. I gave him the first round. I, I, knew, I, it was gonna be, and I knew it was going to be ass whooping, but I hear you, though, bro. I mean, I, I, I hear you. But I knew it was going <laughs> But it's like, it, it's like, at, at, the, at the end of the day, bro, it's boxing. You know, niggas win, niggas lose. At the end of the day, but I think early bleeding is a long time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't re the rematch calls because you didn't show me nothing that you could beat him tonight. I held my breath. He, he literally did nothing tonight. He literally showed me nothing that he could beat fucking Chance Crawford, bro. Nothing. Uh, yeah, I got yeah, another yeah. question for you, bro. What's up, I got man? another question for you. Uh, I didn't um get to bet you, so I just want to know: Can you just give me a reenactment, re round for round, how you was feeling, what you were saying? Bro, every when Crawford got the first drop, I was fucked up. Ever since then, like as soon as Crawford dropped him, I was fucked up. I'm already on the hand dog. My cousin, them telling me to chill out. The police going knocking at the door, all type of shit. Cause I'm fucking turned up, bro. You feel me? And it's like, and it's like, I mean, I wasn't really like paying attention, like if he switched or not, because I was fucked up. You feel me? But you know, he, what I'm he didn't. He ain't switch at all. He stayed in South Park all night. Oh, he, oh, so he so he came out of South Park. Yeah, he came, he came out, out, out of South, South, South Park. Park. Yeah, he stayed, stayed like all night. I knew that nigga was gonna do that shit. I told, I said this shit on this channel. He gonna come out in South Park, but um, I like, I wasn't really paying attention, like, like I need to, cause I was drinking and shit. But, but I ain't gonna lie, like every time Earl hit that nigga with some Crawford was countering his ass immediately, and I'm like, damn, Crawford jab was, was fucking immaculate, nigga. I was like, what the hell, bro? I don't fucking nigga just keep hitting a nigga with this jab like that. Like, where's Spence body shot? Spence wasn't hitting a nigga with no fucking body <laughs> shot, bro. Like, yeah. like, I was like, nigga, I think you gonna break this nigga down systematically by the body, one side, ass whooping, all this shit, that shit. Nigga, you know how many shirts I bought? I bought all the fucking t shirt series, bro. I bought the Did whole this, uh... series. Did this question your boxing knowledge? It don't question my boxing knowledge because at the at the end of the day, nigga, ain't no nigga hundred percent correct on every fucking pitch at the end of the day. You feel me? The better no, fucking I... man, the fucking better man won tonight at Terrence Crawford. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm give Terrence Crawford fucking credit, bro. I'm not gonna take nothing away from that man. That man went out there and dominated. He did what he needed to fucking do to get the fucking victory. And that's what the fuck he did. And I'm not gonna take nothing away from Terrence Crawford. You know, I still don't like that nappy head ass nigga. But he did what the fuck he needed to do. Yeah, I'll tell you, yo, yo, Kareem, I'll tell you this. Since you're the only person that showed up 
on all the lives to me. You can switch over if you want. Just Listen, that's dude, that's I just just one. <laughs> 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 right. oh, you a real one though, Kareem, man. Yeah. You a real one. Yeah. I had I had a few dudes that was over here watching the fight with me, though. Them niggas duck, them niggas duck off on me, bro. Really? really? What I went, bro. Listen, Keep the air was up in here. I don't know where yet. They disappeared like that. G Parker yeah, held it man. down though. G Parker was up in here and he, he held it down. I, he probably went to sleep or something. I don't know. Nigga, I'm gonna lose like five hundred dollars tonight. And and then wow. I, and then I owe that nigga bug on South Spencer a hundred dollars, bro. You bet me a rack, yo, bro. Huh? Yo, bro. You bet Dwight, me a rack. The white the white owe me two hundred. He's nowhere to be found, bro. <laughs> nowhere <laughs> to be found. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm 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 pay uh bug. Bird on South Spence, cause I'm a, at, cause at the end of the day I'm a real nigga. Like bro. You know what I'm saying? At, at, at the end of the day I'm a real nigga. Huh? Bro. And, and like I was, I, like I was wrong, and I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm a fucking pay up. You feel me? Like, nah, you know, I ain't oh, no yeah. button. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Tony, that nigga, listen, that nigga already DM me, bro, laughing with laughing emojis and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm like, damn, like he really stopped spinning, bro. Like that's uh, crazy. That's it. I said for the moment back here. Oh no, you talking to somebody else saying like you talking to somebody else. Go ahead oh, with you saying, Grant. But now nah, okay. like that nigga probably did his thing, bro. Like he showed me a Hey Grant, Grant, you know, you know you mo you know you bet me a rack though, right? No, nah, bitch, I ain't bet you no rack. You were scared. <laughs> I wasn't scared. I said I I told you, I said you ain't putting up no rack, and you nigga. damn sure didn't. <laughs> Yo, your ass was smart. You said <laughs> you changed the subject real quick after that. <laughs> nigga, I know your ass ain't putting no record. Nigga. Any, anybody, anybody, I bet I make. We gotta go get ice soup. Anybody, I make a bet with. I, make I sure know that, that spot confirmed. that Darcel took me to. You say you make sure what now? I make sure that shit confirmed. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. We we was about to, but when I was like, you ain't putting up no rack, and you 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 was yeah. like, <laughs> light off, like the subject after that shit. You know what I'm like, saying? Listen, Out here, bro, like, listen, little soul, like my no, so, like, listen, so, listen, right. so my favorite, my my favorite, my favorite cousin, her her her, her husband was going for Crawford, and then her <laughs> fucking brother on her other side of her family was going for Crawford. So we all having like a watch party and shit. You know what I'm saying? I bet one nigga 25, bet the what? other nigga 50, bro. I'm like, bro, okay. I'm going to get this soon as soon as Earl got dropped. I'm like, what the Shit. fuck, nigga? <laughs> 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 nigga, I just got $75 that quick. And listen, we have no, we, we have no fight for it. I, I just spent like $80 just on nachos. You know, uh. I mean, listen, bro, I mean, I, I mean, fucking nachos. Nachos like $80. Talking about bear feeder. Bro, you know, how much, you know how much Doritos cost, nigga? Doritos hot in the bitch right now, nigga. I bought <laughs> Doritos. Yeah. Nigga, I bought Doritos, Belvedere, turkey meat, motherfucking Rotel. And then I bought a fucking fucking 1.75 liter fucking Hennessy. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like, damn. And then I bought the fucking fight, $85. You feel me? I'm just like, bro. And then I lost 500 Man, uh, listen, uh, I, listen, I promise you, nigga, I'm going downtown. <laughs> we, we we going to a party tonight, me and my cousins. And I promise you, any nigga say, I swear to God, bro. Yeah, bro hey, hey, not, hey, hey, if you feeling like that, bro, you need to you need to nah, chill tonight, fuck bro. That, fuck, fuck that, nigga. I'm not I'm not going for none of that. Any nigga call me an earl sexual, I swear to God, I'm going to call you a fucking henny bottle, bro. I'm not playing. Yo, bro. take Take yo, bro. Take this shirt off. Do not invite this shit, man. Nigga, I ain't got Do no not invite it. On. I took that shit off as soon as Earl Smith got dropped and they put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> yo. <laughs> bro, listen, oh I was, shit. Listen, I was, I, I was already, I was already hot because I was already drinking. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm drinking, and then I see Earl. I'm like, damn. First, I'm looking at Earl like, man, what the fuck going on? Most time, Earl be jabbing to the body. He be straight, straight jab to the body. You know what I'm saying? Going to the left, left side, right side to the body. He wasn't doing nothing. I'm like, damn, what the fuck, Earl doing? Then, like, by second, third round, like, 
Crawford started picking it up. I'm like, wait a minute, what happened? What happened to the fucking slow star there, Crawford? Like that shit. That's yeah, he really started cool. fast. He started a little faster than I than yeah, I than fast. I was. Uh, I mean, I what do he need to download? No, he, what do he oh, really right. need to download? True. Bro, That's true. he didn't download. He had everything downloaded before he started the fight. Like the nigga, the nigga Crawford did his thing, bro. I'm not gonna say. Uh, listen, bro. I'm. I ain't listen. The thing is, if y'all, bro, y'all can go back and listen to the tapes. I, I ain't never took none away from Crawford from beating the niggas that he had to beat to become undisputed. I never took none away from him from that. Nah, you know, you're not one of them niggas. You're not one of them dudes, bro. You know, I, I already knew you were one of them dudes. You was just, you was just, you for you, you was always just rocking with Earl because y'all from Texas, y'all both from Dallas. That was always that, that thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have been never that. one of them niggas who was just making shit up. Right. You know, right. but it is, right. it is a lot of them niggas. Best believe we come for them niggas this week, though. But Cause listen, them the niggas, them the niggas that listen, really created a lot of the confusion online listen, and shit like that. Listen, go ahead. You can listen. You can never find no footage of me on YouTube talking about, oh, Terrence Crawford ain't fought nobody because of his resume. No, nah, but you can't. You can't. Nah, you wasn't talking like that. Yeah. Listen, you listen. You I'll give you that. Find, you can never find footage of me saying that shit because even though I'm an Earl fan, but I never agree with everything that Earl fans were saying because. At the end of the day, you cannot control who the fuck got a belt. I, you can't control that fucking Judas and Dango got two fucking belts. You know what I'm saying? You fucking can't control that shit. If you go out there and beat Nick Farnes Fooded, you 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 did what you had to be. To, you did what you had to do to become undisputed. Like I'm not taking nothing away from him from that because it ain't it ain't fucking Crawford's fault that Judas and Dango got two fucking belts. Even though Judas and Dango was fucking ass. You feel me? I'm not, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not taking that away from Crawford, though. He or, or Crawford just made him look ass. See, now you seeing, hold on, see, hold on. See, now you seeing, or Crawford made him, because he just made Earl look ass. So, like, if Earl go in his next fight and he get his ass whooped, then, you know what I'm saying, then you're going to see what it is. Crawford made, think, here go the thing. Crawford has made all his opponents look ass. It ain't that he ain't fought nobody what these dudes were saying. It's just that Crawford is just that good, bro. He's nah, just I that still, good. I, I still I just I, I just think his body was just more more reserved from him fighting less of competition. Julius Julius and Dongo was a unified champion before he got the bug. Went over, went over, took a belt from this dude, went to one country, took a belt from this dude, went to another country, took this belt from this dude. Got in the ring with Crawford as an undefeated fighter and got destroyed. After that, then he started losing. And then he started going downhill, but he I'm wasn't on, the same I'm guy. On, I'm on YouTube live. Oh. Yo. Hey, Toby Montana. No, Toby Montana. I, I have another. Hold on real quick, mate. Shout out to my guy, Toby Montana. He said he won 50K off Bud. I'm going to need a good cash app donation, fam. <laughs> I'm going to need Toby Montana. I'm going to need a good cash app donation. He say you want fifty k off bud, bro. You in the money, listen, goddammit. it. I ain't donating. Yeah, was, listen, I ain't never donating again to fucking Terrence Crawford channels ever again in my life. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. Damn, what what we do? Man, what do we do? Be, if anything, you should be mad at the Earl Spence channels because nah, them niggas, them niggas will tell you wrong information. No, nah, listen, I never listen to them niggas, bro. Oh, okay, you just okay. heard, bro. You just heard me. Just gave my whole explanation, bro. Like, I know you, you ain't. Know, I know you ain't never say what they were saying, but you bro, you, you ain't never listen to none of them. You never. Heard I got a question to the both of y'all. You hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know who that is, but hold on real quick, bro. You never heard me repeat something another fucking YouTuber nigga said, bro. I go on my <laughs> own fucking mind, bro. You I never, never heard. heard I never heard you repeat none of nothing. What them dudes was talking about. I'm just no, saying. I'm just saying. I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not gonna say no fucking channels. But y'all already know who the channels is. Like uh, you know what I'm I, I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with their channels and shit. But you never heard me repeat. Oh, Earl gonna do this. Earl gonna do that. Like I'm nigga. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Ever since the fight got made, every day by day, nigga, I got nervous, nigga. Fuck is you talking about and nigga and if y'all niggas say y'all didn't fucking get nervous nigga y'all niggas some fucking liars bro you feel me because at the end of the day these niggas are two top top fighters bro two top of fight fighters of the fucking 
we have to wait the vision. And if and, 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 and y'all niggas can really sit here and say, nigga, y'all didn't fucking get nervous at all. Oh, shit, Earl gone. I mean, probably gonna fight Earl. Like, damn, I don't know how this shit gonna pan out. Y'all niggas some liars, bro. You feel me? I ain't lying, liars. bro. I'm, I'm gonna tell you straight up. I'm gonna tell you straight up. Earl is a top up to wait. Bud is a is a once in a generation elite fighter. Oh. Two different two different levels, bro. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give him that. You ain't gonna give him that. I I, 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 no. I, I I would say this. I would say this, bro. I wasn't nervous at all leading up. When it was coming out, my heart was racing. I don't know if I was scared or I was just couldn't wait. That was that's my real reaction right there. Hey, I'm gonna say this right now. He goes up to 154 and, and and destroys Charlo the same way. I'm saying it right oh now, God. bro. Oh, I'm saying it Yo, right did now. Did y'all watch right Charlo now. face? Did y'all watch Charlo face in the background? He was upset. He was tight, and he was scared to get called out. Mm-hmm. I'm saying it right. Oh, I, 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 I was. I was. Oh, I had I a question for the both of y'all. Hey, hey, hey! You know, you know how you know I wasn't nervous. If you look at all my, if you look at all my videos <laughs> that I've been doing. Up until this point, even look at the look at the thumbnail for this live, bro. <laughs> look, does that look like does, is that a thumbnail of a dude who nervous? I didn't. Look, I, I didn't even see. It. I just I just seen your name and I just clicked, clicked, clicked on live. Look, on at live. look at the thumbnail, bro. Look at the thumbnail on the thumbnail <laughs> on the thumbnail <laughs> on the thumbnail. Honest, on the thumbnail I got. I don't really I don't really care to look at it, bro. All right, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I know you're upset right now, but look, <laughs> look, look. I know you're upset right now, but look, I. T- this, I'm confident in my boxing knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it ain't that I'm a super Bud Crawford fan. I just know talent when I see it. Just like I say the same thing about Demetrius Andre, you know, and these other dudes that you don't necessarily like, Kareem. You be you be saying Andre ass. You one of them niggas. Yeah, and I be I and I look I at him and I'm like, know. look, this dude is a he, this dude is an elite fighter. He just elite. hasn't been given the opportunities. I ain't gonna lie, elite, elite is crazy. <laughs> Why is it crazy? I would say that, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't see Demetrius Andres as an elite fighter. Okay. Well, 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 see, you I see that he gonna he gonna have to have a performance. Hey, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm fucking hear I'm gonna hear my Kevin Samuels on you. That nigga, that, that nigga average at best. <laughs> oh <laughs> that's fucked up, bro. See, you rude as fuck. God damn, uh, nigga. <laughs> yo, I got a question for the both of y'all. Oh, go ahead, fam. What do you thought of um but entrance. Man, I thought that shit was pussy than a bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Ah, uh, <laughs> come on, listen. bro. Hey, listen. The fish Hold net? On. Are you kidding me, bro? Hold on. Hold on. If y'all go back, y'all could. I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram, but y'all can check my Instagram story. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna follow you on Instagram. Like, when you saw it, committee came out. But first of all, I'm not a fan of Eminem, bro. You feel me? And he came out to a fucking white boy. I was like, man, this nigga trap, bitch ass, white boy, this, that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, I'm like, this nigga Earl came out the big ass to plug. You know what I'm saying? So I was happy, you know what I'm saying? But like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I don't like Eminem. I don't like I wish I, don't I don't wish like Earl would have came like, out the big truck again, bro. I, I like the big truck, uh big truck. Big, big truck. Oh my yeah. bad, my bad. See yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, wrong. Yeah, I, yeah. I like, I like when he came out to be. That shit was hard, bro. But that listen, shit was hard when he came out to that dude. You gotta understand, like, um, yeah, yellow beast. He was like, yo, you look like you about to lose. I ain't coming out with you this time, bro. Nah, yellow beasy lost. You think you lost money? Yellow beasy lost a fuckload of money, bro. I heard, Daddy, I, I, heard, I, I heard that nigga bet should score twenty five k. Yeah, that was just a core. But he had bets with a whole lot of niggas, bro. Y'all a busy lot. Fuck I, I load it, of money. I, I, I seen that bitch, that nigga Rick, Rick Ross and shit. You know what I'm saying? Talking this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had, hey, listen, the crazy thing about how I bought a bottle of rose before that. You feel me? Wait, I was waiting for this day to pop that bitch. You know what I'm saying? If you go back to my Instagram, bro, y'all go to my Instagram. What's your Instagram name, bro? Kareem underscore boxing underscore news. But yeah, man. Oh shit, the same thing as my fucking YouTube Korean boxing news at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, my logo is one of a kind. My shit ain't like nobody else's. You hear me? Okay, I'm about to follow you. I just followed you right now. You're I'm gonna see my real Yeah, you know tomorrow. what's you know what's crazy? I didn't think that we was never gonna stop talking shit to each other, the fans. 
I didn't think this fight was ever going to happen. And it happened. It came and went. And we only got one guy that's humble. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, I never underestimated Terrence Crawford. I knew that nigga was the truth. Like I knew that nigga was that nigga, but I just, yeah. I just, I, I was just, I was just, I was just going for Earl at the end of the day. Mm. Yeah, you, you wasn't, you wasn't with the trolling shit. Whenever like we trolled on the other channel, you'd be like, you know, I ain't staying for this shit. I'm out. And, mm. <laughs> yeah, you always was known for doing that. You yeah, out. nah, Kareem, 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 Kareem is, I say Kareem is an Earl Spence fan. He not. I yeah, wouldn't call. I wouldn't call him an Earl Sexual or fanboy or nothing like that. He a fan of Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You be saying some crazy yeah. shit sometimes, but he a fan <laughs> of Earl Spence. You know what I'm Bro, saying? I'm not. I don't say shit crazy than your boy AC. So at the end of the day, <laughs> why you? Why you? Why you always go at AC like that? AC, AC be get mad would, as fuck. Listen, bro, I would never forgive. AC for the city fans. Here you go, here you go. But listen, but we're not even we we we're not even gonna get into that tonight. You please, please. We're not gonna we we we're not even gonna get into that please. tonight. Please, thank you. But, please and thank but, you. But it's like the city said was some clown ass shit. Bro. You gonna say it again, bro? I'm just saying it's a clown ass shit. The nigga said at the end of the day, nigga. Even nigga, even you think it was a clown ass shit. Not just me, nigga. <laughs> So, uh, but no, nah, but you know what I'm saying? The better man won tonight. You know what I'm saying? Crawford displayed some shit I ain't never seen. I guess that nigga crew box ain't too heavy. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think Earl Smith should take the rematch. You know? Because mm. mm. he didn't show me nothing. He didn't sh- He didn't show me no way that he can beat Crawford in that fight. Like, like he didn't have no great moments. Like mm. I'm thinking he gonna he show that he was back. strong or bigger. No, he didn't show me nothing. And like who was lighting the ass? I think you know I I, I I I actually don't think so. I think Earl showed that he really good at taking punches in the face. <laughs> oh shit! And there's a warrior. He a warrior, man. He he got heart. He got up. That's you saw his workouts. His workouts. He he was practicing how to get up off the mat, man. How many, how many people on this live? <laughs> hey, KD. I uh, think it was working hey, hard KD. how to get off that mat, nah, man. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody really on here right now. How, how many people guy. on the live? We only got nine on here. Oh. Yeah. And it was to the point, like, it looked like Earl had a smile on his face every time he got knocked down. Like, he, like I know this shit. I know this dude's going to whip my ass. He's carrying me. He's carrying me. He's carrying me right now, man. He's carrying right. me. To be honest with you, I, ain't, I still don't feel comfortable calling nigga Crawford two times undisputed. Like, I still don't feel comfortable. Like, I don't think, I, I don't think that shit would ever feel comfortable coming out. What, what you mean, though? It's Two facts, time bro. undisputed. It's facts. It's in reality right now, bro. Like three it's times, reality. Wait, 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 three, wait, wait. Get it. Say the whole thing. Three time lineal, two time mm. undisputed, three mm. weight division champion. Ooh, the whole thing. No. Nah. <laughs> I think it's just like, no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, and Charlo asks next. Hopefully, if he's still in one piece after Ooh. Canelo gets done with it. Nah, I think. And, 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 and yo, Crawford won my dream because he already said, I ain't going up there. I want I want him to be four time on the street. Fuck it. But he yeah. said he ain't going up there. I'm like, fuck. Going up to where? One one uh one sixty? Uh whatever Charlie Charlie at one sixty eight. I mean not Charlo, uh um, Canelo. Yeah, yeah one sixty eight. Uh, nah, he don't need to go up there, man. That's, yeah, that's uh, crazy. Proper I mean, proper already said that he 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 not going up there. Crawford is yeah. realistic. He's realistic with himself. He understands his limitations. He yeah. understands that one one fifty four is you know, at that point by he's even pushing max, it. Maybe. Yeah. At the, at but, the uh, if Canelo, pros. if Canelo say, "Yo, I want that bag. Let's make this catchweight money." Hey, I got Crawford all the way. Fuck that, man. If he, Canelo going to come down, I don't think Crawford. Yeah, Canelo up. come down. Yeah, yeah Canelo yeah. come. He say, "All right, I come down to one sixty. You come up to one sixty. Yeah, see, Crawford. See, Crawford a smart dude. He's not that. He's not like Crawford about his bag. Like he trying to get. He trying to get his bag. 
But at the same the time, like fight. he not he not he, he not chasing money. Like he not willing to yeah. do anything for money. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. You like like I get it, I get it. But I'm not about to I'm not about to sell my soul. I ain't about to be out here looking like a whole fool just to make a few million dollars. Like I, I do and I just want, fine uh, on my own. I, I, and you know they they both try to sell like you know like black fighters can make money man just come out and support don't stream man just come pay that money you, we don't have to check chase the the Hispanics the or European fight European fighters just to make money man we can make the money here too we just gotta right. support them don't, and you know, you know and you know that whole that whole shit was a lot to begin with bro because the biggest fights in history are between fucking black fighters bro. Yeah, Ali and Frazier, yeah. black fighters. Yeah. Like, what you mean? Let yeah, it it's hurt. a crazy narrative that went out. That, that crazy narrative, narrative is crazy as fuck, bro. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So you, you know, I mean, we. we Hopefully we, they we, broke records. Hopefully they broke records I tonight. Hope so too. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, I hope so too. Nigga, Korean. I, you know, I realized nigga Korean talking shit because ain't nobody in here Korean. That's why you asked me how many people's in here, bro. You trolling, <laughs> throwing shade and shit, bro. People was in here earlier though. You know I've been on here seven hours, Cream. <laughs> he what happened? He where you he at, going, Cream? He went, he went to go break his mirror, break some bottles. Yo, do not go outside, man. Start yeah, trouble, to, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. You need to stay home, bro. You feeling like that, my boy? Don't don't do all that. I swear to God, anybody call me or say, yo, no, 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 no. Stay in the crib, bro. <laughs> Uh, Kareem a real fan though, man. You know what I'm saying? He a yeah. real fan of Earl Spence, man. You know. He, he get my respect. Yeah. Them other dudes respect. that the other dudes that owe me money, I thought he was an honorable man. Maybe I, I'll wait one more day to see if he's gonna pay up. <laughs> I'll wait one more day to see if he pay up, man. That motherfucker was emotional the other day, and I'm pretty sure he's probably emotional now. So I'll wait another day. To see if he's gonna pay my bread. I want to hear that uh that cash app sound. Ching ching. You talking about uh Dwight Anderson? Yeah, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I went on, I went on Easy money. Route Channel, and uh, yeah, and, I was there. Know, I was like, oh, did you see when I said Earl still a duck? <laughs> and then yeah. he was like, how Earl a duck? He said, he said, how Earl a duck? If you fighting uh Crawford now, that make no sense. Oh, he like, he, so he we went off the wire off of yeah. anything. Yeah, I'm like, nigga, he was I'm, tight. Like, I'm like, I'm like, a duck is a duck, is a duck is a duck, nigga. Once a duck, always a duck, god damn it. <laughs> <He's still a laughs> duck. Yes, I read that. I read that. I read that. Hey. I was reading that, yo. I'm like, yo, Dwight, yo, calm down, bro. You damn there want to fucking go go off on YouTube shit. Like, relax. Let's talk boxing, man. It was funny. Yeah, man, we having fun it's with it. He's young. That's our that's our boiler, so he's young. Yeah, Earl, Earl, Earl been mad ever since he lost that. Uh, that Earl Spence fans been mad ever since he lost that coin toss. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Cause he went like, "What's that about, man? Like a coin flip, man? <laughs> hey, yo, Earl, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> so shut that soft ass shit up. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he like, man, what, what's that call? In my, what that conflict is about, man? Man, shut, shut that, shut that fucking soft ass shit up, man. <laughs> fucking acting like a little bitch. <laughs> I'm the A side <laughs> now. I gotta come out first, <laughs> nigga. You knew your ass is gonna get whipped. Fucking wanna come out second for. <laughs> Fuck on you, nigga. Uh, 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 oh lord, and that shit was funny, bro. Man, the only the only oh, thing lord. that oh, Earl, can, Earl can say, Earl can say, y'all glad I ain't fight at my hometown. Shit. <laughs> Hey, oh, <laughs> niggas were fucking kick me out of Dallas, bro. Nah, we would never, we would never kick Earl out. But any nigga with a fucking, fucking transsexual shirt on. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked up, bro. Hey, what's that? Y'all gotta be there. Yo, that's how. That's how y'all roll. They got so losers like, like that. Hey, niggas coming in peace, nigga, bro. Nigga, me, nigga, me personally, yes, I'm a slow fucking loser. 
Fuck Yo, bro, that's man. how that's how y'all treat out of towners, man. That's fucked up, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hold on, bro. Y'all y'all ain't gonna have no <laughs> tourism in Dallas, bro. Nothing, <laughs> man. Y'all ain't gonna have no outside y'all, money. Y'all, man. Fuck y'all, with y'all, y'all bro. Plateau, man. Y'all ain't gonna have no tourists, bro. Beating up all the tourists, bro. Can you hear me? Good goddamn, bro. Can you hear me? <laughs> ain't no sightseeing. Ain't no motherfucking sightseeing in Dallas. <laughs> Nothing. Don't come out here. Yeah. We only want to win. Yeah, yeah, we hear you, bro. Yeah, no, yeah, bro. Yeah. I've been like, I got a couple of partners that's Crawford fan. They've just been calling me all day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not answering the phone for them poor ass niggas. <laughs> why they gotta be hard? Like, why they gotta be hard ass niggas, bro? Damn, no, they gotta be hard ass niggas, though. Uh, because I want, I want to talk, talk no nigga, bro. You feel me? <laughs> hey, you a real, you a real with no career, man. I fuck with you, dog. I fuck with you, man. I'm a, I'm a, yo, man. We, I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna wait a good few months to go down there to Dallas. Now I definitely gotta wait. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna let some, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let some, some bad happen to your ass now. Nah, definitely. Damn, damn, damn. Some nigga. Nah, nigga, I'm staying in the A. Fuck that, nah. <laughs> nigga, say you gonna let some bad happen to you, black man. Nah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with you. Hey, but one thing about me, bro. <laughs> one thing about me, I don't give a fuck if I just met your ass two minutes ago. If your ass with me, I don't give a fuck. Who you got issues with, nigga, it's not for the press you in front of me because at the end of the day, you ain't gonna make me look like a soft ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, nigga, Holy nigga, shit. Like, you sure? Like, are you sure? Because no, no, no. no. Listen, listen, sure. listen to what I'm about to say. I'm because listen, hold on, hold on. niggas getting slapped, yo, plant slapping people. It look, it look like plantation out there. Fucking listen. Uh, listen. EJ listen. just got his ass whooped. Like damn, I wanna, man. I want, I want to hear his thoughts about that. Did you see Jamal listen, get slapped listen. earlier? I'm not, a, I'm not a Charlo fan. I'm not a fucking okay. Uh, what's that nigga name? What's that white boy name? Uh, Keller Plant. I'm not a I'm not a fucking cat of shit. Let me see what that shit taste like. Ooh, they hard. What's it, what, 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 what's all in here? All right, I'm tasting it. Okay, this all hidden. This all hidden. But no, I'm not no fucking cat of. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga cat of playing drip be on the on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That nigga Kato playing shoot game is different. Kato playing shoot game is different. Kato, Kato playing got the best shoot game in boxing. You feel me? But like, like at the end, they I don't give a fuck about Kato playing. I don't give a fuck about uh-huh. Carlo. Like, right. this nigga, like I don't, like I'm not, I'm not gonna go on my way to watch a Charlo fight, bro. Like, oh, I'm not okay, gonna okay. Uh, I know what it is. Don't don't niggas from Houston. You don't even fuck with Houston yeah, like that's that. what it is. No, 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 <laughs> that's what it is. No, 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 nigga. It's a town over. Like that. That's a town over. Fuck them niggas. Oh, no, that's that nigga. shit about hold two, hold three hold hours hold away. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, I'm from Dallas, but I fought with Houston even harder because okay. like I'm y'all not like y'all like y'all not from Texas, so y'all would never understand where I'm like where I'm coming from. Yeah. But like so Texas, like Houston, Texas. Like back in the day, like they had all the fucking rappers, bro. Like I know y'all niggas don't listen, like niggas like Lil Kiki, Zero, um, you know what I'm saying? Like Slim Thug, Scarface. I with Slim, you know Slim Thug saying? and Scarface. I know them you know niggas. Yeah, Slim Thug. Yeah, yeah. I used to, I used to love the H Town stop, H yeah. Town stomp, man. When I was like, I was doing that pa, shit was a lot. Wow, wow, Paul, wow, Mike yeah, Jones, Paul, yeah, Paul, Paul, yeah. Paul, yeah. yeah. Fucking big pokey, rest in peace to big pokey, rest in peace, rest in peace, DJ Screw, you know what I'm saying, Pimp C, Bond, Pimp C, Bond, yeah, you know what I'm saying, like, like when I was growing up, I was a big Houston rapper fan, so I ain't never had no issue with Houston, like, I love fucking Houston, bro, like, anytime I go to Houston, nigga, I fucking have the best time of my life, nigga, so it's not that I love fucking Houston, bro. So don't make it seem like I just hate Houston. I love for I, nigga. I want to go to Houston again. They got the best restaurants, nigga. I swear to God, <laughs> nigga. I swear to God, nigga. Houston, I, Houston, not my favorite city. No, it ain't, I ain't saying it's my favorite city, but I'm saying like if you go to Houston, nigga, you gonna gain thirty pounds. 
Jill. If you, if, if, listen, if you're not in he the gym every straight. day, if you're not in the gym every day, you're going you gonna to gain 30 pounds because they got some of the best restaurants you can go to, bro. Oh, uh, so that's what happened to EJ. Okay, okay. Jamal needs to get his hell. Yo, Yo. <laughs> Tan, 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 Tamayam. Pronounce your name for me, friend. Oh, Tamayam? Yeah. Tamayam, okay. What up yeah. with it, man? Welcome good, to the club, bro. We had a clinic tonight, brothers. Yo, <laughs> beat that, beat that man hey, down. Hey, son, he's popping all Teddy. that shit, talking that big Teddy. bitch what, and all of that. What up, what up with it? What up with it, Kareem? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kick that nigga off. <laughs> why? Why I gotta kick him off though? Kick, kick that nigga off. <laughs> yeah. What, what you mean, why? man? Why? He hating. He we he, getting kicked off for? He sound bro. like he hating. I, I got some things on my mind I want to speak on. Hold on, hold on. Let me let, <laughs> let me let me let me let me address. <laughs> Let me address. Let me address Kareem right now. <laughs> he he this got is, some things on his mind. <laughs> this is this is this is Kareem right now. Here you go. Here you go. Ah, too. They they slang it real good, real good. Might have to drop. Might have to drop a dime on them niggas. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Stop. I don't like that shit. For sure, bro. I don't like that shit. Hey, I tell you one thing. I tell you one thing. I don't like that shit. I, listen, I, I promise you, it better not be no Nebraska niggas out here tonight. <laughs> oh my god! Come on, bro. Come yeah, on, I'm from, man. I'm from New York, but yeah, man, Texas is not like Nebraska, bro. I've been in Nebraska. There's nothing man, there to do but oh, throw them Nebraska hands, bro. Nebraska. Nebraska ain't no joke, man. man I've been, I've been to both these places, man. I've been to Texas. Nigga, I've been to Nebraska. I'm a truck driver. I didn't fuck Nebraska, nigga. And, I'm, and I knew, I nigga, knew from the jump. I've been to that Crawford and smoked this fuck man. Fuck Nebraska. Fuck I've been Nebraska. saying this. Fuck, his, fuck that nigga. <laughs> fuck that nigga crackhead mama. Fuck his sister. Fuck that nigga nephew. Nigga, uh, you that's, that's you hurt. Coming, you hurt, man. Ah, damn, bro. You hurt, I am man. hurt, nigga. I am hurt. I think I just take your, my take your emotional Texas out. ass to the fucking <laughs> nigga. Fuck them niggas. Fuck. <laughs> yo, bro. I keep Texas. telling yo. Texas. He was born in he was born in LA. I don't fucking claim him, man. He ain't, he ain't from Jamal, New York, bro. man. I ain't claim. Hey, I ain't claiming him. Hey, What's hey, up, bro? Jamal, do you know you know how hard it is to knock out a fucking crack baby, bro? <laughs> Bro, crack baby strong as a motherfucker, bro. I'm not sure if you ever had a fight with a crack baby, bro. <laughs> crack baby, crack baby's got some strength on him, bro. You feel me? Nah, but all, all jokes aside, though, he whooped that nigga ass, though. Word up. And I've been on this comment board with these Earl Spence fans, and they've been talking all of this shit, and they know where to be found, bro. Mm. They got what right happened? Here, nigga, what's bro, where'd up? they go? Nigga, I'm right here, nigga. What's up? You not the fan. You not the fan. You not the fan. We talking about uh, Kareem. Yeah, we yeah we talking about Earth sexuals, man. You, you just not, proved you're not that the you're Earth fan, fan, bro. Yeah, yeah. man. You proved that you're Earth fan. Yeah, you you you're you're not, not you not the fan. Tonight. We talking about we we talking about them niggas that said we talking about them niggas that said Bud Doug Earl. We talking about the niggas that said. But it ain't fault nobody. No, we talk no, about the no, niggas no, and shit. Yeah, you I, that, yeah, <laughs> actually no, I think about it. I think you did say that shit. Think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, that nigga bug. Here we yeah. go. Don't say no crazy shit. Hey, Don't say nothing now. crazy. Hold come on, go on ahead. Now. Come go on. Ahead. Now. Don't, Don't say nothing it. crazy. Don't play Go ahead. Texas looking bad, man. Jamel got slapped and, and, and Spence got beat. <laughs> oh! Texas looking bad out here. The man got slapped in the face and did nothing, Ooh! bro. Hey, and then your man Spence got beat down, bro. Hey, where you hey, you where got you Texas at? looking real soft out here, hey, bro. Yo, man, man, man start. Yo, man, hey, something about to come to that bar. Oh, We're about oh, to come oh, to that bar oh, out oh, there in Dallas, oh, Kareem. Hey, Don't worry. Hey, we're hey, coming. Where you where you where you where you from, bro? Hey, hold on, 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 Katie. Where that nigga from? Where that nigga from? Who, me? He say he from New York, bro. He from my head. Yeah, I'm from New York. I'm from New York. Bro, one thing about it, I can't stand you dirty-ass New York niggas, bro. Oh, why you talking about me like that, bro? Relax, bro. What you talking about, man? Hold on, bro. I heard. Yo, relax, bro. I'm from Brooklyn, son. Don't come at me like that, bro. Don't do that. Niggas. 
fuck is you talking don't about? Do don't do that. Don't do that, Kareem. Come on, bro. bro. I heard I heard New York niggas got rats the size of dogs. Nigga, fuck you talking about. Like, yeah, I yeah, yeah, but that's the size of point, man. That's the size of point. So what, oh, man? If shit's as huge as hell. If shit's as huge, man. If shit's as huge, man. But I tell you one thing, don't rat don't rat don't rats don't get knocked the fuck out like that though. Don't rats not to take a punch. Tell him, boy. Don't rats not to take a punch out here, bro. Them rats are not. They stronger than a month. They they stronger than a motherfucker, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before y'all start trolling some more, my guy XO factory done pulled up, man. What up, XO? XO, you seen that ass whooping tonight? Yeah, yeah. XO, what up, bro? Yo, what up, what up, fam? What up, what up, Connor? What up, KD, man? Hey, check check this out, bro. Who the motherfucking real man down? I collect and all that shit, bro. Check this shit out. This shit's so funny, bro, because... Put him in the dirt. Uh, put, him in, put him in the dirt. That's what he said, bro. And let me tell you what make the shit so funny. Because I think in the eighth round, Bud tried to ease off that nigga ass for me. I think Bud yeah. was in the bad for that nigga. He yeah, said, he, can't, he said, yo, bro, I got to yeah, take you out the next round, bro. I got to take you yeah, out. Yeah, he started feeling bad for that nigga. Because y'all see, man, I'm, ho I'm horse like a motherfucker. I know y'all can tell. Hey, bro, yep. he started feeling bad for that Y'all was bro, screaming, too. Yeah, 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 KD. Hey, he, he was like, hey, until Earl got them, got a couple shots off on him. He said, oh, shit, nigga, you trying to get down? Let me go on there. Hey, he was timing that nigga. Bro, it's like, it's, you know, I was telling nigga, I said, it's levels to this shit, bro. When you meet a motherfucker like this, see, Earl used to have a motherfucker stand right there in front of him that he could pound on and all that shit. Bud was just goddamn, every time that nigga was trying to throw something, Bud was just fan. He was just like, he was quick to the punch, bro. He was countering that shit so quick, bro. Sharp. This nigga jab was fast this and hard. This nigga jab was fast, bro. Like, this nigga. Snapping bro, this nigga head back. Hey, that nigga head was fucking like, hey. Earl was like shot, bro. It's like shit that he. Mm. It was like it was. Crazy. I thought I was watching The Exorcist. Man, my <laughs> fucking head was spinning back like that, man. Hey, man. When that nigga face started looking like that, man, I was saying, man, when they gonna stop this fight, man? Earl, Derrick and, James, and, and Derrick oh, James, God, was, Derrick yeah. James was talking all that shit about Sean Porter there, about mm. Kenny Porter throwing in that towel. I said, nigga, you should have been did the same motherfucking thing, nigga. You gonna fuck around? Ooh. This nigga gonna have this nigga gonna have fucking. Uh, he gonna have a brain. He gonna have a brain fucking brain damage. You know mm. what I'm saying? This nigga took a beat. Hey, KD. Wait, yeah, yeah, hear that superior, uh, that superior coaching from Derrick James. Y'all ain't hear that shit. Hey, hey, uh, who, who, they, who that is, Jamal? Bro, he should have threw the towel. Hey, <laughs> Jamal hey, needs to, yeah. Hey, Jamal. Hey, that's Yo, what's up? Cause, Cause he was lost. Derrick James was lost over there, bro. He was trying to goddamn. Hey, he was like, I said, Derrick James, bro, he needs some help, bro. He was talking about, he was talking about Bo Mac. He was saying, yeah, you got three trainers and shit. Nigga, look like you need some motherfucking help, nigga. He need a team, bro. He need help. Let me tell y'all one more thing before I uh, finish my cook, bro. Check this out. Talk your shit. Hey, not only Texas taking a loss, bro. PBC taking a loss. Cause you know, cool, uh, uh, cool yep. boy. And he lost his title. You know oh, what I'm saying? He lost his holidays. Yeah. Then Jamal got the um the uh, uh Jamal J Jamal Jamal got he lost yeah he there. lost in the hallway he lost yeah. in the hallway yeah yeah, yeah you're right <laughs> <laughs> and then you know what's next Jamal gonna get his ass whooped next by Canelo oh yeah looking they all getting they all getting sacrificed bro they all getting sacrificed that's, that's, that's crazy ain't it bro that's how I feel. I feel bad for Spence honestly yeah like, he, yeah the way he is too, I seen bro. the look on his face I seen that he wasn't ready for this fight I was like throw in the towel just like the Rocker movie throw in the towel <laughs> yeah who the real fucking man down who the real fucking man down who you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, who the real fucking man down though? It, it, you know they been preaching this man right. down shit. Who the XO, real man? Yeah, 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 XO, yeah. XO, 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 XO. I can tell you been cussing the TV out. Well, I can tell you was, was your ass off. I was, <laughs> man, I was cursing the shit out of my TV, bro. My wife was like, "Man, would you chill out?" I was like, "Yeah, get it." Yeah, my lady, my, my lady never want to come in the room. I told my wife, I said, I said, look, this ain't the fight to tell me to chill out. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this ain't the fight. Yeah, leave me the fuck alone, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. We got somebody else pulled up. My guy C O E feels oh, in the shit. building. What up with it, fam? You seen that ass whooping? Boy, I'm talking about a one sided ass whooping out of this world. Look at him, man. Hey, man. I told him, I get if y'all if y'all look at the you just look at the size of Crawford. 
He's not going to be doing all that pushing around like everybody thinks he was going to do. And I, I'm talking about, I, it was 40 people. I'm, I'm the only one in them level who up for crop. I said, man, listen, he's going up to one for Charlo. He ain't gonna he ain't gonna be able to do nothing with with Crawford. And check this out. I don't hold think on, he can go nowhere. He was going to one. Hey, hey, that's his audio. Yeah, yeah, that's his audio. Some some something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 something like something like cutting in. It's real choppy. Hey, bro, y'all, bro, I I don't mean no disrespect, bro, okay, but your on. audio, but your audio I, fucked I, up bad, bro. Hey, they should have called the police. They should have called the police on that nigga, boy. They should have called police on Bud. That's on the song, bro. bro. He should have called a charge. Bro. That nigga should have called a charge, bro. <laughs> to be honest, to be honest with you, bro, I'm happy. I, I'm really happy that shit didn't happen in Dallas. Cause because I'm because I'm, 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 I promise you, if the same shit would have happened, bro, he would have had to have like. 20 armed police officers with that nigga, bro. I swear to God. Yeah, Yo, why y'all Dallas people bro. act like this, man? Y'all wild animals, man. Come on, bro. I, I, yeah, I am a fucking wild animal, nigga. What happened to the one-on-one, though, man? What happened to the one, though? Y'all don't shoot the one. But yo, but yo, but you don't know. But if it happened in Dallas, I, I really think Bud would have been all right. Because if any of y'all fight like that, Bud would have fucked all y'all dudes up and got out of there safely. So who do so who do fight at this point? And who do the fight at this point? He can't go on fifty four. Yeah, Bud going one fifty four. It's right here on the table. Hey, 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 C-O-E. Hey, C-O-E, you breaking up real bad, bro. Real, real goddamn bad. Yeah, you want to come back out again? There we go. Let's see. Hopefully. Okay, here we go. Hey, bro. Leave me alone. Hey, hey, in about 20 minutes, I'm going out. Like I say, I'm going to be. No. Listen, hold up. I'm going to Help me out, babe. Hold on, nigga. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be on my cool shit. I promise you, if a nigga play with me tonight, tonight, tonight is not tonight. I promise to God, bro. Tonight is not tonight. Tonight is not tonight to call me an earl sexual. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna just keep that shit a thigh while, you hear me? Like if first nigga call me a uh, earl sexual, I'm like, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna walk up to him like, huh? What 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 what, what, what you say? I'm a I'm a like I'm gonna like I'm gonna put my head like my ear to him, and then I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna hit that nigga with a right hook, left hook. Oh, oh, God. Shit. Like, I swear to God, bro. you gotta chill, fam. You gotta All chill, right, bro. bro. You don't you don't want to do that, uh, Yo, uh Kareem? Don't, don't do go like outside, that. bro. What's wrong with you? Yeah, man. Keep it keep it in keep it indoors. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nigga, I'm and uh, outside, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, do, yo, don't go outside, bro. You're gonna lose. Nigga, lose. <laughs> nigga, you're gonna lose. You're gonna get beat up, bro. We see how your Dallas boys fight, man. Don't go outside, man. Chill. Pull up to Dallas, bro. Oh man. Jay Jamal, pull up to Dallas. We can, we can fucking like the blaze gloves. Up. I know, I know plenty of gyms out here. Yeah, bro. All yo, I gotta do is jab you. I, yo, I just looked at Buck Crawford, man. I just gotta yo, jab you or jab you to death. Yo, to, to yo, at, to, yo, at this yo, point, I don't give a fuck about playing clean or none of that shit. Nigga. I'm trolling I'll everybody on Twitter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trolling, I'm trolling all these Earl sexuals on Twitter right now. They, they, they out there. Yo, French on Cruz up there making up an excuse talking about. Oh, what they say? He Earl Spence didn't rehydrate. Hurry, Beyonce <laughs> said the same shit. I said, oh, are you kidding me? But listen, hold on. Man. But listen. But look, I, I, I was wondering, like, what the fuck they didn't have to wait until, like, 5 o'clock in the evening? Say it again. Like, crazy. Like, the weigh in wasn't. No, nah, they had to weigh in. They had to weigh in earlier. They just did yeah, an unofficial weigh in. It was like three hours They had an unofficial weigh in. Yeah, they had an unofficial <laughs> weigh in that was uh, later, later, so people could nah, come to fans or see. whatnot. So why they, so why they just didn't do it early in the morning then? I could put it they did the real way in early in the morning, but they did yeah, another one that was I'm in the saying, afternoon. But I'm just saying, why, well, why they just had a camera <coughs> on at the official way in? Because oh. a, lot of time, a lot of times people be uh, passing out and shit, and you know what I'm saying? They got to make sure you're on track so you won't be killing yourself at the last second. 
Mm. Yo, but uh, hey, hey, Kareem, did you throw away all your shirts, man? No, I'm keeping them bitches. I spent eighty dollars a piece. <laughs> Boy, you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Yeah, he can always remember. He can always re he can always remember the build up. Hello, what's, what's what's your name, bro? Man, it's, it's bold and understanding. You know who it is. Bold and understanding. I think I yeah I I know I'm subscribed to you, but you know what I'm saying. Yo, but I, I gotta give you props, man. You came to the fish fry tonight, man. I gotta sure give you did. Props. Hey, sorry. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> nigga, don't be don't be getting on here talking crazy, bro. Like for real. Like, nigga, keep it respectful, bro. Keep it respectful, Yo, bro. Hey, keep hey, respectful. hey, at least you're not making excuses, man. I'm giving you props, shit. Look, at listen, least you ain't listen, making excuses. Listen, nigga, I didn't even make excuses before the fight. I, I said, if I, I like, you can ask KD and everybody else that I, I jumped on. I think I ain't never nah, said. I, I'm, I'm giving, never listen, said, I'm giving listen, you props, though. Listen, I'm giving I'm you not, props. Listen, I'm not bringing up no car wreck. I'm not bringing up those. I'm gonna let Prince eat one too. Sixteen. Spent, I'm, I'm not bringing. I, listen, I'm not bringing up those sixteen month layoff. No, shut the that nigga said. That, that nigga said two notes up for. Because that nigga said two notes for people who are, aren't sure themselves. So it's like I can't bring up fucking a uh, fucking layoff when a nigga say. Bring him in. Uh, who are aren't sure themselves? Damn, like, where his not, food at? I'm not bringing oh. that shit up, bro. Like, like to be honest with you, I want to bring it up, but it's like Earl put me in a situation where I can't because <laughs> be, because y'all niggas be, because I know y'all niggas just gonna say, well, Carl, Earl said that yeah, two notes are for people who aren't sure of themselves. So why would hey. I even put myself in that situation? You feel me? Hey, I tell you what, man, tune up or no tune up, it was gonna be a one at one side of beat down regardless, man. Hey, mm. salute to my guy Demetrius Ross in the building, man. One of my members, man. Appreciate you for sliding on through, man. <laughs> he said, like, Spence should have taken the tune up, bro. <laughs> that shit wouldn't have never made a difference. Yeah, yeah nah, man. That shit, that, that, that level. Yeah, bro. we all knew that fucking uh, Crawford was elite. He made a yeah. C level fighter look like a damn D level fighter. That's right, it. Listen, hold on. One thing about it, bro, you can never go back ever. Only YouTube always and say I never say Crawford wasn't elite. That's one thing you could never hear me say. Nah, nah, nah. Like I said, Kareem, you ain't you. The only thing you said that was crazy as fuck, and we just talked about it. You said you said Bud ducked Earl. That's the only thing that you yeah. said yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. We got that. We yeah, got you know, that. He ain't know he ain't no damn Earl Spence yeah, to do yeah, that. You know so crazy. You know so crazy. I'm on Twitter and I see the LDBC sitting up here saying, "Oh man, both of y'all." What for now? I say, he said, both of y'all will be chance forever. Like, they ain't got no shit, bad shit to say about Crawford no more. BFTB Nothing. on there. Talk about, hey, it's still man down, but, you know, props to Chance Crawford. Like, man, y'all... Fuck that bitch ass shit. nigga, man. Yeah, for real, man. These dudes these dudes ain't got shit to say now. Yeah. Nothing. They, they, they now they all hotter than up. They all hotter than up right now to see what yeah. they're going to talk about the next right. time. Right. Who, who oh, they, they gonna oh, jump you, on you already know what's coming. They're gonna say they're gonna say rehydration and shit. Like they already Let making them. that excuse up. We don't care. Avanesian look better. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta you gotta say you gotta say the real you gotta say what they say. Avocado. You gotta say hey, avocado listen. and green beans. Listen, yeah, the green, green beans and avocado oh, look way better than that clown. I'm gonna listen. Hey, I'm gonna be a listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's hey, gonna be my new shirt. Wait, wait, I'm gonna yo, make yo, me a shirt. Yo, I'm gonna make a shirt that hey, avocado hey, yo, and yo. green beans look way better than hey. EJ. Hold up, hold up, hey, hold hey up, hashtag avocado, avocado look better <laughs> in the comment section, bro. But listen, hashtag but listen, avocado but listen, look better. Well, listen, hold on, listen. One thing about it, two things for show. At the end of the day, <laughs> proper, proper. Listen, listen. I can't. I can't. Who's that laughing? I can't. I can't. Yo, yo, come I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. While, while, while I'm talking, bro. I'm, all right, I'm gonna be quiet, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. But like, one one thing about it, like, bro, Crawford was levels above Avenesian, bro. You know what I'm saying? And any niggas that say that he wasn't levels above that nigga. You just a lying ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? 
And at, at the end of the day, that nigga Crawford was torn. He was torn around with Avenesian the whole fucking fight. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like once uh, Terrence Crawford gloves that he exploded, he was like, man, let me just stop playing with him and knock him the fuck out. No, nah, I disagree, man. I think that was one of his no. hardest fights, man. Uh, Tonight was his easiest fight. I think Avenesian was bro, his hardest stop fight, the cap, bro. bro. Stop all that Come cap. on, bro. Come on. I was scared to death when he fought Avenesian. I was like, what the fuck, bro? Yo, bro, what you doing, man? Don't get hurt. This guy dangerous, man. Save yourself for EJ. He's easier. And I was like, all right, fuck it. He knocked him out. All right, good. All right, good. All right, good. Now, we had it. The Spurs fight is it's cool. It's cool to I, go I, now. I need to take it. Take it easy on Kareem. He not <laughs> <laughs> take it easy on him. He got it's a lot. It's a lot more other Earl Spence fans that need this work, bro. Like, like, <laughs> like, like we like yo. Like it's gonna be a rough week for Earl Spence uh fanboy channels, man. You it's ain't enough, Kareem. Know. Like I, I said, love. don't think crazy. You I said love. what? But Doug Daryl, but that's it. Hey. Okay, go ahead, fam. Hey, KD and Jamal. I got. Yeah. I don't know who is on the panel, but I I, I just want y'all to answer this question for me. Like, yeah, sure. Look, I already know y'all niggas bias and shit, but it's like, <laughs> but like, how y'all think? You're a great like, sport, bro. Like, how you just, think say, just say if Earl Spence reactivate the rematch cause, how, how y'all think it's gonna pan out? He's not. Same thing. I don't think he reactivate. I think I think I think, think, I think, I think I Spence. Spence hold on, hold on, real quick, real oh. quick. I just want to. Okay, okay. I want to say this. He said right after the fight, he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna re reactivate the the rematch clause." He said that after the fight, but when I was listening to the post fight, he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna sit back, I'm gonna talk to my team." His team gonna tell him not to reactivate that re that rematch, bro. Man, his he, team he not doing him, that shit. Hey, his team gonna I, tell him, "Yo, you, you need to fire uh, Derek James." That's what they are gonna be saying. Yeah, somebody got to be a full guy for him to take the rematch because so they're on. gonna find out. They're gonna find out how much money they made. And then they're gonna be like, "Yo, we have to reactivate. Right. Take this to the bank. Make myself look better at a different weight class, and then just lose again." Mm. They're gonna go for that money. Yeah, they're gonna go for that money. Can you hear me, Boxer Die? Yeah, I can hear. That's my guy, Demetrius Ross. No, yeah, no. I'm in here for. Oh, that's oh, okay. COE. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was just trying to make sure my my audio was good this time, man. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, you sound crispy. You sound crispy, man. Is that oh, is, oh, is, is that is that XO? Let me cook. Nah, you coming too clear? Go go go, go 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 ahead, Coe. I know you was looking to uh uh you was looking to cook. Go ahead, fam. Yes, sir. Uh, amongst amongst 40, 40 to forty five motherfuckers, uh, me and uh, and another guy was the only Crawford fans that was in there. So, bro, when, stop the cow. When, when Crawford, when Crawford Stop first, the cow, bro. Man, you, where? So you, so you where he you, talking about? You, where he talking about? Hold on, where? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, 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 him, let, him, let him finish. Go ahead, Coe. I'm talking about. I'm talking about where I was at. Where I was watching the fight, my guy. Uh, okay. Oh, All right. I thought you was at the fight. My bad. No, no, no. Where I was watching the fight. So, so check it out. So, when Crawford first came out and hit him with that jab, that first right jab to the to the face, that first lick, I knew it was over right there. I, I, mm. I got on my shit right mm. then. I got on my shit right then. So I'm turning to the whole crowd like, y'all boy finna get knocked the fuck out. I'm trying to tell you. Everybody, mm -hmm. oh, that's the first round. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. That second round came. Boy started putting that shit together, beating him to the punch. I said, man, this is over. He got that boy timing already. He done took that jab away. I mm -hmm. said, man, shit ain't finna go the distance, I promise you. Man, mm -hmm. that first knockdown, Man, I got up on the motherfucking table mm. and looked at the whole crowd like, what the fuck y'all going to do now? Oh, shit. He in trouble. He in trouble. What y'all going to do now? <laughs> then when they, when they was quiet as a church mouse. <laughs> quiet as a church mouse. Hey, and look, I said, man, listen here. Y'all about to witness greatness, man. Y'all got to appreciate this moment because this shit is going to get ugly. I said, it's going to get ugly here. I said, man, because anytime <laughs> books hurt, <laughs> it's a matter <laughs> It's a master class, man. And and I want to say this. Spence don't have nowhere to go, y'all, because Bud going to 154. He said he going 154. What you going to 154 for? You ain't going to fight Bud no more because you're going to get your ass toe up. Like, again, and Charlo, <laughs> and Charlo, Charlo, he know he on the uh, – I, I know he, he know his ass on the ropes. Did y'all see his brother Jamal in the background with that face? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was scared to death. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Hey, that shit. Yo, know, Katie, load it, load this video up, Katie, in the chat. I just put it in the private chat. Load it up. Uh, all right, hey, all right. Okay. Hey, but anyway, man, I hey, I just want to say this, fellas. Man, it was it was glad. I mean, it's a good thing that we can come back and we can get ready it all week long and rub these earl sexuals to the core. Cause I can't wait to find any and anybody talking about that damn fight. I'm ready. I mm. guess. Um, oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. I agree with mm. that. I got it locked and loaded. I'm talking about my. Hey, I got some shit that's gonna be hitting like bud uppercuts on her leg. <laughs> mm. Mm. And that and that, that jab. That jab was beautiful, y'all. I'm talking about. I'm talking right. about. Oh, peek, peek, peek. I'm talking about. He he caught damn near like a hundred Earl Brooks. <laughs> he caught about a hundred K L Brooks. Oh damn! A few people jab. Okay. You does see yo? Yeah, yeah, that, sure, yeah. That motherfucker caught about a that motherfucker caught about a hundred Earl Brooks, man. I mean, uh, Kel Brooks. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real, bro. And, and how about this too? Like one of the main like BS bullshit talking points a lot of Earl Spence fans was making. They was talking about how Bud wasn't gonna be fighting in the Southpaw stands. He wasn't gonna be able to do it because Earl's the superior Southpaw, and then he gonna have to fight Orthodox. Man, Bud was in the Southpaw stance. All the way from round one, all the way to round twelve. Fall that's all the way to South Paul stance. Beat the shit that, out of Earl and South Paul stance. But go ahead. That, that's how you take that jab away. Mm. He, he took that jab away immediately, and it was over from there. And and once he figured out, man, you, you that jab gone. He didn't have no other background. I mean, no other uh, alternate. Yeah, yeah. He had no yeah, tools yeah. in the box. No he, tools. He yo, he Tim. Yo, left. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan didn't have nothing left. <laughs> mm. right. Right. But let me go to my guy Demetrius Ross. He's been waiting patiently to cook. Demetrius Ross, what's going on with you, fam? What you think about that ass whooping, man? Man. <laughs> I, I I don't even know how to describe it, bro. I really don't. I said from the beginning, all Bud had to do was take away Spitz jab and that fight was over with. And you saw it. You saw it. Period. Period. That knockdown. And the second round caught me off guard a little bit. Like, damn, okay. <laughs> All right. Like, what's going on with you, dude? But Spence should have took a tune-up fight. I, uh, you know, you can say whatever. He should have took a tune-up fight. Based on what I was looking at, it showed. Mm. Spence was gassing, bro. Okay. He was gassing. Mm. Bro, you when, you're used, when you're used to fighting, the way Spence is, stand in front of you. Fighting the high guard. That's what Spence used to. Mm -hmm. Sean Porter, Sean Porter showed you, okay, what did he do when he fought Spence? He he kept Spence jab just like he was just within reach. You know what I'm saying? Not close enough to get hit, but far enough away back, make him come forward. Mm -hmm. I don't hate Spence. I like Spence, but it's levels to this shit, and you saw it. Mm -hmm. You saw Rex. it. It's levels to this shit. It's Rex. levels to it. And we, we still man, don't know what level Crawford could go to. What is his level? Rematch out of the question. Period. Spence don't need a rematch, boy. 147, 154, it don't matter. How, how is he going to adjust the Buzz adjustment? He couldn't mm. do it. Mm. He couldn't even he couldn't even handle uh Buzz Jab, man. Buzz Jab. Exactly. Man. Exactly. A power jab. Confused, didn't know what to do, didn't know what hit him. <laughs> right. I, think, I think I got one question to ask. Mm -hmm. What happened to the eye collector? What happened to what? The eye collector. Oh, when man. They call this eye Yo, collector? he collected both of them motherfuckers tonight. <laughs> right, right. Both of those eyes got collected. Yeah, Earl looking oriental in this bitch. Got their <laughs> eyes all in shut. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, well, it looked like he was ready to speak some Chinese, Japanese, yeah. Yeah, he, Thai. I feel, Yo, the crazy part about it, Earl Spence like, wore he wore an eye, an eye as a mouthpiece, the little eye on it. Yeah, he wore the eyeball as a yeah. like. You could tell he listened to his fan. Like you could tell this nigga became his own aerosexual, bro. Like, right. like nigga, right. you really bought into that goofy shit that these goofy yeah. ass niggas were saying online, bro. He, he probably, he probably, he probably, he probably the number one supporter uh, 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 of the, the of these uh, fanboy channels like Fanon and shit. The, like alpha, the alphabet boys, yeah. Yeah, man. 
He probably be in that cash app and them and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was a good one, yo. That was a good one. You cooked that butt, fan. Yeah, that was a good one, yo. <laughs> what the public enemy say? Don't you know, believe you know, that. You know what's so crazy? They try to say Bud was so emotional, and it was like Spence was be- the one being emotional leading up to the fight. My mm. man was mad at mm-hmm. Canelo because Canelo picked Terrence Crawford to win and shit. Right. He's like, oh, yeah. Canelo, uh, uh, Canelo picked him to win? Yeah, yeah nigga. Canelo know what he see. He know you're gonna get your ass whooped. Right, if you notice, right. if you notice, every every fighter for the most part, 90% of the fighters that weren't affiliated with PBC all picked Bud. Yep, all of them. They all if they were PBC, you, and even when they were PBC, and I was, I was talking about this earlier because before the fight, I was like watching people predictions and shit like that. I was reacting to it. If they were with PBC, they would pick Earl, but their body language would say that they picking Bud. Say They'd be like yeah. this, like, yeah. like Adrian Bonin was like, "Yeah, you know, I got to ride with Earl." You know, hey, what I'm I, saying I say like this. looking down and it's, shit. It's one guy that's on a PBC that actually picked Bud, and that was uh Andre. He was like, "I'm rolling with Bud, man." He said, "That's my list." Because Andre, the, he with the PBC, like, but he not a PBC fighter. He with him right now, yeah. but he ain't a PBC fighter. You no, know I thought saying? it was actually with just Showtime, like uh, Boost Ennis. Yo, but you know. that's why everybody wanted to fight Earl Spence, man, because they knew that dude was fool. Yeah. They was like, yeah, they 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 went the IBF route and shit. WBC the WBA route. <laughs> route. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, nigga, Virgil, nigga, Virgil left a eliminator, left being he he left a championship fight so he could fight in the WB WBA eliminator. What the fuck? Like yeah, who they does that? Earl Spence is a uh, fool. That's why Mikey Garcia was like, I see something. Because they looked at that dude as food and shit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Yo, Bud still didn't find his dance partner. He still ain't fighting nobody. Damn, man. Jamel Charlo <laughs> gonna be that dance partner. <laughs> Yo, hey, just say, my he ain't fighting nobody. Hey, Katie, you play just that my video? Opinion. Oh, I'll play, I'll play it right now. I'll play it right now. Um, Let me play this video. My guy Bold done dropped on me, man. Let me see what it is. Bold, this ain't nothing gonna get me flagged, is it? <laughs> nah, it's on, it's on Twitter. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, here, let me show the screen, the screen real quick. Stop sharing. And, 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 it's from, and it's from Keyshawn Davis, where he recorded. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, screen. Y'all yeah. see it? I, I said Jamel Charlo going to be the one to show everybody how great Bud is. Yeah, but- I- <laughs> Look how, look how, look how he talked to Charlo. He like he next. You next. Yeah, you next. Yeah, Charlo, you next. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! I gotta watch that fight again. Earl got his ass whooped. He got his ass. He got his ass. Whoop! Arrow got the brakes. Arrow got the brakes beat off his ass. He beat the stuffing out that turkey, like goddamn burning the box. If he said he beat the stuffing out that motherfucker, bro. Oh, he he beat he beat he beat the Thanksgiving dinner out that motherfucker, bro. He beat the Texas Longhorn (laughs) Roadhouse Steak and Grill out that motherfucker. Yo, he beat them down. He he beat them down. They, they he beat him down like he played for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, he they, beat the they, Dallas they, Cowboys they, out there, they, motherfucker. They, 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 <laughs> they, they, <laughs> what up they, with they, it, Terry? Terry, what up with it, boy? Hey, hold Terry, on, hold you on. came to the fish fry, Terry. Hey, my guy, Terry fry. got heart, though. What up with it, Terry? Welcome to the David. fish fry. Hey, David, you, hey, you said it. You got it. I was a man on my word. I'm going to stand on it. You got me. Hey, I just rode with some dude who I thought was a better fighter. Your man Say it won. Again. There is no, re- there is no rematch. Ah. Hey, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, but here's my thing. I came here and I wanted to give you your flowers. You were right. I stand on mine. I was wrong. Hey, man, it is what it is. I want to say congratulations. You got it. Hey, man. Yeah, hey, hey, about you know, about hey, you hey, Eric, you're a real hey, man, bro. I did not respect that from you, bro. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. Terry, Terry, you're a real nigga, bro. He be trolling and shit. But Hey, Terry, you sounded like Earl Spence tonight. You said you ain't making no excuses. You know what I'm saying? Terry, real nigga. Terry, real nigga, bro. He a real nigga. He a fan of the sport. 
he always been. He be trolling. That should be funny. Yeah, I enjoy it. David, 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 <laughs> David knows I troll, but at certain times, like I said, I, yeah. I was wrong with Spence. He's my guy, but hey, man, you dude, he, he got us. And at that point, there's no excuses to be made. Three knockdowns. I ain't making no excuses. You won it tonight. I'm going to give you your flowers. And like I said, I just wanted to show up because, like I said, as much as I troll, hey, as much as I give it, I got to be able to take it too. So it is what I'm it is. Right. I'm just surprised at how sober you sound, Terry. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised at how sober you sound right now. You you ain't been doing no. No, I'm drinking. I'm drinking the Don. I'm drinking the Don Julio right now. You look. Oh, like being, oh. I'm being very contentious and and being humble. Oh, yeah. okay. Yo, yo, that's crazy because Terry, because Terry usually be turning up and shit, man. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He sound like hella sober right now for hey, a second, Terry, but now nah, I hear, I hear it though. I hear a little bit of the slur. Though. Oh, yeah, you gonna go, hey, you, you gonna go on Fanon page and, and tell Fanon stop making up these damn stories? <laughs> hey man, hey, 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 look it. When it, I, I, hey man, I, I can only control myself. You know what I mean. I just look up. I, I, I it, when it comes to that, I don't try to intervene with other things. I just wanted to come on and say, hey man, I attended the fresh fry. I'm gonna be listening in. Hey, I'm gonna give you props. But like I said, you know, I don't mind being a man and admitting when I was wrong. But right. hey man, I got to step on my square. I got to stand on my square. But there's a lot of other people that did all these other talkings. Where are they at? At least I'm going around. To admit nah, nah, I what I said, you, but other people ain't going. Other people Respect. ain't going. So at least let me let me make my rounds. To at least, hey, if I said something and I lose, at least let me stand on it. Come around, show my face. So when I come around, don't be like, "Oh, where were you at?" Like, no, nah, I was here. I was here. And, and, and none of and none of these Earl Earl Spence fans could say, "Yo, these Bug Crawford fans disrespecting me." No, we talking about ish, but we ain't like disrespecting. Hey, I wonder if he ain't show up. Hey Terry, let me ask you a question, man. What up? Let me ask you a question. Uh, what? How do you feel about that? That loss. I mean, where, where do you feel as a as a Earl fan? Where do you stand at this point? You know, with him on going, Shit. Shit, especially man. with Bud walking out with the fishnet. Yeah, well, all it is is, hey man, we're, we're gonna hey it. Jamal, you a troll, bro. Neezy, like you, yo, you a real troll. <laughs> you could have left that shit out, bro. No, nah, you got it, hey, man. Hey, we're gonna have to be, we're gonna have to retool a lot of shit. We're talking at least a year. A lot of shit that, a lot of shit that game plan shit. We just saw a deterioration of it in the ring. That I think I can impose my will and not do boxing. You just want to, bro. You went away from the game plan. You went away, and then you just tried to literally just try to impose will and just land power shots and try to throw haymakers. Like we're gonna have to retool all this. We're gonna break this down, and bro, we're gonna have to retool all this. There is no mm. rematch. There is no rematch. Mm. I don't want it. I'll okay. be honest with you. There's Y'all wouldn't watch it. Just, Y'all wouldn't pay for it. I, I, no, no, come on. No it Y'all gotta support this, these black this, fighters, this, man. This doesn't warrant a rematch. In this kind of fashion of whooping, there is no rematch. Okay. It was this kind of beating. Okay. If it was close, if it went decision, if it went decision, that maybe would have warranted like a Devin Haney Lomachenko. But however, in this kind of fashion, it doesn't warrant this. There's no. It was reason. too one sided for you. It was too Yo, one sided. My thing, my thing, my thing with this though. <laughs> no wonder why. No wonder why Earl. No wonder why Earl Spence reneged on that one million dollar bet. Right. Yeah. So I already you know paid him. Doing? I already paid him. He paid it up front. Who said that? Somebody yeah, yeah. said it in my live uh, last time. It was, was like, me. man, Earl paid that one million up front. Who that was that? Me. That was you? Yeah, because <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> yeah, we all know, know but we all know, 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 we all know but is the type to, to re-mention that bet in right. negotiations. You know, you know, Lay your book. You remember that one million dollar bet? What up? Right. Hey, you know Crawford said, uh, he said, when, when, I, when I stop you, they're going to say you were too weak. And you stayed in the division too damn long. Right. <laughs> yep. Sounded like a prophet out here on these streets, bro. Mm. Like <laughs> hey, that was a that was a horrible ass whooping, bro. I ain't even, bro. I don't. I, when's the last time you seen an ass whooping that bad, bro? I don't even think he beat David Avenizi in that bad, bro. Damn. I think you said it. Yeah. Avenizi was a tougher yeah. fight, right? Yeah, Avenizi was a avocado, tougher avocado, fight, man. Like, Avenizi looked avocado, way better, man. Avocado. avocado. Avocado, avocado looked look way better, way better, man. <laughs> it, and you know, right, the, the Earl Spence fan was better. It was better to mention avocado. I'm gonna let you guys stunt. 
I just wanted to give my due. I see you guys are stuck now. So I'm going to exit out. But I'm going to be in the chat. I wanted to give my piece, though. At hey, least hey, I was here. Yeah, respect. Oh, bro. yeah, word up, bro. Nothing but respect, Terry, man. You know, you're always welcome, bro. And, you know, honestly, bro, like, you know, I know, I know you are an Earl supporter, but. I feel like at one time you were picking Bud and then just you just like Earl more and just ended up being on his side. But I know you love boxing. I know you're a real boxing fan. You know, it's always respect when you come through, man. We we have you fun, know. bro. I'll you be, know what I'll it be, is, I'll, bro. You know me. I'll be in the chat, you know, trolling and everything. But no, shoot yeah. you guys. Shout out to everybody. Hello, bro. Good night. Like, I'll be in the chat, but uh, I might have to make some rounds because, like I said, I got to eat some crow. But I got to go around because if I said certain things, I got to stand on yeah. certain platforms. So. I'm gonna be back in the chat, but I might be around because, like I said, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make these rounds now, so it's on me. So, but have a good night, gentlemen. Good night, bro. Right. Good night. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, hey, hey, Bo, Bo, uh, C O E and, and, and Bo, C O E and, and and um and uh and Neezy. I got. I want to ask y'all a question. What Earl sure. Spence fanboy channels are you heading to first to start trolling? Uh, oh, me, I- D Town, D Town Boxing. But yeah. I, he he had a bet with me. I said, "Yeah, I'm gonna give you a fifty dollars super chat if uh, Crawford lose." And I said, "All I need from you is just five minutes to cook you on your own channel." Hey, stop! All right, bet, bet, man. That's gonna be an easy one. I said, "Okay." I want my five minutes to cook him. Damn. <laughs> Let's see if he's an honorable man. Yo, yo, that is hilarious, bro. That's a hilarious yo, I, bet. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Like I'm hitting a lot of dudes up. I'm, who who I'm you going to first, Southpaw. though? I'm, I'm gonna hit up Southpaw because you two for two on being wrong this week. I'm telling you, you bro. Yo, and these. <laughs> uh, I want to hear boxing, e gay. I want to hear oh, yeah. champ side. I want to hear all these guys, I, man. I, I'm already trolling these dudes on Twitter. Fag nine. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear all these clans. <laughs> C-O-E, who you going to first, bro? Oh, he dropped. He dropped Doodle, Doodle oh. Brown. I want to hear Doodle Brown. I want to hear oh, oh, fucking yeah. oh, Marlo, Marlo hey, Clown hey, TV. Hey, I already know what these dudes going to do. These dudes going to be backpedaling. They're going to be like, I, 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 already, I always say it that Terrence Bud Crawford was a great fighter. I always say it. I always say it. I always say it. Shut that shit up, bro. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. They gonna say he, he ain't fought he ain't fight in fifteen months. The rehydration clause. They gonna make up Man. something. Yeah, we Get already your know. Fucking ass Excuse off him like that. You niggas, you niggas gonna be yeah. backpedaling. They gonna be making excuses. I always said that Bud was a great fighter. It was a good win. And then it's gonna go from that to you know Earl was you know the fight really should have been at one fifty four. Earl Spence been at the weight too long. And man, I don't know. nobody yeah, want to hear that I'm, shit, I'm bro. A, I'm already trolling these niggas on fucking Twitter right now, man. I'm like. I'm I'm rubbing that shit in. Boy, it's gonna be it's hard. But the way that this fight went though, because even before this fight, I was like, I was asking people like, yo, what's the number one excuse gonna be when when Bud stops Earl Spence? Oh, wait, I was asking I niggas from, from 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 weeks ago, right? And then I was like, well, you know, I was going through the different scenarios. I knew it was gonna tight. be the weight, I knew it was gonna be the eye injury, the layoff, so, like I knew all of this was gonna be But it's gonna be the way that this fight went, it was such a Supper, such a comprehensive mm-hmm. ass whooping. Like, I, I, it's oh, gonna be, it's gonna be real tough for these niggas to come up with an excuse. I'm really curious to see what it looked like, though. That was a comprehensive. I mean, Bud beat this nigga on every in every single way, yeah, in Damn. every single angle that you can think of. I mean, he was first. He had the better jab. They said Earl had the better jab, right? Do you do you do y'all do y'all remember these niggas saying that Earl had the better jab? <laughs> I remember hearing this shit over and over again. That was how Earl was supposed to win the fight because he had the better jab. He had this unstoppable jab that Bud wasn't gonna be able to stop, <laughs> right? <laughs> but Bud led. The, Bud was the one with the unstoppable jab that Earl couldn't stop. So Bud had the better jab. Bud was the better counter puncher. Right, but Bud, had better body Bud shots. A better combination. Bud power clearly was was far superior to that of Earl Spence. He didn't run. Earl, he stand. He stand in front of him. When Earl hit Bud, he would eat them shits. Like, uh, well, that's it. That's it. That's all you got. And every time Bud threw a punch and hit Earl, you could see him affected. You could see Earl's head fucking snap back like a Pez dispenser. Right. Oh shit. Bud didn't even have to make no fucking adjustments. He stayed in the Southpaw stands all night. 
didn't even change his effect. Even when they fought on the inside, Bud fought better on the inside. Like that was a comprehensive ass whooping. That he he trained. He, 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 tra- he was whispering in his ear. He said, "Yo, this is what you made me train hard for, huh? Mm. <laughs> this is what you made me train hard for." Mm. <laughs> fuck wrong with you? Hey, fuck wrong with you? <laughs> Fucking hey, nigga. Thanks, thanks. My guy Olympia, Olympia Inc. in the building. What up with it? He say, "Shout out to you." We have been told these Earl Spence fans. Yeah, hey, bro, been telling these niggas that? for years now, bro, that this was gonna happen, bro. Well, you know, been I, telling them for years. Hey, hey, yo! Before before my phone had, had went out, you had asked uh, what channels we're going to first. Why don't you keep I, your high? Fold it. The D Town box. Keep it high. Look, <laughs> I, I stopped by Money Brown. Shit, Money Brown humbled in a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he humbled in a motherfucker. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. He he put him on. He was eating some crow. He was eating something. And I'm talking about didn't, didn't, didn't sound nothing like himself. I can't wait to hear what Fannin and all them uh, uh, talk about. Boy, it's, it's going to be. Oh, uh, I can't wait. Monty Brown, bet his wheelchair. Man, boxing. <laughs> box, ego. Man, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> box, Nigga lost his wheelchair behind this shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> box, ego. <laughs> huh? Humble as hell, huh? Oh, like, oh. Yeah, hey, man. yeah. Take that, ba- take that, take that bass out your voice, nigga. You know what I'm saying? When you talking boxing to a nigga that know boxing, take that bass out your voice. They, yo, how they, they all got a question how they how they evaluate bass boxing now. I need these niggas. I need these niggas. Next video to be titled "I don't know shit about boxing." <laughs> <laughs> I need I need these niggas next video to be titled I don't know shit about boxing, bro. <laughs> Dead ass. Oh, all that talking they've been right. doing, bro. Huh. This was a one sided ass whooping, bro. <laughs> hey, boxer die. Hey, look. Hey, check him out. Oh shit. Do do you think Bud gained a lot of Earl Spence fans today? <laughs> I think they're gonna still hate on you. Bro. Hate on that performance, bro. You gotta, you gotta show that boy. I mean, they, they they're gonna, gonna they're gonna create it. They're gonna create a story as if they met him before and say, "Yo, he knocked my juice out of my hand." I don't like Terrence Crawford. They gonna they gonna they gonna find out that Earl Shoelace was on tie somewhere in the fight, and they're gonna be like, "You see, yeah, Bud stepped on the shoelaces." For the first, he had an knockdown. advantage. You saw what happened. The first, the first knockdown was because Bud stepped on the shoelaces. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In order to get the first knockdown, it's gonna be some goofy, bro. I promise you. I promise you. Just give them time. They conspiring and and, and figuring it out right now. They they find that all the loopholes in the gray areas. Right. They got now. the fight plan back in slow motion. Try to see what they can find. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're gonna be like somebody had their phone glare in Earl face. At on in round two, they was using the light, the little one of them little pen lasers, and they were trying to get the pupils to blind Earl so he couldn't see. If you if you zoom in on point one, you going I promise you, bro, it's gonna be something goofy like that. Yo, you know, EJ but, said he loved watching boxing. You think he gonna watch his own fight right here tonight? <laughs> no, oh man, I hope so. He need to watch that bitch. Maybe that should have. Bro, he do not want to relive that ass with him. <laughs> that is, that, that he, is, I, I, he will not sleep for two or three days, man, because he know oh. he know the internet and YouTube and Twitter and everybody tearing his ass up right now. Mm. He you can't the, it's bad, y'all. The memes, bro. Mm. The memes, Ooh, the, the, the memes. chopping and screw chopping and screwing the knockdowns, bro. Ooh. Like ooh. That shit gonna be horrible. Hey, uh, I wanna I wanna ask y'all this right here. Do you think that Bud will go up and vacate the belt? What's huh? Do you think he'll vacate the belt and go up to one fifty four? You think he's gonna stay there and and see what Earl so. gonna do for the rematch? Got off at six thirty a.m. Um. <laughs> He probably gonna. I think he probably gonna go up. I don't think. I think at this point, there's no real reason for him to stay at 147. Maybe he could try to make a fight with either Keith Thurman or uh, Charlo. You know what I'm saying? Um, next. But uh, you know, but 
I don't see it. there's no real reason for him to fight Keith Thurman. Charlo's really the only option, but I, I guess we'll see what happens in this fight with Canelo Alvarez. Because if Canelo whoop his ass too bad, I don't know that he's even gonna want that fight. But he might take it just to make history and get them belts at 154. You know what I'm saying? Why, but he why, might have to fight Tim Zoo or somebody like that first, though. So man, that's why Al did that. He he went on ahead and got uh Jamil went Cash on his ahead. ass on out, huh? Yeah, let Jamel get on about the way because he ain't want he ain't want to get two PBC fighters whooped like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said, "Man, I can't take two ass whooping because Crawford on his way. You can't run, man. He gonna activate that WBO mandatory, mm. and and he gonna have to step or get mm. or, or vacate one of the mm. two or vacate. That's all there is to it, man. That is, yeah, that's that? all there is to it. <laughs> and then and then. And then Charlo gonna say he ain't fought nobody. <laughs> oh. He don't deserve to fight. He don't fight no. He ain't fought nobody. He don't desire to fight. Oh, he mm. haven't fought nobody. Okay, yeah. your boy, your boy just look like cream cheese on a bagel, man. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You gonna hear Jamel talking about 64 to 70, 30, 80, 20, <laughs> whatever I give him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who? Oh, who the A side? Y'all going into that Jamel Charlo fight? Man, it should be unquestionably after, after Bud Crawford. Bud Crawford? It should be unquestionably Bud Crawford, but we already know that these dudes are going to find some sort of way to make it seem like Jamel going to be the A-side and he going to – Bud got to take 60, 40, 70, 30, 80, 20. Or, or Jamel got to clean up his side of the street, you know what I'm saying, or, or you know, maybe take the easy route. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we know yeah. these excuses, they all be the same, bro, really. But, he, but Bud going to activate that mandatory, so all this shit going to be out the, out the way. He going to he gonna have to stand tall or vacate. He well, the thing about activate the mandatory, I think when you activate the mandatory, you got to take like 35, 65 or some shit like mm -hmm. that. So he might not want to do that and try to negotiate it the regular way. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, oh, shit. Somebody in your um, chat said Steve Holland. Holland, he said, "Hey, we didn't eat shark. We we eating sardines. Oh shit! Damn, damn, damn. damn. Yeah, hey, cold blooded, bro. Man, y'all hey, cold blooded. This, why y'all do? Why y'all do Earl like that, man? Shit, Earl did it to himself. Bud told him, man, look, if you get out of line." If you get out of line, I gonna, swear to God, you're gonna, be the, you're gonna be the eleventh one. I'm telling you, I swear, swear to God. God. And he said it with a serious face. <laughs> then Bud come out there rapping this shit the other day, man. That boy was like, man, I'm finna cook this nigga, man. It, they don't even know what's finna come. And, and, and y'all remember that? Uh, y'all, Bud had on that black girl had on that red hoodie, and he yeah. told, he said, don't try that body shot shit. He said, that huh. it ain't going to work. Huh. He said, mm. huh. Mm. <laughs> he said, I'm a huh. And he, <laughs> and he did that. He mm. did. How many? Oh, this is what I was going to say, man. Did y'all see the copy box? I mean, did you see the, the percentages, y'all? Oh, nah, I ain't look at it, but I heard, I heard somebody say 58. 11%. Hey, bro. 11% never... of his job. They said never, ever in, in, in history it that didn't happen, bro. Ever. Mm. Bud and Creek, Bud and the, it's so much history them being made in this fight. I mean, the the most accurate punch, punches from a from a fighter, two time undisputed. Uh, just the way he whooped his ass. Mm. It, it, That's it what was, EJ said. He said we yeah. made history. <laughs> 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 Boy, y'all funny as hell, bro. We, we really? made we made history, bro. I'm like, Bud came over there. Uh, bro, shut up, listen, man. Yo, thank you for the opportunity, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank you <laughs> for everything. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all see? Said, but yo, time? can I tell you? Can I tell you? I'm I really was a fan of yours, and we made history. Yeah. Hey, did y'all see the Showtime post post fight conf the post conference? Yeah, I seen. No. I seen. I, I, I missed what happened. Yeah, it went black on us because they, they fucked Bud like that, man. They I ain't like how they did oh. Bud like that. They fucked him, man. It was yeah. it went out black for half of Earl's uh stuff too, because Earl was talking and it kind of went black too. Um 
I feel like the the uh, the, the broadcast, and then it came back up somewhere in the middle of a buds uh, post fight. Oh, uh, you know, yeah, it was it was fucked up for Earl part two. Some some uh, part of it. Hopefully, hey. everybody out there took their phones out and started recording this shit, man. Oh, that shit is side. worldwide right now. That shit is worldwide. Earl at the house right now in bed looking at the looking at his life like, damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, got got paid, he got paid. He got paid. He'll be all right, bro. He'll, he'll yeah, be he'll be all right. right. Man, he no, got bro. Paid. bro. But, 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 Yo, he ain't be the same, bro. He ain't the same after that. I'm telling you, that was too demoralizing, bro. You ain't the same out of ass whooping like that. Like that was. I mean, you ain't the same. He broke that boy, man. He mm. broke his wheel. Mm. Ooh, remember what Earl was saying oh. that he was gonna break Bud? You remember that? Oh yeah, he said, I'm gonna break him. You know, he said I'm gonna break his wheel. Ain't that what he said? Mentally, physically, oh. spiritually. Oh. So C O E, so C O E, you you saying you saying that Bud broke Earl wheel? Is that what you saying? Hell yeah, he broke his wheel. Oh lord, dang! I said, yeah, I said it earlier. He broke his wheel and broke his face. Oh lord, I said it earlier and I said it again. Yo, the greatest thing that was working in that ring for Spence was his mouthpiece. That shit did not come out. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, hey, hey! Somebody asked me, what did Earl, what did Earl do well in the fight? I said, yo, he was really good at blocking punches with his face. (laughs) (laughs) What? I'm talking about he blocked every last one of them. I think we're getting a bit. Yo, yo, like, yo, bud, don't don't punch the air no more. Hit my face. What's wrong with you? Oh boy, I can't wait. <laughs> hey, 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 Bud him hit him. Bud hit him more than he missed, bro. For real. He for did. Real. Yeah, bro. Ooh, he <laughs> so did. Hey, that nigga percentage was like 60%. <laughs> I tell. I tell. Bush, oh, I mean, man. Earl Spence. Terrence, was, Terrence, the big fish catcher. It was 11. Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> y'all remember when Crawford, y'all remember when Crawford said, "I already hooked him. I'm just reeling them on in now." Right, right. Shit. Oh, I know you gonna put something together. <laughs> Suffocated that motherfucker. See, I know you gonna put something together. It's so many memes and so many catchphrases you can you can put together, boy. I know that mix finna be cold as fuck. Everybody got to eat in the audience. Everybody got. <laughs> Everybody got to eat in the audience, man. <laughs> so now I want that new shirt that Earl was trolling with, with him on a cell phone and shaking his hand. I want to see the fish laying on the floor with X on his eyes, blood coming out of Terrence Crawford room with all the belts in his door. Mm. That's the shirt I want to see. Ooh. Mm. Hey, that's the boogeyman, yeah. the boogeyman got him. Yeah. Ooh, no, no. You know what? They need to have some bones. Need to have some bones like Bud that, that threw out the bones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That threw out the bones out the door. They <laughs> kept the belts. <laughs> oh, no. that'll be stupid, man. Somebody make a lot of money off a shirt like that. Fuck. She Earl Spence made a killing off them shirts. Eighty five dollars. Oh, he did. I'm trying to tell you. The, yeah, those Earl sections bought the shit out. Those shirts. They bought the what? hell out them stupid yeah. ass shirts, man. Eighty five dollars. He knew what was going to happen. He said, "Make sure y'all bought these shirts. Let me get into another car accident so y'all can pay attention to me, and then I'm gonna put my shirt up." <laughs> eighty eighty five eighty five dollars eighty five dollars for that shirt, bro. Eighty five. Look at that. Eighty five dollars, bro. He only oh, needed a million people to buy that shit. Good. No, you no, you don't. He just need uh twenty hundred down, ten thousand. Uh, no, you don't. He just need like ten thousand or something like that. Two thousand. That's a million. Twenty. What fifteen thousand? That's a million dollars. Mm. And I know more people bought that shirt than than that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. and, that, and he and that was like his third shirt. He did a few. Yeah. Of them. He did a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, man. So you know, I mean, yeah, that was an epic man. I'm trying to tell you, man. There's so many Earl Spence channels. Bro. I can't like, believe I can't believe we talked so much shit. It was like over a year now. We talked so much shit, and then it's over already. And and this fucking silence. This oh, shit is silence right crazy. now, bro. 
half of them motherfuckers lost their mortgages, their mortgage payments, and their car payments. These motherfuckers sick right now. All them, all them getting slapped by their wives, like how Plant slapped um Charlo. <laughs> hey, hey, my guy Donnie Pruitt. He said sorry. <laughs> I had to leave earlier and work the counseling hotline for all the aerosexuals. The phone lines were off the hook. <laughs> oh, shit. They were ringing off the hook. <laughs> it's a oh, rap. man, he's sick out here. Steve hollered in the bed. He said for a $5 t-shirt. For real, bro. Damn, man. Damn, man. <laughs> hey, uh, that's crazy. Steve and A. Smith was on the pre-show, and he was like, he was like, man, I heard some of them cowboys came to the fucking to the uh he said I heard some of them cowboy players came They they the was the bad omen. He said he said they should have stayed there as at home because that's a bad <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> he said that's a bad look, Earl. You got the cowboy players in the house. <laughs> he said, you know that motherfucker, that, that omen is bad. <laughs> Damn. 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 Yo, you heard? I don't know if you heard Kareem Boxing saying, "Yo, if that shit happened in Dallas, we we would have beat up Crawford." I'm like, if any of y'all fought like um EJ, he would have beat all y'all <laughs> niggas beat up. Y'all ass. <laughs> would beat all them niggas up and, and got home safe. Hey, right, shout to my guy Jar. You're good. He say smoking on Earl. Yeah, bro. This man got an epic ass whooping of the century. God damn it. This man got an ass whooping of millennia. He got a he got a once in a millennia ass whooping, bro. That's probably a that's a top ten ass. That's a top five ass whooping. I think in boxing that I've ever seen, bro. Like like can you name a, a worse ass whooping than this? You see what happens when uh, a first timer try to smoke some bud, and he <laughs> and, and and literally literally bud is like his first. Undefeated champion, he fought at that fucking division. Shit, shit got him, stuck, and that's what bro. happened. It got shit. him stuck, man. Shit he got saw him. stars for real. Stars. So, like stars. I thought, I thought, I thought I was watching a cartoon, like you know, the stars fly around the character head and shit like that. I was like, what yeah. the fuck happened? Hey, you know what's funny though? Even like when 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 EJ like when they put the camera on him in the back, and then EJ was like doing the mitts. He was doing the mitts. But it was like way early. It was like one of the fights was still on. He was like doing mitt punching, right? And Bud was just chilling. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. He was just chilling, like getting his mind right. And then as it got closer, Earl was chilling. And then Bud was doing the mitts right as they were getting ready to announce the fight. And I was like, man, what the fuck is this nigga Earl doing, bro? Do these niggas know how to prepare this nigga, bro? What the fuck? I, I, why are you I, doing? I thought, why are you chilling? You you going cold right before the act, right before you actually getting ready to fight. You supposed to be warming up as you walk out to the ring, but whatever, bro. But like, I, yo, I really thought that Bud was going to make him wait long before he came out. He ch- he came right out after him. Yeah, yeah, he, he hit him with the first jab. Up. He came right out and jabbed him. Bow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> man, no, no, man. I mean like the entrance. The, That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the entrance. Right. Oh yeah, mm. man. When I seen him come out with Eminem, I said, "Oh man, he on some ghost shit now." Yeah, yeah. he on some yeah. ghost shit. Yeah, he, he he man. Eminem don't come out for nobody, man. For real, exactly. Bro, exactly. you got Eminem out there. He said, "He Bud said, man." They asked him, "How did you get Eminem to come out?" He said, "Man, he said I I threw a lifeline out there. He said I just you know I hit sent him a message out there." <laughs> He said he responded back and shit. He said, "Man, no problem. I'm there." He said, "He said, he said, you one of my favorite fighters anyway." Right. Mm. Real shit. Damn. 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 It's not like Eminem, no boxing. Goddamn. Goat shit. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Not like Eminem, no boxing. Yeah. Sure. That, that was, was a ass whooping. Now we know why Pacquiao and Thurman, all these dudes avoiding him, man. They didn't mm. want that ass whooping, mm. bro. Bro, they were oh, hey, he said I'm I'm the one that made he he kept saying that shit. Oh, you know this Bud didn't, didn't respond to that shit when he told me some. I made the fight, I made this happen. Yeah, yeah, you keep on saying you made it happen. So if you made it happen, then you made it not happen too. Right. So, right. Right. So that that's furthermore confirms 
that furthermore confirms that you've been ducking and waiting. Even even uh even old Bob Aram told you your stupid that told his ass, listen. What Bob Aram th- told him? The best thing you can do is stay away from Bud. Stay mm. away from him. Oh, mm. uh, you're a real great Spence knows he can't be Crawford. <laughs> yeah, well, Bob, Aram say, Bob Aram said he know he can't be Crawford. Like look, he knew that shit, bro. Look, look Bob, <laughs> and look, Bob Aram, Bob Aram missed out on money, yo. Right? Bob Aram's mm-hmm. like, man, I could have been there right now at the mm-hmm. press conference. Like, mm-hmm. I've been telling you for years. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Terrence Crawford is the best well to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking their ass, smug as hell in the in the postcard. You were smugged in the motherfucker, just talking shit, low key. Bob, what what did you did you did you foresee this? Yeah, I foresee this. It was obvious <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> you, you know, you, you know, you know what they're gonna try to cling to now. They're gonna probably cling to the 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 sexual channels. They're gonna be like, see. But but is a, a PBC fighter now. He's signed to PBC. They're just oh, gonna Lord. ignore the fight. They're gonna ignore the fight and say he's signed to the PBC. But Bud does have another fight on the PBC because he did sign a two fight deal. So if Earl don't take the rematch, then who is Bud gonna fight? He got to fight somebody on the PBC. So maybe it might be Jermail next. It might have to be Jermail next, or 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 maybe Keith Thurman. Maybe that might be them. Nah, that might be one of the fights. It's Jamel, Keith Thurman was standing up and cheering over there. I saw him. He was like, hey, when oh, Jamel shit, no bro. fight? Did Jamel no fight in October? When they fight? I think they September. fight next month, September. Oh, September. September. So, so check this out. So check this out. They fight in September. So it's possibly we can see the fight before the end of the year. Well, we're kind of. Let me see. September, October, November, December. Well, maybe, maybe at the beginning of next year. Cause, 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 I'm telling you, man, Spence, not, Spence ain't gonna get no rebounds, y'all. And, and and then he said December. He said December. He said December. Man, I oh, don't know, man. That, that dude, nobody ain't gonna want to see that fight no more, man. It <laughs> lost all this sizzle, bro. It lost all this. No, sizzle. I, 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 I want to knock the sizzle out of her. <laughs> no, I want man. to activate because I want to know if the Earl Sexual is gonna jump on that bandwagon again. Right, I want I wanted to be another fight. You they gonna be smoking uh, on Bud again? No, 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 <laughs> no, man. They they are not. Kareem, going to do Kareem it. said. Kareem said, "I do not want the rematch." <laughs> <laughs> Terry <laughs> said. Terry said, "I do not want the rematch." <laughs> I don't think they want the rematch, bro. I think they hinting mm-hmm. that they don't want the rematch, bro. I don't think so, bro. Yeah, but that 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 ass whooping, that ass whooping was a bit too great. It was it was it was a, it was a it was a millennial ass whooping. It was. Hey, make that your make that your thumbnail, man. You know? <laughs> millennial millennial ass whooping. This <laughs> is the Terrence Crawford era, bro. It is. It is, bro. <laughs> oh. This shit. This shit solidified. I don't, what yo? What's going beyond fucking first ballot? What what's that? They're like yo, bro. Just just come over here. Just Go just it. get your jacket. Just get your jacket already. Come get your jacket. Go hey, it, man. Go hey, go hey. it. Y'all seeing that fight right there? Do you think Mayweather have a chance with Crawford? Do you think that fight will be a chess match? Or how do you think that would have panned out? You that's I mean, a much more competitive fight. That's that it very probably. Decision. It will go to decision. It, Y'all it, seen Mayweather in the stands, right? Mayweather, Mayweather picked Bud to win. Mayweather knew what the fuck going on. He may, let me tell y'all something, bro. Floyd Mayweather is not dumb. No, Floyd by Mayweather any made means. The pick. Floyd Mayweather, yeah, made yeah he I made a pick. Floyd picked Floyd picked Bud years ago, bro. Years ago. Now, I, know, I, know, I know he said he was the pound for pound guy. Like, no, 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 no. He picked Bud years ago to beat Spence. <laughs> on top Damn. of that. Years ago, Floyd knew what the fuck and was you, going on. You bro. know what? Let's let's we could troll right now since we have a winner. 
Uh, Floyd picked him right after the sparring session. <laughs> Yo, that shit makes that shit makes me wonder. Did, did Earl Spence really put hands on uh Floyd Mayweather in that sparring section? Yeah, it's funny. Hey, hey, sexual chico on it like they seen the shit, bro. They was like, <laughs> I be like, nigga, did you did you see the spar? No, but. Nigga, the how the hell you know what the fuck took place in the spar, bro? You yeah, the room. Mayweather, Mayweather, like- Mayweather picked Crawford to beat him after the spar session. You know, like, you ever heard that fight as um Crawford? And like, oh yeah, he'll beat the shit out of this guy I just uh sparred with. <laughs> <laughs> when when Floyd when Floyd talks about when Floyd talks about uh, uh Terrence Crawford, he say that motherfucker can fight. Everybody else, he go, mm. yeah, hell of a fighter. Very, very generic shit. Hell of a fighter. But when he mm. talk about Bud, he go, that motherfucker can fight. <laughs> <laughs> different, different energy, bro. Different energy. All the you way across he, the board. You think Mayweather would want work or spa with him? You see, this, yeah, at this, this age, is the no. two. This, this is, no, no, listen. This is the difference between the two men, the two camps. They try to build Spence <laughs> off a sparring match. And we ain't hear about Spa whipping fucking um, Tim Valley ass uh, until Tim Valley start talking about it. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He ain't trying to build himself off of some sparring shit. Right. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, sign on that, bro. Face look. Like, yo, gone. Tim Valley, like, yo, I got something to tell all y'all. This guy here, he fucked me up. Boy, I rearranged that nigga face. I- you know, man, made me mess, mess up my Pacquiao fight, man. Shit. And now, you know what the future going to be now? Whoever snatch fucking EJI and sparring. There y'all go. There y'all go right there. Bang. Yo, that, Look at that, that's, that, oh, Yo, that's when, that's when you got to put that uh that Friday meme. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> no, no, no. He, he looked like Martin. He looked like Martin for real, bro. <laughs> after that, they fought Tommy. Yeah, Aaron, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotta get a picture of that Martin picture and his picture right side by side. Put on the t-shirt. Hey, hey bro, hey, bro, hey, bro, bro. Did, did any of y'all? Did any of y'all see the thumbnail that I did, bro? Look, look at this thumbnail, bro. Look, look at this thumbnail that I did. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna describe it for let y'all. It Hold on, let me remove the. Uh, <sighs> let me remove the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was like, yeah, KD, you had to be worried about what was gonna happen. Nigga, I wasn't worried for shit. Look at this. Look at this. That's Bud. First of all, that's a duck that he got in his hand right there. That's mm. a duck. So that's a mm. duck body, and then Earl face on it, and then with Bud catching the duck, nigga. I wasn't. I wasn't worried at all about who was gonna win this damn fight, bro. Earl going to sleep, bro. That's all. That's mm. all. <laughs> shit. Bro. God damn. <laughs> Boy, this shit is funny. I'm looking at this post, this post conference. Boy, that face is. Yeah. <laughs> this shit is funny, man. His lip busted and everything, y'all. He got fucked up, man. Uh, damn. Hey, fucked hey, up. Katie, hey. Check out, hey, hey, Katie, check out those two links I just dropped in a private chat. All right, I'm checking them out. Let me check them out. Let me see. Yeah. Hey, Earl Sam Gordon with Las Vegas Review Journal. Uh, how would you contextualize or describe the two? Ha 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 ha! Look at this shit. Hold on. Damn. Cold blooded. Them means finna be off the chain, bro. Man, Earl got his ass whooped. I can't wait to. I, I'm probably gonna spend all day. Just on YouTube, just looking at all the shits, <laughs> all, all the shits, bro. I'll just, I'll be on YouTube all day tomorrow, bro. Just looking at all the shits, bro. You, just looking you know at how everything. you try to go to a person page to see when the last time I've been on live, right? All these early sexual shit going to say one week later, two weeks later, one month. I'm like, damn, where he at? Oh, hold he on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what we gonna do. Hold on, fuck that. This is what we gonna do right here. We 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 go on the other pages and we go on the videos and we reacting to them right fucking now. Fuck this shit. Hold on, let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. Y'all in for a treat today. We're gonna make we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make in. them come out. <laughs> right, we come. 
We're gonna make them come out. <laughs> Hell yeah. We go make these dudes come out for real, for real. Hold on, here we go. Oh, where are we at? Go on. This shit, this shit funny. Damn, Earl got his ass. Yeah, I'm, I'm so I'm I'm wired right now. Like I can't. I'm. Hey, this this I'm is a great up. night, bro. This is a. This I'm is a, up. I'm up too, man. I can't believe it. I've been on eight hours, and I'm just like, yo, I'm good. <laughs> what we doing? You know what I'm saying? Like you, before I jumped on, you was like, I'm gonna let y'all get on before I'm about to get off, and you like went on for another two hours. <laughs> shit crazy. Yeah. I didn't think I I said I was getting off a few hours ago. I was like, man, I'm and, and look, stand on. You got two two Earl fans jumped on. It just helped your shit, yo. It just helped your joint. Yeah, that was cool. Hey man, look, whatever it is, bro. Hey, they have you know? nowhere to be found, bro. Nowhere to be found. I just I just see 78 sports TV drop the video. And the title of the video is The Real Reason Earl Spence Jr. Lost to Terrence Crawford. So I got to hear this. I Ooh, got to hear, hear, gotta hear this shit. Hold on a second, y'all. We about to listen Play that to clown it. ass nigga, man. <laughs> we about to listen <laughs> to it right now. Hold on, bro. Here we go. Shit. The That's real, the dude the real reason. That's a, wait, that's the dude that said he wanted to strip butt naked? Yep. He's a fucking clown, man. Gay ass. <laughs> when you're starting a business, a real fucking alphabet boy. <laughs> That's how his clown ass shit starts. Junior, <laughs> Oh, that's Earl. He got Earl Spence on the on the on the plate. Yeah, he got a bird on the plate. That's Earl Spence on the plate. All right. Be here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Lions Den Box community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. All right, y'all. Let's get right down to the smoke. Congratulations to Terrence Bud Crawford. Still number one power for power fighter in the sport. He has been my number one power power fighter for about five years now. Uh, while oh, I just tried to move oh, really? him off. Um, <laughs> oh, really? I thought that the only person he had to fight was Earl Spence Jr. I thought Earl Spence Jr. would beat him as well. I had Earl Spence Jr. winning the fight 115-113 um, or 115-112. I thought the fight would be separated by a knockdown. I thought it would be a close fight, competitive, but separated <laughs> by a knockdown. And, and the fight would go in Earl Spence's favor. Uh -huh. However, this it was totally tripping. the opposite of that. It went, it, this was a slaughter. Um, wow. Terrence Crawford looked like a highly trained uh, ninja assassin that was dropped <laughs> off in <laughs> high school to beat up a bully or something like that. I don't know what that was. That was, ninja it, was a, it was a master class for sure. We're going to have to have some serious yeah. conversations about where Terrence Crawford ranks. <laughs> among the all-time greats because he just he he is the baddest man at 147 in this era. He just proved that. Now, let's get to the fight, man. Let's talk about it. Uh, I thought that the first round, let me get my scorecard here. Hold on one second. Yeah. You uh, got a scorecard? You got a scorecard? Yeah. Yo. first winning or was it even <laughs> Yo, hey, Katie, man, you gotta, you gotta clip this shit, man. <laughs> like with us critiquing yeah. this damn <laughs> too. That nigga said he got. He said, "Let me check my scorecards." I can't even believe that shit. <laughs> Yo, y'all nigga got scorecards. Oh Yo, my god, he got scorecards, bro. What you oh, mean? Oh, oh, he the first four rounds till he got stopped, bro. Dude, oh, delusion. My god. Yo, I, yo, oh I think God. I think the only round, the only round I gave Earl Spence was the first round. That was it. Me I, too. I, that was it. Bro, he really didn't win that first round. He didn't round. even win that first round of me either. Nah, because Terrence Crawford ain't really throw that many punches. He just Shit. you know, he just like Shit. Yeah, he was blocking it. It was, was just blocking. one kind of count, it was just one counter shot that Bud gave him, but that counter shot hit him hard. Bro, but yeah. everything else was it was just uh 
Earl Spence coming with the block jab. The jab was coming. Whatever the fuck you want to call yourself doing. I know y'all seen that jab. It was too fast for y'all to see. The end, yeah. Earl. That yeah. jab, oh that jab was getting through there, bro. It was right. That shit was snapping his head. Yep. That shit was yo, getting yo, there, yo. I ain't going to lie. Go back and watch Once that. Once I seen Spence fighting backwards, I said, that motherfucker. It's over. Cool. It's over. Yeah. I told somebody I'm like this day. nigga don't fight off the <laughs> back foot. On, oh, I say I say know? earlier in the stream, I say this nigga on his back foot over here trying to fight like Ares Landy Laura and shit now. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, what you about to do? You you <laughs> about to do a counter shot? You ain't got no counter, nothing. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> you, ain't got, you ain't got no counter shots. The fuck you doing, you dummy? The pressure. I was cursing the shit out of my screen, bro. <laughs> the pressure hey. too much. The- <laughs> Don't be too much. Yeah, he got some pressure. He got to relieve that pressure off that brain tonight. Right. Damn, that boy took some. It's mate. like yo, yo. It's like he whipped him so bad. Like, do any other boxer today want to fight him? Like, no. Damn. It's no. like damn. It's, Nobody. It's, he, he couldn't. He couldn't hold back too much. But if he gave, but he gave enough for boxers, be like. Nope, I ain't coming back in the ring for that hey, nigga. Hey, hey, I said I'm, this before and I'll say this again, bro. Thurman is a tougher fight than Earl. Thurman is a tougher fight, bro. Yeah, I believe so too. Earl, Earl, Earl really is pro was probably Buzz easiest fight, bro. I ain't he bro. Like I easiest bro, fight. Gamboa was tougher. Mean Machine was tougher. Sean Porter was tougher. Jeff Horn was Jeff tougher. Horn was tougher. Kavalaskis was tougher. Yeah, let, let's go. Let's go as Even far Amir back. Khan was tough. Let, let's go further back. The name they love to call out. Gamboa Ooh. was tougher. Tougher. Gamboa was tougher. Way tougher. The fuck was an Earl Spence? Way tougher. Bro, I'm looking at I'm looking at uh an article. It said the boxing world has been rocked as Crawford beat the shit out uh, of. Uh, be uh, as uh rock as the shit beat out of out of the champ. Hold up. Boxing rock as the shit beat out of the champ. They got the S H I T with the S with the with the stars. They didn't curse, but you you can know you know what they saying. Mm. It ain't man, that shit already hitting the airways. It's over. Yeah. Yeah, shit going crazy tomorrow. You already know, bro. It's the weekend, bro. Man, Monday morning. The next two weeks is just gonna be real rough for Earl. He better hope something happens, something major else happen to take the attention off of his ass because he about to be insta famous um, in the oh, next no. two hey, weeks. It ain't no more. Hey, didn't, didn't uh didn't Yellow Beezy lose twenty five thousand dollars? Sure school? did. Sure did. Sure did. And I think he made a few. He bet also with Rick Ross too. He lost money to Rick Ross. He lost money to a few people. Uh, Yellow Beezy probably out hundred thousand dollars, more, probably more than that. Mm. Yup, yup. Pay that money. Earl, Pay that money. Up. Earl gas them up. All that kissing on side of face shit. That shit covered. And, and chocolate covered strawberries. That shit mm. fucked them up, man. They <laughs> <laughs> all stupid, bro. <laughs> Yo, for <laughs> one. Yes, surprise. <laughs> you gay. <laughs> gay as fuck. Good bro, God. Bro, bro. Bro. That shit go, hey, that shit is going to live a classic on your channel. Oh, my God. This is one hell of a buildup. Yo, one night, I got my colon cleansed when fucking plant smacked the shit out of Charlo. And tonight I just got a whole nother cleaning, man. The <laughs> fuck? <laughs> My body is clean, bro, from this kind of ass whooping. Hold on, hold on, y'all. We gotta keep listening to this video. We're going through the era of sexual <laughs> channels, man. We need to hear this shit. Hold on, bro. Here go. Let's go back to 78. Here we go. He has scorecards, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? Hey, go to Yo, that shit was hilarious, too. <laughs> He said, you got scorecards? He said, let me go to my scorecards. <laughs> I, I'm really interested in seeing what these scorecards was like. Right. I want to hear it, too. That's why I want to go back to this video. I want to hear it, too. And, oh, and, you know, Earl Spence got, you know, Earl Spence got knocked down, and 78 probably was like, I scored at a 10-8 for Earl. 
<laughs> like, come on, why y'all stop the fight? He had more energy to go. Why the referee stopped the fight? This is bullshit, man. Hey, Earl, <laughs> Earl. y'all know <laughs> Earl couldn't even hit, couldn't even punch him in the nuts, man. Yeah, bro. Yo, he yo, it was, shot, yo, he it was, it, yo, it was one point where when the bell rung, he was looking to walk towards Buck Corner, and he was like, "Oh shit!" And then he just walked back to his other. Man, yeah, this nigga lost, man. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga lost out his mind. He don't even know where he going. He don't know which way is the corner. <laughs> he fell down so many times. I'm like, what the fuck? What's wrong with Bambi legs? He had Bambi legs tonight. Hey, right. man, you know what's so <laughs> fucked up too, man? Because he he was so broken, man. He he couldn't see shit. His eye was so <laughs> broken. So he was like, he was man, broken. He, he was broke. Baby, let me ask y'all a question though, bro. Sometimes you can lose. He was broke back mountain. Yeah, yeah. Check this out though. But sometimes you can lose, <laughs> and sometimes you can beat to the point where your spirit and all that shit is gone. Going from here, what what what? You know what I'm saying? Can Earl even come back from this? Because this was like. It's one thing to lose, bro, but this shit right here was a, <laughs> like, can he come back from this, bro? Like, it's his confidence. Nigga, this is confidence. I'd rather this see, I'd rather see a rematch of avocado. Yo, Jay-Z. Yo, you funny as hell, bro. What'd he say? I'd rather see a rematch of avocado. Hey, bro, <laughs> but hey, you know how he say he gonna break Bud the wheel? He gonna beat the wheel out of him. But uh, Bud turned that shit around and beat the wheel out of him. I don't know. Oh girl, lord, it's, did it's, he? It's, yeah, man. So can he come? I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Can he come back with this, bro? No, this was I a, said earlier. No, bro, it's a rap for him. I said it earlier. <laughs> I rap. think he knows it's a rap too, man. I, I think he planned for this to be his final fight, bro. That's why he wanted to fight Bud last, Damn, bro. If we really bro. keeping it a buck, this is why he took the easy route. He was like, right. "Look, man, right. I'm gonna collect this money. When I, by the time I'm ready to fight Bud, I'll be ready to retire, ready and to then retire. I can get up out the sport, and that's it, mm. bro. Because he gonna whoop my ass up out of the sport, bro. God, that's damn. it, bro." That's it, bro. Bob Aram said this shit years ago, and oh, it makes it, it, it yeah. make it yeah, make so perfect he sense. Here you go. No, Bob. he can't be Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> real quick, real quick. He said he he didn't say Crawford will beat Spence. He said Spence knows. <laughs> he said Spence knows he can't beat Crawford. He, he knows that. that man had a conversation. Who said that? that Who said that? Who said that? Aram said that. Mm. But, but, yo, yo, like if somebody said in the chat, said Earl, Earl Spence Jr. going to have to smoke some real bud to recover <laughs> from this ass whooping. Exactly. But they like to, they like to pick they like to pick and choose the shit that Bob say though. But they don't they right. don't say shit like that. They don't want they don't want to bring that up that he right. said that shit. Nah, they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that. That's taboo. Yeah, bro, right they they, they, they trying to figure out how to maneuver away from us. Hey, Fag Nun was almost in tears over there, bro. That nigga was in tears. Though. That nigga was like, man, I can't even see it, bro. He Wait, he went He went live? Yeah, he Fag got a video Nun, up? Fag Nun was live during the fight. Man, he was so hurt, bro. He was just like... Yes. Okay, 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 we gotta go delete that. Hold on, hold on. Let, let's finish this. I hope this, he didn't uh, delete that. I hope he didn't delete that. Hold on, we got to. I'm gonna... Go ahead, go ahead, XO. That nigga, that nigga was almost in. He was like, man, y'all said it. He was eating crow. He ate his crow, though. He did eat his crow. He said, y'all said it, man. He said, I can't even. He said, he was just like, he, he it was like he wanted to cry, bro. That look, that's how Because he, he can't like, get, he can't give back all that money that all the Earl sections gave him, man. He not going to get back all that money. <laughs> Them niggas made that clown rich. Yes, indeed, off the, bro. Off the trolling he did, man. Oh my god! They followed, yo. They followed this clown off a bridge, man. What's name? What's name? Aiden Crow too, though. Ego, ego, Aiden Crow too. Yeah, ego. Bo ego. Boxing, ego, fag yeah. nine, Money. Doodle Brown lost his wheelchair. <laughs> Fucking. Now we gotta find out what uh. Yeah, it's Marlo, Marlo Clown TV. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna do his ass up. So I'm going to be looking for that clown, bro. My channel, my channel is gonna be a 30 30 day troll channel, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm trolling all these niggas, bro. I fucking these niggas up, bitch. bro. Cause they did too much shit, bro. They was, bro. I'm gonna fuck these niggas up, bro. I'm going on a 30 day troll. Yeah, what, what that other dude that yo. always came to your channel, um, KD, um, knock down or knock out? Oh, knock what, out. What was, yeah, but, bro, hey, hey, that I, was his Hey, he yep. got a what's name up, y'all. He got a thumbnail up saying yeah, that y'all said, but yeah, what y'all said is. 
Mm. Yo, oh, he got a thumbnail and said, what now? He said, Bud, he said, Bud Yo. is, Bud is what y'all said he is. He, y'all said something, said something about y'all was right. Bud is what, something about Bud, he gonna lie tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Manager Marty, Manager Marty was dead. Manager Marty, Manager Marty was in the cut, in the, in the stands, too. Wow. Oh, he was in no. the stands. I want to know what, what his video is going to be like tomorrow. Mm-hmm. The yo, business of LBBC, boxing. Man, yo, most of the LDBC dudes was there too, man. Like fucking Blue Blood, BFTB, the, the other dude, Muscle Bound dude that be trying to threaten motherfuckers and shit. That dude was there. Yeah, yeah he a clown. Yeah, he a clown. He be cursing. Fuck out of here, nigga. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck. Oh, fuck you, nigga. Man, you a clown, bro. Yeah, nigga, a clown, bro. Yo, mm. hey, we should like all just tag team up on these fucking channels and shit. I'm ready, man. bro. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for him to pull up. Pull up on Friday night, bro. I'm locked and loaded. I'm ready. Shit, one, 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 I'm curious what they mind. What they mind's gonna do? Hold on, y'all. We doing that shit right now. Fuck you talking about. I'm listening to seven K video, nigga. I'm trolling. Fuck you got going on, bro. Finish, finish playing, finish playing it right now. Go. So, so we left off. Next, seven days say he gotta go to his scorecard for the fight, yeah, bro. Scorecard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play that shit. Gotta go to his scorecard. Play that shit. Hey, 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 KD, rewind it back to before he said that. That shit was funny. As yeah, that right, shit was right. funny as shit. I'm like, I can't believe yeah, I heard that. I'm finna have all them niggas on a thumbnail. Y'all know how the goddamn world, world combat sports be doing that shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. Niggas on no, all yeah, thumbnails, you know, bro. Hey, you know WCS, man. He gonna have headstones. <laughs> oh, yeah, he gonna. <laughs> Yo, yo, all y'all gonna be cooking tomorrow, yo. I I'm love it. You, bro. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be picking okay, and choosing cooking with tomorrow. the watch tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm sick of this shit. These niggas, they was going ham, bro. They was the disrespect, bro, was outrageous. The disrespect, outrageous, 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 outrageous. Oh, egregious, bro. Yeah, outrageous. Oh, ain't like we don't, it. we, we don't know like, about like, shit about boxing. We don't like, know. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. say this shit like my guy Buzz Crawford beats Easy Roots Fence. He'd be like disgusting behavior, disgusting behavior. Hey. Yeah, when he jumped on today, he was just all he did on his live was just laugh, and he put he brought me on the channel. All he was doing was laughing. Yeah. He cannot stop laughing. Hey, he cannot he stop should, laughing. Hey, hey, he should be the main one that's got them trolling, trolling everybody because they they was on his ass. Uh, they was hey, on you know, so crazy. Right? Right? So they told so, they told so, that uh, you had to take your channel down. Hey, hey so Bo hey, Bo Mac Bo Mac Bo Mac took a picture with uh with Russell uh, Westbrook right. And then he said he uh he said what's the message to Derrick James? He said they should never sign the contract. And yeah, you know he what I was thinking when was Earl Spence pulled to that joint with Mike Tyson talking about sign the contract, baby, sign the contract. Ooh. Yeah. Hey y'all, oh, hold man. up. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Y'all hold up. said he is, and everything I said he wouldn't. That was. Hold up. Check it out. Is everything y'all said he is, and everything I said he wouldn't. That was a phenomenal performance. I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. Everything y'all say about his counter punching, everything y'all say about his timing, everything y'all said about him, <laughs> goddamn, just raw athletically, bro. It was true. I don't think I want to talk. It's still, man, it's still Dallas, Texas, but we give it up with credit is due. And that man put on <laughs> hell of a performance. <laughs> <laughs> It don't need to be no damn rematch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Damn. I say the same mm. shit, though. I ain't gonna lie. I don't need to be no damn rematch. Not no at all. That was a fucking assault. Bro, Crawford put hands on him. I owe him. Right. Crawford, Crawford. Don't pound the world, bro. I don't give a damn what you're talking about. Anyway, bro, real shit. Oh, shit. He came around. He see the light. He see the light. Yeah, hey, I want to know what that nigga BLTB going to say. Oh man, you know that moment. Yeah, that's that's the yo, that's the call, nigga. Yo, that's a clown. He the real clown. In, uh, in, in uh Twitter, right? This dude uh, was like talking to him and Fanon. They like, yeah, man. Um, it's still man down, but uh, you know, both both fighters were great. Both fighters were uh, great. Uh, what? Uh, nigga, I ain't trying to hear that shit, bro. I ain't nigga, trying to hear it. I'm nigga. going to Fanon. Hold on, let me play this. Let me play this. Uh, uh, uh seventy eight thing person. Then I'm finna go to Fanon channel. Fuck all this. Here we go. but separated by a knockdown. And the fight would go in Earl Spencer's favor. However, <laughs> it was totally opposite to that. If this was a slaughter, um, <laughs> Terrence Crawford looked like a highly trained 
a ninja assassin <laughs> drop off in front of some high school to beat up a bully or something like that. Like I don't know what that was. That was it was a it was a, a master class for sure. Um, and we're gonna have to have some serious conversations about Terry Parker ranks among the all time greats because he just proved that he is the baddest man at 147 in this era. He just proved that. Now let's get to the fight, man. Let's talk about it. Uh, I thought that. The first round, let me look at my scorecard here. Scorecard. Uh, first round, I had the best winner for him in the round. Um, I thought that Earl um, right. was, was the okay. aggressor. All right, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here. <laughs> go ahead, it's going to stop here. Wait, wait. He got more? He don't got more? He don't go, he don't, he don't, he don't go further? Y'all want to hear more? Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's hear those scorecards, bro. Um, but I saw, I saw something in that first round that rubbed me the wrong way, which was Terrence Crawford establishing a very hard jab. He started to, his jab looked more effective than Earl's jab, which was weird to me. I'm not used to seeing that. Earl usually out jabs his opponents. Uh, so when I seen Crawford doing that, I said, okay, uh, this might be an issue. Second round, that jab was again. Revealed. Oh my it God. Was this might be because, an issue. Because <laughs> um, you saw Terrence Crawford take away Earl Spencer's jab uh, by out jabbing him. And then he made Earl Spencer start damn, to damn. reach. Earl got a little frustrated. He started to reach. And then when mm. he reached in, uh, mm. I think it was like a jab to the body or something like that. Crawford hit mm. him with a counter jab and knocked Earl Spence down with, off a jab. And I'm not Before you buy it, a million it, dollar it, it was, like this, it was, it was, create a faceless uppercut, really. YouTube automation channel. He said it was an uppercut? Yeah, it was an uppercut. Yeah, it nah, was nah, an uppercut off the ropes. Nah, nah, yeah. The first, uh -huh. the, first knock, the first knockdown was a jab. Yeah, it, it was. Jab. Hold on. The yeah. first knockdown was a jab? Yeah, it I was. Thought it was, it was. Like, I thought it was an uppercut off the road. I thought it was, was uppercut. That the second? He had a, he that, that, was second that, was that was the second. That was the second knockdown. Okay. 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 I got it mixed up. Then my bad. Please. Yeah, yo, we're gonna yeah, enjoy that. watching it again so we can yeah, make that sure. Yeah, Man, sure. Right. yeah that yeah, ass whooping was so thorough. There's a lot to unpack, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole lot to unpack out the ass whooping. Like we got so many things to just. You know, they ain't like that. Hey, bro, they sound so pitiful, though, bro. They sound pitiful as shit, bro. They sound <laughs> Very bad right. hey, hey, but hey, but I respect everybody for taking their L's like a man. They like, I respect that, bro. Hey, you know bro, what I'm yo, saying? Yo, I just, yo, I just, yo, hope, yo, I just hope, hope, I just hope it's the same energy next week. You know what I mean? Because they, they doing this shit now. Yeah. But next mm -hmm. week, that's when exactly. the agendas and the, and the, and the motherfucking oh, yeah, rhetoric yeah. and the bullshit hey, start. Hey, 78. Hey. 78 need to put that, 78 need to put that Kunta Kente, uh, Picture he had mm. uh, with Bud yeah. mm. put it with Earl Spence. Hey, oh, Katie, yeah. go over to go over to Fanon, Katie. Go to Fanon. All right, we're gonna go to Fanon channel. Mm. Let's see what he's talking about. He did a hey, lot, yo, dude, there, right? That was some hella, that was a Jamal, hella scorecard. Jamal, hey, what's what's their favorite word? What's them favorite uh Earl Spence? Uh them Earl Six was what they what they favorite thing is Earl good at what what he does? Jam. Mm. Jam. Jack. Oh, oh, I love what's good with Jack, body, body work. Body yeah. work. Yo. Yeah, pressure. Yeah, they, they say the same. Jab, thing, bro. They say pressure, the same thing. and body work yeah. all day. <laughs> same dumbass yeah, shit all the fucking fight. time. Drew's Man. power dropped dramat dramatically in the later rounds. He should be called Captain <laughs> Hook because that's all he throws. Yeah, pretty much. Bro. That's like all he does. Oh, no, that's all he does now. Oh no, yeah, he's talking about he's talking about pitbull. What it is, he came, he went in there with him. That's what's oh, he's talking about pitbull. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to fast forward to the guy. You got fast forward. Yeah, I was about to say for nine. Yeah, he he is all he doing that? No he was calling all the fights. He probably high tail off with after that. Man, Aaron's like, throwing a lot of stuff at him too. Hey, for nine, for nine, boy, yeah, he, a lot he, of stuff he, he eating crow like a motherfucker right now. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. I'm listening to him. He, yeah, this is really tough on here. Angel joking. Vasquez in the comment section, like, he ain't Earl back no Spence about to cry. <laughs> 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 hey, he in the comment section trolling right now, bro. <laughs> oh, oh man, I don't know. Let me get rid of this. Shit, bro. Errol, can jabbing see. him down, man. He's trying to do something. Errol is fighting his ass off, though. He's he fighting his going, ass bro. off, is he? He fighting his ass off listen, with his listen, on his listen, face listen, in the butt. Listen, listen. <laughs> listen as it get as it get as he get later in the round. Yeah, though, Ter yeah, Ter and Ter more than likely, Terrence about to start stepping it up on him again too. Can't lie, man. This is. I tell you, yo, that first round, yo, he shot by Terrence as he as he mm. comes in too. 
Yo, Spence was overwhelming him with that jab, man. Look, look at this clown nigga face. Arrow's mugging, Arrow's mugging him a little bit, though. My but, man's still spinning that, even though something. Arrow Spence getting his ass whooped. Look, he's trying to find a way. He's trying to find a way for EJ. Yeah, Terrence is doing his thing, man. I can't lie, bro. <laughs> 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 that nigga sounds sad as hell. <laughs> you can't lie. You know, I'm pretty sure you, you can't know lie. Shit about, I mean, you know shit you about like, boxing. You, you like shit. I can't spin no more Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I can't, you don't know yeah, shit about all. boxing. <laughs> Look at this fucking clown. You don't know shit about boxing. Yeah. Look at this fucking idiot. Yeah, that need, that, that, that need to be the, that need to be the side, title bro. of the next live. I don't know shit about boxing. And he's bro. just swelling his Yeah, I love that fucking thumbnail. Look at that look at talking about right. he's, he's just swelling his look at Yo, yo, you should just screenshot look, this right here. He, he looks and that here, and bro. Look how sad yo, he looks. <laughs> yo, yo, KD, KD, you should screenshot this face right here and put it. I don't know shit about boxing <laughs> since they, cause they not yeah, gonna you, do you it. Gotta be definitely gotta be. Oh, big look. shot by Arrow. What the fuck? Oh, look at that big jab by Arrow. What? Okay, <laughs> he got he got one jab in. He went crazy. <laughs> look, he got one jab in. He went crazy. <laughs> Got one oh my God. Yo, he was trying. He was trying Man, hard to go for EJ. Fight, Terrence is such a beast, bro. I can't. Man, lie. He's, he's, he's trying. Try, yo, he's trying. Beast. He's trying <laughs> hard to go for <laughs> EJ. He's trying <laughs> hard. He's trying Man, hard. I don't know who won that round. I think. Oh, you don't know who won. I give it to Terrence. Just because. <laughs> he's like, I think it was Terrence. I think it was Terrence. Close round, but that may be Terrence. He don't know who won that round, fam. But Arrow hit that big shot, the really big shot on him, but just missed. Oh, was it? Now, Arrow can weather this storm, really bro. He really shot on him, but it just missed. Right. Yeah, it's tough, man. Ain't no joke, bro. It's tough, man. He's trying. Yo, he's, he's trying. Like he's, he's trying. Like he's trying. 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 He, look at him. He's trying his best. Look at him. Look at and him. I'm not even keeping the score. We'll see what happens, man. I just he's like, he's not even keeping the score. I'm not even keeping the score. Look at this nigga. I'm keeping the score. This no. nigga don't throw. He don't throw this. No. Yo, he just wrote the, yo, he wrote the score down. But he's gonna try to start stepping on him pretty soon. Score. And he's throwing them big heavy shots, bro. <laughs> and Arrow's not Terrence trying to now come get him. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy when your own wrench is a troll in his ass. Papa's trying to press him. Use it. <laughs> Yo, he gonna take a lot of he gonna take a lot of wrenches away tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have all these niggas. I'm gonna have all these niggas sound bite tomorrow, bro. On my shit, I'm gonna have all these niggas sound bite, bro. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna clip all these shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna clip all these shit. Yo, troll, yo, troll, yo, yo, troll them for money. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, just as just as long just as long they ch uh, troll Terrence Crawford and use his name, troll yeah. their ass. Like yeah. That. I'm oh. gonna clip all these niggas shit. I'm gonna clip his name. Yeah, Arrow's clip a tough PLTV. dude. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Knock out Look, he's still shit. he's still trying to go for EJ. He like Earl's a tough dude. Man, this is a hell of a fight. Oh, he, hell of a fight. Yo, this yo, shit is hilarious, I you, bro. I bet you, I bet you, yo. my got butterflies in his stomach and shit. He like, damn, my nigga getting yeah. the fuck up. Look at his face. Look at his face. They watching the fight. Look at his face. Look at his face. Nice job by Terrence. <laughs> he ain't hear the knockdown yet. Yo, he didn't hear that knockdown yet. Yo, the yo, knockdown come man. yet? Yo, one of his I, wrenches said. One of his wrenches said, "Y'all been talking five years straight." <laughs> <laughs> oh, they talking some mad shit to him though. They they talking mad. Shit to him, though. Oh yeah, yeah. They in the comment section heavy, bro. I'm watching oh, the comment section. They get in his head right now. Look, look, this gotta be the second round. He's, he's the doc almost right. stopped it. No. What fight you watching? No, this nigga said easy work. <laughs> nigga said easy work. <laughs> this is ugly. <laughs> Uh, please don't get the KO. Mod, the, mod, the mods can't block nobody because they basically about to block and send out everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Just in the street. I'm gonna clip all these niggas shit. KD, tomorrow, bro, on my, on, 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 when, I, when I do my show tomorrow, I'm going to have all these niggas sound bites. 
Hey, hey, I look forward to it. Ajo. I look forward to it, man. Now yeah, he's trying bro. to he's trying to take the he's trying to take that engine the, the air out of but out of arrow. Oh, he's trying to take the engine out of him, huh? <laughs> Hey, somebody put y'all don't know shit. Y'all listen to this man talk BS every day. Look at how he's looking over. Look at crazy too. You know what's so crazy, crazy, you know so crazy? Face, bro? Hey, a rich, a rich, a rich. Yeah, they get in his ass. Fish fry. <laughs> they look at, look at. Yeah, the riches are not even gonna block that dude. They like shit. You right, bro? <laughs> they can't. He stopped talking. He Look stopped talking. Yeah, but that's a definitely a bud round, bro. <laughs> the bud is winning this fight. I just hope. Yeah, it's bad. He's, 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 the bud round. he's definitely yeah, he's definitely beating him up, bro. He said, fanboy, oh, but no, you played yourself. <laughs> With Look, all these nice videos, I'm throwing everybody's punches. Bud is winning this fight, to bro. Send them to me, man, because I, I got to do some videos on this. Okay, I got, I got you, bro. I got, I got. Oh, and he's Lord. just right there with everything. He's just so he, tight, man. Yeah, I'm gonna just... check all your channels, man. The TV got trolling. Yeah, yeah, man. Yo, Kareem yeah. came back. Kareem boxing came back. Yeah, Kareem here. Kareem here. Yeah, he's hitting here. him with everything, bro. Just, yeah. just all around looking like he's already a better fighter. One of his on the inside too. Really showing what he can do on the inside. Check this out. Hey, yeah, man, I don't think this is getting bad. Wait, pause it. Pause it, KD. Pause it, KD. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. What, hey, check yeah, it out. What was this the best defensive performance and offensive performance in the same fight? Yes. Man, yes. this shit was Barely crazy. Got yeah. tough, bro. Yo, got tough. Was so sad, yeah. bro. Yo, you know what's so sad? Somebody like Max Kellerman, I never heard him curse in my life. And this motherfucker tweeted out with a curse word. He like he said he said Bud beat the shit out of fucking Earl Spence. <laughs> hey, bro. hey bro, it was so many people calling for them to stop this fight, bro. It was a lot of people saying stop the fight, man, stop the goddamn fight, bro. Yeah, man, this shit in like the seven, six, and seven round when the niggas face starts swelling up and shit. They were like, man, stop this fight. Hey, Somebody hey, stop. yeah, you know, hey, you know, y'all, hey, I, hey, I, 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 my girl was right here next to me while I was live streaming. She like, oh, he hurt. I feel bad for him. <laughs> hey, that was, that was what my wife was saying, bro. She was like, why he look like that? Why his face look like that? I'm like, baby, he getting his ass whooped. He getting his hey, ass whooped. That's why his face look like I'm that. I'm trying to tell you. I'm like, baby, <laughs> it come with the territory. Yeah. You Yo, my late, my late. My yeah. lady was like, "Yo, yo, calm down. They, they people are sleeping." I'm like, "I'll go. Fuck. This is my night tonight." Yeah, right. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, we. Yeah, no. Nah. I already told her. She already know. Like, hey, look. Oh my god. You go here. All kind of cut. You know how many months these motherfuckers are talking shit? I'm fuck telling. That. You. Years, years. This shit is crazy, man. Cause these niggas been talking shit all these fucking years. That's why I say I'm horse like a motherfucker. That's why I say I'm going on a motherfucking. I'm clipping everybody. This nigga right here for none. I'm getting him. I'm getting BFTB. I'm getting knockout 86. I'm getting all uh, 78. I'm getting all these niggas, bro. I'm telling you, I'm finna fuck these niggas up. I'm finna fuck Hell these yeah. niggas up. It's on, bro. I'm telling you. Because y'all hey, niggas hey, talking hey. all this shit about Bud ain't fought nobody. He too small. We, we don't know what the fuck we talking like, about. Uh, Be Bud, he buddy. Yeah, watch motherfucking Bud, buddy. He got a point. He got a hey, point five. Blue, uh, watch Blue Watch Blue Blood try to jump back on the coffee side. You remember a long fuck time ago? Hell, fuck he said no. he was out there. He was like, he's like, man, I can't. He said when he was taking out for Bud, he was like, oh, Bud coming to 147? He going to beat Spence ass and shit. And then all of a sudden, he flipped and became an Earl Sexual. Yeah, Watch yeah, that nigga flip. Blue, right. blood go, Blue Blood go where the money at, bro. Blue Blood go where the money at, bro. That's, yo, that's yo, ego, ego was yeah. another one. Ego was like, Terrence Crawford is the Michael Jordan of boxing, and then he started slandering, but but after this shit, he gonna jump right back on the um. Crawford I got game. his ass too, cause I heard him too tonight. You should have pulled did his KD, cause he started talking. He started talking. He was humble. He was humble. Man. Oh, Terrence Crawford looking good. Oh yeah, he's the best. Oh, he, he's definitely the best. Hey, 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 Straight female, straight female. <laughs> I'm like, yo, yo, Fanon, yo, uh, can you raise up the volume? Cause uh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but you gotta look, turn up the value look, real loud. Hey, Fanon, look, look at Fanon, bro. He look like he don't age another twenty years, bro. He look like he aged twenty more years, bro. 
<laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Hey, for now, hey, for now, I'm about to stand up and pull up his shirt and start beating on his chest again. Yeah, that's disgusting, man. Uh, Yo, okay. play, play, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. Let's see what this class is. I don't know if it's gonna get go the distance. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna go the distance. Arrow can't hurt him. <laughs> Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Here's another point, though, because I was hearing a lot of these Earl Spence fans talking about that they that Earl gonna knock Bud out when again, Earl couldn't knock out Mikey, couldn't knock out Danny, couldn't Danny, knock out Sean, but he gonna knock Bud out. And, 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 and Bud Yo. proved it because Earl couldn't hit Bud with no shot. That he did that he couldn't take nothing that wobbled he, him, nothing that hurt him at, 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 ever at any point. You said the magic word, KD, because Bud let him hit him a couple of times, and he was like, "Damn, what you got?" Like yeah, he is. was eating that shit. He was eating that shit. Like that, what you got? And, and Earl, he let Earl kiss him a couple of times just to see if, see what it felt like. And he was like, "Damn, what you got?" Remember that nigga? Yeah, I saw you got. Remember that nigga started fucking with uh, Earl after a while. He was he was got them playing with Earl after a while. He was doing all that. Yeah, with his hand movement. Yeah, yeah with his hand movement. Did y'all see? I, I don't know if I said this already. That nigga winked at Jamel Chalo in the goddamn audience. He yeah, I that. saw that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We told that early. Hold on, I'm gonna go to that one real quick. When he <laughs> showed did do that shit, here we go. Yeah, I tell I, I, I tell you that. this, KD. I tell you, KD. Yo, KD, you got a whole bunch of weeks or months. Of content of just trolling. I mean, looking at they live video, all the all the Spence fans videos. You got a whole lot of content right there. That shit is funny. Looking at their reactions, man. Oh my yeah, god, bro. That oh, shit is funny, bro. <laughs> yeah, this the wrong way. Hold on, let me go to the other <laughs> link. I ain't mean to show this one, <laughs> but they, is it? but they do. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I don't know if we gonna go the distance, y'all. Oh no, damn. <laughs> okay, man. salute to my guy Buckle Up Boxing in the beard. He said, I, I called a prediction six to nine. Bro, Buckle Up Boxing, I called ninth round stoppage on the dot. Ninth yo, round yo, stoppage was my call, so I got it I absolutely see, right. I said, check nine. it out. I, I, see, it I, out. See, I won, I won $500 on this damn fight. <laughs> Come on, now. Let me hold something. Let me yeah, hold something, yeah. bro. Let me hold something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 even though even showbiz was at the fight, he would talk, man, they stop the fight, stop the fight, stop the fight. I said, God, dude, you, you had on been flip flop. Yeah, he, he, he had flip flopper too. Yeah, 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 yeah he, he flip flopper go, go whatever, whatever the popular narrative is, that way he go yeah. with it, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know these dudes, man. They something else. Bro. He got, he got, pop, he got pop out. I, I hate his fucking eyeballs, man. Look like fucking <laughs> a slinky, like a slinky going down the fucking steps, man. Fucking <laughs> this nigga eyeballs. What the fuck? This <laughs> oh, nigga eyeballs look like slinky. Oh yeah, my god, yeah, I gotta write bro. down my. I got a whole list of people I got wrote down right here on this pad right here, and I'm finna goddamn. I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna give me two hours of sleep. And I'm gonna get right back up early in the morning. <laughs> 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 hey, but hey, 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 the sun about to come out. You about to get right back yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. I probably can't even go to sleep tonight, bro. I probably can't even sleep tonight, bro. I don't even know, I'm bro. Trying. We chill. We riding out tonight, bro. I'm oh yeah, oh, yeah riding out. Oh yeah, riding out right now, Ooh, fam. Yo, fuck, yo. Yeah, this nigga Kareem. So much, Kareem is out there in the clubs trying to find, look for a fight, yo. He's crazy. <laughs> Yo, my adrenaline pumping so much. I've been up over 24 hours. Oh, he did that. He pointed. He said, you next. He said it. Boom. He was that good. Boom. 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 Look at look at look, 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 look at them folks, bro. Next. Yeah, you next. Yeah, you next. Yeah, oh, you man. next. Yeah. One, two, three. Let's go. Man, let's fucking go. That <laughs> yeah, nigga scared to death. And you scared know, you know, to death. You know, Mel Charlo just came out. Oh, 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 that, that hook was so, so sharp, so crisp, so, so fast. Yeah, exactly. So tell me this. If motherfuckers was saying Earl Spence was beating uh, Jamel Chalo, them up, the Chalo boys up in sparring, what the fuck do you think Bud going to do to these motherfuckers? Oh, such a good <laughs> if, question. If, 
<laughs> they said, they, yeah, they say, oh, Earl hit hard. Oh, he 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 will be the Chalo boys ass and sparring and all that shit like that, nigga. Well, I tell what you one say, thing. Gonna do to y'all? I tell you one thing, Chalk nigga Jamel won't be making no videos saying I'm a knockout artist. He ain't saying yeah. that shit no more. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like do do what he say. Yeah, yeah. Money, right, right. Money, yeah, take right. a little yeah. less money. Learn, learn, learn how to be the peace out, man. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, all that some time. <laughs> but it's so funny, man, how he controls he controls the whole goddamn he controls it, it's he controls the whole narrative in the ring. It's it, he he makes people fight his fight. He don't fight your fight, you're gonna fight his fight, and he's gonna control everything in this inside that ring. He control. He dictates everything inside that ring. His ring generalship is like motherfucking next level. Like mm-hmm. he can, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro, to see him how he makes motherfuckers. They they be confused, and that's why I said he could. He won't did have time to download. Yeah, they yeah. right. Sorry, hey, bro. Okay. Hey, you know what though? He could have did Sean Porter worse than what he wanted to, but Sean. Oh Porter yeah, definitely carried Sean that's, Porter. That's, yeah, he definitely carried. Carried. Porter. That's his yeah. boy. Yeah, I tell you this what. This nigga man. ain't had time to this download. Nigga, that's what they used to say. This nigga said Sean Porter was a shell of himself. Man, yeah, that shell of himself, mm-hmm. Sean Porter, put up a better fight than fucking Earl Spence. Thank you. Right. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Brooke put, put up a better fight, too, and he wasn't the same fighter, a- was absolutely. he? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ooh. Brooke, Sean Porter. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. Neezy said it earlier. He said, he said avocado was a tougher fight. Yeah, he damn <laughs> sure was. I'd rather see an avocado rematch Yo. than an Earl Spence rematch. I'm telling you. Damn right. Big facts, Yo, with BLK Prime, man. I want to watch BLK Prime again. Big facts, bro. <laughs> the Big fuck? Facts. Bring- Yo, speaking of the fish fry, I'm bringing avocado and green beans to the fish fry. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, That's man. a side How dish. They- they the side dish is better than the main dish. Yeah, they discredit the hell out of him, man, saying that all these guys he beat at all, uh, you know what I'm saying, coming up through the ranks, you know, when shit, you know, post style got them, you know what I'm saying, all these guys wasn't shit that he took belts from, and you know what I'm saying, everybody that he took belts from when shit, he was like, man, when you, you know what I'm saying, Gamble, <laughs> Gamble, 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 Gamble was on the pound for pound list one Yo, he yo, fucking Fanon look like Pac-Man and shit, right, in that, that picture and shit. <laughs> Man, he he fucked up, bro. He fucked up. This nigga, this nigga is look at look at him, bro. I got a I need, I need, I need the next video to be. I don't know shit about boxing, bro. I humbly yo, apologize yo, after for the fight. Pacquiao my was boxing knowledge. I humbly apologize yo, for this shit. Mm-hmm. After the fight, Pacquiao was even asking, "Yo, is that a family member? <laughs> he looked like me." Yo, speaking of, I, I guarantee you, Pacquiao will be like, "Hey, Earl, let's make this fight." Right. Ooh. He said. He said everybody. He said everybody was somebody until I fought a man and Dongo post all uh, all them guys or uh, Gamboa. All them guys was somebody until I fought them. Then when I fought them, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? What the, shit? You gotta think about it. When Bud fight these motherfuckers, he takes something out of their ass. They can't. It's like that's it, bro. Like this nigga. Back. Back. This, this nigga takes shit out of their ass, bro. That's why I say is Earl gonna be able to come back from this shit, bro? Like. Motherfuckers say he still got a chance if he go to 160 or some shit like that. I don't know, bro. I'm just first first of all, first of all, this 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 it's triply bad for Earl because not only did he get his ass whooped in the worst possible way that you can get his ass. Just like John ass, Molina. But this and is, I said is, I wanted but that. This, like this John is, Molina. This is his first loss, bro. This is his first yeah, loss, absolutely bro. Absolutely right. So, like, you know, niggas ain't really the same after they first loss. Ooh. But yo, then you but yo, then your KD. first loss loss is an epic ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, you, you, yo, KD. Yo, KD. When your show start, yo, at your show start to have some of these knockdowns, oh, 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 some of these guys getting beat hey, the fuck up. Right. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to change. I'm gonna have to change my uh, my opener from look, Easy Route Earl look, to just him getting look, stopped. Look how many times. <laughs> look how many times he knocked. Look how many times he knocked Gamboa down, man. Gamboa that took everything out of Gamboa, man. Gamboa was undefeated when he fought Bud. Yeah, he, facts. He, he, he 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 knocked Gamboa down like what four times, like three, four times. Nigga Gamboa yeah. look at that fight and say, Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get that bug. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm Gamboa, glad I ain't fight that bug. Gamboa did that better than Earl. You know he what I'm saying? Did. He did, sure. yeah. Man, man, please. God, look, man, look, look but but bug got 40 victories and nine people survived. 
Oh, nine from people getting, survived. Absolutely. From, from, from nine getting, people from, survived. from getting knocked out. But they still got stopped. their ass whooped, though, because Brady yeah, Prescott yeah. Pers- 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 got his ass whooped. Brady mm. Prescott got his ass whooped, even though he survived. Mm. And he supposed to be the hardest puncher. Bud fought him at two weeks' notice. Y'all know that. He fought him at two weeks' notice. Ricky Barnes. Yep. Ricky yep. Barnes yep. talking about that earlier. Ricky Barnes got his ass whooped. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. But what they had, they didn't, he didn't, he didn't knock Ooh. them out. But they should have been knocked yeah. out. Mm. <laughs> ah man, what is the story gonna be tomorrow morning? Good god damn. Mm. Damn, I can't get this smile off my face. This shit is so fucking funny. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Yo, what else is clown gonna say, man? Play a little bit more. <laughs> Keeps coming forward, and all the shit he's throwing is really big and hard, bro. Pause. Pause. What pause. Big fuck? pause. Big pause. Pause. <laughs> Big pause. What the fuck? Yeah. Damn. I... <laughs> Dude. Dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Damn, hey, yo, bro. every time you press play, every time you press play, he say some pause yeah, shit. Yo, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, for none, you tripping. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yo, he really yeah, feeling the taste. Fact, fact none. It's fact the name. It's really fact, 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 fact none. Fact none. Fact none. Fact none. Yeah, I got a nigga name. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Look at him, bro. He let him with somebody no somebody put he looks sick right now. <laughs> yeah, he do. It's horrible, bro. He's like, come on, Derek James. Say something. Yeah. Say something inspiring. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's nasty. It's getting ugly. Bro, this no nigga, joke. This shit's getting nasty. <laughs> look, 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 look at it. <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's just it's a destruction, bro. <laughs> Just because he can do what he wants to when he wants to do it, bro. No joke. Oh, why you wasn't saying that months ago? Why you didn't believe that, bro? He's doing what he wants to do. This is not going. He's just busting Spence up so bad, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Y'all have said Spence that Crawford's going to win this fight. Y'all right. Oh, yeah. I, I got have that a hard clip. time thinking he's going to get through this fight, man. He's he 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 going to bu- he go busting him up so I'm bad. I'm clipping this shit right yeah, here. shot by Arrow, though. But it didn't even hurt him. Look, he said, oh, big shot by. And then he dropped him. <laughs> Backed him against the rope and dropped him. Yeah, you got to stop. It's over, bro. <laughs> Go to the end. Oh, now man. you want the towel going in? So now yeah, you know why people go in the towels. Huh? He won't. He won't Kenny now Porter now. Know. Now he won't Kenny Porter. Now, so now you want Kenny Porter exactly. <laughs> but this shit is this funny. Kenny Porter when he when he throw it in the towel, he's just out doing, just out boxing. Hundred percent right. They can't but do anything with him. The it's just not going to change. Gonna, they need to stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> He's he he nervous. He's nervous. Earl he tough nervous. dude, bro. But he, they need to go ahead and stop this, bro. He's an early tough before dude, he but hurt, he stop this shit before he get before he get lie. hurt. Are you serious? Man, before he get hurt, that bad, that bad, bro. It was that one side. No joke. That's unbelievable. It's ugly. I didn't even think Amen. it was gonna be that one side. I knew, but no, it is what it is, bro. And I already know what is up. This is not gonna go the distance, bro. If Spencer, yo, the eight, the eight, a, yo, the eighth round, the eighth round, well, walked to the, to near his side. It's like, yo, he said something. Maybe he said, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Y'all gotta stop it, or I'm gonna stop him. Y'all gotta do something. He said something to their corner. We went yeah, man, because you know what's so crazy, man. I think he thought feeling bad. Can't really can't do anything. Feeling bad for just setting him up. Yeah, ridiculous, bro. Just, no joke. Bad for Spence, bro. I underestimate Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford's a better fighter than I thought he was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. absolutely, absolutely. He was a better fighter than he thought he was. Though. No joke. Absolutely yeah, fantastic. Yeah, this nigga went from stop analyzing the fight to just conceded everything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you can't do nothing but do that, bro. It's you, you out. I just, I just need these niggas to come on here and say I don't know shit about boxing, bro. I need that's that, it, bro. That's all. I need that's it, bro. Need, like, bro. And this Terrence nigga. Just to keep stepping on. You said Bud was ducking. You said that. Oh, 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 now, 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 now he's stepping on him. Now he's stepping yeah, you gotta on. You got to throw the towel in, bro. Don't get him killed. Don't get him killed, bro. Come on, Derek. You got to throw the towel in. Yo, bro. you saw that? As it is, bro, you got to throw that towel in, Derek. Yo, you saw that? Yo, yo. You got to throw it in, though. When Kenny Porter throw it in the towel, y'all were mad. You got to wait. You know what I'm saying? You got to stop. They want him to throw in the towel, but they were mad at Kenny Porter throwing in the towel. You got to you gotta clip. Yo, you got to clip that hand, that hand talk. That dude just. You got to clip that hand talk. Somebody put blood down there and laugh out loud. Hell yeah. It's just too much, bro. Go ahead and throw it in, bro. It's too much, bro. <laughs> he looks so mad, bro. 
I'm gonna show y'all my reaction to this shit yeah, afterwards, it's too much, bro. bro. Okay, okay. Cause my shit, my shit was funny. Be shit. Of that. Cause yeah, I was, I was on, I was on with y'all, but I had to Man, take it off because I had to talk my own shit. I took all the YouTube off and just start watching. Paycheck, though, but it is what it is. Terrence I was Crawford talking, I was talking crazy nasty, shit. Bro. Nah, I need to throw in the towel, bro, before he gets hurt, bro. You don't want to see that. Now, now he want that. Now he want this towel. Right, now they want to throw the towel. Credit yeah. to do just, just too. But good, we took bro. it. All the Bud fans took all the towels away. Good. We made sure it'd be an <laughs> asshole. I don't even. I'm gonna tell you, yeah, man, it is. I was wrong. He's he's too good, bro. I mean, I was he's wrong. too good. He was too good. <laughs> he light too years good. above fucking EJ, nigga. And that's what Spence he is. Spence is fighting his heart out, man, looking for something, bro. But it's just gonna get worse. No more, no more, no more debate. You know what I told him? I said, just, I said, just don't and I told him just like this, KD. And I mean, I it. said, don't say shit like, about just don't this. Do it, don't get no excuses just, for Earl or that. Like, I want to see. He's a bug. great. I don't he's a great hurt, fighter, man. just like y'all said. He's a great fighter. There's no know, joke, I'm, bro. This I'm, is, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say he's a. Y'all say he's a great he fighter. He looks like he's about to get hurt, bro. It just, it just now. What that makes especially around ten and eleven and twelve. Fighter, what that makes bud. Mm. Eight to ten is yeah. You what saw it the last he's press that he was people, like, man. "Yo, he he's big, he's strong, do, he's all this big bad wolf his shit." Punches ain't hurting. But, but a generational man. Kind. That's a generation. Terrence just taking his time bro. walking in and still got much sharper shots. Mm. What else he got? Man. Fag now. What else he got? Fag now. Man, I'm telling you, man. I'm just. I hate to be a bummer, bro. But he need to. They need to throw in the towel before he gets hurt. bro. <laughs> oh, really? yeah, I ain't gonna lie, they need to throw well, it to be a bummer. This nigga love this nigga yeah, love you've been, been a bummer your whole YouTube YouTube career. Need to, they know need to go in the towel before for not for not for non towel because now they just he's just for non towel boxing for non throwing the towel boxing just too he's just too much for non throwing the towel boxing cutting off the ring on him. It's not gonna it's not gonna work, bro. He's gonna get hit with some shit that's nasty, and he's just shoved away. He shoves him off just. Just hey, you oh, seen that in the shot. first round, by the way. Y'all seen that in the first round? It, I think it was like yeah. the first round or the second round. Earl tried to like grab Bud and like Bud, push, yeah, him, push him. Bud like the shit out of I'm the fuck that nigga of off. Nigga, what the Earl, fuck you got going Earl, on, Earl, bro? Got no strength, bro. Man. Earl felt how strong that nigga is. See, they, they, you know what I'm saying? He motherfucker kept talking about this shit. Like, oh, Earl strong, Bud. I don't think he's strong as man. This nigga walked in the thing and got them dead lifted. What he dead? What he dead lift? What, how much that was? Like, look like it was like four hundred, right? 400, or, or, yeah, like four hundred pounds. Hey, 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 hey look at that link I just put in there. What ego said? What well, ego said? Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I had looked at that, that nigga too. I, I checked out all them niggas, bro. I was like, yeah, nigga, uh huh. I got epic, story. epic ass whooping. Hold on, bro. This nigga. Yeah, they're gonna play that. That's the last one you just draw, right? Yeah, yeah. He been catching hell on a lot of people been trolling. I've been trolling his ass too. Oh, for real. For the internet. <laughs> Ego was wrong. Ego was wrong. <laughs> Hold on, y'all gotta see this shit. <laughs> this shit hilarious. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> shit crazy. Yeah, go ahead and take y'all L's, bro. Go on, take y'all L's, bro. I know y'all was thinking about how y'all were gonna how y'all were gonna respond after it came out that y'all didn't know what the fuck y'all was talking about. Ego was wrong, ego was wrong, ego was wrong. <laughs> you don't Damn. shit about my team, bro. Hey. What what ego ego wrote that? Who wrote that? Ego this is this on his Twitter. He put this on his Twitter. Oh, with it. Oh, he, he wrote something. Oh, yeah, he put, it, he put it. He put. He put it. He put. He, 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 he put. Ego was bit. wrong over and over and over again. He must have had a bit with somebody. He must have had a bit with somebody or something. He, 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 he was gonna do that. Oh, that's why he wrote that. Yeah. <laughs> man, yeah, oh man, man, oh man. Ego was wrong. Ego was wrong. Hell yeah, yeah wow. man. This shit is crazy. Yeah. Bro. yeah. Think about yeah, it. That yeah. shit was the other way around, though, KD. Think about it. If that if Spence did that to Bud, would well, they'll be goddamn? They'll be. Hell they'll yeah, they'll be, be talking smash, shit. How many fucking videos would be up? Smash. I'm talking about for real, bro. Oh yeah, no, nah, we gonna live this shit up. We bro. told you from the start he was a nobody. He got a zero point five. <laughs> Resume, he's nobody. It's zero point five. Oh yeah, all that disrespect. Yeah, zero point five. Hey, 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 that wasn't even the only disrespectful thing. He said, he said, Bud, he rated Bud like a like a four when it came to like defense or some shit like that. Bro, bro, yeah. the nigga was disrespectful as hell. Hey, but, hey he but, might he might want to do his ratings again and shit. 
I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, bro. He need to do that shit all over again, bro. Like, <laughs> bro yeah. Yo, let, let, yo, let's see. Let's see if Gilly want to call up all these other boxes for Bud now. Hey, mm. Exactly. Man, Boots don't want to go nowhere near that man, man. Boots needs to stay the fuck with no him. No joke. I yeah, heard some, somebody, that, somebody yeah. say Boots won't next or something like that. Uh, man, Boots, Boots don't want no damn bro. smoke. Yeah. Nigga, Boots, Boots that nigga went the IBF route for a reason. He, he knew when he was when he, when he would yell. Yeah, exactly, way he too much. He knew right, he would do exactly. Right, exactly. He knew exactly. Nigga, what nigga, Boots Boot changed his names to Hills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carl, I mean, he's just, yeah, Cross, he can take his time because Spence is just going to get more and more tired. He's going to get more and more tired. His eyes are going to swell more. That you nigga know, sound like say, bro, just had a flawless sense, victory. Bro. Hey, bro, that like, nigga sound sick, bro. You just off balance. <laughs> you can't hit him. Just he's off balance. Can't hit him. Towel. Come on, Doug. Oh. Do- oh, now you want to do the towel. Now hey. you want Doug to do the towel. Please, man. You know I mean, hey, he's man, slipping please, those shots, but he got please, four more rounds having to slip. Please, hey, please, man, please do the towel. Please, come on. Do not take it. Do not evoke the rematch clause, bro. Do not do this, bro. I don't want to see this shit no more. I don't want to see this. I don't want. To, I know some of y'all. He's about to hit him with something in the middle. I know of some of y'all want to see the beat down again. I don't want to see this beat down again, bro. <clears throat> I don't want to see the beat down again, bro. I've seen enough. I've seen enough, bro. It, it can be a hundred fights. Damn, hit that man on the knee. <laughs> that man, that man got kids to go home. Yeah, just man. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah man. You're home to your kids, man, and, and your wife, yeah. man, and you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's yeah, all you know, you made history, man. You got you got in the ring man, with the greatest, man. Yeah. That's yeah. Try to, try to, try to keep the, you try to, yeah, and, and, and try to, try to, try to keep this a better fighter. Try to keep some cars from flipping. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he the better fighter. He the better fighter all around. You hear this motherfucker? He the better, better fighter all around. Underestimated Bud Crawford. Yeah, you underestimated all y'all. You're an idiot. Yeah, motherfucker, all y'all underestimated him. Yeah, read that shit, fact. Yeah. Now read it. Read all yeah, the trolls, nigga. Man, it's, yeah, it's not. It's nah, bro. It's just. It's honestly, man. They need to call the fight. And look, yo, motherfucker, At still point, giving him super chats. Very, very blunt with you. They give like him Darryl super chats, like ain't the Crawford. man getting his ass and whooping yeah, that fucking. A lot of y'all them told super chats. A lot of them saying, a lot of them want him to read it because they saying some fucked up shit to him. They going right. Oh, okay, okay. Commentate okay. what you want me to tell you, man. I'm telling I'm telling you. Uh, he don't want to read. He tight. He tight. He, he, he don't want to read, read it. Mad. Terrence he don't want to read it. Off him, walking him down, landing big shots and big hoops, hooks when he wants to. He like, Darryl he like literally shit, cannot land a clean y'all. punch on him. Is is reaching, is definitely throwing and reaching on him. He takes a step back. If Arrow gets on the inside with him, Terrence is strong. Tell him to him. use his jab. Tell him to use his jab, man. Right, right. Use the unstoppable jab. Really big hooks. Use that unstoppable likely, jab. Come these on. Muscles, <laughs> Terrence Carroll's unconscious. Look, he said, like, he said, Terrence Carroll's unconscious. Like, I heard, I heard, yeah, bro, I heard the jab. I heard the jab so much. I was starting to say the shit backwards, man. He's landing on this. Hey, KD, pause it for a minute, KD. Let me tell you something right quick. Katie, okay. you got to go on. You got to go on knockout channel, bro. Cause that you know how he be he be coming on here, he coming at you about yep. the debate. You he come here to talk. Katie. Yeah, he come here to talk a little bit and then try yeah, to leave. Yeah, yeah, you got to go over there, Katie. You got to, bro. Oh, yeah, you yeah, got yeah, to get yeah, to him I, on his channel, hey, bro. Hey, hey, Katie, y'all go on his channel, there. cook him, and then leave. <laughs> hey, Katie, when you go when you go over there, Katie, you got to tell him, hey, you got to stop these these uh these uh debates and shit. <laughs> Cause you getting fucking cooked, nigga. You don't know shit about boxing. <laughs> hey, hey, all them debates that about Bud and Earl that he did on his channel that he won, and uh, all these other people who were debating on Earl Spence channel won. They lost. This proved that they really <laughs> lost. All y'all niggas who won the debates, y'all niggas really lost, bro. For real. <laughs> Oh, yo, Crazy. yo, I remember, yo, bro, I re- yo, Katie, I remember the debate you did where and when they had those other biased judges and shit. I was like, oh, really? Y'all try to do my man like that? All right, okay. Man, I remember what it was when I went over there, bro. It was oh yeah, but it was, it was, yeah, it was cool. It was so cool. But you're right now. They all lost. They all lost. lost. They all lost, bro. Cause Lost. it proved that everything that we've been saying was fucking true. So this shit, like this, so what, yeah. You know, Cause they kept saying bro was moving wrong. He's a liar. He's a liar. This and he lied about. Oh really? You know mm-hmm. what's so funny? Did he lie about you know, stopping this guy? You know what, mm-hmm. old Jamal? What's so funny about that though? 
they try to go and talk about all this shit about like Earl Earl wanted a big plot talking about something when he walked up on Bud when they had to face off he's talking about some uh you don't have to thank me for making this fight happen. He being smart ass and Bud said you don't have to thank me for making this fight happen. But my thing is exactly. that y'all motherfucker talk all that shit. If they, if Bud fought your ass when you want when when, when y'all talk about this contract shit, now one of y'all niggas won't get no pay because it was zero guaranteed. Mm-hmm. Bud made this mm-hmm. shit happen. He called your ass up and said, let's make this fight happen. Let's Facts. get some money for this fight. Facts. He tried to make this shit happen with you before when you said he got the old, he, we got the old hedge fund. Hedge fund. Five million. Mm-hmm. But you said, what you say? Oh, go talk to Al. You start talking that bullshit. Go talk to Al. Hey, I don't hey, never leave hey, Al. Hey, I would you know never what? leave Al for a hundred million. But you know what? But you know what, though? I got, I got, now, I don't just have smoke for the Earl sexual channels. I also got smoke for some of the fence straddling motherfuckers. The niggas who, who was like, you saying that Bud's gonna destroy Earl? This is a 50-50 fight, KD. And I'm like, this ain't nope. no goddamn 50-50 fight. And <laughs> then the niggas like, you just biased. You just biased for Bud. I want to get them niggas too. <laughs> Yeah, I want some they niggas not coming back. They ain't coming yeah. back, bro. They're not coming back. Oh, Yo, they, 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 they they no nigga, back, I know bro. boxing. Fuck you talking they, about, hey, nigga. Y'all, <laughs> y'all see that shit? Y'all see that shit? Look at Fanon Timer. Look at Fanon Timer. Right, he gonna go off live as soon as this fight over with. You know this fight. If Earl would have won this fight, this yeah. Wait, he don't, he don't have a close. He don't have a closing. He just I get thought, off. I thought this was a oh short. Oh my god, he was a loose party. Yeah, like this nigga, have. this nigga got off soon as this damn fight was over. He got off that goddamn screen, bro. He ain't want to. He ain't want to hear, hear Bud arms being raised, huh? He want. He want. He He want to cry on camera. This nigga was sick, bro. Oh my god, I can't believe it, bro. <laughs> he went destroy everything in that room back there. He destroyed that shit. <laughs> Man, man. <laughs> I said, you got to do it. I said, said we're gonna have to get some help for a lot of the Earl sexuals, bro. Because PTSD, PTSD is real, bro. Motherfuckers gonna be it is, they gonna bro. Be fucked all up. They can't function. They can't. It's just it's gonna be a lot of. It's, yeah, it's they read the yo, everything, who everything it? that they who thought they knew about boxing. Kareem, Kareem said he gonna go outside. With, and wear his shirt, and if anybody call him an earth sexual, he gonna bust him in the head with this bottle he walking around with. I'm like, yo, don't go outside, but what's wrong with you? Why are you looking for trouble? <laughs> God damn. Oh my God. God oh, damn, bro. Oh, this shit. It's a one-sided fight. <laughs> and, ter- and Errol is like, Errol landed, be landed a shot there, but Errol's just going, <laughs> he's going back to boxing, and he's getting hit with these jabs like just, Terrence hits him in jabs whenever he wants to hit him with a jab and he snaps, snaps his head back and there's nothing Arrow can do and now Terrence gonna push him back and try to hit him with a hook on the way out <laughs> Terrence beat that I and he's got his glove in a perfect position to defend against what Arrow's trying to do when he gets on the other side of him so all Arrow really able to do like even now he's letting Terrence he's letting Arrow like wear himself out by punching around his gloves his arrow can't get in, can't get to his chin because of the high he, guard. He couldn't, bro. He couldn't. And that, so Terrence fact, is just though. letting him punch around. That's now fact. Terrence will that's go, fact. and he's looking to lad stabbing shots to the body. Cause Arrow just Terrence, punched Arrow him. Just it landed that big shot, but now Arrow can't even can't fight on the inside with him. And that's what <laughs> Geront like. That was one of the paths to victory that Terrence I think didn't know Terrence would be able to do, which is to push Arrow back. But Arrow's no, eyes wanted, is almost completely shut. He, he wanted he wanted to say Jawan and it's so bad. He's fighting at yeah, a pace he and he just hurt him again with a jab coming in. Just hurt him again with a jab coming look, in. Looking for none. Hit him with big hooks on the way in. As he's he damn, I do I do I thought the jab belonged to um Earl Spence. A lot that Terrence Crawford's doing <laughs> to him, man. It's just very, very brutal, bro. And he's right. He's, they said it was gonna be a brutal so, fight. It's definitely brutal, bro. So Earl jab ain't unstoppable. And Earl's about think. to get hit with see a guy hit with that, that was off balance. <laughs> As he missed it down, there's a hook weight on him. And then Terrence Hank lands that jab right back at him. He's just really popping his head back with these jabs. You want me to commentate the fake fight? That's what I'm seeing. Terrence Crawford's just a better fighter than him, man. No do- no joke about it. And he's just, oh, and he just, he's done. Now it's over. The fight is literally over, bro. He mad. The, the fight's he mad. over. Look, look, oh, look at him looking, oh, bro. Look, look at him. Look, 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 look at him. Look at him. Just one sided whooping. No joke. Wow! Go back, a, go back a little bit. Go back a little bit. Busted him up, bro. That boy got that pickle look. Punching around his gloves, his arrow can't get in, can't get to his chin because of the high guard. And so Terrence is just letting him punch around, 
Now Terrence will go and he's looking to lad stabbing shots to the body. Terrence Arrow just landed that big shot, but now Arrow can't even can't fight on the inside with him. And that's what Geron like. That was one of the paths to victory that Terrence I think didn't know Terrence would be able to do, which is to push Arrow back. But Arrow's eyes is almost completely shut. <laughs> And he's fighting at a pace, and he just heard him again with a jab coming in. <laughs> just heard him again with a jab coming in. Yo, and you got to clip that. that. You got to clip that. Far, sad, he, comes in. He, is, he is sad, bro. Yo, that shit is sad. You got to clip that shit. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. He just did what he had to do, bro. Nah, ain't no need, <laughs> no rematch. Ain't no need for no rematch on that, dog. <laughs> man, ain't no need for no rematches on that. Ain't no, no excuses. That man beat that man up. He's the best he wiping the, the shit out of his nose. He wiping his nose a snot oh, from Robert sniffing. The best fighter in the world, easy. They, they dancing like they, they should. They deserve world. what they get. Yeah, yeah now, Bud, nah, nah, Bud, Bud didn't just dominate. Yeah. Bud didn't just win. Bud dominated hey, that dude. Now, now just turned into a Bud believer. Bud dominated that dude. Yeah, he turned into a hell of a believer. I love the way this face looks. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Hey, hey, it's like it's like five niggas in the comment section. Like, and told was you, from like the third round. Down, <laughs> told you, yeah, it's you told like, me. yeah, that's what it is, bro. Ain't no excuses. Like, no, they ain't no excuses. He's just a better fighter. He beat him. He took fighter. everything Why away. You from see him. that though? Yo, he took, took everything. He took everything Yo, so away from me. You hear that? Hey, 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 what about Canelo fighting Terrence Crawford? Oh, wow. Man, don't nobody care about that shit, man. Get Canelo the fuck up out of here, bro. Let him beat up on on Charlo and make him come up two-way classes or whatever the fuck that is. Right. And then he can come back down and get his belt snatched by Bud. Hey, the That's haters it. always do that. Time. That's what the haters always do. They did the same shit when Anui just beat uh just beat Fulton. They start talking about Anui fighting tank. They always do that weak ass shit. They yeah, man. Nobody shit. trying to hear that shit, man. You they know what I'm saying? Yeah, they do that. Weak now, shit now we know. Now we know. Shit. Now we know. Now everybody from um EJ camp, they ain't gonna say shit about oh who Bud could be or if they could be Bud, anything like that. Tank, um, all the motherfuckers gonna keep their mouth yeah. shut now. Yeah, he undisputed. He yeah. undisputed. Hold on, he undisputed pound for pound on. He he should be pound for pound on everybody list, bro. It should be hands down. It should be it, no motherfucking no best debate fighter in nothing. the fucking world. Listen, the two the two division undisputed just sealed that. The two div- what y'all saying right now? The two division undisputed just sealed that, and he right. got all knockouts in the division. That shit is sealed. That shit is sealed. All best knockouts. That shit is sealed. Number hey. one pound for pound sealed. on every hey. list, bro. Right. Shit this yeah, can you say that part again? What what he got in the division? A knock? What you say? <laughs> he, say that again. He got Hold eleven up. knockouts. Two division <laughs> undisputed champion. All knockouts at one forty seven. I don't know how many it is. Wow. But wow. All that's knockouts. 11, that's eleven <laughs> knockouts, bro. Eleven. Hey, he got eleven. Hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? Too? Hey, you God, know what I can't believe I just told, heard he that. Told, he told Earl. He said, <laughs> "If you get out of line, he said, if you get out of line, I'm knocking your ass out." He, cause he said at first he said he said man I ain't going to knock him out, but he said if he get out of line, Earl said I stay out of line. He said okay, well I'm gonna do it then. You gonna have to do you gonna have to do what you gonna do. He said, he said, he said I've been getting out of line my whole life. He said well mm-hmm. I'm gonna do it then. I'm gonna do it. You said he said it. he, he said, said I'm gonna get that belt on your ass. Oh, He's yeah, like I ain't yeah, your son. Yeah, he was like I ain't, I, you know, I ain't your son. I ain't one of your kids. Yeah, I'm gonna treat you like one of my kids. We gonna have to see them. We gonna have to see them. Yeah, he treat that. He definitely was sonned tonight. That's what it was. He Bud became a Crawford. The, Bud Bud the, <laughs> Earl yeah, Crawford. That's what he is now. Cause he officially a son I mean, of Terrence Crawford. Absolutely. This particular point. Absolutely. He came out to that goddamn Eminem gonna lose yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pawns are ready. <laughs> that nigga came out to that shit. I was like, okay, that's a goddamn Eminem. It came out to Eminem. <laughs> let's let's hear let's hear Bozy gonna scream out like, all right, we want our challenge now. Man, let's hear him say that shit. Boots, man, let's hear him say go nowhere. Right. Boots need to leave Bud alone. Boots need to right. do what he gonna yeah. do. <laughs> he I'm like, nah, my nah, my son over here doing jumping jacks in the corner. Leave us alone. Yeah, right, bro. right. No, yeah, don't don't don't, don't say but name don't, too loud. Don't fuck up, don't fuck up boots uh, career before the, like let him oh, get, get started. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. cause yeah, he up next. Let him be up next, bro. Nah, I don't want Bud to tell Daddy, him. Daddy, I could him. take him, please. I could take I, him, Daddy. Nah, nah, you ain't ready for that shit. <laughs> Stop your shit right now. <laughs> but but fuck up that man and fuck up his confidence and everything moving forward, bro. I don't need yep. him to do that. You know what I'm saying? Leave, yeah, leave, up leave and come a star. Like, yeah. You know, yes, hey, too. every everybody should be getting uh fish dinners this week. Y'all should oh, have your door. Bro, hey, I am, yo. bro. I got I, my, yo, my all the fish. Yo, all the fish. I got some snapper in the hey, fridge. Check it out. What? Check it out. <laughs> hey, check it out. Buckle up. Buckle up. Check it out. I'm bringing avocado and green beans to the fish fry. <laughs> 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 Thanks. <laughs> hey, yes, bro. Yes, you gotta hear more of this. this. Yeah, dog. You just I did it, man. Oh, I'm not mad God. at all. Look at, look at, look at him. I'm not, dude. I'm not mad. That dude, look, man. That dude proved that he was what he says he is. <laughs> and I can't be, and I can't be mad at that, man. I gotta respect that, bro. Yeah, mother. I gotta respect that. I'm not living in off in La La Land. I'm not mad about. Oh, it. Really? I'm not upset about. You it. was a whole year ago. I mean, look, dude. You the aerosexual cologne gone. He was a hype job exposed. But he dominated that fight, man. <laughs> oh, but it wasn't a duck no more, fag now. Did. But not a duck no more, fag now. He messed up negotiations, fag now, last year. Hey. Hey, 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 all, hey! I promise, really I promise to y'all, this was a this was a Mike comment. In the building. This was good? a comment in I'm my shot. this was a comment on, on one of my videos, and I pinned it. I pinned it on the top of the video. It was like, uh-huh. man, I can't listen to this trash. I'm gonna listen to people who really know boxing. I'm gonna listen to Fanon and Boxing Ego. <laughs> oh, wow. I pinned this shit in one of my comments. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all this shit, bro. I'm gonna find it on here. I ain't gonna try to find it on computer, bro. <laughs> Wow. I'm fine that shit. I pinned that shit on one of my videos because that's how <laughs> fucking absurd that fucking shit is, L's, bro. Though. They, they taking L's like a motherfucker, though. I'm Why trying to believe? tell you. I can't and, believe these niggas taking Let me tell L's, you, B- BFTB yeah. got a whole fucking prediction list full of losses. BFTB just keep getting loss after loss. Yeah, these niggas, yo, these niggas don't know shit about boxing. Loss. Don't know shit about boxing. Don't know shit about <laughs> they, boxing. Said, yo, yo, they BFTB literally was on the wall. BFTB said that Earl Spence was going to obliterate Crawford and he would knock him out in the spot of fifth one. <laughs> obliterate. He used the word obliterate. Obliterate. <laughs> obliterate. Yeah, That's what he said. Yeah, I, I remember, I remember dude, when BFTB was on the video it was... and he said, he said, he said, Crance, he said, Terrence Crawford is stupid. He's like, I ain't saying he's stupid, but he's just stupid. I'm like, okay, oh, wow. see how stupid okay. his ass is tonight. Hey, bro, hey, bro, bro, think about it. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Think about this, though. PBC just lost five titles in one week. Damn. Mm, damn. They damn. lost five mm. titles in one week, bro. Mm, mm. Yo, these Earl, yo, these Earl Spence fans were just on the wrong side of history, man. Damn. This, crazy. This, game is crazy. <laughs> this, this is why, this is why. And, and, and I, I hopefully these Earl Spence fans will be able to admit at this point, this is why Earl Spence, along with these PBC dudes, were taking the easy route. This is why Take these the dudes were avoiding other fighters because they knew they would get their ass whooped. You know, right. PBC is like 0-5 or 0-6 or 0-14 against top rank. Against, against top exactly. rank, damn so is. Damn exactly. so is. And you right. know what time you, you it know, is, man. Y'all yeah, 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 yeah. also know, y'all yeah, yeah, want to know what else is so crazy? When they was all fucking just hanging on to every word they were saying, when they was talking to when Derek James said this stupid analogy that Bud is a built fighter and EJ is a developed fighter. Oh my god. Nah, nah. Earl, Earl hey, is a built fighter. I can't believe this built fighter beat the shit out of your fucking developed guy. No, no, <laughs> Earl is a built fighter because they took him, they matched, they were talking about top rank is the best match making out PBC. PBC is the best match made because they they built Earl. They needed him because Keith Thurman started fucking up. Keith Thurman started taking all this goddamn time off. He started goddamn. He lost the Manny Pacquiao and all that shit. So they needed they needed Earl to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? So they they did what they needed to do to build his name up, to build all that shit up, and they did do that. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do over there. They build you up. They pay you a half a million to a million Mm dollars, and they build you up. Look, it's been going on for years, right? And I've been always looking into the shit and saying something about it but it just i just recently got in got a chance to put my shit together far as when i put my channel together and start really talking about this shit but i've been watching all the other channels for years 
And I've been feeling like that in the back of my mind. I'm like, what the fuck is going on over at this fucking PBC? But I couldn't really put my hands on it a long time ago. But as I kept fucking with it, I started realizing what was going on. And then let me tell you something. When 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 Earl Spence did that month, when Earl Spence was on the podium one day, Earl Spence, he was he was arguing with somebody and he slipped up and he said, uh, what'd he say? Oh, he said, oh, he said, oh, you see. He said, y'all see 1.5. He said, that's what y'all see on paper. On the paper. Yeah, on paper, yeah. But, but y'all, he said, but y'all, you don't really know he said, he what I'm getting on the much. back end, right? You talk but too I'm, much. But I'm, yeah, but I'm like, but nigga, fuck that back end shit. Nigga, fuck that back end. I don't know about no, we don't know nothing about no back end shit, nigga. You just told me what you been getting on paper. That's what I really want. I really wanted to know is y'all the niggas really getting a million because I'm hearing Tank getting a million. You be getting a million. Deontay Wilder was getting a million. Deontay a Wilder was getting a, look. Deontay Wilder was getting a million a fight, mm-hmm. all the way up until Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn offered of him twelve million. So how y'all got mad? Cause Bob was trying to get like fifteen, twenty million or whatever. When when they offered Deontay Wilder from one million, making one million a fight, two million a fight, they offer you twelve point five. Then they offer fifteen. Kareem. So how Kareem, BFTV not going to ride over that? Bro. But talk Kareem, about the shit. Bird. Check this out, Kareem. Yo, yo, Al, hey, hey, Al, hey, Al, I, Al, I, I Hammond is, is the biggest pimp in the game, bro. Al hey, Hammond is the biggest pimp in the game. I gotta say this real quick. I, I will say Top Rank is the best matchmaker in boxing because they put on the best fights, and that that matchmaking lets you know when you fight the best fighters. Well, not you know, not not the popular fighters, but like the you know what I'm saying somebody that's gonna give you a run for your money, and then you go over there to these uh PBC guys where they just manufacture champions and shit. It just shows levels. Yeah. You. you but you know they didn't mean it like that though, or Bo. You know how they were trying to say it, right? No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. I'm just right, saying, like, right? I yeah. Just, no, you know, anyone. you know what they do. They do. Listen, Bob Arm not having that bullshit. Point blank. That's what it is. See, Bob Arm know what the fuck. When you get check this out. When you go with top rank, you get like between fit by by the time you get like 15, 20 fights, and you start wrecking shit. Oh, Bob going throw your ass in. You going in? You going in the den? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. you this going is, the fuck in the den? See, they didn't expect somebody to be still undefeated and holding the title. They really needed Sean Porter to beat um, Crawford. To beat Crawford. That's what they were they trying to do. Him, he was that guy. He was that sacrificial lamb that they sent to say, okay, maybe he have a, if he beat Bud, it's going to be good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If he don't, he would have ran right in that ring too. instead of run out okay. the arena. If he they were like, yo, let's have belt. a rematch. They would have kept the belt. Yeah, they, they would have kept that belt from him. They would have kept them belt. Absolutely. And Bud would have never got it. But see, that's the thing. My thing is this. He would have never if, got if a Spence, shot with him. If Spence, Spence would have got to Jeff Horn before Bud did, he would have never got a shot at Spence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Never nah, nah, he would have got the fight. Nah, nah. He would have got the fight. That That's... Uh, uh, Terrence Crawford, you know, when you move up as undisputed, you got a shot with the WBO. In the WBO, oh, so he would got okay, okay, I see what you're saying. He would have had he he would have, he he could have he could have challenged uh uh he could have went the WBO route and uh yeah challenged. Oh the yeah, WBO yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he's saying. Yeah, he right. Yeah. He yeah, would have got yeah, it. He would have yeah, got it like that. They, yeah, but they no, they would have still made him wait last. They would have let. Um, Spence oh, fight for all the other belts. They would have fight oh, for yeah. all the belts for oh, yes. and oh, then yeah. wait. Oh yeah, yeah. and then he yeah. would have made a decision. You know what? Yeah. I got all hey. the belts of it. Hey, real quick, Why real quick, I... man. Hey, hey, real quick, y'all, y'all see the screen, bro? Oh, let me look. Yeah, I yeah. I can barely see it, boxer though. I'm on my phone. I can't no, see. I don't know how I magnify that no. shit, bro. How can I fucking I can't see shit? You don't have to just Hold on, see. You can't, you can't, hey, you can't, you can't put, oh no, you can't stretch it like hey, your phone. Hey, KD, hey, I wonder if you can, you can't tap the thing, you can't uh, stretch it from the, you should be able to hit the full screen thing. Your, your chat screen, is you should be able to hit full screen, it should go to full screen. On, on, on. How you do, how you? It, damn, I forgot how to do that, but I see, I, I did it one time where they showed the full screen. I, I did my shelf screen. I hit it on my shelf. Damn, I forgot. Oh, I, think I know. I think I know how I could, um, hold up. Jab your screen. Just jab your screen. Fuck. Hold on. That ain't what jab I'm your, jab, 
give one of Earl jabs, and you know it'll come out. <laughs> hey, you petty as hell, bro. <laughs> 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 that is sick of petty as hell. Easy, you funny as hell, bro. Damn, man, ain't gonna be able to get no work from now. One of them goddamn Spencer fans, no more. I used to get at least one or two of them come on my channel and again and try to talk shit to me a little bit. Nah, I they ain't coming back no more, bro. bro. They, they damn, man, hide it. Oh, wow. They ain't watching box. I mean, what can oh, what a can lot of them done? Uh, hey, you let know, me tell you, you know, this shit killed a lot of shit. A lot of them done, man. Believe me, a lot of them. Yeah. Done. What they're gonna do if they come back to your channel and troll? What they're going to say is, yeah, yeah the fight boots, fight boots now. Come on, fight they boots. Were that you know be that's least, them. They that's it. That be, they hoping this shit be at least close. Uh, they on. can't argue that the fight was close at all. They can't even argue that with Ben and Avenue yes, or yes, anybody sir. else he fought in the welterweight division. They, they can't say, argue. Hey, 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 I'm gonna just read this shit, bro. This is from at Blitz Blizz. 9551. Nigga, I'm probably doing a video specifically about you. This nigga come on my video. He go to the title <laughs> of the video, nigga. I put the shit. I said, real talk, Earl Spence is planning to lose to Terrence Crawford on July 29th. Nigga, he mm. knew he was going to lose, nigga. He knew he was going to lose. We ain't got to talk about that mm. shit now, but he knew he was going to get his ass whooped. He put, this is why I watch for non D-Town and Ego. <laughs> These boxing channels trash or, or shit or whatever the fuck he said. And you see, I responded to this nigga. My, my response to this nigga is laughing emojis, nigga. <laughs> These clown ass niggas, bro, they come over here. And, and here go the worst part about Earl Spence fans. The worst mm -hmm. part about Earl Spence fans, like, mm -hmm. is the fact that they they actually believe that they know boxing. Instead of just saying, yo, I'm an Earl <laughs> right. Spence fan. Right. Right. And I like Earl and I'm rooting for Earl. These niggas pretend like they know boxing. Like, no, exactly. nigga. You a Earl fan who mm -hmm. watches boxing when mm -hmm. Earl fighting. You don't watch mm -hmm. fucking boxing, nigga. At mm -hmm. all. At all. Damn, yo, 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 Damn. Uh, Katie, you get you get you get that nigga a heart too, man. But yeah, yeah, I hearted, I hearted it and I pinned the shit, nigga. I pinned the shit at the top of all the comments because I wanted everybody to come on the video to see this goofy ass shit that this weird ass nigga posted. I'm doing a video specifically about this weird ass nigga. And this nigga, if you look at his picture, nigga got a, his shirt off in the motherfucker. <laughs> nigga, put your shirt on, nigga. What kind of shit is this? Well, Post that dumb ass one, shit on my video. Yay. Yeah. And who is the nigga, so, Bach, who is he? Blit, blit, bills, bills. That's his name, bro. Bills, bills. Earl sexual number four, th four, five, so could, eight, so seven, yeah. nine, three. So how? So can y'all break down the fight and uh, tell me how um, Earl Spence would win? What? What a jab, what we... the jab. The jab. Oh, the jab. The jab. What, yeah. what else? He's gonna go to the body. He gonna go to the body. Uh huh. Yeah. And, the body. Uh, so he gonna he got a high work rate. He got a high work rate, so he's gonna beat. Okay, him. okay. Bud too small, bro. Bud too small. He's gonna beat that body up. Bud too small. Oh yeah, he's too bro. small. He's too yeah, he's small. too small, right. man. He's too small. Bro. <laughs> he do, okay. Like, yeah, so we, we got yeah, oh, like y'all oh, Bud oh, fans. Oh, y'all oh, Bud, oh, but, but I gotta tell you though. And, 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 and if he can't, and if he can't, and if he can't hurt, and if he can't hurt EJ, that's it. It's over. Yes. Hold up. Let me tell you another reason that Bud can't win. I forgot to tell you one more thing. Bud better not try to download because he's not going oh, yeah, to have to be down. Oh, he, yeah, he can't be downloaded. Down. Yeah. Yeah, he, he throw hey, thousands of punches. Hey, 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 he, better not, he better not turn Southpaw because Earl the better Ooh. Southpaw. But he better Ooh. not turn Southpaw. Earl going to take that Southpaw away from him. He better stay in the Orthodox. Yeah. Oh shit! And and he bet. And only way he can win is if he run around. Don't stand in the middle. Don't stand yeah. in that domain. Don't stand <laughs> there. But he's trying to download, though. He's going to be down three rounds if he's trying to download. Earl gonna be oh, automatically down, down three rounds. We heard 78 sports. You heard 78 sports. He's already down the first round. Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, KD, click, click on the um, link I just dropped. Let me let I me tell y'all something. Bud, yes. Bud for tonight, Bud for tonight, like he heard all the shit Morning. that we've been talking, like the shit you're yes. all of us just saying. He was sit, like he, was he heard in the, all that shit. What? The they chat. said I can't do what? They said I'm not going to do what? In the chat. Listen. They not I'm going to do what? I guarantee you he listened. He beat him like he listened to that shit. Yeah. yeah. He beat right. him like he been listening to that you, shit. You see, the thing okay. is, Bud he sat beat. there and listened, and EJ fucking fell in love with it. And thought he was an Earl sexual he to thought, himself. No, no, He's what, weird. what it was, they pumped EJ up so much, man. He thought he was yeah. more than what he you know what he really is, man. Because he, he you see how he was rubbing his feet. Sexuals. You see how yeah. he was rubbing his feet on the floor. 
Like before the fight, how he rub his feet like it's over, no. like like nigga, get up out of here, like nigga. Plenty of Casamigos. Yeah, yeah. What's up with all that? Like you say, he think he bigger than they pumped him the fuck. This up. nigga, this nigga can't even buy this a Dallas Cowboy ticket, here, bro. He can't even get in the oh, Dallas nigga. Cowboy <laughs> fucking stadium anymore. That nigga get this done. nigga the fuck up out of here. D <laughs> level <laughs> fighter, bro. Jamal Nizi, we gonna take the two dollars. We gonna get us some boats and hoes. Matter of fact, fuck that. It's a celebration in this bitch. <laughs> Celebration! Breakfast! Breakfast! Celebration, Breakfast! Show to your titties! Hey, nigga, Earl. Thanks. Oh, my God. You still had that one with your mouth needs your titties. And you know we're dropping the link. We definitely are. After the post fight, we're dropping the link. Oh, no, no. I want this. I want to. I was cooking this nigga the whole fight. I was cooking this nigga the whole fight, bro. That shit was hilarious, bro. I remember that shit. Oh, you, uh, you, Dine, you did the fight? You was you did the whole fight like, like hmm. Fanon did? Yeah, yeah. No, I did a watch party. Yeah, bro. Hmm. I've been on for... It's been nine hours, bro. I've yeah, been that on. man been on. Yeah. You That's been on it. Old, it's nigga, nine nigga. hours, 55 Man, minutes. look, I just got nigga. back in the house, though. I went, I went to D.C. to watch the fight. I went to D.C. to a big fight party to watch the hmm. fight, and I just got back. So I got back like about an hour ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't blame KD, me, man. KD, KD, you been on 10 hours, man. Yeah, I've been on 10 hours, man. Riding right. around, man. Riding around right, right, right and getting it, man. Right, 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 celebration. Right, right, champion of the world. Riding right, around right, and getting it. Yeah, right. that's Yo, what I do. This shit is crazy. That's what we do down here in ATL. Riding right, around right, and we get it. Riding right, around right, and we get it, This shit is man. crazy, man. God damn. It's hey, going bro. down. Man, what a celebration. It, it, yeah, it, it, so, it was so it was so a point. I feel so What wrong to do, bro? Yo, it was so a point. I was like, yo, come on. Give some kind of something back. No, 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 I I already know. Yeah, I'm lying. I'm lying. It feels so good. But what, ooh, what feels ooh, so fuck good that more than anything? Y'all know it feels so good more than anything. Oh, look at it that little man. It feel good being ooh, on this I'm side. Oh, I'm a cut on this side. Oh, God damn. <laughs> God damn. Look at Katie. 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 Look it's goddamn, man. Oh, I'm going to become a Earl boxing dot. He's throwing punches and bunches now. A boxing dot section. Bro. That's what Earl we are trying right. to think. The Earl's in the K in the middle oh, of the ring. Oh, he with a good shot. Good shot. Second good mm. shot he done caught Bud with. Ooh. I'm going to watch this shit over and over. I'm going to watch that fight about. 300 times, bro. Yeah, I'm watching shit yeah. 300 times, yeah, too, man. Too. Bro. Boy, you two gonna get a lot of hits on that motherfucker. Don't it feel good? Don't it feel good, y'all being on the right side, though, man? Because I asked. Oh, it's so fucking I great, actually, man. I, hey, hey, I asked to uh, discover Earl first before I did Bud. That's a funny thing about it. Earl landed mm-hmm. a good, a good shot in that round, but that's the best you can say about Earl. Bud controlled oh, the round. Shit. Bud is up four rounds to zip right now. Bud beating the dog, Ooh. the dog cat. Giraffe, lion, tiger, bear, oh my shit, out of Earl Spence Jr. right now. The shit is looking ugly. The doctor already came in. If you're just tuning in, the doctor already came in and checked in on Earl. Want to make sure he's all right. Want to make sure he can continue. Oh, yeah. The shit ain't looking I good almost good forgot right now, about Earl. that. I almost forgot but about that. Yo. He did land a good shot. Maybe Earl can still make the fight competitive because right now it's not competitive right now. Yo, they right had now, a stretcher. Right now, they had a stretcher after right next fight, to this. I'm going ne- after next Fernand to the ring, and Boxing Egos. <laughs> them niggas need to be shut down. They need to be shut down. I don't know what the fuck they be talking about. Hey, Boxing Egos. A lot of these channels, though. They not the only ones, though. You get Fernand and Boxing Ego, and I'm going to get motherfucking BFTV. Oh, yeah. Get that motherfucker. Get that motherfucker. I'm going after all them niggas, bro. I'm not all them niggas. I'm going going after all them niggas. I want all the smoke. I want all the smoke. Get all them motherfuckers, man. We're coming coming after the Alphabet Boys. Yeah, I'm going going after the whole crew. Yeah. Yo, them, yo, these niggas, yo, these niggas lucky I don't have a channel because I know how to fucking <laughs> troll, nigga. I'm <laughs> make motherfuckers want to kill me. Word. It's a nigga out there to be controlling, boy. He be he fun as hell. Uh, rebel life, rebel life. Uh, that nigga he rebel life, life, yeah. He be trolling like a he motherfucker, be trolling man. Trolling like a motherfucker, bro. Yo, that's, that's, my rebel life, hey, life. Yo, that's my guy right there. Rebel life, no doubt. I fuck with rebel. Life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Can somebody, can somebody, like somebody, can somebody find out where Jamal Neezy live at? Just find him. Just, just, just try to be his friend and 
find out his Addy. Because that motherfucker stolen the shit out of me. I hate his ass. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Oh man, a lot of these niggas don't know what the fuck they be talking about don't, at all. Nigga, at we can we, we hey. the fuck up. Bro, we go be, round six. Bud will be the <laughs> shit out of this dude, bro. Like like somebody somebody now, make a, made a single adjustment. Like somebody just now, <laughs> now Earl is backing up. So now he's trying to fight off his back foot now. <laughs> Something that he hasn't done in all 29 fucking fights. <laughs> And, and, and Derrick ain't supposed to be this Earl great still trainer. in the South Park stance. Earl <laughs> only yeah. a few body shots. Good. <laughs> right jab by Bud. Oh, yo, what KD said about the back foot? That shit was funny. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> oh, hey, to be hey I just I see I see knockout boxing eighty six. Good body shot. Good quick. body shot by Earl on the inside. Good. Up. He said, "What now?" Knockout boxing '86, trying to cover his grounds. He giving Bud his props. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that nigga. Hey, you come out <laughs> early, man. Get it all, get it out. He done made his little video giving Bud his props. Yo, niggas, nigga, yo, nigga, look, uh, niggas nigga making videos. Times. I ran, I ran to that nigga on KD channel, and I went back and forth with him, and I ran to him again on uh Young Billy, Billy Billionaire channel. And I caught that nigga ass. I said, I said, knock out. Now I'm telling you, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Your ass, nigga. Pause. If if uh if uh Bud whoop this nigga ass, nah, nigga. Bud gonna got man. Now Earl gonna drag his ass. Earl gonna drag. I said, okay, I'm coming to see you now. He said, well, come on, see me. I said, nigga, I'm coming to your channel and see you, nigga. I'm telling you. Mm. Only got them. Nah, Earl gonna, I, Earl gonna smash, Earl gonna smash this boy, man. Earl gonna, all right, okay, you talking all hey, that? He gonna bitch smash shit? this boy, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. yeah. Hey, he gonna, he gonna he smash, he gonna bud. smash his, he gonna smash his face into his fist. <laughs> that's what, that's what he meant to say. He, he said that, uh, book, knock, knockout boxing said in his own words to all of us that y'all was right. Bud does do all the things that I said he don't do. That's what he said in the video. Yo, these niggas, these niggas try to come on in the middle of the night with nobody who could find them doing the video, and they, nah, they send it nah, out and go to bed. No, nah, yeah. nigga, I need them yeah. niggas out there in the daytime. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> nigga. I need <laughs> prime YouTube nigga, hours, nigga. Li- between I eight to five. I need your live to be like right. I need your live to be that the whole fucking live, like you've been yeah, doing like, all this Oh shit, time. it's five in the morning. Let me throw a video out. Real quick, and then I'll uh, go to bed. These motherfuckers go on my ass. Know, y'all do know y'all, y'all, y'all on that bullshit. I did a video about it. I did it. it came out at <laughs> three in the morning. I did it. I did y'all, do, I mean. y'all do. Y'all do know we are the minority, right? So, we oh got yeah, yeah. Ass. We the minority, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's, oh yeah. It's twenty. We we hey. twenty. We twenty to one, bro. It's twenty more motherfucking Earl sexual channels and fans and spencers. To us, wood people, <laughs> and I wouldn't hey, want it any right, other bro. way. It's been a while, it's been a while, and I've been waiting, bro. What you just said is so true. <laughs> like, I appreciate every, each and every fucking last one of y'all for stepping the fuck up and coming yes, up sir. in the world because I've been looking for like where, where motherfuckers at to rectify some of this shit, man. What the fuck <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't stack the fuck up now. I'm loving this yes, shit. I'm sir. out of y'all out there now. That's what's up. No doubt. Yes, I'm, yes, hope, I'm, hope, I'm hoping that I ain't get my money because niggas are still emotional. So I'm going to just give it a day. So <laughs> they get their mind right and give me my money, yeah. Because I want my money. You give it a day. Hey, you, hey, my you, on I got nah, me man. some bread tonight, too. Buckle up, got some bread tonight. Yeah, real <laughs> night. Yeah, we, we got it. Buddy, buddy, In fact, buddy, I got to check. I got to check my fan door because I fucking put money on there. I got to right there by Bud. You got to Earl either. slowing down. He need to be punching. I don't understand. What happened to Earl not letting Bud rest? At any point of the round, what happened to that? Right, that <laughs> pressure, that pressure, that guy. Ooh, good right that jab by Bud. Good right jab by Bud. Still in the southpaw stance. <laughs> <laughs> Bud ain't no switch hitter. He's not a switch hitter. <laughs> <laughs> I be hearing niggas say, bro. I don't Earl know if I heard nut this shot. shit. I heard some niggas say that, <laughs> that Bud ain't no switch hitter. What nigga? What are you saying, bro? What? It's crazy how Earl was. Yo, looking, I, I bro. thought yo, I thought Derek yo, James remember? taught him how to fight orthodox. I thought he was gonna pull it out today. Yo, Man. remember, remember when Tank? Remember what Tank said? Uh, 
Earl Spence got a got a uh, steel shield and, and Terrence Crawford got a glass shield or some shit. Yeah, uh, he, he had to show him. He said he had to show him. He said he had to show him. You sound like you from the uh from up there from Boston. You from Baltimore, bro? Who you talking about? Who you talking about? Who you talking about? Me? Who that book it up? Yeah. Okay, book up. You from Baltimore? Yeah. Yeah, cause I, I I hear I hear how you sound, bro. I say well, shout out to you, bro. Raven Brave is my favorite team, but I see how you talking. So you don't fuck yeah, with you, you don't fuck with tank. You don't fuck with tank like that. I fuck with you know if you know me if you like listen to me like that you know like I don't have nothing bad really to say about no fighters. I respect right. all the fighters right. and tank just because tank live in my city like. He don't get no he don't get no pass with buckle up. Like, <laughs> you don't get no pass like just cause you, you got you got you gotta put the work in. Buckle up admire the sport of boxing for what Big it facts. is. Buckle Big up facts. admires the facts. I admire the, the belts and every I like the, the super belts. If I was a boxer and I came in the sport and all of us was in the same division and boxer die had a belt, or blah 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 had a belt, and such yeah. such such I want the motherfucking belt. Ain't that yeah, the name yeah. of the sport? Yes, I'm going to talk yes, some shit. Big hey, hey, buck, hey, buck it up. That's what Big the what part of, uh, What part of Baltimore are you from? I'm from South Baltimore, Cherry Hill. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I used to live in Baltimore too, man. Out in uh, out in Dutch. Oh, Dutch Village? Over East Baltimore. Okay. Yeah. I know what you I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's like over east, like it's kind of like close to the county. Yeah, north, north, east, north East, yeah. North East Baltimore, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Damn, that's what's up, man. Baltimore in the house, man. Y'all D y'all DMV niggas up, up, up in here. But I'm saying, like, I'm I'm originally from Crown Heights, Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? But you know, my pops was military, he got stationed out Fort Meade. Okay. That's what oh, brought yeah. me to, um, okay. bro, um Yeah, Baltimore. I play up in your state sometimes too. I got some homies up there. I done been back and forth up and down. I fucks with I fucks with some dudes up and why. Yeah, so I'll be back and forth, but you know. But it's a lot, it's a lot of it's a lot of people that live in Baltimore that's from New York. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm it's still, a lot of I'm still here in Brooklyn right here now, man. Yeah, it's a lot of New York dudes down here too. You know, so but, but, like, yeah, but, yeah, Booker like, got like that hard. Down there. He got that hard goddamn Baltimore slang too, bro. I can hear that shit, dude. Boy, like, yeah, yeah I, 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 talk, love, bro, I, I say, oh no <laughs> doubt, I, I love my city to death. This born yes, and raised, yes, yes, I'm here. I'm like in the streets. It's like a living room for me. Nigga, shout out, nigga, shout out, shout out, shout out to the Ravens this year. Nigga, Lamar Jackson got all his pieces. Nigga, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Yo, I'm glad he got rid of fucking uh fucking. Peterson, man, that motherfucker. Oh, Peterson, yeah. All last year, man. Yeah, bro. Peterson ain't been the same, bro. He, 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 he was getting burnt like a motherfucker, bro. Yeah, well, we gonna give that goddamn. We giving our court. We giving Lamar one more chance, one more year. Yeah, bro. he got all his pieces, bro. He ain't got no more excuses now, bro. He got, he got all them. He got all them weapons, bro. Ain't no. They, excuses, they, they got it. They got to beef up on that secondary. I thought that's where the real problem was at. Right, where they were getting burnt over the top. Yeah. Yeah. I felt I felt bad for Marlon Humphreys. Yeah, I'm like, damn, bro. Yeah, Humphrey, 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 Humphrey. Hold on, hold on, y'all. I gotta get into some football shit, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Roast, my bad, my bad. We, yeah, this, this, this bud night, this bud night, this bud night. Yeah, this bud yeah. Night right here. I got you, I got you, I got you. Goddamn. I'm about to yeah, go to the Boxing but, Ego channel next. That's what I'm about to but, hey, but, but, <laughs> hey, but let me say balls. this. Let me, but, but let me tell you this far as far as on Tank, though. Yeah, he got to step on the game. Oh, nice little chopping <laughs> left by both. Go ahead, he go ahead. What you say, he, I say, I say, he got as far as tank. Anything you want to know, as far as on the boxing and with, with tank, he got to step on the gas and get shit going. Like we, ain't, we ain't giving him no easy pass shit neither. Like right now, nigga, it's Shakur, or you gotta go chase Devin, or you can sure. go fight To, yes, or you sir. can go. We ain't, you can even do a rematch. I like that. We're, I like we're that. We give you a pass on a rematch with Ryan at 140. If you do it at 140, it's certain fights he can get. He can get a pass on, but all that shit, like they talk about trying to fight him. No way and up. No, hey, uh, uh-uh. uh, ain't no, uh, uh-uh. uh, no, no, uh-uh. no. Nah, he need, nah, he need to fight goddamn. Uh-uh. He need uh-uh. to fight Devin Shakur, like you say, Devin Shakur or T or go or, or fight To. You know, yeah. uh, uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, Somebody yeah. at 135 or 140 top tier fighter. That's what Tank teammates are like oxygen. Yeah, beautiful. They can pump you up. Man, yeah, man. I'm gonna got them. I gotta get out. I gotta get off here, man, for a little bit, man. But I'm gonna shout out to y'all, man. We did this shit, bro. I'm, I'm yes, sir. Out.
I'm gonna get me a two hour sleep and then I'm finna get right back up. I'm finna goddamn cut my clips and shit. Fuck that. Uh, yeah, a lot of niggas going to work on y'all Earl Spence fans. Y'all niggas need to be worried. Worried. Oh, Trying man, to tell you, gotta, boy. They'll tell you, KD, you doing it, man. You killing, you killing these niggas tonight, bro. I know y'all niggas finna pull an all nighter and shit. I'm like, I gotta give me a couple of hours of sleep. God yeah. damn, I'm gonna all day. Nah, you're right. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm Hey, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to get out of here too. But I want to say, man, let me tell you, man, I fucks with your content, man. When look, and I'm not even on here. <clears throat> well, I don't get, jump on your channel. I'll be, I listen to your ass like, yo, you, you is the shit. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate I that, man. That. My so, boy KD, man, he be putting it out look, there, man. Hit that like sign if y'all listening in. Hit that like sign for my guy. And if you ain't subbed over here, you definitely need to hit that goddamn uh, subscribe yes, sir. button. And um, I'm going to mm-hmm. get out of here. And I can't see all of y'all that's on here, but it was hey, a good hey, panel hey, tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm Have a good night, bro. I'm a good night. You too, bro. Yeah, hey, yeah, Buckle up, got a great there, channel, man. Look, y'all hey. already know I'm coming. I'm getting ready to hit him. I'm getting ready to hit him in their head. I'm, I got y'all. Yeah, I got y'all. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sell I'm it to you, bro. No doubt. So I'm gonna get back with everybody. Uh, y'all, uh, y'all be good. I get back. You too. All right, man. salute, Buckle up, man. Y'all right, subscribe to Buckle up Boxing Talk, man, on YouTube, man. He got a real good boxing channel, man. Y'all be sure yes, to that. And subscribe to the XO Factory while you're at it. Along with my guy Bold and Understandings, along with my guy Kareem Boxing News, man. All of them got great boxing channels, put out great content, man. Y'all show them boys some love, man. Appreciate you, know you bro. What I'm saying? Love. Yeah, yes, sir. it was great. It was great tonight, man. It was man funny tonight, bro. Oh, yeah. It yeah, was a, a, it was a man at, down. It was a man <laughs> down. I'm about to hang man it up down, tonight, too. I'm about to hang it up right this morning, man. Shit, it oh, was yeah. funny as fuck. Hell yeah, bro. We had a blast, man. I'm probably going to wrap it up real soon, too, man. I want to listen to some more uh-huh. ego and cook some of these niggas a little bit more. But yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely going to wrap it up soon, though, man. All right, man. All right, I, I guess right, I say have a good morning, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good morning. Later, Show enough here's fast yeah. something in the morning, man. Good morning, bro. All right, peace. Peace. peace I know Bo sleep. I already nah, know. Nah, I'm here. I'm here. Bo, you up? Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm yeah. shocked, man. You know, you normally be sleep. You be here, but sleep. I'm right down on my notepad. All the <laughs> topics I'm going to be talking about, man. I'm like, <laughs> I, oh, man, bro. I'm... Shit, I'm, I'm gonna hit these dudes up for real. I they deserve, they deserve, they deserve smoke for at least another two years. They they deserve two years. It, they put out five years worth of rhetoric and bullshit. They they deserve at least two years worth of smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like these niggas are gonna get trolled. Like now, anything that I say. Anything that they say, any kind of boxing like take that they have, is gonna be rebutted with the fact that these niggas were trolling. These niggas were caping hard for Earl Spence, the same dude that just got dominated by Terrence Bud Crawford, right? Which is the same dude that dude that these dudes said Bud was ducking. They said Bud was ducking Earl, bro. Hell yeah! They I really said this shit. shit. Wow, bro. Wow, wow. I can't believe I heard that shit either, bro. And I can't unhear it, unfortunately. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so this shit is hilarious to me. Uh, I'm going to listen to a little boxing ego, man, and, you know, get his reaction. Well, let's hear this shit. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not on his team, so I can't really say what his game plan was. But I do think he didn't plan to be knocked down by a counter shot. <laughs> off balance in round two like uh, and sometimes that level of embarrassment like in a major fight that oh, would knock you off your game he was embarrassed that's why he i don't you know what i'm saying because that's not <laughs> you don't really train for that unless you know i mean you got dropped in sparring or something nobody's training to get hurt <laughs> nobody's really trained like you can get hurt in sparring i get that but nobody's training for that nobody's training like oh what do I, I mean, I don't know many boxers that train. I think Floyd might be the only person that does that, where he trains, where, like, drills on what to do if you're, like, badly hurt and stuff like that. Oh, uh, Errol Spence. Deal with this going forward tomorrow, next week. Are you, it's going to just bad night, shake it off, and all is good, or are you going to 
you know, stew over this for a while and it's going to hurt bad. Uh, nah, I'm not going to stew over it all. Um. <laughs> but now I'm going to bring it up. Crawford's the better man. I've already admitted that. There were people from Team Crawford that was calling and, like, harassing and stuff like that. So, you know, we get caught up in the moment. And I think certain way, just certain demeanors and things from Crawford and how his team acted, you know, oh, he, it oh, was what it was. But oh, his team acted. 50-50 fight on paper. We needed no, to see it. No, it wasn't. We needed it. We no, it wasn't. It wasn't a 50-50 fight on Crawford showed pure separation, came out with a dope intro, the fishnet. You didn't hear me, you know, saying I had a problem with that. I like that. He had the tagline, fish fry, and he fried the fish, the big fish. Errol Spence got a you know, hold his head up, hold his chin up, not let one lot loss define him. I think Errol Spence can be back um, at 54. There's still good fights for him. And that's just boxing, you know. Someone's going to win. Someone's going to lose. Oh, It's, it's just, just when things got sticky, Errol Spence didn't make the proper adjustments. And Crawford continued to stay, like, laser-focused and pulled away on him. You know what I mean? Bro, these niggas are hurt, 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 hurt. They hurt, bro. Hurt. Oh, it's D Town boxing. He say, he say Terrence Crawford is pound for pound number one. What's going on, fam? It's D Town boxing back again with another. Remember, like, subscribe, and comment. Now, fam, we seen the fight. I told you, I'm not going to make no excuses. Terrence Crawford, a better fighter than Earl Spence Jr. That quick jab got hold to him. I believe that that was the checkmark jab for Terrence Crawford. He looked like, you know, the bigger man. He was a better fighter. Now he's undisputed at 147. He did something that no other champion have done besides Carisha Shields. So I have to give my hats off to Terrence Crawford. I'm still here, still talking about Earl Spence, still talking about Terrence Crawford, still talking about Deontay Wilder, still talking about Javante Tank Davis. I ain't going nowhere. Y'all can flood the comments. Guess what? I'm still rocking with Earl Spence Jr. That's just what that is. So y'all let me know what y'all think, family. It's D-Town Boxing. Signing out. Yeah, you can. You stay signed out. You stay. You stay signed out. <laughs> Let's look at the comments. That, that's that's all a lot of them can say. They they, they all gonna say the same shit. They're like, I'm still team. I'm still team. Uh, Spence. Uh, I'm I'm still you know rocking with them. That's all they can say. <laughs> Cause like I'm still in disbelief how easy Bud dismantled Earl. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody put, I had to be convinced that Crawford convinced me he cold blooded. It is what it is. Man, I'm sick of watching Earl get picked apart, but counter shots and jabs with like lasers. Congrats to him. <laughs> oh boy, I was wrong about Crawford. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm glad you niggas finally waking up out your out there. These niggas are finally uh out of the sunken place. <laughs> I, I'm just, it's ridiculous that it took all this to get you niggas out the sunken place. Like, 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 come on, bro. You really thought that Earl Spence was gonna run through Bud Crawford when he couldn't run through Mikey Garcia, couldn't run through Danny Garcia, couldn't run through Sean Porter, which is the same dude that Bud Crawford stopped easily without no issues. And you think that the Sean Porter that Earl Spence fought and the Sean Porter that uh, uh, Terrence Crawford fought were so different? I don't, I don't understand what was so different about Sean Porter that Earl fought versus the Sean Porter that Bud Crawford fought. It was probably like a year difference. He fought Earl, and then he fought Earl maybe like two years prior to fighting uh, Terrence Crawford. Mm -hmm. And it's not like he was undefeated when he fought Earl Spence. He had two losses when he fought Earl Spence. And Yo, he Canelo, put up a good Canelo, fight and almost beat Earl. Yo, Go Canelo ahead. tweeted out. He said, congrats, Terrence Crawford. You are a fucking great fighter. Well deserved. Hey. Canelo knew. Canelo even called it. Like, bro, Terrence Crawford going to win this fight, bro. And, man, and Earl was actually mad about that shit. Did you see that? Yeah, he's like, he's like he betted on himself against Devo. And 
he got beat by Bevo. I mean, that is true, though. He did bet on himself against Bevo. Thought he was going to get an easy win. Bevo beat the shit out of him. Yeah, but that ain't got nothing to do with him picking Crawford, nigga. Why? 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 Well, wow, look at this. No, shit, no, no, I ain't, no. I ain't had not, they ain't had nothing to do with picking Crawford. Yeah, yeah, it just, uh, it, it was just, it was just, uh, crazy. Like how you know Earl Spence got mad about that shit. Yeah, just go to show you how insecure he was, cause he knew at the end of the day that Bud Crawford was a better yeah. fighter. I feel like, I feel like, uh, the 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 Earl sexual fanboy channels. I feel like these dudes are the are the are the guys that convinced Earl that he could beat Bud Crawford. All right, they put enough of a battery in his back for him to actually believe that he could beat Bud Crawford. Like, man, no, no, you, you never was like, you never, you never was that guy to beat Bud Crawford. Never, you know what I'm saying? You never was that guy. Never. You know what I'm saying? Is that something that you're taking advantage of Saturday night? Oh no, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to play it back and fight it out. Errol, Canelo's uh, backing Bud to win the fight. Why is he wrong? Huh? Canelo's backing Terence Crawford to beat you. Why Why has he got it wrong on Saturday night? Uh, he got it wrong because he's not God. And he backed himself to beat Bovall and he, he got his ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what, Earl? You got your ass whooped. <laughs> I'm having too much fun right there at five in the morning. <laughs> Yo, I, I uh, bet you, I bet you, I bet you Frank Martin ain't gonna try to make gonna call Earl Spence and make that fight with Keyshawn. Ooh, I wish that was the undercard, bro. That would have been Man, great. If, if Frank Martin great. go to Earl Spence, Earl Spence is gonna be like, dude, you saw what the fuck happened to myself tonight? You think I'm gonna put you in here with Keyshawn? <laughs> Clearly, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> oh man, Earl got his ass whooped, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You the Canelo got his ass whooped. You don't know that. Well, you get you got your ass whooped, Earl. How about that? How about that? All right, your insecure ass. Instead of just saying, okay, he entitled to his pain. That just go to show you how insecure and fucking and fucking immature this dude Earl is, bro. I think it was somebody, I don't know who it was, but they said Earl got no class, bro. I believe that shit, bro. He ain't got no fucking class. He ain't got no decorum. Like, you a grown-ass man. Why? If somebody picking you to lose in a fight, I never understood why fighters get emotional about that shit. Tank is the same way. He get mad when somebody pick him. Like, when 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 dude, when dude picked Devin Haney to beat him, ain't no 50-50 fight, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, why are you getting all emotional, bro? Like, if you know you can win the fight, bro, like it shouldn't be no big deal. You feel insecure, obviously, for a reason. You're getting See, all I emotional, you, uh, obviously, for a reason. Hey, I, I bet you, um, Earl Spence gonna look for three coaches now. Remember, Earl Spence, you said, <laughs> Oh, they shit. Of Terrence Crawford had three coaches, <laughs> right? So, oh, he got three coaches. I bet you, Earl Spence gonna look for three coaches, right? Yeah, yeah. I wonder, yeah, I got, but... I, man. I, I got a whole, I got a whole list. I had some shit like, like yesterday, um, yesterday for the weigh-ins, right? That chick, Kate Abdo, or whatever, she's sitting up here like, oh no, it's not a 50-50 crowd. It's a pro Earl Spence crowd, and and even the other two people was like, nah, it's 50-50. Like she was so much a uh, Earl sexual herself. I was like, damn, don't make me have to call call her husband bully. <laughs> fucking Bob, what's his name? Akin Barack, one of them dudes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Had to call Barack and shit. Be like, yo, you need to go get your woman. For real, she for real. It, she, she all on Earl, Earl Spence with the crowd and shit. Yeah, man. These dudes crazy, man. Crazy as hell, man. This nigga Earl. Man. So much content, man. So little time, bro. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had more time to do these videos, bro. But I don't be, I just don't be having time like that. You know what I mean? But mm. so much content right now I could do about this, man. The next video probably going to be like uh, Terrence Crawford still ain't fight nobody. I think that's going to be the name of my next oh, video. Man. I got so much content. You're going to hurt him with that one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> like you still wait. Yo, matter of fact, matter of fact, you need to put that clip for old grandmas for um don't be a minute so I drink your juice in the hood. After she got knocked over the table and she got up, she was like, you still hit like a bitch, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Bo, you going to be trolling. I can just tell, bro. You got a lot of ideas right now cooking. Yeah, oh, shit man. Got I, 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 I got to I write all this shit down before I forget, too, man. Oh, man. Such but a great I, night, I had, bro. I had, I had wrote a list up on Friday. I was like, yo, I'm about to get these topics out the way i just never cleaned on to them i hopped on two new topics because they came out trying to say terrence crawford missed weight and shit i was like what <laughs> yeah bro i heard that they talk i heard bud missed weight three times nigga what come on bro like a new fucking narrative every five hours with these dudes bro for real. But Bud been Bud been on weight for a year now, so he you know what I'm saying he been at 147 for the last year. So you mean to tell me he missed weight three times? Get the fuck out of here, bro! And Crazy. Shit, fucking get Gilly, Gilly Gilly the kid talking. He remember Gilly the kid when he was interviewing uh, Earl Spence. He was trying to make fun of Terrence Crawford resume. He's like, oh, this man for it. Jeff Horn, Mean Machine, and all these niggas that he named did better than fucking Earl Spence tonight. Right, they all did. And the next, the name of the next video is gonna be like Avocado did better <laughs> than Jamal Easy. Avocado did better than Earl against Terrence Crawford. <laughs> Yo, that that shit that shit is already floating around on Twitter too, man. Everybody putting in there, they like they like fucking. <laughs> Avocado, Mean Machine, niggas even threw in fucking um in Dongo. They was like, even he did better than Earl. I said, damn, that's fucked up. Hey, but true though, Earl got dominated, bro. I feel like he landed probably like I could probably count on two hands the amount of punches he actually landed on Bud. Two hands, clean punches. You know, he like, he landed some good like body shots that here and there, but other than that, bro, it was all Bud. And not only that, bro, Bud was so on target. Like Bud landed sixty, almost sixty percent of his punches, bro. How the how the fuck how the fuck you land almost sixty percent of your punches? You you're you're hitting the target more than you're missing. Sixty percent of your punches. That's what happened when you be. That's what happened when you stay flat footed and you fight no flat footed fighters and shit. Right. Them, them niggas stand right in front of you. Right. Turns Bang it out. His ass angles. I was listening to this uh this uh interview with Earl and he was talking about how um how he kind of came up and he was like yeah he came up he went to a Mexican gym that's how he came up yeah. so they they brought him into a Mexican gym so this dude learned how to fight. Mexican style. That's really what his style is, and it makes a whole lot of sense. I didn't, I didn't know that about Earl. That's how he fights, bro. Mexican, Mexican style. Balls flat footed. Balls to the wall. You know, like, bro. That's how you get your ass yo, whooped. <laughs> yo, that that second, the second to last picture I put in it in in a private chat, man. When I saw those pictures, I didn't even think that was really Earl Spence. I thought somebody. Um, put like a different face on it, and then when I zoomed in on it, I said, "Oh shit, that's really Earl Spence getting his ass knocked around." I, I was just like, "Damn, he he got beat so bad it, it it don't even look like him." Yeah, bro, he he got his ass beat from pillar to post, from pillar to post. He got his. He got a five year long ass whoop. That's what he got, bro. I don't even think his his kids gonna recognize his ass, man. I'm like, come home. He come home, daughter gonna be like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying like, yeah. for real, for real. Keep it quilted means. Actually, I don't want to play this. I might get flagged. I'm gonna leave that shit off. I was gonna play some highlights, but nah, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. That's how you get flagged out here. That's how you get flagged. Let me see yeah, some hey, of the reactions, hey, click, though. Hmm? Hey, click on that uh, 
Oh yeah, Deontay Wilder started making excuses and shit. Yeah, I want to hear this shit. Here we go. Did you I wasn't. I wasn't. I mean, that's what he's all about. I never got you before, champ. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Let me give you a different mark. Where we at, baby? Come on, Bob Squad. Watch out, watch out. Good luck, the Bob Squad. Blessings, 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 blessings. Stop it. I wasn't. God damn, I couldn't do this shit. Yeah, I was about to say that. I'm like, yeah, that's the price of being a celebrity. Um, um, but you know. Man, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. He talking about Spence look drained. I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, him and Fran Sean Cruz using the same excuse and shit. Looked a little drained, my man ass. I don't want to hear that shit, nigga. You a welterweight champion, nigga. And, I don't want to hear that and, shit. And, and Deontay Wilder, you know. He was a teammate of um, Terrence Crawford for the Olympic trials, and that motherfucker sat there and, and capped for Earl Spence. He looked a little drained. Get the fuck out of here. As fighters, we want to fight on. We want Don't stop it. Don't throw no towel in. That's what we train for, to, to keep going. And that's what I'm glad they didn't stop it when they stopped it. But, um, you know, uh, Terrence did it with ease. And... Um, you know, he definitely, uh, he's the best in the, in that division, for sure. It was a pretty dominant performance. Do you think uh, Spence has an opportunity to for a rematch? Is there anything he can do to change this, turn it around? I don't know. I mean, that's up to those guys. That's up to those guys to decide as far as a rematch and uh, with his coaches and stuff like that. So I'm not really sure. But uh, whatever they do, you know, I wish them nothing but blessings to them. You know, even with Earl, you know, he'll be back. He wanted the best. You can't deny it. You know, he's one of the best, and he'll come back even stronger. I believe that. How long do you think before we get to see you in the ring again? Uh, so maybe January. Me versus Josh going down. Can't wait. Radio Raheem with Deontay Wilder. That dude's such a fucking cornball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Radio Raheem. Look at Zab. Zab reacting to the fight. Going <laughs> like pound for pound. Little giant boxing. Brooklyn legend Zab Judah, formerly the last undisputed welterweight, yeah, and now, yeah. all right, it's a new day. Yeah. What did you think of the atmosphere here today? Tonight, I am really, really 100% the last. <laughs> there is a new undisputed king, yo. And king. Terrence, Terrence Bud Crawford, I mean, we got to take our hat up to him. He, he pulled it off terrific, okay. terrific, miraculously. You know, it, you know, people keep talking about this number one spot. If they don't give it to him, it bullshit. Leave him alone. Get a man a spot. He earned it. He deserved it. And he got it. So number one pound for pound in your book. But were you surprised how easy he walked down Spence made 100%, it look? 100%. 100%. I didn't think. Thank you. Thank you. I think that um, I thought that, you know, they matched up evenly on paper and everything like that. You know, I thought Earl would have, you know, you know, for some reason, Bud looked him way faster than um, um he looked at it. They did not match up evenly on paper, bro. Lies, bro. Stop this shit. <laughs> Stop this shit, man. I hate when people say that shit. How they match up evenly on paper? What attribute does Earl have over Bud? Is he faster? No. Is he stronger? No. Does he punch harder? No. Does he have better boxing skills? No. Does he have a better timing? No. Does he have more tools? No. Like every question when you're looking at attributes, when it comes when you're looking at a fighter fighter's attributes, every question you ask, does Earl Spence have this attribute over Bud Crawford? The answer to the question is fucking no, bro. They did not match well, I, up I think, evenly on Piper. I think they're trying to um Compared, like they try to say that he was the stronger man or the bigger man and everything else, so that's what they were thinking. And but even that, that even probably, even that argument is trash because every single one of Bud's opponents at welterweight were bigger than him, bro. So allegedly, allegedly, Kavalaskis was bigger than him. Sean Porter was bigger than him, allegedly. Right? Who else was bigger than him? Um, Kell Brook supposed to be way bigger than him, allegedly. Got stopped in six rounds. 
and also, and also, they a lot of people were trying to say that Earl Spence hit harder than uh, how, Terrence Crawford. How you hit harder? So that's so stupid. How you hit harder? But your last four fights are twelve round decisions. Your wins are decisions. You barely knocking people out, and even when you get stoppages, you don't even drop your opponent. Like, come on, bro. The shit didn't make no sense to me when people would break this shit down. And it would get even dumber when they would say that Spence would knock out Bud. Like, come on, bro. Like, how is this man going to knock out Bud when he could knock out Mikey Garcia, bro? I would give Tank a better chance of knocking out Bud than Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, at least Tank knocked out, uh, what's the name? Mario Barrios, who moved up to 147, and Thurman couldn't even knock him out. You know, like... Yeah. Shit makes zero sense to me, man. But let's let's keep. You got something you want to add? Nah, I'm just saying that's that's what the excuse. You know, what I'm saying. I mean, that's what they try to use to make it even and shit. And then you know, of course, they use the infamous Crawford ain't fought nobody type of excuse. So they made it seem like Earl Spence been more through the grind than Terrence Crawford. Even though Earl Spence himself said he was taking the easy route. Yeah, sure did. Easy route, Earl. Back at it again with more of the bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, let's keep it keep it going with Zay out. Uh, uh, Spence didn't look quick at all. He didn't have no speed or anything. He never had speed, but let's keep it going. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I mean, he, he really, I mean, that's what I assess. I assess Bud made him look extremely, extremely yeah. slow. And he just capitalized on it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but um, big shout out to um, uh, uh, Earl Spence. You know, he's one, he, he's one of the greatest. That, you know, he's made it to a plateau that, you know, we can never turn our back on him. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, um, I wish him well and I wish him a speedy recovery because I know that that was, that was, uh, uh, Tough situation that he went through. 100%. Once a legend, always a legend. Thank you, yeah. Mr. Sick of hiring setters that barely book calls for your business. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, champ. Champ. Marissa. Magic man, what's up, brother? Magic man. Cause I need to take that shirt off and put it in the trash, nigga. <laughs> this. What did you What did you think of Crawford tonight, Antonio? Man, unbelievable. The way he controlled every moment of the fight, man. It was a master class, master boxing class, bro. And um, I knew if it was. If, it, if, if Terrence was going to win, I thought it would be under eight, but it looked like in the eighth round, he was pretty much done. Terrence took that round off and got right back in it, finished him in nine. But I just, I thought Earl was going to compete a lot better. And then it, it just didn't look like it was the same class in the ring, unfortunately. What'd Nothing, the pressure didn't work. The defense, he had no defense, bro. No idea of defense. But Never the does. sad part is, it's not even sad, but... You got trainer of the year in your corner, bro. You don't supposed to come out there and look that bad under no circumstances. <laughs> somebody that really know what the hell going on in this game, bro. Real. Thanks. Come on, bro. Yo, I'm going to have to clip that video right there. He said trainer of the year under no circumstances, Derek James. Mm. That's y'all trainer of the year. I got to clip that shit right there. Yo, I remember when, when Tarver came out, he was like, he's like, Crawford remind me of me. Ain't nobody going to say this, but I'm a shit. Right. He ain't want none, none of them dudes ain't want them. <laughs> right. And they got on his ass. Told Tarver, yeah, yeah. Tarver ain't shit. Tarver ain't nothing. Tarver ain't nothing. Tarver, Tarver, Tarver hating on Earl. <laughs> Come on, man. I wonder is everybody is everybody still hating on Earl? That's what I want to know. Everybody man. still hating on him. Everybody oh, hey, was man, picking hey. Bud to beat him. 
the internet the internet is killing Earl Spence man they killing that dude I I, I gotta give it to Earl he 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 ain't online arguing with them shits but he, can, he ain't damn. nothing to argue about nigga you need to go ahead you need to find a car with some dark ass tents take your ass home to your ranch and go to sleep for about three days nigga think about all the <laughs> bullshit you done did yeah, you could have took the... was talking about what he what he said 60 40 70 30 or whatever we decide to give him yeah 80, 20, a nigga. yeah remember that shit yeah i remember shit. that shit he could have he could have you know, at least one thing about Earl, he made a lot of money. He made a lot of money here. Earl probably up after this, he probably up fifty to a hundred million dollars at this point. You know what I'm saying? So like he doing all right. Go on here, take that money, how, how, how you get think, your ass down. How much you think how, how much you think uh how many pay per view buys you think you got? I feel like this did over a million. I feel like it's gonna come out that it did over a million. I think so. Damn. I tell you what, man. After that ass whooping, that shit do over a so. million dollars. If it does over a million dollars with that ass whooping, um, Earl Spence took, Terrence Crawford got to be the cash cowboy. Everybody got to come after him now. Mm-hmm. They still not though. They gonna wait for him to slow down, you know. But he's not gonna slow down. He's probably gonna retire before he slow down. He seems smart enough to be like, yo, I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck this. I don't. I don't need to keep boxing. You know, and I don't, he doesn't seem like he loves money enough to keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? To in order to make money, you know, like I like nigga get paid. You can tell when a nigga just love money. They'll just do anything for money. Like Earl's one of them dudes. Like I did do anything for money. Charlo's one of them dudes. I just do anything for money. But it's like, nah, you know, I'm good. I don't need to keep doing this shit. I done did everything I said I was going to do. I'm ready to retire. I think Bud could go all the way up to 160 if he really wanted to. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't think we're going to see him do it. I think he's going to try to get Jamal, Jamel in the ring, maybe capture them belts at 154 and then retire. He already 36 years old. I mean, realistically, he ain't got that many years left in him anyway. I mean, he does because he stay in shape. But, you know, how how long do you want to keep doing this shit to wear and tear on your body and all that? You yeah. Know? It's only a matter First of time. For, for, for all the time. For all the time is undefeated, too. Undefeated, bro. We've got a, 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 a million, a 286 trillion in O. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I, I don't think he want to stay doing this shit forever, bro. I don't think he want to stay doing this shit forever. So, we'll, you know, I think he probably got maybe two more fights, two, three more fights, and then he done with this shit, bro. That's what I'm thinking. Two, three. Does Boots got a shot or is he too inexperienced? I, I, I don't know. I think. Hey, that, that might be the one, though. If Ennis still keep looking good, that might be the one. Um, Yeah, who else? Charlo at 54, maybe? You know, that's, after the Canelo fight? No, that's if that's if Bud want to do that. I don't, I don't think Bud need to go nowhere right now. Because I think he fits in that 47. He got about two or three more years there. Before you have to mess, start naturally move up. Two or three more years. Number one, thirty-six. Number one, he beat a he beat a dog like Spence. You said you don't want to see the rematch, but the fight was not competitive enough for a rematch. Do you know the one fifty-four? Yes, he got to. He got. What are you gonna do at forty-seven? It's okay, bro. Like it. He need a couple fights to get back anyway. So what's right, going to do with 47? Whatever he want to do. Is, is he what, about, what about Boots? Right now, I don't know, but definitely in the near future. You don't want to push Boots on no bad breaks right now. You feel me? Can we put Bud there with Leonard and Hearns and that? Yeah, man, the man is a great now. fighter, great fighter, complete fighter. Terrence Crawford is a complete fighter, and you saw that today. And that's what it takes to stay on top and be successful in boxing. You got to get the technical aspects of the game, the scientific boxing, man, the form, the art form. You want the separation, bro? Yeah, that was a crazy separation. Hey, that shark ran into a well tonight. Boy, I really had a well tonight. The man said the shark ran into a well. Big facts. Big facts, man. Big facts. 
Call Sanctus in the big. building. What up with it, Sanctus? <laughs> Earl, we, we, we got to run it back. Fuck four. <laughs> Sanctus, Earl, say, like, Earl, we got to run it back. Fuck four. <laughs> Hilarious, bro. Hilarious. It's not polite to hate on the dead. Yeah, damn, bro. Pretender of the year, more like it. Quote that. Yeah, bro. The death of the Diva Coalition. Yeah, bro. The last, you know, the last show I did, bro, you didn't see the last show I did, but the last show I did, it was titled The Death of the Earl Sexuals. <laughs> Terrence Carver Man. versus Earl Spence means the death of the Earl Sexuals. I knew these niggas were going to die tonight. But these niggas didn't just die tonight. They suffered a horrible, a, tra- a horrible, tragic, brutal death, nigga. Like you niggas died, like, like, like a nigga stabbed you, shot you nine times, cut your head off, and then stomp, like, cut off your body parts, and then sliced them into little pieces. Like, you know what I mean? That's what this was, bro. Mm-hmm. Earl, these Earl sexuals died nine times. They died. They died a thousand deaths just now with this whole thing, bro. Like the level of ass whooping that Earl took tonight was 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 just on another level, man. On another level. Um, but this is what I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna wrap up the show tonight. I'm gonna do another show, bro. That's gonna just be reactions, like people reacting to the fight, man. Maybe I might do it tomorrow. Maybe it might be Monday. Um, but I'll be live a lot more in the next probably week or so, bro. I gotta I gotta talk more about this shit. I got more trolling to do. I got more talking shit to do. There's a lot of stuff we gotta talk about, man. It, you know, it's it's gonna be fun, bro. The next few weeks gonna be fun on this channel, bro. If anybody's listening, bro, you new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and everybody be sure to hit the like button, man. But yeah, man, I'm gonna pack it up, bro, man. Hopefully, you know, I see you see you again soon. You got any final thoughts, man? Yeah, man. Thanks for having me on, man. Glad everybody's chopping it up, man. It's one of the best uh, days in boxing, man. Just watching all these damn Earl sexuals fall apart and shit, man. (laughs) After they made five years of fucking slandering this dude. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Yo, like I said, I'm going to be just like you, man. I'm going to be trolling the fuck out of these guys, man. I'm just going to make <laughs> video after video after video. I'm already writing in my notepad right now the shit I'm going to be writing, man. And doing it whatnot, so. I'm going to have yeah. a line of that shit going on. It, yeah. It'll probably be about a good month before I stop talking about Earl Spence. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. I want to hear about this rematch. I want to hear about the pay-per-view numbers. I want to hear about the split. I want to hear about all that shit, bro. I need I need all that. All that is getting, getting some content. I don't know if I'm talking about anything else for the next month, bro. It's probably going to be just this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, yeah. Man. And, 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 and I got to cook that that fucking biggest one of the biggest Earl sexuals out there that Christopher Williams do for Boxing News 24. This motherfucker be he be doing he be saying some shit about Terrence Crawford talking about what he said the other day he said Terrence Crawford got a weak man to bone. Man, I, I'm a I'm a cook his ass again. Man, he need to be cooked a thousand times, bro. But he 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 officially cooked himself after the night, bro. Because if he saw this, which I'm sure he did. Um, hopefully he he um he did it. He pulled a boxing ego and went on Twitter and said I was wrong a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man. Well, yeah, bro. We're gonna go ahead and pack it in, man. Hey, to uh, everybody who listening, man, go ahead, bro. You final you gonna say some more? No, 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 that's it, man. Thanks for having me on, man. All day, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, everybody who's listening, man, I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. We had a really good night of boxing tonight, man, a historic night of boxing. You know what I'm saying? Your boy KD called this exactly 155% correctly. You know, I called this absolutely right. I said that this was going to be a ninth round stoppage, and it was a ninth round stoppage. You know, 100%, uh, no doubt about it, you know. Um, So... You know, it was a good night of boxing, man. It's always good when I'm when I'm right. You know what I'm saying? But in addition to that, man, we got the much needed 
well-deserved closure that we need for this whole saga between Terrence Crawford and Spence, man. And, you know, um, it's going to be a lot of trolling. It's going to be a lot of I told you so. It's going to be a lot of finger wagging. I'm going to be doing this shit over the next month. So y'all prepare for that. <laughs> and, you know, um, it was good, man. I appreciate everybody for coming through, man. Shout out to the show, the show sponsors, AB and Donnie Pruitt, man. I appreciate y'all for coming through with the with the cash app donations, man. Shout out to everybody who was on the panel, man. Bold and understanding, COE Films, Kareem Boxing News, Bug on Stop Spence. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Light Speed was up in here, man. AC was up in here, man. We had a lot of people that came through tonight, man. Over 10 hour stream. I think we're going on 11 hour stream. That we don't when we don't went through tonight, man. So I just appreciate all y'all for sliding through, man. And um, we up out of here, bro. We up out of here. You know what I mean?